The five school bells simultaneously awaken the bloodline of the divine dragon. But I was mocked by my classmates as a worthless person that nobody wants. Just because the people in this world only know that the bloodline of the eastern dragon is noble, but they do not know that the dragon has nine sons, and each son is different. Yaji, Bas Ya, and others are all born with the bloodline of the divine dragon, as long as the timing is right, can evolve into Ying Long, Zhu Long, and even Wu Zhao Jin Long, and faced with these despised girls, you just want to say one sentence, I want everything. At this moment, you have awakened as a D-level dragon master, and the girlfriend, Lu Hanjiao, who was awakened as an S-level dragon spirit, despised him and broke up on the spot. Lu Jin, let's break up. We are ultimately from different social classes. Commoners are just commoners. Then he turned around and threw himself into the arms of Qin Jin, an S-level dragon master. Everyone saw the situation and immediately showed mocking expressions. A waste dares to dream of making a contract with Princess Lu. But you, upon hearing these words, do not agree. Because you still have a second talent that has not been detected. And your second talent, the effect can only be shown after the completion of the first contract. Just at this moment, a highly anticipated beautiful girl stepped onto the awakening stage. The girl has a tall and slender figure, with a long ponytail and big eyes. It caused a sensation as soon as it appeared. Turns out, Song Xiao is acclaimed as the number one pure beauty in the school. Do you think Song Xiao will also awaken to S level? It is possible. After all, she is the first in her grade. Lu Hanjiao is just second. Nothing more. These words fell into Lu Hanjiao's ears, but they were extremely harsh. Looking into Song Xiao's eyes, they were filled with jealousy. And at this moment, Song Xiao was extremely nervous. She tightly closed her eyes. The hand resting on the crystal ball trembled almost. Finally, a white light flashed by. Song Xiao's figure disappeared. A creature with a body length of over 2 meters, a dragon head and a fish body, and four small claws appeared in place. Name, Song Xiao. Dragon spirit form, Qi Kiss. Bloodline talent level, F level. How is this possible? It turns out to be the lowest level F grade. Can't be true. The crowd exploded in an instant, repeatedly exclaiming. Originally thought that Song Xiao would at least be an S level. I didn't expect it to be the lowest level F grade. However, at this moment, you, but it is a hot look at Song Xiao, because at this moment, under the insight of your talent skill dragon's eye, you suddenly discovered the divine dragon bloodline within her body. Lu Hanjiao originally had hostility towards Song Xiao, and seeing the look in your eyes as you gaze at Song Xiao at this moment. Moreover, he mocked and ridiculed with anger in his heart. Lu Jin, I wonder what genius you are looking at, just a piece of trash at F level. I thought she might not be as good as me, but at least she would be A level. I didn't expect her to be even worse than you. You heard the words but didn't pay attention to her. She completely ignored her and walked towards Song Xiao. Lu Hanjiao stood stiffly in place. At this moment, Song Xiao is still awakening and closing her eyes. She seems unable to accept this outcome. As the top student in her grade, how did I become a failure with an awakened F-level talent? As an orphan, she, only by awakening can one become a powerful dragon spirit, can only have a better life? but reality has dealt her such a big blow, a dragon spirit of F level. In today's society with more boys and fewer girls, she basically has no chance of obtaining her own dragon rider. Classmate, go down. The responsible teacher for awakening reminded with a sentence. Song Xiao walked down the awakening platform, following the path on the ground. The ridicule and mocking gazes of the people around, stabbed her like a knife. Clearly, the scorching sun is high in the sky but it feels like running alone on a vast ice field. In a daze, the left foot tripped over the right foot and the body fell down. Song Xiao was thinking, anyway, it's already so late. There's nothing wrong with falling down. However, at this moment, but suddenly felt a wave of warmth. Only after passing out did I realize that I had fallen into your arms. Classmate, I am a D-level talent. Would you like to be my contracted dragon spirit? Seeing your handsome face, Song Xiao's heart skipped a beat. Your gentle words, as if a spring breeze blowing away all the coldness. After a while, she finally came to her senses and stood up from your embrace. Then he nodded solemnly. I am willing. Song Xiao knows you. I know you are also a good student, despite having only a D-level talent. But for her now, even a dragon master of F rank might despise her. Now there is a person with a D-level talent willing to form a contract with her. This is already very rare. At this moment, you smile as you look at her adorable appearance. Couldn't help but extend my index finger and lightly scratch her nose. Made her eyes widen a little. 
even the cheeks are swollen. She is relatively introverted as an orphan, being bullied but not daring to speak up, just silently holding in the frustration. This way is even more pitiable. Just at this moment, suddenly heard the sound of Lu Hanjiao's voice coming. She is just a waste. Why did you choose her as the dragon spirit? I know that you are only at a D level right now. Feel like you're not worthy of me. So you give up on yourself, right? If you ask me to do my mail work, relying on the resources of my family, I can help you contract a dragon spirit of grade D or higher. At this moment, Lu Hanjo is like a princess-like figure high above to bestow grace and charity upon a commoner. In her eyes, you, as her ex-boyfriend, are her possession. Even if she despises it, it is still her own thing, absolutely not allowed to be played by other women. However, you were the one holding Song Xiao's hand, pulling her, they walked towards the crowd. I didn't even look at Lu Hanjiu at all. It seems as if she is treated as a bundle of airtime. In an instant, Lu Hanjiao seemed to be frozen. The whole person is engulfed in anger. Among the complex emotions of humiliation, the delicate body trembles slightly. My own talent reaches level S. In your eyes, even talent. Only Song Xiao of F level is inferior. Lu Jin, stop right there. Didn't you hear Zhao Zhao talking to you? You are no longer the first in your grade now. Just a waste with a D-level talent. What qualifications do you have to be so arrogant? Zhao Zhen saw his goddess Lu Hanjia being humiliated by you. Suddenly speaking out to show one's existence. Your continued disregard is still the response to him. You, this guy. I'm talking to you. Your ears are deaf. At this moment, you have already walked with Song Xiao to the location of the contract platform. And then... According to the law of contracts learned from memory, activate the magic circle beneath your feet by harnessing your spiritual energy. The next moment, a golden light curtain appeared around the contract table. The golden thread then connects the spiritual seas of the two individuals layer by layer. The golden curtain of the contract is lowered. If following the normal contract process, it can be said that it has already ended at this time. But suddenly, a golden light is released from your body again. What's going on? That seems to be the aura of talent awakening. Has Lu Jin not already awakened? How could there be an awakening? Impossible. This is the contract platform, not the awakening platform. And at this moment, a powerful aura suddenly arrived here. Looking at this scene, I said with surprise, this is the second awakening of the Dragon Knight's talent, the second Divine Dragon's talent. The person who came as the Dean of Longxiong College, Ruan Siming, he sensed at the moment your second awakening aura appeared rushed over at the first moment. The people around him were instantly in an uproar when they heard his words. I didn't expect such a reversal of events. Surprisingly, it is possible to have a second awakening and possess a second talent. Genius falls in less than 10 minutes, then it rose to a new height. And Lu Hanjiao, as the head of the Lu family, one of the three major families in Linyang, I have also heard of second awakening and dual talents in nature. She knows all the people who have experienced a second awakening. The lowest talent on the second day is SS level. It is even possible to awaken an SSS level talent. You are completely qualified to be her knight. Continue to be her boyfriend. Considering this, Lu Hanjia suddenly revealed a confident smile. Lu Jin's first talent is dual contract. It means that you can complete the contract with the second person. Isn't this prepared for me? She has decided to forgive you. Just let Song Xiao be her own maid. She feels good when she thinks about it. Looking at the contract table with anticipation, just at this moment, a mysterious and profound golden giant, a door appears above your body. A strong desire arose deep within Song Xiao who was standing by. The body begins to change uncontrollably, became the dragon spirit form of Chiwen. Suddenly, he passed through the golden giant gate. With a low roar, it came out. A four-clawed dragonfish with a body length of over six meters appeared in midair. An incredibly powerful aura blooms captivating the hearts and souls. This is the aura of an SSS level dragon spirit. Ruan Siming said excitedly with a trembling voice. Once this statement is made, the crowd, who had already speculated in their hearts, were extremely shocked. Oh my god. No way. Is Song Shawa not the lowest level F grade talent? Just because I jumped from inside that golden gate, just promoted to SSS level. This is too ridiculous. Everyone started discussing fervently for a while. The girls are full of intense envy and jealousy towards Song Xiao's complete transformation. I wish I could pounce on it right now. Replace her as your contractual partner. And Lu Hanjia was even more furious, gritting her teeth in anger. She feels that if it weren't for this Song Xiao, all eyes are on this moment. To become an SSS level dragon spirit should be oneself. 
powerful S-Class Dragon aura released. The violent heat wave caused the surrounding girls to pause in their movements. Lu San is my boyfriend. You guys are not worthy. Lu Hanjiao said coldly. And Zhao Zhen next to him heard the words. The face has turned into a pig liver color. Feeling nauseous like having eaten feces in my heart. Biting my teeth. I constantly think of your figure. It's all because of you. At this moment, Song Shi Yao on the contract stage has already transformed into a human form. The small face is full of excitement. Who can believe that just now they were? Just a waste with an F-level talent. Now, he has become an unparalleled genius at the Dragon Soaring Academy. And all of this is thanks to the young person in front of me. In your eyes at this moment, Song Shi Yao's dragon spirit information has changed. Song Shi Yao, Shi Wan, SSS level. Divine Gift 1, Riding the Clouds and Mists, can fly and control clouds and mist. Divine Talent 2, Devour. The ability to devour objects and convert them into energy to enhance one's strength. Divine Gift 3, Water Control, can control the water of rivers, lakes, and cease to be immune to water-based spell damage. The other dragon spirit's innate abilities are called Bloodline Talents, and Song Shi Yao is referred to as Divine Talent here. Naturally, it is an extremely noble existence. And these three talents are naturally incredibly powerful. You excitedly retrieve the long men. Hold Song Shi Yao's hand and prepare to step down from the awakening platform. But I saw the dean hurriedly blocking in front of me. You too. Go with me to re-evaluate the talent information. You smiled and said in response. I don't need to appraise it anymore. I am an SSS level talent. Let Song Shi Yao re-evaluate it. To hear you say that. Ruan Siming seems to have thought of something but did not insist on it. But instead. He brought Song Shi Yao to the girl's awakening platform. On the screen, her SSS grade dragon spirit quality is displayed. Although everyone was mentally prepared. But after really seeing the information on the screen, still exclaimed in surprise, Song Shi Yao is really lucky. Just because she looks a little prettier than me, is he, she taller than me? Or more outstanding than me? At least I have an E level talent. She can rely on Lu Zhen to become an SSS level dragon spirit. Lu Xue Zhang is truly worthy of being an SSS level dragon master. I don't know who dumped senior Lu in the beginning. Blind as a bat. Brother Lu Zhen also has a contractual position. If he becomes my knight, I can challenge any difficult posture. Listening to the discussion of the crowd, you maintain a calm appearance on the surface. The heart is filled with immense joy. Your talent is not something of SSS level. The reason for not retesting is to prevent exposure. SSS level talent is rare. But each country also has a few. If one's own talent level is exposed, will definitely attract the animosity of other countries. Because at this time your information, the panel prominently displays two major talents. Talent 1, Divine Covenant, Super Divine Level, can form a covenant with an infinite number of Divine Bloodline Dragon Spirits. Talent 2, Dragon Gate, Super Divine Level, can help the contract object awaken the Dragon Bloodline. Not only that, each time the contracted party leaps over the Dragon Gate, you can obtain one-tenth of all her attributes. At the same time, you can also obtain all of the dragon spirit skills. This skill is truly amazing. However, just as you were overjoyed in your heart, but I saw Lu Hanjiao squeeze to the front from the crowd, put on a shy and intimate appearance. While speaking, he reached out towards your arm. Lu Jin, I forgive you. Let's go to the contract now. But you quickly stepped aside and waved your hand. This former girlfriend, please respect yourself. Lu Hanjiao saw the situation and almost fell down. Although the body stood upright in the end, it was incredibly wolf-like. She is the little princess of Linyang City. When have I ever been treated unfairly like this? But in order to form a contract with someone as talented as you, who possesses SSS level abilities, in order to be able to let myself also evolve into an SSS grade dragon spirit, she suppressed her anger and forced a smile as she spoke. Lu Jin, stop messing around. What dissatisfaction there is. We will resolve it privately after we go home. Can we go and complete the contract now? Then he, she walked towards you. Reach out again to grab your arm. But I see you avoiding me again. Sorry, you don't deserve it. After the words fell silent, Lu Hanjia was suddenly struck by lightning. After standing there blankly for a while, I finally reacted. Suddenly turned my head towards you and shouted. I don't deserve it. Then who does? You have one more contract position. Here, only my talent is the highest. Although you can help an F. Waste level upgraded to SSS level. But that was just a coincidence. Signing a contract with me is the wisest choice. You paused for a moment upon hearing the words and did not turn back. But instead, leave behind a sentence and continue to walk away. In my eyes, your talent is worthless. 
you are not deliberately pretending to be anything, because it is indeed like this. These people awaken the dragon spirit. All are breeds of western dragons. In your eyes, it's just a lizard with wings. Only girls with the bloodline of the divine dragon. Only those who are qualified can become your contracted dragon spirit. And Lu Hanjo is indeed not deserving. Seeing Lu Hanjo's ugly appearance, the surrounding girls began to take pleasure in other people's misfortune. No matter how talented one is in the S-level arts, in the eyes of senior Lu, it is worthless. She was the one who initially said we should break up. What are the two classes of people? Now, just half an hour has passed and I'm already begging for reconciliation. Shameless. Pretending to be superior while seeking reconciliation. SSS level dragon master talent. It is very rare throughout the entire federation of the scorching summer. I can't see my own position clearly. This good appearance is really wasted. Although their voices are very low. But as an S level talent, Lu Hanjia could still hear clearly. The complexion became even uglier and gradually turned ferocious. Jiao Jiao. Are you okay? Zhao Jin walked over and asked. Lu Hanjia suddenly raised her head and looked at him. Do you want to be my knight? Zhao Xin became instantly excited upon hearing the words. I am willing to be spoiled. You agreed to be my contractual partner. Lu Hanjiao did not directly answer. But instead, he brought him to a place with no one around. Casually said, I can promise you. But the prerequisite is that you have to find an opportunity. Get rid of Lu Xin and Song Shi Yao for me. I want to turn them into trash kneeling in front of me. As a standard iodine goiter. Facing the goddess's request at this moment. Zhao Xin could only reluctantly agree. Then the two of them went to the contract table and completed the contract. The next moment, you held Song Xiao's hand and arrived at the assessment site of the Imperial Dragon Battleground. As long as the assessment is completed, you can receive subsidies from the Federation. At this moment, Lu Hanjiao and Zhao Xin have just finished their assessment. Due to the mistakes in their coordination, the assessment result of the two individuals is only second tier subordinate. When I saw you in Song Xiao's figure, a hint of gloom appeared on Zhao Jin's face. They both actually came. Song Shi Yao's timid appearance. Facing monsters, one might not even know how to attack. Let Lu Jin be torn apart by the black armored beast. Lu Han Jiao just tightly clung to those two people. He had a gloomy expression and did not speak. In the viewing hall at this moment, the talent information of you two appeared on one side of the screen. Lu Jin. Talent 1, dual contract, D level. Talent 2, unknown, SSS level. Song Shi Yao. Dragon spirit form, Chi Wan, SSS level. Captain Meng Tai, who is currently observing the battle at the border camp. Seeing the message, I suddenly stood up excitedly and exclaimed. It turns out to be a double talent. The dragon master and the dragon spirit are both SSS level. Good seedling. These two people belong to me. He said this. The eyes glanced at the middle-aged man sitting in the middle. Afraid that this leader will take people away. This person is the deputy commander of the Central Federal Military District. Xia Qian Jun. This time happened to pass by Linyang City. Visit granddaughter Xia Lingchan, who is a singer. On the way. At this moment, Xia Ganjuan's face is full of confusion. You really don't know what this second talent of Lu is the next day. How to give an SSS level evaluation. The Dean, Ruan Siming, who was standing aside, heard the words and asked himself and answered. Do you know what level Song Xiao's initial awakening is? When she first awakened, she only had an F level talent. Lusion's second talent is a mysterious golden dragon gate. When Song Xiao passed through the door, talent has been directly upgraded to SSS level. You said that the second day gives. Is an SSS level evaluation excessive? Xia Ganjuan's face was full of shock when he heard the words. Can actually make an F grade. The gifted dragon spirit has evolved to SSS level. Such talent is probably more than just SSS level. Meng Tai also shocked everyone by swearing. Wow. Amazing. Can my wife also pass through that long men once? Ruan Siming nodded and smiled at the words. I am also thinking of waiting for him to complete the assessment now. Meet my granddaughter when going to the training camp. Poverty is also an F-level talent. See if the two people can fulfill the contract. Hear this. Xia Ganjun also thought of his granddaughter. Xia Lingchan. The eyes keep spinning without stopping. The next moment. The assessment battle between you and Song Xiao has officially begun. At this moment. Song Xiao has transformed into the form of a glass kiss, a red gold four clawed dragonfish that is over six meters long, shining brightly under the sunlight. Sacred and beautiful. Shining brightly. Impressive. It truly is an SSS level dragon spirit. Flying without wings. Meng Tai sighed again when he saw the situation. After the words fell silent, 
A dragon gate appeared in front of you. After you pass through the dragon gate, the whole person has undergone a tremendous change. Originally, you were thin and tall, instantly transformed into an extremely exaggerated muscular man. A layer of dark golden dragon scales appeared on the skin. A pair of dragon horns grew on top of the head. Both feet and hands have turned into sharp dragon claws. Meng Tai couldn't help but exclaim again. I'm going. This is not a level 7 dragon warrior. Can the dragon spirit possession be used? Oh, no. His dragon spirit did not possess him either. Xia Ganjuan's eyes lit up as he watched. It seems that this is the one called Shi. One of the effects of the golden giant gate of talent. Dragon spirits could evolve in the past. People used to be able to obtain the ability to become half dragon. As the battle begins within the assessment area, the black armored beast holds a sharp. The tooth rushed towards you. However, Song Xiao in the sky showed no reaction. Zhao Jin, who was off the court, laughed heartily when he saw the situation. Look, I knew that Song Xiao has been scared silly. Even if Lu Jin can transform. So what? The black armored beast has tough skin and thick flesh. So it can definitely be stabbed through. However, the next second, his pupils suddenly dilated. It seems like I saw something incredible. When the black armored beast charges towards you, less than half a meter away, you suddenly fly up and then your body falls down. The pet's claw pressed on the head of the black armored beast. Just as it was pressed down on the ground, its claws pierced into its brain. The black armored beast struggled fiercely, kicking its hind legs in a frenzy, stopped moving after one breath, then fell heavily to the ground. Good, good judgment and decisive strike. Steady, accurate, ruthless. I want to hire director Wan, Meng Tai exclaimed in surprise, but at this moment, Zhao Xin outside the field had an incredulous expression on his face, how is this possible, how could he be so fast, reaction speed in such great power, he must be lucky, just so happens that the black armored beast got sick, however, as soon as he finished speaking, I saw six black armored beasts crashing to the ground in the field, still, it is you alone who kills them all, means straightforward and smooth. Zhao Jin stood still, dumbfounded, as he watched directly, and when you have completed the assessment of the third level superior, but there was no further continuation of the next level assessment, because the subsidy standards are the same after assessment, there is no need to continue exposing oneself to excessive combat power. The next moment, when you walk out of the assessment area gate, I saw Ruan Siming and a few others waiting here. Good job, you're really impressive. The little girl is also very clever and has the potential to be a warrior, much stronger than the previous pair of S-level assessors. Tomorrow is the training session for elite graduates. 8.30 in the morning. Arrive at the North District Civil Defense Camp. Don't be late. Meng Tai straightforwardly throws the olive branch to both of you, and you see him wearing the captain's combat uniform. Immediately guessed his identity and nodded happily. Yes, I will definitely be on time. Ruan Siming is also thinking about you at this moment. Song Xiao cast an approving glance. Then he looked at Zhao Zhen and Lu Hanjia not far away and spoke. You too. The performance in the previous battle still needs improvement. Tomorrow, make sure to improve yourself well at the training camp. Otherwise, wait until you are really in the field for combat. Cooperating with mistakes can potentially lead to death at any time. Lu Hanjia and Zhao Zhen are full of humiliation at this moment. The anger almost made them grind their teeth to pieces. But for the president of Longxiang College, they also dare not lose face, can only lower my head and agree, then turn around and leave, and at this moment, Ruan Siming hands you a card and says, take a look and use the 1 million in this card, training and improving oneself in dragon spirit requires money, your talent is a great asset to the federation, tomorrow the lord will reward you with 50 units, you just wanted to refuse, but you heard Ruan Siming continue to speak, I have something that I need to trouble you with, I have a granddaughter named Ruan Qinghan, and just like Xiao Son, he also has an F-level talent, named Yu Ji. Now people are serving as combat instructors in the urban defense camp. Tomorrow, if you go, you will be able to see her. I hope you can make a contract with her. Help her complete the bloodline evolution. When you hear the embarrassing name, you feel that this matter is settled. Because there is one more dragon spirit contract. One's overall attributes can increase by 10%. If 10 dragon spirits with SSS level talents are contracted at the same time, you can have the same dragon spirit, a level of physical body and spiritual power, and also possesses all the innate skills of the 10 dragon spirits, gathering the bloodlines of the 10 great divine dragons. Perhaps you can transform into a real dragon, but you did not show any signs of joy. On the contrary, he humbly said, Dean, 
The only dragon spirit I am able to contract with is one that contains the bloodline of the divine dragon. Only it contains the bloodline of the divine dragon itself. Can only awaken and become an SSS grade dragon spirit. So I can't directly agree. I can only confirm once I see Ching Han tomorrow. Ruan Siming was momentarily stunned upon hearing the words, but then understood in his heart. There was not much said. But instead, I put the card in your hand and turned away. And you also held Song Xiao's hand and walked outside. Oh, where are you going? Aren't we going back to the college? Song Xiao was dragged along and innocently asked, Where are we going? You turned around with a mischievous smile on your face and said, Of course, when you have money, you go to a hotel. Song Xiao's face turned red instantly upon hearing the words, and she weakly said, Are we a little too fast? You looked at her with a skeptical gaze and asked, What are you thinking? We will participate in the training camp tomorrow. Don't waste any more time. Hurry up and practice. Song Xiao looked at the peculiar expression on your face, which seemed to be smiling but not really. Suddenly blushing, puffing up the cheeks. You are deliberate. You bad guy. You see her like this, and suddenly want to bully her even more. Intentionally said with a straight face. I am your wise and mighty dragon master. My lord. You said, dear lord dragon knight. Otherwise, I won't take you out for dinner. We are standing here together. Starving to death. Song Xiao looked at her small hand being held in your palm. Took another glance at the bank card in your other hand. Helplessly, she said in a sweet and gentle voice. Dear Lord Dragon Knight. Upon hearing this sentence, your mood suddenly shook. Then, he rode with Song Xiao towards the hotel. The next morning, just when you and Song Xiao arrived at the training camp, an old person and a young person are also rushing towards the training camp, covered in dust. It is Xia Qian Diao and his granddaughter Xia Lingchan. At this moment, Xia Lingchan is wearing a colorful feathered dress, with her hair adorned with an ancient hairpin, like a beautiful ancient woman stepping out of a painting. Grandpa, why are you so anxious for me to come back? What is it about? Can't even wait for a day. At this moment, Xia Ganjuan's face was filled with excitement and a bright glow. I found someone. His talent can help the dragon spirit evolve. A newly awakened girl contracted with him. Dragon spirit talent has evolved from F rank to SSS rank and he also has a contractual position. Seize this opportunity. Xia Lingchan's heart was instantly filled with excitement upon hearing those words. She is already 23 years old. Awakening at the age of 18, the imprisoned bull of dragon spirit broke free from its F-level confinement. No contract has been made with anyone for the past 5 years. She thinks every day about her dragon spirit evolving. No demands for S-class or anything. Even if it's just D-level, it's still A-level. There has been no change in recent years. She can only be infatuated with music, become a star, a musician. She likes music, but at the same time, this is also a way to escape reality. But suddenly she thought of something. Suddenly, he widened his eyes and spoke. Wait, does Grandpa Ruan also know about this news? You are going to take me. Do you want to go and snatch a man with my best friend Ruan Qinghan? And the two famous ladies of Lin Yang are also competing to enter into a contract with you. You at this moment. Looking excitedly at the two beautiful women in front of me. Miss Xia, may I ask, what is your dragon spirit? Xia Lingchan nervously replied upon hearing the words. My dragon spirit is the imprisoned bull. A dragon spirit with horns. You nodded and smiled in response. That's correct. You do indeed possess the bloodline of a divine dragon. With our contract, evolution is definitely possible. Then you looked at Ruan Qinghan beside you and continued. As for Officer Ruan, I have already seen it. She also has the bloodline of the divine dragon and can form a contract with me to evolve. Hearing that one possesses the bloodline of the divine dragon, Xia Lingchan's face immediately showed a happy expression. But when I heard that Ruan Qinghan also possesses the bloodline of the divine dragon, her face changed again. And then, gritting his teeth and trembling, he said, Let poverty take the opportunity of this contract. Due to Ruan Siming's concern for Ruan Qinghan, no joy in having no dragon's bloodline. So there was never any mention of the evolution of the contract with her. But at this moment, listening to a few people say this, Ruan Qinghan seemed to understand something and immediately said, Sister Lingchan, please come. I can continue to become stronger even on my own. Xia Lingchan shook her head. No, you like fighting the most. The third level is the limit of your solo efforts. There is no dragon master to practice with. No strong talent. You cannot go to the real battlefield. And this opportunity was originally yours. I flew here to intervene. Just holding on to a glimmer of hope. I don't want to compete with you. Looking at these two sisters. 
they have a deep sisterly bond. You reluctantly spoke. All right, you too. Stop arguing. I want everything. After the words fell silent, several people stared at you with wide eyes when they heard your words, including the little scapegoat, Song Shio, who also had a shocked expression. You saw the situation and laughed before continuing. Um, I mean, I can contract both of them. Xia Qin Jun frowned. Isn't your first talent a dual covenant? You have already made a contract with Song Xiao. There is one contract position left. Do you want to terminate the contract with Song Xiao? The contract between the Dragon Master and the Dragon Spirit can be terminated. If both parties agree, the cost of terminating the contract is just a temporary weakening and pay a sufficient price. Unilateral termination of the contract can also be achieved. Hearing Xia Gunjun say this, Song Xiao's tears were about to fall instantly, looking at you eagerly without making a fuss. There is a sense of if you nod. She silently cried to death here. You quickly grabbed Song Xiao's hand when you saw the situation. How is it possible? I said I would take care of her for a lifetime. Saying and doing. Song Xiao suddenly burst into tears and then laughed. In an instant, she shyly lowered her head, her face blushing. You look at the three puzzled individuals and explain. The first talent I awakened was indeed the dual covenant. But after my second awakening, the first talent has also evolved into multiple contracts. In theory, as long as it is a dragon spirit with divine bloodline, I can have an unlimited number of contracts. Xia Lingchan was instantly delighted upon hearing the words. That is to say, both Ching Han and I can become your contract partners. And can they all complete evolution? You nodded, which is considered a definite answer. Great. Then the two of us can be together forever. Xia Lingchan hugged Ruan Ching Han's arm, showed a liveliness that had never been seen in the previous five years. Xia Gan Jun, who was standing by, almost burst into tears, even though he holds a high position. But in the face of my granddaughter's low-level talent, I am still at a loss. There is finally hope for a solution now. Immediately, Xia Ganjun urged you to quickly go and sign the contract, afraid that you might change your mind in the next second. The next moment, you few have arrived at the Academy Covenant altar. Ling Chan, you go first. Ruan Qinghan smiled and said. This time Xia Ling Chan did not refuse. She nodded and looked at you, speaking, although this is our first meeting. But, Mr. Lu, please guide me a lot in the future. Seeing such a gentle woman, you immediately put away your cynical attitude and gently approach the path. Miss Xia, please rest assured. You reach out your hand as you speak. Capture Xia Lingchan's slender little hand that plays beautiful melodies. The two of them walked up to the contract platform together. The next moment, the contract spirit array opens, connecting the spirit with the contract gold thread. The moment the contract is completed, your dragon gate has also been released and Xia Lingchan involuntarily transformed into a dragon spirit form. This is a yellow scale, the eastern divine dragon, measuring over 3 meters in length. However, the dragon horns on her head have turned into cow horns. After a dragon's roar, Xia Lingchan crossed the dragon gate. The golden light faded, completing the transformation. Originally, the yellow little dragon was 3 meters long, turned into a golden dragon over 7 meters long. The scales shimmer brightly, and the claws are sharp powerful aura is revealed, completely lost the delicate appearance just now, immediately after, Xia Lingchan's information appeared on the large screen, Summer Lingchan, Captive Bull, SSS Level, Level, First Tier, Divine Talent 1, Riding the Clouds and Mists, Able to Fly and Control Clouds and Mist, Divine Gift 2, Divine Listening, Capable of Understanding the Sound of All Things and Transforming it into Musical Performance, Divine Talent 3, The Invisible Sound, Controllable Various Sound Waves, all attacks formed by immune sound waves. Another top level SSS dragon spirit. Is it possible that the awakened dragon bloodline and dragon spirit through this method? All can reach this level of talent. Ruan Siming exclaimed. Ruan Qinghan on the side couldn't help but feel anticipation in his heart at this moment. A rare expression of joy even appeared on his face. Xia Lingchan regains her human form. She, who was originally quiet, dignified, reserved, and ladylike. Unexpectedly, I rushed forward and hugged you directly, the way of tears of joy, thank you very much. She was originally a talented girl just like Song Xiao, and because of identity and cultivation, let her life be like being surrounded by stars since childhood, but everything changed completely on the day of awakening five years ago, from a talented girl to a despised and worthless person, although she has become a famous star performer in the federation, but in this era, she is nothing, even if it weren't for having grandfather Shugan Jun 
Her fate can only be reduced to being a plaything for certain privileged individuals. Five years of humiliation and pain. But today, this boy in front of me has changed everything. At this moment, you are being embraced by such a beautiful woman. Naturally, it also quickly tightens. After all, in your previous life, you never had such treatment. This opportunity is not well enjoyed. Why pretend to be a righteous gentleman? You are just an ordinary person. When Xia Lingchan's mood calmed down a bit, think about my grandfather and my best friend and take a look. Hurry up and push you away. But still speaking seriously, if you do not leave, you will not abandon. I must live and die together. You were deeply moved by the words, I want to hug her again. The result is that this older sister just ran away directly. Ruan Qinghan walked up. She seems to want to say something, but her personality cannot express any sweet words. Finally, he solemnly uttered a sentence. After the contract, I will definitely die before you. You grabbed both of her hands and laughed. Instructor, I won't let you die. Then he led her to the contract table. The next moment, contract formation activated. Long Men flies out again. Ruan Qinghan transformed into a creature over 4 meters long, dragon-headed and beast-bodied, resembling a wolf-like dragon spirit. This dragon spirit is full of a fierce and aggressive aura. She flew into the dragon gate, and then a roar, the golden light dissipated. The body size has swollen to over 10 meters long. At the same time, Ren Qinghan's information also appeared on the screen. Ruan Qinghan, Yazi, SSS level. Level, Stage. Divine Talent 1, Riding the Clouds and Mists. Able to fly and control clouds and mist. Divine Talent 2, Suppress Evil, Passive. Can suppress all evil and annihilate the power of evil. Divine Talent 3, Courageous Crown, Passive. Can increase all attributes through continuous battles. Feel the power within yourself. Ruan Qinghan couldn't help but rush into the sky. A roar echoed before it fell. Changed back into human form and returned to your side. Thank you. You then went straight up and hugged her. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ruan Qinghan was stunned for two seconds, then pushed you away, but didn't say much. The contract between the dragon master and the dragon spirit. In a certain sense, it is equivalent to getting married. The two not only live together but also fight side by side. Since she has already made a contract with you, just means I'm willing to be with you. But after all, this is only the first time you have met. Suddenly being hugged by you, she also feels quite uncomfortable. After completing the contract, you guys will go your separate ways. Ruan Qinghan and Xia Lingchan need to go home for a while. Evolve oneself into SSS. The news from Jai Longling tells the family. And you, on the other hand, brought Song Xiao to a secluded place. Because you can tell that Song Xiao is a little unhappy. Is it because I made a contract with another girl? You're not happy. You stood in front of Song Xiao and asked. Song Xiao puffed up her cheeks, lowered his head and shook it without answering. And you, on the other hand, Hold her head in your hands, looking at her eyes with a serious expression. He said, you can't be so selfish. Upon hearing these words, Song Xiao suddenly widened her eyes. It seems that I am quite puzzled by your evaluation. You continue speaking upon seeing the situation. Imagine, if I don't make a contract with them, they can only ever be F-level talents. They are the same as you. Once they were all the brilliant young girls who captured the attention of the masses. Now, however, I am suffering such a blow. Now I can clearly change their destiny. Should we just ignore this? Song Xiao quickly shook her head when she heard the words. The eyes instantly became moist. You took a moment to fix her hair and smiled with satisfaction. So obedient. I knew you were a kind girl. So should I continue to contract with other girls? Help them evolve and break free from the unfair treatment of fate. Song Xiao nodded heavily and said. Yes, it should. After speaking, a trace of worry appeared on his face. Just. Will you not want me anymore after you have them? After all, I eat a lot. Song Xiao's dragon spirit is called Chiwen. One of the divine gifts is devouring. So her appetite is much bigger compared to other girls. And you, upon hearing these words, once again cradle her head. Then I directly kissed her little mouth. For a moment, Song Xiao's whole body stiffened. The mind is blank and the eyes are wide open. It seems like I saw something incredible. After a few breaths, you let go of Song Xiao. Now I have stamped it for you. I said I would take care of you. So I definitely will. Let's go have a big meal. Then, she led the still confused Song Xiao. Walked towards a restaurant. Meanwhile, after learning about your upcoming journey for experience, Zhao Jin immediately made careful arrangements. Zhao Jiao. My dad bought a special potion that enhances strength. The medicine needs 10 million. 
we can quickly move on to the third level together. Afterwards, we can confront Lu Jin and Song Xiao at the trial point. Keep them there forever. Lu Hanjiao's face showed a hesitant expression upon hearing the words. Using drugs to forcibly enhance one's own strength is very dangerous. One careless move will forever keep you stuck in your current state. But thinking about the humiliation she suffered a few days ago. Just drink up the medicine. She just wants to let off some steam now. Just want to step on both you and Song Xiao. Step on your faces with force. Feel the mighty power within. The willow's charming eyes became wild. Lu Jin, I will make you wish you were dead. Then he hurried towards the ninth magic cave of Tianlai. You at this moment, came to the devil's cave campsite no. Nine with Song Xiao's three daughters. What awaits you is a face. A middle-aged man with three scars. Exuding the cold aura of a sixth level expert. It is Captain Sun Gong of the ninth magic cave hunting team. Ruan Qinghan immediately bowed when he saw Sun Gong. Report, Private Ruan Qinghan has returned to the Demon's Den camp. Request to return to the team. Sun Gong nodded towards Ruan Qinghan to signal his agreement. Then I looked at you and smiled. About your information. Meng Tai has already coordinated with me. I will treat you as warriors. If the defensive point is breached, you will receive severe punishment. After a simple understanding of the basic situation, you are then taken to the place of residence. However, when I saw that the dormitory I was going to live in was a four-person suite, Xia Lingchan and Song Xiao's faces suddenly showed a blush. They have never lived with a man before. Who would have thought the first time living with a man? Surprisingly, it is together with two other sisters. Four people live together. However, Ruan Qinghan didn't pay attention and said, Here, basically, men and women live in the same room. Like this kind of four-person room. All are for the dragon knight or the dragon. The place where the spirits of the deceased reside. Many people's significant others died here. They also need to continue fighting here. You directly stepped forward upon hearing the words. Holding on to both sides. Song Xiao and Xia Lingchan. Don't worry. I won't let any of you die. Ruan Qinghan pouted and sat to the side. Speaking up. I hope you experience the battle of tomorrow. Afterwards. Can you still say such things? Sit down. Let me tell you about the types of monsters here and their weaknesses. Tomorrow's high intensity battle. Both parties may not consider each other. Protecting oneself is the greatest protection for others. I respectfully follow the teachings of instructor Ruan. You said seriously. After Nguyen Qinghan explained for a while. The four of you then entered the state of cultivation together. Facing the intense battle that is about to come tomorrow. And at this moment, you are pleasantly surprised to discover. The speed of my own cultivation has suddenly increased threefold. Three dragon spirits means three times the cultivation speed. If there were ten dragon spirits, the feedback obtained from one cultivation is extremely significant. It seems that the training will be over soon. The dragon spirit that possesses other dragon bloodlines must continue to be sought after. No words overnight. The next morning, you arrived. On the outer wall of the magic cave pit. See those terrifying monsters. Ruan Qinghan not only did not show any signs of fear, instead, it is very exciting. She once left the battlefield because of insufficient strength. Finally, I'm back here again. Suddenly, she leaped down from the city wall. In the blink of an eye, it transformed into a colossal beast over 10 meters long, driving the clouds, rushing towards those monsters. Ruan Qinghan plunged into the midst of the demons, extending a claw, tear apart a flying wolf head bloodbat directly in midair. She is still only at the second level, but the combat power has already reached the fourth level. It is extremely easy to tear apart a three-stage wolf head blood bat. The next moment, Song Xiao also rushed out. This usually seems like a weak and fragile little girl. At this moment, they bravely confront the monsters. Incarnation of a dragon with a fish body and a six-meter long dragon head. Rushed up into the midst of the group of monsters. I saw her first spew out a huge water ball. And then... Many streams of water flew out from within the water ball. The fast-flowing water is like ropes. Hang up one monster at a time. She opened her mouth wide immediately. Unexpectedly, he swallowed a monster in one gulp. The belly of a kiss is not just a simple belly, but rather a devouring space. The organisms that enter inside will be rapidly consumed by energy. All kinds of substances will be decomposed and absorbed. There will be no waste at all. Imagine such a sweet and lovely girl. At this moment, Eat up those spider-like monsters one by one. The screen is also very eerie. But thinking of this girl usually, the appearance of being as hungry as a starving ghost while eating, also feels very reasonable. Can only say that the bloodline talent of the Chiwon is just like this. Devouring is her method of attack. 
The process of simultaneous consumption will make her quickly become stronger. And as a first-time participant in battle, Xia Lingchan, at this moment, there is no trace of fear. She transforms into a yellow divine dragon with a 7-meter long body and bull-like horns, issued a sound wave by opening the mouth. The sound wave unexpectedly turned into a blade, directly cut a ground spider in half. More sound waves then emanated from her body, not limited to spewing from the mouth, just a way of applying psychic energy, not relying on physical structure. Is the divine gift of culture such an inconvenient thing? Dozens of sonic waves hit the ground, directly slay a large number of monsters. The powerful attack power makes the surrounding soldiers awestruck. These attacks are not without rhyme or reason. You can tell that this is a very passionate song. Human warriors feel very inspired after hearing it. People in this world do not know the Eastern Dragon. It seems that information about the Divine Dragon is all, already been wiped out by a mysterious entity. So for this kind of display of strength, the Dragon Spirit of Battle Power feels very curious. They do not know that this is an SSS level Dragon Spirit. If you know, I must exclaim how powerful it should be. I saw three girls rushing down. As a Dragon Rider, you cannot hide behind them. A Dragon Gate appears in the air ahead of you. Then you pass through it and transform once again into the form of a dragon. Everyone present was shocked on the spot when they saw the situation. It turned out to be dragon transformation. Isn't this the ability that only 7th level experts can master? However, at the moment of everyone's shock, but I saw you leap down from the top of the city wall, rushed into a dark and crowded pile of monsters. After contracting with 3 dragon spirits, your physical fitness has already exceeded. Level of SSS grade dragon spirit. Tearing apart intermediate level magic monsters has long been no problem, and you also possess the blessings of all three talents. This also makes you more adept at dealing with monsters. The next moment, after more than three hours of continuous fighting by you all, the troops gradually withdrew from the battlefield. This high intensity battle is, the consumption of spiritual power is very high, although you are all top level talents, but after all, you are only at the first level of cultivation. Hunting and killing second and third tier monsters beyond one's level. The rate of spiritual energy consumption can be imagined. However, you just returned to the top of the city wall, but heard a sharp voice coming. Lu Jin, we meet again. The person speaking is Zhao Jin. He is looking at you with a playful expression on his face at this moment. And when you see Zhao Jin, he also shows a puzzled expression. Because you feel Zhao Jin's breath at this moment. In the past few days, it has become noticeably stronger. When you use the true dragon sight to observe Zhao Jin's body, but I found that this guy's body is filled with black energy. It must be related to the improvement of strength in these black chi. You can go now that you've seen me. You replied indifferently. Zhao Jin immediately became furious and growled lowly upon hearing the words. Don't think that your talent is higher. Just feel that you are more capable than me. You are just a commoner. I now rely on advanced resources. Already promoted to second level superior. Plus my S level talent. In terms of debating skills, I have already surpassed you, and this is just the beginning. I will always make you look up. You didn't want to pay attention to Zhao Jin's barking, but Ruan Qinghan, who is by your side, has a fiery temper. I can step on you once, can step on you a second time. If you don't leave now, I will teach you a lesson. Zhao Zhengang just didn't have it at all. Notice the Ruan Qinghan behind you. At this moment, seeing this woman who embarrassed herself in the training camp, suddenly furious. Just based on your F-level talent, you're trash. If it weren't for the fact that I had just awakened and hadn't fully gained control yet, I knocked you down a long time ago. Now I can handle you with just one hand. Ruan Qinghan's face was full of disdain when he heard the words, Come, I give you this opportunity. However, just as Zhao Zhengang was about to make a move, Lu Hanjiao suddenly frowned and spoke, Zhao Zhen, you are not her opponent. Men cannot admit that they are not capable, especially in front of my goddess. Zhao Jin's face turned red at this moment. Even the appearance is somewhat calm. Gritting one's teeth. Impossible. How could I not be her opponent? Is she also a second tier or F level talent? I am confident that I can defeat her. Due to the natural talent of Lu Hanjiao's dragon spirit, she can clearly perceive that Ruan Qinghan has a strong aura. Not just second order. Definitely not F grade. You and Lu Jin have made a contract. Dragon spirit has evolved to SSS level. Lu Hanjiao gritted her teeth and asked. Ruan Qinghan looked at her with a puzzled expression and asked, How did you know? Lu Hanjiao's face suddenly became even more strained than Zhao Jin's. Angry look at you. You actually made a contract with another F-grade waste again. Do not want to make a contract with me. Am I not even worth as much as an F-grade waste in your heart? Are you doing it on purpose? 
because I dumped you in the beginning, so you have to let this F level. Waste turns into SSS level surpassing me, to humiliate me in this way, right? Lusion, you really are a stingy man, but you also succeeded in making me feel very ashamed. Now the two of us are challenging you. I am waiting for your price on the west side of Fortress No. 4. Lu Hanjo is really about to go crazy. If you choose an S-level woman contract, she wouldn't get so angry yet. Because of her natural talent, she can admit defeat to the opponent. But unfortunately, you found another F-grade dragon spirit, and it also made her become an SSS level surpassing herself. This is clearly saying, find any F-grade waste. All of them have to be more powerful than her S-class dragon spirit. Willow can't stand this kind of humiliation at all. She must achieve victory in a battle. To prove oneself is the best and the most outstanding. Princess Lu, who is admired by everyone. Something that is not even worth being called trash. You see Lu Hanjiao's appearance and suddenly feel speechless. Why does this woman think so highly of herself? If you don't appear in front of me, I almost forgot what your name is. But being challenged publicly like this, you can't refuse. I can only quickly bring Wan Qinghan to the agreed place. Song Shi Yao and Xia Ling Chan want to follow along, but you rejected it directly. Only 8 hours of free time in a day. There is no need to waste time on such boring trivial matters. The next moment, you have arrived at the designated dual location. Stop talking nonsense and get to work. You said calmly. Then, he summoned the Dragon Gate. Step into change and transform into a dragon-like form. But Ruan Qinghan did not transform. I went straight towards Zhao Jin and charged at him. You two had already agreed on this before. You are responsible for dealing with Lu Hanjiao. And it was just Zhao Jin's provocation towards Ruan Qinghan. Therefore, Ruan Qinghan personally wants to teach him a lesson. At this time, you have made this arrangement. Lu Hanjiao's heart is filled with anger. A non-changing dragon spirit to deal with the dragon master. And another one is to use the dragon tamer to deal with the transforming dragon spirit. What is this if not humiliation? You are looking for death. Lu Hanjiao shouted angrily, subsequently transformed into a fiery flying dragon with a body length of over 10 meters. And Zhao Jin also shouted loudly and attacked Wan Qinghan. However, in the blink of an eye, accompanied by two dull sounds, two figures then fell from the sky to the ground. Suddenly, dust and fog filled the air. After a while, the dust settled, revealing the figures of Yu and Wan Qinghan. At this moment, each of you is stepping on one person. And your extremely cold voice also resounds at this moment. You, you will always be my defeated subordinates. You at this moment, after humiliating my ex-girlfriend Lu Hanjia by trampling her under my feet for a while, leave with Nguyen Ching Han. Willow looked at the two of you leaving side by side with humiliation. The anger in the eyes is like it's about to ignite oneself. Zhao Jin, I still need the magic spirit potion. You go tell your dad I want more. I will have my dad send you the money. I will definitely take revenge for this. Her boyfriend was gifted. Only a waste of a woman at the F level took it away. And now my boyfriend even fought for that woman. Such humiliation. She is already willing to give up everything to seek revenge. And at this moment, you are unaware of it. Take a break and then bring it again. The third daughter arrived at the deep pit of the demon's lair, crazily reaping the lives of monsters. Meanwhile, a monster with a tiger-like head and a scorpion-like tail that is over 10 meters long. A figure also emerged from the devil's cave. This monster has a tall and slender body, with a deep blue color throughout. The whole body exudes a terrifying and chilling aura. It is a level 5 intermediate magic creature, the double-tailed scorpion tiger, having strong resistance to psychic and elemental spells, impervious to water and fire damage, and has extremely strong close combat capabilities. It seems to perceive the advanced bloodline talent in you. In the moment it appeared, it rushed straight towards you. At this moment, as a second-tier subordinate, you are surprised to see the situation, but did not fly away and escape, because once this guy loses you as the target of attack, will definitely attack the ordinary soldier next to it. Although you are facing a level 5 monster, it is still very dangerous, but with the advantage of being able to fly, it should not be a problem to keep your life. Considering this, you quickly release a sound wave and attack it, and this attack is powerful enough to instantly kill a second tier and heavily injure a third tier magic monster. The five-order double-tailed scorpion tiger did not cause any injuries. The only purpose is to successfully provoke it. I saw the double-tailed scorpion tiger pounce towards you. The figure swiftly leaped, reaching a height of over 50 meters. The two tails with spikes swiftly rushed towards you to strike. However, just as the thorn is about to attack your body, but you cleverly dodged it with a quick move. Hello, I have been paying attention. 
the strongest attacking part of a double-tailed scorpion tiger. It's its tail. With your innate talent of true dragon's sight, I can see attacks below the sixth level very clearly, as long as the body reacts quickly enough. So avoiding attacks is definitely not a problem. The second attack was ineffective. Instead, I was provoked by the sound waves you released once again. The bicolored tail scorpion tiger is very angry at the moment. A layer of dark purple mist appeared on its body. Immediately, watch as it uses mist to make the body leap even higher. I'm coming towards you again. Meanwhile, Ruan Qinghan, who was nearby, also noticed your predicament. Without hesitation, he rushed towards the double-tailed scorpion tiger to attack. Spiritual power level reaches second order superior. The combat power is no weaker than that of an ordinary fourth tier superior monster. But obviously she is also not a match for a fifth level magic monster. But as a determined person, Ruan Qinghan will also soar. Therefore, I fought with the double-tailed scorpion tiger for a while, although there is no advantage, but it also didn't really hurt myself. Meanwhile, incarnation of the Qiwen form, Song Xiao, and Xia Lingchan, who also transformed into the form of four bulls, also rushed over. In the advanced academy, the important lesson they learned, just need to protect your dragon keeper well. On the one hand, the dragon knight is relatively more fragile compared to the dragon spirit. On the other hand, if the dragon knight is seriously injured or dies, weakening the dragon spirit itself is also a kind of weakening. However, the two of them rushed over, but it's just because there is a thought in my heart, cannot let Lu Jin get hurt. Xia Lingchan hasn't arrived. The sound wave attack has been unleashed, but for the same fifth order double-tailed scorpion lizard, there is not much destructive power. And facing the attacks of the three women, the double-tailed scorpion tiger did not latch onto hatred. Instead, it is a pair of eyes that are constantly filled with greed, staring at you. Its intention is clearly to devour you. Obviously, it sensed the true dragon bloodline within you. This applies to any monster or demon. All have great appeal. Xiaolingchan's three daughters are all of true dragon lineage, but after all, they are only SSS level. But you are super god level. Plus, your body combines the power of the three bloodlines. Therefore, the concentration of true dragon bloodline, the third girl can't compare to you at all. The next moment, the double-tailed scorpion tiger pounced at you again. However, in the moment it is about to reach you, suddenly, the figure of Song Xiao appeared in front of you. Block this attack with my own body. Be careful. Originally, you could have dodged this attack directly, but this silly girl doesn't know what she's thinking. Suddenly, my mind heated up and I rushed to you. Monsters are creatures that have killing as their objective. Their attacks are extremely fierce. It is not simply a matter of waving a claw and ending it, but after a successful move, continuously launching attacks. The claws of the double-tailed scorpion tiger struck against Song Xiao's scales. Several scales were shattered and torn, resulting in a large wound. Then the double-tailed scorpion's tail spike was also swung over, stabbed directly into Song Xiao's back. The penetration power of this sting is extremely strong. Instantly, Song Xiao suffered a serious injury. Damn it! You instantly became furious upon seeing this situation. Then, a golden light shimmered on his body, and a dragon gate appeared. You, who have already partially transformed into a dragon, once again pass through the dragon gate. This time you directly transform into a five-clawed golden dragon that is over 12 meters long. The skill brought by your true dragon's body talent can make your body half-dragonized and dragonized. And the ultimate form is to directly transform into a true dragon and obtain the strongest fighting power. Maintaining the true form of adoration, the consumption of psychic energy is extremely terrifying. So you have never used this form before. But you once promised not to let Song Xiao and them get hurt. But now Song Xiao has suffered heavy blows in order to protect herself. How can you bear this? At this moment, the sound of your true dragon's roar resounds. The surrounding monsters suddenly trembled. Even some first and second tier low level monsters. Suddenly, he crawled on the ground and trembled in fear. And the aura you have right now also soared to the level of a fifth order intermediate magic monster. Then you directly controlled the cloud and rushed up. A stream of water suddenly sprayed halfway, weakening the charge of the double-tailed scorpion tiger, and the falling water turns into a rope to bind and restrain it. This way, let the attack power of the double-tailed scorpion tiger be further weakened. Even when your true dragon's claw falls, when reaching the head of the double-tailed scorpion lizard, this guy doesn't even have the ability to resist, directly pressed to the ground by a claw creating a large pit. Then the whole body was quickly divided by you into inches. In the blink of an eye, this is the fifth level. The double-tailed scorpion tiger is completely swallowed by you. 
The innate skill of the Chi Kiss can allow you to digest and absorb the energy of this fifth level magic monster, part of transforming into one's own strength. Although the process of conversion itself is extremely energy consuming, but Hausuei is a demon monster of the fifth rank, if fully absorbed, surely it can make your strength reach the third level. And on the other side, Song Shi Yao also possesses the talent of devouring. After devouring several demons, let the wounds on the body heal completely. Then you quickly hugged her and flew back to the city wall, walking back while training the body. No next time, I do not allow any of you to stand in front of me. I have said that I will protect you and protect myself even better. I don't need you to take matters into your own hands and shield me from harm. Song Shi Yao is held in your arms, her head resting on your chest. I know that your training room is for your own good, although there is some sweetness in my heart, but still appeared timid and cowardly, just responding with a lowered head, feeling gloomy, and you haven't always been reliable either. These few girls are all top-notch students of the same year. The brain is very useful. No need for you to repeatedly remind. After a lesson, it should be. I will not make the same mistake again. Send Song Shi Yao out of the combat zone. You also summarized the experience of this battle. With my own first tier intermediate level of psychic ability, kill ordinary monsters of the fifth rank superior under the true dragon form, just enough to kill the opponent without any harm. In other words, it is possible to kill with just three hits, and this true dragon form can only last about five minutes on its own. The duration of maintaining this form, your personal psychic level doesn't have much to do with it. After the spiritual power level has been universally elevated, the true dragon form is even stronger and consumes more. The duration of maintenance. The most direct influencing factor lies in the aspect of true dragon bloodline. In other words, if you want to obtain a longer duration of true dragon form to obtain purer bloodline. And currently, you have two options to enhance your bloodline. More creatures with true dragon bloodlines in the contract. Or perhaps to enhance the existing dragon spirit rank. The latter you are already using. After Song Shi Yao and her friends were promoted to the second level, you let it happen in the first place. They completed the leap over the dragon gate once again. Otherwise, they wouldn't have such high combat power. As for the former, this requires searching after the training is over. With the help of Xia Gunjun or Wan Siming's resources, some clues should be able to be found. Currently, the fundamental focus is on enhancing psychic abilities. Quickly enhance combat power. The next moment. You return to the outside of the city wall and continue fighting. Want to achieve through fighting. Digest and absorb the energy of that double-tailed scorpion tiger. And the next day at noon, you also officially stepped into the second level of the superior rank. The rapid growth of purchasing power brings you great satisfaction. But you did not relax at all. You need to become stronger. This way, no one will be hurt again because of themselves. Ten days have passed in the blink of an eye. And you killing the fifth level superior demon. It has also been known by the camp leader of the Ninth Heaven Hunting, Sun Gong. Today is the day when you and the three women are commended out of the ordinary. And when you enter the fortress conference room, Zhao Jin and Lu Hanjia were unexpectedly found competing here. The black aura on them became even denser at this moment. At the same time, they also exude a strong aura of killing intent. Obviously, there have been a lot of killings in these past few days. Calculate the time. You mortals have been here for one month and Zhao Jin and the two of them have only been here for half a month, but the killing intent on them, but it is not much weaker than your killing intent. At this moment, Sun Gong saw the four of you arrive and spoke up. Lu Jin, you killed a fifth level superior demon nine days ago, rescued many comrades. This is a great achievement for an ordinary soldier. So the demon cave camp now awards you with the federal third class merit once. At the same time, the title is promoted to the rank of centurion. This is the certificate medal and title of nobility for you. You accept the certificate and other items solemnly and bow. Thank you for the federal cultivation. Sun Gong nodded in satisfaction. You are excellent, but don't be arrogant. These two should be your classmates. They arrived half a month later than you, but the average number of kills is not less than yours. And four days ago, they also killed a fifth level monster. A black flame ghost wolf at the intermediate level of the fifth stage. He paused and looked at Zhao Jin before continuing to speak. You have also received third class merit once, but because it is two people. So the title of nobility is just that they have all obtained the title of Viscount. The next moment, after the commendation ceremony, you walked out of the fortress to the outside of the gate. But I heard the sound of Lu Hanjiao's voice coming. Lu Jin, I want to have another fight with you. You showed a mocking expression upon hearing the words. You think you're capable again. 
Go to the duel arena after the training session is over. I fulfill your wish. You did not refuse, because you know now to refuse. It will only lead to endless entanglement. It's better to set a time and place for yourself. Settle this matter by then. After speaking, you didn't even wait for Lu Hanjiao's response. Continue to move towards your own battle point. But Lu Hanjiao suddenly caught up with you again. Pointing at Xia Lingchan, she angrily asked. Wait a minute. Who is she? Is it also your contracted dragon spirit? Can't you just have a contract between two people? At this moment, Xia Lingchan took the initiative to step forward and hugged your arm. Not bad. I am also Lu Jin's contracted dragon spirit. This younger sister. Since you already have your own dragon master, please stop bothering my family and Lu Jin. You also smiled and said to Lu Hanjiao, Who told you that I can only contract with two people? Anything that I find acceptable can be contracted, but not including you. Willow trembled and said in a trembling voice, Another F-grade waste. Surprisingly, I ended up making contracts with three F-grade wastes in a row. Do not make a contract with me. Yen Hanjiao's mind is filled with anger and humiliation. You just want to disgust me. Unfortunately, you deliberately chose an F-grade waste contract to belittle me. Good. Very good. We meet at the duel arena. I will let you know. F-class waste is just waste. Even if you elevate them to SSS level. Still the same. And the third daughter, upon hearing these words, was about to erupt. I was pulled away by me without any care. Looking at the backs of the four people leaving, the sound of Lu Hanjiao's clenched fist was loud and crisp. Zhao Jin stepped forward upon seeing the situation and said, Jia Jio, don't worry, on the dueling field, we can definitely kill them. One month passed quickly. You have killed nearly 800 demons of third rank or higher. The target of 1000 is not far away. And the least completed quantity is Song Yunyao. There were also more than 620 kills. The main thing is that this girl kills the target, habitually devouring the other party afterwards. So it will delay a little time. Another two days passed. Mbuin Qinghan stepped into the lower third level, became your first tier 3 dragon spirit. Finally, the 42nd day, the assessment tasks of the four individuals have all met the standards. You come to the camp fortress to submit the wristband. Sun Gong checked it. Complex and shocked expression. Deserving of an SSS level talent. You passed. This is a certificate of completion for special training. Take it back to the city defense camp. You will be properly arranged. Go ahead. You and the three women returned to the city defense camp in Lingyang City. Meng Tai was surprised to see several people amazed at your speed of improvement. Similarly, it indicates the end of the assessment. Now you can choose to join the Federal Imperial Dragon Army, sent to the Demon Cave Camp or the Border Great Wall for duty. However, there is one month of consideration time. Miss Xia. Xia Lao said to go find him immediately after your training ends. That poverty. Mr. Ruan also said that you should give him a message when you come back. Xiao Lingchan's face immediately revealed an expression of longing upon hearing those words. So I ask if you can go back and see your parents. You go first to meet the parents of Lingyang City. I and Xi Yao accompany Qing Han to meet the dean. Then let's meet Grandpa Xia together tomorrow. After the agreement, several people separated. You have arrived at the college. I saw Ruan Siming in the office. Ruan Siming felt the presence of the three of you and exclaimed in surprise. Surprisingly, it has been upgraded to the third level in such a short period of time. Something prepared just for you. Now it can be used. Ruan Siming took out the box that had been prepared long ago. Inside the box is a bottle of light blue potion. This is the Wake Dragon Potion. Specially used to enhance the cultivation of dragon spirit. Take three doses. Can directly promote one level. And basically no side effects. You unanimously agreed to let Ruan Qinghan take it. You asked about Ruan Siming. Grandpa. Can you help me check something? Which previous test scores were excellent? But when she awakened, she turned out to be a girl with an F or E grade dragon spirit. Ruansaming immediately thought of the key point. Your meaning is among them. There may also be people like Qing Han and Xi Yao. Are there no people with truly awakened bloodlines? Yes, they could also be powerful dragon spirits. And such a dragon spirit is being ignored. It is a huge loss for our Federation of Fiery Summer. Hearing this, Ruan Siming sighed. Then I glared at you fiercely and threatened. If I find out that you bully the poor in the future, I have fought with this old bone. Also have to give you a taste of your own medicine. You come with me. Access the management system and check for yourself. As the dean of the college, Ruan Siming's personal account can access National Dragon Warrior Management System. View student information. Unfortunately, I have reviewed two sets of information and still have not found any results. 
Obviously, this is not an easy task. Ruan Siming gave you the account, allowing you to search with your mobile device on your own. And at this moment, Ruan Qinghan absorbed the Wake Dragon Potion, successfully promoted to the fourth level intermediate. You immediately let her complete another leap over the Dragon Gate, obtained one-tenth of the total attributes of a fourth-order Dragon Spirit. Three people practiced all night. The next day arrived at the agreed location. I saw Xia Ganjun at the Xia family residence. Xia Ganjun saw that Xia Lingchan's strength had improved so much as a mortal, also quite appreciated. He then looked at Ruan Qinghan. Qinghan, have you already taken the Wake Dragon Potion? Ruan Qinghan nodded. Yes, my grandfather only gave me one bottle. Xia Qinjun smiled and said, This medication is within my authority, can only apply for two bottles. He is able to get you a bottle, which is already considered pretty good. Both bottles are here. Take it, Lu Jin. Thank you, Grandpa Xia. You took the box with a smile. Then hand over the two potions to Song Xiao and Xia Ling. Let them absorb it. Subsequently, Xia Ganjun continued to speak. What are your plans for the future? Do you want to join the Imperial Dragon Army? I have fought carefully. I found that I am not suitable to join. The management of the Imperial Dragon Army is very strict. Not conducive to the development of my personal talents. I now have three dragon spirits. There may be more in the future. The battle coordination among us is crucial. If it is in sync with the military. On the contrary, it restricted our performance. So I am more inclined to become a free hunting demon group. Specializing in hunting and eliminating high level demonic creatures to eradicate threats. Xia Qianju nodded. Not bad. You have a clear understanding of yourself. No matter how you choose. Everyone must ensure that they can grow. This is for you. This is the first gift I give you in the true sense. He took out a box. This box is very big. After opening it, I found it to be a set of armor. This is memory armor, also known as transformers. After reaching the seventh stage, the dragon master. You can activate the dragon transformation ability to become a dragon human form. During the process, the clothes will directly burst. Memory armor can increase in size according to changes in body shape. More importantly, it can absorb psychic attacks, reduce a portion of psychic damage. It originally belonged to me and was called Yuan Long. However, I no longer have the opportunity to use it. Now passing it to you, you are overjoyed and delighted upon hearing these words. Thought it was just an ordinary armor. Thank you, grandfather. Xia Qinjun smiled and said, Okay, you focus on practicing. They all stepped into the fourth level. You are still at the third level. Isn't it just dragging them down? Grandfather, rest assured, I can also step into the fourth level immediately. Xia Ganjun thought you were just talking. I didn't expect Xia Lingchan to finish her promotion. You let her complete a leap over the Dragon Gate. One's own psychic level directly starts from three. A higher level stepped down to the lower level. Xia Ganjun was shocked and stunned. Your talent is truly extraordinary. Never heard of it. In this way, if you have enough contract dragon spirits, isn't it possible to continuously add strength? After a brief exchange of pleasantries, the four of them left the Red Bend City together. According to regulations, registering for the demon hunting team must be done upon graduation. Registering in the city where the institution is located facilitates management, and become the minimum member of the demon hunting team. The requirement is to achieve the fourth order. You four now just meet the requirements. Arrived at the registration hall of the demon hunting team, you find that people come and go here. It is a group of people around the age of 30. Like them, young and full of energy just after graduation, did not see anyone, four people arrived at the registration office. The registration personnel paused for a moment upon seeing how many of you there were, then explained with a smile, little brother, we only have levels 4 and above here, only the dragon warriors can register, it is not possible to establish a demon hunting group just after awakening, you also said with a smile, I know, we have all reached the fourth level, direct detection is possible although Miss G doesn't believe it, but still, they went to the testing office with four people, after a moment, she respectfully brings you back to register again, then it will represent the fourth order demon hunter warrior, the black iron medal has been awarded to you, the onlookers see the four of you, after obtaining the black iron medal, everyone is extremely shocked, this gave them a sense of age, the feeling of living like a dog, and you were just about to leave the registration office, but I unexpectedly ran into two acquaintances face to face. It is Zhao Jin and Lu Hanja. Coincidentally, since we've met, let's go to the duel arena. Ruan Qinghan looked at Zhao Jin and said word by word. The challenges she faced that day remain fresh in her memory. 
Between speaking, the fierce aura of the orbital shame area is released. She has already reached the intermediate level of the fourth stage. The released terror pressure has already not lower than a sixth level superior monster. This powerful momentum appears. Let Zhao Zhen, who was originally prepared to speak harshly, turn pale. And when you see four people with black iron representing their chests, after the medal of the demon hunter, he was even more shocked. His pupils dilated. You, you all have actually reached the fourth level. Ruan Qing coldly smiled. Yes, we have reached the fourth level. What? Are you scared now? Zhao Zhen did not respond. She looked at Lu Hanjiao, who was biting her teeth in extreme humiliation. On the side again. You're scared too. Lu Hanjiao is indeed scared. They agreed to a life and death battle. She has a clear understanding of her current abilities. She teamed up with Zhao Zhen. It is very difficult to deal with a fifth level superior monster. Not to mention Wan Qinghan, who is comparable to a sixth level demon. Wan Qinghan is not someone who can easily forgive others. Said coldly. If you're scared, just say it. Surrender to us. I'll let you go this time. Yen Hanjiao heard the words. The fingernails are almost digging into one's own flesh. Zhao Zhen has already been frightened out of his wits. At this moment, hearing that one can spare oneself. Unexpectedly, he immediately went weak in the legs and knelt down. I surrender. Lu Hanjiao still remained silent. Ruan Qinghan came to Lu Hanjiao's side. A cold voice sounded in her ear. Lu Zhen is mine. In the future, you will not be able to pick faults again. Don't blame me for bullying the weak. After speaking, she hugged one of your arms and walked away into the distance. After Ruan Qinghan left, Lu Hanjiao, he was panting heavily. Fine beads of sweat seeped through the forehead. Zhao Zhen stood up. I feel very embarrassed just now, but still asked. Zhao Zhao, are you okay? I really didn't expect it. They suddenly become so powerful. I'm not afraid of dying myself, but I'm afraid that engaging in a duel would hurt you. The next time, wait until our strength improves. I will definitely help you vent your anger. Various thoughts emerged in Lu Hanjiao's mind. Looking at Zhao Zhen, he asked, is our medicine the strongest? Do they have better medicine in their hands? Why did we take the medication twice? The speed improvement is not as good as theirs. Zhao Zhen was momentarily stunned by the words. They definitely also took medication, but did not perceive the magic energy. Should not be a magic potion. Possibly the latest product being researched above. Lu Hanjiao, upon hearing the words, almost whispered to Zhao Zhen, You look so handsome. Now we are not as talented as them. Resources are also incomparable. What can I compare with them? Zhao Zhen was momentarily speechless. Suddenly thought of something. Gritting one's teeth, he said, They registered the demon hunting team and are definitely going out of the city. We are proceeding according to the previous plan. Pay to have them eliminated. By then, they will be at our mercy. Lu Hanjia turned around and left without saying a word. Zhao Xin can go and do this, but she doesn't want to involve herself, because it includes Xia Qianjuan's granddaughter. Hold accountable. Not something that small business owners like her family can afford. And Zhao Xin believed that Lu Hanjiao agreed. Just not happy. Decided secretly that I must do it beautifully. Let your own delicate goddess spend her anger. On the other side, you brought three beautiful girls to A. In the single family villa with a courtyard. This will be our home in Lingyang City from now on. Before stepping into the fifth level, we will all be doing tasks near Lingyang City. It is safer to practice when you come back in the evening. We fight independently, not like the demon's lair camp, which has the support of comrades. The danger of fighting at night is too high. And currently, the most important thing for us is to cultivate. Killing monsters and completing quests is just one way to strengthen oneself. The improvement of spiritual power is the most fundamental. Song Shi Yao is extremely happy. Great. I finally have my own home. About the fact that both Song Shi Yao and you are orphans. Xia Lingchan and Ruan Qinghan naturally both know. Xia Lingchan stepped forward and grabbed Song Shi Yao's arm. You still have us. Your family. Song Shi Yao nodded suddenly. She said with a smile. I have Ling Ling's sister. Qing Han's sister. There is also Lu Jin's husband. Hearing Rong Shi Yao's address to you. Xia Lingchan's face turned red. Ruan Qinghan also gave you a stern look. Don't call him husband. Don't let him deceive you. He is a fickle person. You, on the other hand, have a helpless expression with your hands spread out. Young people are full of energy. Four people stayed indoors for three days and three nights. Consistently consolidate the strength of the fourth order. Then I decided to go out and do a task. Open the projection screen on the wristband. Choose suitable tasks. Finally, a moderate difficulty level that is not dangerous has been determined. 
A task that also needs to be taken seriously. Mission, kill the crimson fire flying panther. Description, yesterday at 4 o'clock in the morning, the Ginshin Sword Mountain scenic area observed a 6th level intermediate demon, crimson firefly, please go and kill it. The satellite will record the completion status of the judgment task, reward 500 points, and when the four people left the city of Linyang, Zhao Zhen immediately received the message. Then he notified another group of people about the news. After the matter is accomplished, the remaining half of the payment will be transferred to you through the black market. Remember, all four of these people are useless. Dragon Spirit wants to directly destroy the Dragon Spirit Core. Dragon Master destroys the spiritual energy core. The person opposite smirked cunningly. Don't worry, boss. Just four small troublemakers at the fourth level. Our operation this time is going to be deployed. Two six-order silver demon hunters, and two experts at the level of five-star bronze demon hunters. It's a piece of cake to handle the four of them. Just four young boys and girls who have recently completed a contract. No matter how high the talent is, it is still at the fourth level. And yet you are completely unaware of this. After leaving Linyang City, the third daughter directly transforms into a dragon spirit form, flew forward on Xiaolingchan's back. The speed is not slower than the sixth order dragon spirit. Soon you arrived at the Shanjian Mountain scenic area. This is a deep mountain forest. The trees are over 30 meters tall. It's really not easy to find the demons and monsters hidden among them. Ruan Qinghan's changing sleep suddenly shouted loudly. Roaring sound shakes the heavens, seemingly proclaiming authority. Her second talent is to ward off evil. It is a deterrent and a provocation to evil things. Now she is only at the fourth level. Cannot deter a sixth level monster. So in the eyes of the other party, this is provocation. A sound that resembles a dog's bark and a lion's roar is heard. Immediately following, a completely black bodied. There is a tuft of fiery red hair on the top of the head. A pair of bat-like flesh wings grow on the back, resembling a fiery red hairpin, appearing in the sight of everyone. Yeah yo, give it a big blister. Song Shi Yao immediately released a large water bubble upon hearing the words, flying towards the red fire sunflower, about to be enveloped. However, soon afterwards, a fierce flame spewed out from the red fire, directly shattered the water bubble. At this moment, Xia Lingchan released a sound wave attack, hit that red firefly so hard that it becomes super interesting. Ruan Qinghan transformed into a blur and pounced forward. The claws reached for the back of Akabana's head, strike at the heart with one move. The third daughter went through more than a month of adjustment in battles. Their cooperation is already very tacit. Let the red fire be exhausted in dealing with it. The sixth level demon was beaten without any ability to fight back. Finally, end with resentment. Then you let Song Xiao devour that monster. After swallowing, the bracelet sends a notification indicating that the task has been completed. 500 points credited. Each person gets 125. The first mission went so smoothly. Let you all be happier. But on your way back, suddenly, a breaking sound came from the sky. Ruan Qinghan reacts quickly. Suddenly swung out with a claw. The sound of clashing gold and iron resounds. I saw a thick crossbow arrow being shot and flying away. Mangnyu meal. Ruan Qing coldly uttered three words. This thing is an advanced equipment designed for large-scale monsters. If used properly, it can penetrate the sixth-level magic monster and make it heavy. The other party is using this thing to attack. It is evident that it was done with the intention of causing serious injury, disability, or even death. Then there is no need to hold back. She went straight up. Four people appeared on the land. Two men and two women. A pair of five steps. A pair of six order. The girl instantly transformed into a dragon spirit form. It turned into a golden dragon crocodile with five levels of hierarchy. The other one has transformed into a sixth order intermediate frost dragon leopard. Chi Chi is rushing towards you. These people have been planning for a long time. At this moment, suddenly take action. Seize the initiative from the start. Kid, you alone contract three dragon spirits. Talent is really strange. However, there are so many people in the contract. No one is here to protect you. It seems that this is not a good thing. Rushing towards you, the fifth level dragon rider, Ma Song, laughed. You smile faintly. Is there a possibility? I don't need their protection. Ma Song burst into laughter upon hearing the words. Ha ha, your talent can contract three dragon spirits. How much can it amplify yourself again? Do you think you're invincible just because you're wearing a suit of armor? In the midst of speaking, his eyes looked at the suit of armor with a greedy expression. Kid, take off the armor. I want you to die quickly and painlessly. Otherwise, you will wish you were dead. Matsong said to grab the machete behind and swing it towards you. 
you calmly summoned the Dragon Gate. While crossing the Longmen, he said, I don't need their protection, because I am stronger than them. After passing through the Dragon Gate, your original height was 1, 85 meters, directly increased to 2 meters 3. The terrifying aura of a true dragon is released. Let the horse, Matt's son, rushing towards you, feel a moment of coolness. You reached out and directly grabbed his machete in your hand, and then suddenly pulled back. Ma Song was quickly pulled closer by this force. Your other dragon claw slapped on his shoulder. The terrifying force sent him flying directly, stopped after hitting several large trees. The entire shoulder bone is shattered and extremely painful. As Marson's body fell towards the ground, you have also jumped over, stepped on his left leg knee. The excruciating pain made him unable to help but scream out. And what made him even more terrified was, you immediately stepped on his intact right leg. Give him the ultimate enjoyment of pain. The look in Marson's eyes towards you is like, looking at a demon-like figure. He quickly turned to the other side for help, but found their own dragon spirit and teammates. The outcome is similar to oneself. Those three girls who clearly only have a fourth grade level, the displayed combat power even exceeds the sixth rank. And Matson's contract dragon spirit is just. It is a golden crocodile with five levels. Her opponent, however, is the most ferocious sleeper. The opponent specially chosen by Wan Qinghan. Just want to get rid of the other person first. This is how you can gain an advantage. And her battle process is just as decisive and efficient as yours. The golden dragon crocodile relies on the dragon tamer to enhance it. Fly with wings and attack in the air. But it is, after all, a terrestrial organism. Engaging in aerial combat is inherently self-destructive. But Ruan Qinghan's flying ability is a natural supernatural power. Control and maneuver cloud mist flight. There will not only be no loss of combat effectiveness. Instead, it greatly increases her attack speed. The sixth order crimson fire Feijua can't catch up. Not to mention this golden dragon crocodile. A glance. Ruan Qinghan used his claws to disembowel the golden dragon crocodile. A series of attacks followed immediately. There were numerous wounds on the body of the golden dragon crocodile. In the blink of an eye, a good piece of meat disappeared. Loss of blood and psychic energy. Let the golden dragon alligator fall to the ground and regain its human form. When Marson looked over, he wanted to ask for help. What you see is your own contractual partner. The scene of convulsions on the ground. That scene is even more miserable than him. Ruan Qinghan quickly tidied up the golden dragon crocodile. Turn around and help Xia Lingchan and Song Xiao. But they found that these two people had already ended the battle. Song Xiao is facing an icy frost dragon leopard. It is a dragon beast that can harness the power of frost. But Song Xiao has the ability to control water. It is the true inherent nature of talent. Frost is just a form of water. Able to prevent the power of frost from harming oneself. And she, who also possesses the gift of flight. Speed also far exceeds the frost dragon leopard. After quickly arriving by the side of the frost dragon leopard. She, the tail forcefully struck the waist of the frost dragon leopard. Just one strike. The waist of the frost dragon leopard is broken. Struggling painfully on the ground. Transformed into human form. As for the battle between Xia Lingchan and the 6th level Dragon Master, it is even more one-sided in pushing the withered and decayed. 6th rank Imperial Dragon Envoy Shi Jichou held a long cold blade, which was the weapon that his B-rank talent manifested, named, Crystal Blade Cold Blade, and there had already been many demonic monsters and human beings who had died under this blade. Shi Jichou was the one who took on this mission. He had plenty of confidence in this mission. A pair of 5th order and a pair of 6th order Imperial Dragon Warriors, Packing up four fourth order imperial dragon warriors wasn't a piece of cake? He was a bit surprised when the Magneo crossbow failed in its sneak attack. But it didn't matter, he still felt that everything was under control. However, when he used the wings given by Ma Song to fly into midair towards Song Xiao, he panicked. A sound that seemed to be an ancient zither rang out, and immediately afterward, a sonic blade flew head on. He hurriedly blocked it with his crystal blade cold blade. The sound wave blade crossed his long knife without any obstruction, to be precise, it was him who used his long knife to pass through the sound wave. Using the blade of a long knife to block a sound wave was clearly useless. A sharp pain came, blood spurted out, and the warm blood even splashed into Shi Ji Chao's eyes as he realized that his shoulder had been cut out by the sonic blade. It was deep enough to see the bone. Shi Ji Chao hurriedly mobilized his ice cold power, attempting to use the cold ice wall formed by his spiritual energy and ice cold power to resist the sound wave attack but he had underestimated the power of the sound wave attack. At the sound of a zither, the ice wall shook, at the second zither sound, the ice wall shattered, and at the third zither sound, the sound wave blade once again landed on his body. And after that, it was a death by a thousand cuts. A song of liver and intestines broken, 
where to find a soulmate at the end of the world. Xiaoling Chan's ambush on ten fronts had only played a third of the way through, and Shi Jicho had already knelt. He didn't do it voluntarily. The kneecaps of both legs were shattered, and on his thighs and calves, the dense wounds could almost be seen as bones. On his back, chest, and both arms, there wasn't a single spot that was intact. He held the crystal blade cold knife with both hands, the tip of the knife inserted into the ground, propping up his body, not collapsing, only kneeling. When Ma Song saw three of his teammates end up as miserable as he did, or even more miserable than he was, his entire brain roared. Only then did he realize that this time, just what kind of demonic existence had they messed with. Lu Xun was also staggered as he watched that sixth order imperial dragon envoy kneeling on the ground like a puddle of rotten meat. He could understand that Wan Qinghan had been so ferocious in his actions. After all, it was Jarius, and being a bit vicious was very much in line with Wan Qinghan's temperament. Song Xiao's methods were relatively softer, but it was only breaking that frost dragon leopard's waist. Lu Xun was a bit surprised when Xia Lingchan, a gentle and elegant woman, beat a person to such a hellish state. Violence, all too violent, but I like it. Lu Xun stepped on Ma Song's arm, used a little force, and laughed coldly. Why did you come to sneak up on us? If you don't tell us, I'll make your lives worse than death. That golden dragon crocodile is your contracted dragon spirit, right? So let's start with her. The pain on his body made Ma Song shiver, and he hurriedly said, That sixth order imperial dragon envoy is our boss, the order was taken by him, I don't know who it is. Big brother, grandpa, please spare us this time. In front of life and death, his choice was clear, to beg for mercy and live, even if there was only a glimmer of hope. For someone like him, who wandered on the edge of life and death, he was precisely the most afraid of death. After all, after experiencing so many dangers and surviving with great difficulty, how could he be willing to die so easily? His voice was so loud that Wan Qinghan and the girls could hear him. Xia Lingchan looked at the sixth-ranked imperial dragon envoy in front of her, she still maintained her bull horns and dragon body in the form of a captive bull, domineering and condescending as she droned. Say, by whose orders were you instructed? With the idea of dragging others down with him, Shi Jichao didn't hide anything and opened his mouth. We talked through the darknet and traded in cash, however, if you have the strength, you can take my call records to check. What people you have offended, you should know it yourselves. Lu Xun immediately thought of the two people, Zhao Xin and Lu Hanyo, after all, he had a bit of conflict and contradiction with these two. In his memory, he didn't have any other enemies either. Lu Xun wasn't sure if the other party was lying or not, he wasn't a professional interrogator after all. Qing Han, send a message to battalion commander Meng, he should come over to clean up the mess. Upon hearing Lu Xun's command, Ruan Qing Han immediately informed Meng Tai. Meng Tai was very angry at the news that someone was dealing with Lu Xun. This was a rare SSS-class gifted imperial dragon envoy, who was also able to help other dragon spirits evolve to become SSS-class, and was definitely a key protection object at the federal level. If he let Lu Xun have an accident within his jurisdiction, then he would be held responsible. Send me the location, you guys wait, I'll be there in 10 minutes. After Meng Tai finished speaking, he directly went to call for his daughter-in-law and a line of personal guards. Soon, a frost-winged dragon arrived with several flying dragon spirits as well as a cage. Meng Tai jumped down from his own daughter-in-law, Frost Pterodactyl Lu Xiang, and directly kicked at the body of 6th Order Imperial Dragon Envoy Shi Jichao, cursing under his breath. It's you bastard. How dare you make a move on Lu Xun and the others, do you know who they are? That one is the granddaughter of the Xiaxin guards, you're done for, this is how you'll be in this life. Explain everything you know, or else I have a hundred ways to make sure you can't die or live. Meng Tai's expression was very ferocious, and the words he uttered were even more frightening to Shi Jichao's heart. Early knowing that the identity of these people is so uncomplicated, they are absolutely not dare to take this single business, now regret is already too late, just beg to pull down that guy who placed the order, so that there is also a mat for his back when he dies. Letting his men load these people into cages, Meng Tai walked towards Lu Xun and inquired, How is it? What are the injuries? Lu Xun waved his hand. No, a few small stragglers, handled casually. Only, I would also like to ask Battalion Commander Meng to be able to help us quickly find out who was behind this, after all, I don't want to be counted out either. Meng Tai nodded and said, Don't worry about this, we will definitely find out who is behind this. As humans, mutilating a genius with SSS grade talent, they are already tantamount to traitors, the matter is very serious, and Elder Xiao will surely personally ask about it. But these four people are not weak, you four, are you really alright? Ruan Qinghan came along at this time and said, it's just a 6th rank silver demon hunter warrior, even if I were to fight you, the current me wouldn't necessarily lose. Meng Tai laughed. Ha ha, Ching Han, I heard that you have become a SSS rank dragon spirit, when you have the chance, you must let your sister-in-law fight you, haven't you always wanted to go head to head with her? There will be a chance, it won't be too far away. You guys are now at the middle level of the 7th rank, 
when I step into the upper level of the fifth rank, I'll be sure that I'll be able to compete with you. Ruan Qinghan said confidently. At this moment, the beautiful woman Lu Xiang, who had transformed from her frost pterodactyl form into a human form, walked over, swaying her body, and laughed daintily. Yo yo yo! I thought who was so loud, it turns out to be Ching Han's sister. What, now that you have a man, you don't put this bit of strength of your sister in your eyes? Hearing Lu Xiang's words, Ruan Ching Han held her head high and smiled. Right, what, can't I, or Ruan Ching Han, have a man? My man made me evolve from an F-class dragon spirit to an SSS-class dragon spirit, can your man? Ugh, you can't say these words. You two fight, don't hurt me by mistake. Meng Tai said bitterly. He was nothing more than an A-ranked gifted person, when there was no S-ranked gifted person to match with Lu Xiang in that session, so he was allowed to pick up the slack and obtain the S-ranked contracted dragon spirit frost winged dragon. Lu Xiang had always said that he was married down, and he had doted on this wife. At this moment, comparing him to Lu Xian, a SSS ranked dual talent pervert, was really a bit like rubbing salt in the wound. Lu Xiang also rolled her eyes when she heard this and glared at Meng Tai before walking over to Ruan Ching Han and suddenly reached out and pinched her breasts, shaking her head and laughing. You haven't even been moisturized here, how can you be considered to have a man? Oh yes, people have just turned 18, you are 22, is it because of the large age gap? There is a kind of old cow eating young grass guilt, so you can't get off the mouth ah? These words were said in such a way that Song Xiao and Xia Lingchan in the back heard their faces blush. Especially Xia Lingchan, she was still a year older than Wan Qinghan, so she was even more of an old cow. On the other hand, Lu Xin, who was the young grass, was as normal and unperturbed, seemingly deaf to their conversation. Wan Qinghan spat, and her face flushed a few points. In terms of playing rogue, where was she a match for a mature woman like Lu Xiang? Slapping away Lu Xiang's hand, she glared. Humph. You wait, I can definitely break through to the fifth rank in less than a year. I'll come and challenge you then, and when I beat you, I'll just hold you down and spank you on the ground like you did to me before. As the words came out of his mouth, Wan Ching Han suddenly realized that he seemed to have told his black history. For a moment it was like a thunderbolt, frozen in place. Lu Xiang, on the other hand, let out a giggle, slapped Wan Ching Han's buttocks, turned around and left, leaving behind a sentence before transforming into a frosty pterodactyl form and flying up. Yeah, sister crosses her ass and waits for you ah. Old Meng, let's go, don't disturb Ching Han and her little man. Meng Tai smiled awkwardly towards Lu Xin at his words, then also dropped a sentence and jumped onto the frost winged dragon to leave. Lu Xin, protect yourself and your contracted dragon spirit. Although there was some resentment in his heart for being called a little man, Lu Xin had more sympathy in his heart for Meng Tai, having a petite wife in the family is hard to cure, and his sister-in-law was not a good person to deal with at first glance, but it was a bitter experience for battalion commander Meng. Ruan Qinghan returned to her senses and looked at Song Xiao and Xia Lingchan. Unsurprisingly, these two were both covering their mouths, desperately trying to hold back their laughter. Ruan Qinghan said expressionlessly, You guys can laugh if you want to. Song Xiao, this silly girl, really let go of her hand and laughed out loud when she heard this. Ruan Qinghan's face darkened. The four of them returned to the city and went to their rooms to cultivate. Time turned to the next morning. Early in the morning, the four of them ate breakfast, Lu Xin's three sat at the table, Song Xiao covered her small buttocks with one hand and stood in front of the table with an indignant face, not daring to sit down either, seemingly afraid of the pain. She ate her meal in large gulps, seemingly expressing her dissatisfaction with the absence of simple trust between people in this way. At this time, Meng Tai sent a communication request. Lu Xin connected, and the bracelet hit the projection to see Meng Tai's image. The mastermind behind this has been found, and the person has been captured, but he's implicated in more than just the assassination of you, so come over here in person, and talk about the specific issues, face to face. The address is no. 7, Building 3, no. 7, 5th Street, Linyang City's no. 6, Supervisory District. Meng Tai spoke seriously about the matter, but the specifics were not stated in the middle of the call, so it seemed that the things involved were not small. Lu Xin then replied to go over immediately. After a few people prepared themselves, they arrived at prison area 6 together. They arrived within a surveillance room, Meng Tai was here, and city lord Lu Tianlin was even there. Within the surveillance screen was an interrogation room, and there were three people inside, two of them were familiar, it was Zhao Jin and Lu Hanyo, while the other one, looked a little similar to Zhao Jin. On their bodies, they were all wearing a kind of black ring called spirit prohibiting ring, restricting the operation of spiritual energy. Seeing Lu Jin's few people arrive, Lu Tianlin spoke first. You four aren't hurt, are you? Lu Xin shook his head and said. No, thank you city lord for your concern. Lu Tianlin nodded and said. It's good that you're fine, the four people who dealt with you this time were instructed by Zhao Jin, and on him, we detected a contraband called the magic spirit potion. Through tracing, we finally confirmed that the magic spirit potion came from his father, Zhao Yongcheng. 
The Magic Spirit Potion was developed by the Holy Spirit Cult, an organization intent on destroying the peace of mankind. The cult of the Holy Spirit colluded with demons to create chaos amongst humans, assassinating human geniuses and inducing humans to fall, using all sorts of tactics. In short, they were the scum of humanity. Zhao Jin is connected to this matter, and with the murder of you, he's bound to die. Meng Tai picked up the conversation. However, regarding this matter of assassinating you, Zhao Jin said that it was all directed by his own indignation, and the call records were only traced back to him, so it can't involve Lu Hanyao. Lu Jin suddenly thought of the black chi that he had previously seen through his passive talent, True Dragon's vision, and asked. Then, did Lu Hanyao also take the magic spirit potion? Meng Tai nodded and said. Yes, she also took the demon spirit potion, but neither Zhao Jin nor he himself knew that it was the potion given by the Holy Spirit cult, and the only person who was involved with the Holy Spirit cult is Zhao Jin's father, Zhao Yongcheng, and the two of them are considered victims of the demon spirit potion. In other words, they were the ones that Holy Ghost cult was infiltrating. Therefore, after setting aside the matter of buying a murderer, theoretically speaking, Lu Han Yu is innocent. Saying this, he added another sentence. Don't worry, I don't believe that this matter has nothing to do with Lu Hanyo, as long as we continue to interrogate, there will definitely be a result. Just as he finished saying this, he saw the door to the surveillance room not far away being pushed open. Two people walked in. A man and a woman, the man was wearing the uniform of a soldier commander, one level higher than Meng Tai in rank. The woman, on the other hand, was wearing a short skirt and low-chested dress, stepping on high heels wearing black silk, her plump hips swaying left and right, her eyebrows showing a flirtatious flavor. This woman, looking in Lu Hanyo and seven points similar. The man walked in front of Meng Tai, took out a document and spoke. Battalion Commander Meng, I'm the Eastern War Zone Coastal Defense Border Troop Commander Sun Lumo, this is my ID, I'm here to bail out Lu Hanyo. The flirtatious woman looked at Lu Zhen and laughed lightly. You are Lu Zhen, right? I am Lu Hanyo's elder sister, Lu Hanyan, I remember when you were with my family Jia Jia for two years. What, now that you have awakened your advanced talent, you can't see my sister anymore? She spoke with a seductive flavor, but her tone was aggressive. Lucian sniffed but felt amused in his heart. Since he knew about his talent awakening, it was impossible not to know that it was Lu Hanjia who first dumped him who had awakened a D-rank talent, and now she came to blame him who had awakened a SSS rank talent for not going to contract with Lu Hanjia. What a big face. Lucian, however, didn't argue with her about anything, but arrogantly said. Right. Even if I contract an F-ranked dragon spirit, I can turn it into an SSS rank talent, so why don't I choose one that's better behaved and prettier, and pick one like Lu Hanyo that's short-tempered and ugly? With these words, it was a deliberate target. It wasn't true that Lu Hanyo had a big mistemper, but this posture was definitely of first-class caliber. However, it was cool to say this. Lu Hanyo's face turned cold at these words, and the smile on her face tightened up as she swept a glance at the three Xiao Lingchan before speaking. Yes, three beautiful women, serving a man together, is indeed more cost-effective. Lu Jin had to admit that this was indeed his weakness. Although it wasn't absolute monogamy in this world, and there were cases where some people possessed contracted two or more dragon spirits, most of the time, it was still a royal dragon envoy contracted to one dragon spirit. The two were initially a couple, and later on, they were husband and wife. For most of the girls, of course, they preferred to have one couple for a lifetime, with the Imperial Dragon Envoy having only one contracted dragon spirit of his own. At this time, Xia Lingchan stood out and came before Lu Hanyan. This is a matter between the four of us, it's not your turn to interrupt. Lu Hanyan was just about to continue saying something when Lu Tianlin and Meng Tai had already finished dealing with Sun Lumo, who walked over and said, Let's go, we can take Zhao Zhao away. Lu Hanyan sniffed and finally looked at Lu Zhen and said, We will meet again. After saying that, she twisted around and left, her back still swaying. Meng Tai then sighed and said, Sun Luma's grandfather, the deputy Jingwa of the Eastern War Zone, and his father also holds a high position at the sea defense border, they stepped in to bail out, even if there is an intervention by the Xia Jingwa in this matter, we can't forcefully detain Lu Hanyo who doesn't have sufficient evidence. Lu Jin nodded back. Alright, let's leave this matter as it is, Lu Hanyo will never stop if she really wants to deal with me. If there is a next time, let her pay the price. He also did not expect that Lu Hanjo had such a background that Sun Rumao's connections could also reach the level of deputy town guard, without solid evidence, it was true that one could not obtain the desired result through proper means. Relying on other people's power to fight for justice for oneself was obviously unreliable. One was not strong enough to blame anyone. Lu Tianlin spoke. Lu Jin, why don't you join the Imperial Dragon Army, no one can harm you in the barracks. Whether you stay in the city defense camp or go to the border, at least you don't have to worry about being sneak attacked and assassinated. Lu Jin shook his head and said. Thank you for the city lord's good intentions, but for us, joining the royal dragon army isn't conducive to growth. 
We can only deal with all external threats if we get stronger faster. Relying on others for protection is never a long-term solution. Lu Tianlin pondered for two, said in a loud voice. Let's put it this way, Lu Jin, I will open the special talent protection mechanism for you. When you need help, invoke the hand ring, it will automatically trigger the call for help mechanism. At that time, the three closest strongest warriors within a certain range around you will receive your call for help message. The highest you can ask for help from a ninth order dragon envoy is a bit of a guarantee. You have to remember that your safety is important to the entire federation. Lu Jin did not refuse this time and agreed. With this matter concluded, Lu Jin and the three girls returned home. Before leaving, Lu Jin asked for a copy of the information about the members of the Lu clan as well as Sun Lumo. The Lu clan group was a family business that spanned two war zones, the central war zone as well as the eastern war zone. The Lu family had a total of two daughters and a younger brother, the eldest sister, Lu Hanyan, was 21 years old, a class A dragon spirit firehorn dragon, contracted with the second youngest member of the Sun family, the class B gifted Sun Lumo. Sun Luma's grandfather, Sun Liancheng, is the deputy town guard of the Eastern War Zone, he is the second youngest in the family, the eldest, Sun Luguang, is at SS grade talent, so he is considered to have failed to awaken. Seeing a piece of information in the profile, Lu Jin couldn't help but let out an astonished gasp. He saw that it was written that Sun Lumo originally had a marriage contract with Su Zitong, the granddaughter of Su Dingyuan, who was the main town guard of the Eastern War Zone, but Su Zitong had awakened the F-rank talent dragon spirit, Mocking Wind, so Sun Lumao repented of the marriage and chose Lu Hanyan, who had awakened the A-rank talent, instead. After the Lu family climbed up the Sun family's backing, it developed into a large-scale business conglomerate spanning two war zones in more than a dozen cities in one fell swoop. On a certain level, the Lu family was actually just a dog of the Sun family. Lu Jin was not interested in the Lu family. What really interested him was the Mocking Wind, a dragon spirit, and if he remembered correctly, this was also one of the true dragon bloodlines. This made Lu Jin very excited. He had been too busy in the past two days to have the time to carefully check the information of the girls who had awakened in previous sessions, and the last girls had not yet finished reading, so naturally, he could not see Su Zitong, who was supposed to be 21 years old now as well, and was three sessions older than himself. However, he didn't expect to see it through this way. He immediately chose to pull up Su Zitong's basic information. Su Zitong, 21 years old, awakened F-class dragon spirit, Mocking Wind, currently the president of the Yuanhang Trading Group. The information was simple, but it was enough for Lu Jin to determine that this was the dragon spirit he was looking for. His own talent made him destined to become a fraternizer, giving every lost maiden a chance to gain salvation. For every additional dragon spirit, one could double one's cultivation speed, gain an attribute bonus, have one increase in true dragon status, and gain two new divine talent skills. How could he let go of such a good thing? a chance to become powerful. But just as he was about to take action, he suddenly remembered what Lu Hanyan had just said in the monitoring room of the 6th prison area. The three girls in front of him were already not easy to appease, and if he had to contract another one, he didn't know how to deal with it. Not every girl can be as good as Song Xiao's naive and naive bag of tricks. A real man has to face the storm head on, this is a problem that he will have to face sooner or later, so he decided that it would be better to pick things apart first. So, he directly called the three girls to the living room and then said, Regarding my talent and the matter of contracting a dragon spirit, I think we need to speak openly and honestly about it. For example, if I contract someone else afterward, what do you guys think? Although, we are all just ordinary friends now, but after all, we have to live under one roof, cultivate together, and fight side by side, I don't want there to be any barriers between us. If you guys want to leave, I won't stop you. As soon as Lu Jin said this, Song Xiao grabbed his arm with a nervous face and said, you said that you wouldn't not want me. Lu Jin touched her hair and smiled gently. Of course I won't not want you, as long as you guys don't leave me of your own accord, I will always protect you with my life. Well, I won't leave you, only you can afford to support me, husband. Song Xiao said contentedly. Lu Jin knew that what she said about being able to afford to feed and the like was just a pretext, and in reality, she was genuinely clinging to herself, not just for the sake of having enough to eat. After all, with her current talent and strength, Casually killing and devouring a few demonic monsters wouldn't make her hungry. Xia Lingchan opened her mouth and said, I've been a singer for five years, and although music is my favorite, this world is the world of the imperial dragon envoys and dragon spirits, and without power, one is ultimately at the bottom of society. So during these five years, even though I was shining brightly on stage, when I returned to my room I felt very helpless and insecure. Until the day I contracted with you. I became an SSS class dragon spirit, mastered the power, and also comprehended a part of the true meaning of music, and it's no exaggeration to say that you brought me back to life. So, that day, I decided that I would follow you. Just like what I said that day, if you don't leave me, I will follow you in life and death. 
We're friends now, and you're one point stronger with one more contracted dragon spirit, so I'll support you. As for whether or not the relationship will change in the future, no matter what, I will be by your one side, at least it will be as a friend. Lucian was touched and wanted to give his big sister a hug. This time, she surprisingly didn't avoid it, but allowed Lucian to hug her, then patted him on the back and said, Just this once, we're friends, so in the future, please pay attention to your measurements. Lucian said with a smile. Understood, copy. Now that they were friends, it was only a matter of time before they became good brothers who slept under the same blanket after spending time together, right? Lucian was just a vulgar person who wanted to take advantage of all the good things. He looked at Ruan Qinghan. When Ruan Qinghan saw everyone looking over, he sighed and said, I want to become stronger, and you, you're the best choice for me. As Sister Ling Chan said, you have also given me a new life, and I will always be by your side, as a comrade in arms. Lucian was now relieved and smiled. Great, it seems that we all have the same goal of becoming stronger, then after that, if there are any newcomers joining our group, you guys have to help persuade them as well. Seeing that he had gotten the better of him and stomped on his nose, Wan Qinghan rolled her eyes and was about to leave. But he was stopped by Lu Jin. Wait, let's get down to business. I just happened to find one, it might be the same divine dragon bloodline girl as you guys, this is her information, you guys take a look, if there's no problem, let's go on a trip together. After all, cultivation time is precious, moving together, on the way, we can also cultivate. Lu Jin said so. The three girls sniffed and looked at the information that Lu Jin had projected with his communication bracelet, as well as the accompanying photo. With just a glance at the photo, Xia Lingchan was surprised. Ah, it's Su Su. That's right, I forgot, back then, she also awakened her F-class talent, and later entered the Su family's Farhan Commerce, trade group to do something. Lu Jin asked. Do you know Su Zitong? Xia Lingchan nodded and said. Her grandfather, Elder Su Dingyuan, was a friend of my grandfather, serving as the Eastern War Zone's main town guard, and her father, Su Zhengdao, was the chief soldier of the Eastern War Zone's land warfare department, we played together when we were young, and then each of us went to school separately, so our contact was rare. Until I failed to awaken and went to perform all over the world, I once met with her a few times in the Eastern War Zone, but in general, the interactions were not much, so I didn't even think there was such a thing as her. She was also the first in her grade in the school's girls' group test scores in the beginning, and she also failed to awaken and became an F-ranked talent, became disheartened, entered the business world to fight, and is now in the position of president. Analyzing it this way, the possibility of her possessing the divine dragon bloodline is still very high. Lucian laughed as he clapped his hands. That's her, let's set off early tomorrow morning and go find her, so that she can regain her former glory. After cultivating for a night, the next day, the four of them boarded an airplane early in the morning and headed to the Eastern War Zone. They were on a military airplane, with the Imperial Dragon Army following. In reality, Lucian had booked an ordinary airplane ticket, but his itinerary had become high-level intelligence and was known by Lu Tianlin in the first place, and then arrangements were made for them to be escorted by one of the Imperial Dragon Army brigades that followed them to and from the two regions. The Imperial Dragon Army of the various war zones interacted with each other, very frequently, mainly because they were afraid that their personal power would have too much influence at the local level, so the soldiers were mobilized with each other, and at the same time, it was convenient to interact with the supplies. These weren't what Lu Jin wanted to care about. He just knew that being escorted by the army was really cool, practicing on the road, no disturbance throughout. Considering that the Eastern War Zone was the Sun family's territory, and that Lucian might be embarrassed by the Sun family, Lu Tianlin also greeted Morong Sun, the city lord of the Eastern Sea City, the main city of the Eastern War Zone that Lucian was going to, in advance. The contact information was also given to Lucian. Morong Sun was from the Su family line, so with him taking care of him, there was no worry about the Sun family coming in underhanded. The three of them got off the plane at the East Sea City military area, and Xia Lingchan went to make a call to Su Zitong. Su Su, in a moment I will bring a few friends over to find you, to give you a big surprise, where are you? Hearing Xia Lingchan say that, Su Zitong was surprised and said, I'm in my office on the ninth floor of the Farhang building. Cindy, did you come to East Ocean City for a concert? Xia Lingchan laughed. No, I don't mix with show business anymore, I'm now a fourth-ranked black iron demon hunter warrior. What? You've cultivated to the fourth rank, how is this possible? Ah, I'm sorry, I'm not saying that you can't cultivate to the fourth rank. It's not supposed to be, and it's not right, it's not not supposed to be, it's just dash. Su Zitong was too excited, because she knew very well that Xia Lingchan was an F rank like herself, and with an F rank talent, the current highest record was to reach the third rank intermediate, the third rank was the limit, that's why she didn't cultivate, because she knew that it was meaningless to cultivate to the third rank. With a third order combat power, it was impossible to leave the city unless one joined the Imperial Dragon Army. She remembered that when she met with Xia Lingchan four months ago, 
she was still just an ordinary dragon spirit that didn't even have a first rank intermediate level battle power, so how could she have broken through to the fourth rank in such a short period of time? In this, there must be some sort of huge secret. Xia Lingchan directly interrupted what she was about to say and said, You'll know when we meet in a while. Wait for me oh. She hung up the phone, then the four of them directly rode in a military vehicle and arrived under the Farhang mansion. Because of the fear of demonic monsters attacking from the air causing great human losses, it was stipulated that the maximum height of all buildings should not exceed 10 floors. The far sailing mansion was definitely one of the largest buildings in East Ocean City, and it was very imposing. When the four of them got down from the car, they saw a woman in formal attire with golden eyeglass frames standing at the entrance of the building, this person carried a high and cold temperament, at first glance, it was an iceberg female president kind of character. Seeing Xia Lingchan, she immediately stepped on her high heels and ran over quickly. Her identity came out, it was the president of this Farhang group, Su Zitong. Thank you all for your support. Su Zitong was very concerned about how Xia Lingchan had raised her strength to the fourth level in a short period of time, so after ending the call, she put down everything, came down from the top floor, and waited for a few people at the main entrance. After seeing Xia Lingchan, she couldn't wait to rush up. Sensing the aura on Xia Lingchan's body, she said in surprise. You really broke through to the fourth stage, it's incredible. Cindy, quickly tell me, how did you do it? Xia Lingchan was being grabbed by Su Zitong's shoulder, and was dazzled by the pair of large lights in front of the other party, she hurriedly controlled her and opened her mouth. Don't be in a hurry, let's find a private and empty place, I'll tell you again, this matter has a lot to do with it. Su Zitong regained her composure after hearing this, in the end, she was the president of a group, and had experienced some big storms. Although this matter could be considered one of the most important things to her, enough to make her lose her temper like this, but after these 10 minutes of digestion, it was also confirmed that Xia Lingchan had really broken through to the fourth stage, which made her settle down as well. She raised her head and glanced at Lu Jin's several people before speaking. Let's go, let's go to the roof of the building, it's very private and empty up there. Afterwards, the five people entered the building together, and when they reached the elevator, Su Zitong couldn't help but ask, Cindy, who are these people? Xia Lingchan introduced. This is Ruan Qinghan, I've introduced you, Grandpa Ruan's granddaughter from Long Sang Academy, also my good girlfriend. This is Song Xiao, the youngest sister who just graduated. His name is Lu Jin, as for his identity, I'll tell you when we get to the roof. Su Zitong reached out and pinched Xia Lingchan's face, smiling. Good. Worthy of becoming a fourth order imperial dragon warrior, you're even able to whet my appetite. Xia Lingchan slapped her hand and said seriously. Susu, Su, pay attention to your status, I am two years older than you, is this how you treat your sister? Seeing this pretense of seriousness on her part, before Su Zitong could say anything, the silly girl Song Shio on the side first couldn't strain herself to laugh out loud. Immediately afterward, Su Zitong even laughed so hard that her flower branches were trembling and waves were surging. Now, Xia Lingchan herself couldn't help but laugh out loud. Between laughing and joking, when they reached the roof of the building, the five of them stepped out of the elevator, and Su Zitong eagerly chased after them. Cindy good sister, quickly tell me. Xia Lingchan didn't look around anymore, and directly pulled Lu Jin in front of her, saying, it's because of him, he's also a fresh graduate, and is the royal dragon envoy of the three of us, me, Xiao as well as Qing Han. The three of us, before we contracted with him, were all F-ranked dragon spirits, and after contracting with him, now, we are all SSS-ranked dragon spirits. Su Zitong was stunned. You actually made a contract with a man, or with the other two girls? Just by contracting with him, you can have your f rank talent evolve into SSS rank, how is this possible? Isn't it true that an Imperial Dragon Envoy can only make a contract with one Dragon Spirit? If he can really do this and have all the girls sign a contract with him, wouldn't the Federation be able to have hundreds of thousands of extra SSS ranked Dragon Spirits all of a sudden? Worthy of being the president of the group, this strategic vision was truly long term. But, so many girls. It mustn't exhaust me to death. Lu Jin hurriedly stepped forward and said. Not everyone can contract with me. Ling Chan and the three of them have the Divine Dragon bloodline, and their bloodline itself is very advanced, even surpassing the SSS level in essence, but they need to be awakened many times before they can show their true power. My second talent, on the other hand, happens to be able to help them complete the awakening of their bloodline, and the first time they awaken, they can metamorphose from an f rank talent to an SSS rank talent. Through analyzing your information, we deduced that your dragon spirit talent should also be one of the divine dragon bloodline talents, and therefore, we have specially come over to find you. Regarding the matter of contracting with me, what are your thoughts? Su Zitong was stunned at his words, then asked in return. You mean, let me also contract with you, and we four women will serve one husband? Xia Lingchan pinched Su Zitong's arm with a red face and said without any good humor. Why are you saying this in such an unpleasant way? It's just a contract, 
It's not like we're becoming his women, we're friends and comrades in arms. Su Zitong bristled and said back, Ah yes yes yes. It's a friend who eats together, lives together, cultivates together, soul melds, and lives and dies together. The last word friend was accented. Hearing the obvious flirting in her tone, Xia Lingchan exasperatedly pinched Su Zitong once again and said, Forget it if you don't want to, let's go. With that, she turned to grab Lu Jin's arm to take him away. Su Zitong hurriedly took her arm and said, I didn't say I'm not willing either. Saying this, she paused, looked at Lu Jin, and continued, After contracting with you, can I definitely have the dragon spirit quality promoted? I don't require that it must be promoted to SSS grade, even if it's just D or C grade, it's fine. Lu Jin said seriously, I can tell if a person has a divine dragon bloodline, and I'm certain that you are one of the true dragon bloodlines, so as long as you contract with me, you will definitely be able to become a SSS grade dragon spirit. Su Zitong kept staring at Lu Jin's eyes, and when he finished speaking, she looked at Song Xiao's three girls once more, nodding her head and saying, Let's go then, I'm not going to give up such a chance to change my destiny. Song Xiao, however, suddenly spoke. Sister Su, isn't it still bad to be the president of such a large group? Su Zitong but suddenly laughed out. This laughter had a few moments of self-deprecation and desolation in it. What is a president? This world is the world of the Imperial Dragon Envoy. Personal force is supreme. The real power and interests are under the control of the powerful Imperial Dragon Envoy. Without strength is just a pawn. Although I am the president of the Farhang group, but it is only with the help of the power of the Su family. If there is no Su family, I am the president of the strong hands of the plaything. Without strength, possessing a high status and a large amount of wealth, that's an original sin. Song Xia was dumbfounded by what she heard and pondered. Su Zitong, however, walked to her side, touched this world-weary little sister, and laughed. You're very lucky, just after you graduated, you met someone who was able to change your destiny, and by becoming an SSS ranked dragon spirit, you're already one of the group of people who stand at the top of the food chain in this world. She looked over at Lu Jin, her smile widening. There was one thing she didn't say, she chose to join Lusion's group because she realized what a powerful force 4 or 5 SSS rank gifted would be when gathered together. Without any hesitation, if a few of them grew up, they would definitely be in existence capable of directly influencing a war zone. As for these few people in front of him, Lusion he couldn't see it, but all three of Song Xiao didn't seem like power hungry people, and obviously didn't realize it. After she joined, this huge power might be in her hands. In the past few years of traversing the business circle, she had been jokingly called the Queen of the Eastern Sea because of her thunderous style of doing things, but she knew that all of this was nothing more than someone else's teasing. In reality, as an F-class gifted person, she was nothing in the eyes of the Imperial Dragon Envoy. And just today, perhaps, she would be able to become the true queen. A few moments after Lu Jin's few people arrived in East Sea City, the news reached Lu Hanyan and Sun Lumo who were also in East Sea City. We just came back and they came this way, is this door-to-door -door provocation? Lu Hanyan deliberately said so in front of Sun Lumo. Sun Lumo smiled coldly and said, Since they've come to our territory, then let them suffer, it's also considered to be taking revenge for Zhao Zhao. To the side, the weak-faced Lu Hanyo said indignantly, Brother-in-law, we must make them pay. She had just broken the contract with Zhao Jin and had also lost a lot of her spiritual energy due to purifying the demonic qi in her body, so she was very weak. Sun Lumo touched Lu Hanyo's hand and laughed. Zhao Zhao don't worry, I'll go make arrangements. Lu Hanyo simply did not have the strength to break free from Sun Lumo and could only allow him to touch it. In the end it was Lu Hanyan who pushed Sun Lumo. You go and arrange it instead. Zhao Jiao is being weak and needs to rest, let's go out. With that, she pulled Sun Lumo out of Lu Hanyo's bedroom. The two had just walked into the living room when they received a communication call, and after hanging up the phone, Sun Lumo's face was directly gloomy. Lu Hanyan hurriedly asked. What happened? They went to find Su Zitong and then went to the East Sea Academy together. Sun Lumo said word for word. Lu Hanyan now knew why he looked like he was gnashing his teeth. Su Zitong used to be Sun Lumo's fiance, and back then, if it wasn't for her failed awakening, she wouldn't have been able to rise to the top herself. Even though the two had annulled their marriage contract, Sun Lumo had always been salivating over Su Zitong's beauty, and as far as Lu Hanyan knew, Sun Lumo had wanted to meet Su Zitong at least 20 times over the years to make her Sun Lumo's lover. Lu Hanyan knew that her family was relying on the Sun family, so she turned a deaf ear to this, pretending not to know anything. But at this moment, seeing Sun Lumo so angry because of that woman, she still felt as bad as if she had eaten a fly. With that, Lu Hanyan's eyes turned and said, Why don't we go over there together and see what they're going to do, then find a chance to give them a little color. Sun Lumo was thinking just that, and the two of them then immediately drove to the East Sea Academy. After some inquiries, the two of them arrived at the place where the deed platform was located. At this moment, on the East Sea Academy's contract stage, Lu Jin and Su Zitong stood on it, 
Su Zitong took a deep breath and said to Lu Jin, I'm ready, come on. Lu Jin nodded, and then grabbed Su Zitong's slender and powerful fingers that were as white as green onions, and the contract formation was activated as golden threads hovered in the air, stringing together the two people's spiritual energy. Outside the arena, Sun Lumo was surprised to see the scene. What? Su Zitong is actually contracting a man? Lu Hanyan was also surprised. It's Lu Jin, the guy whose dual talents are still SSS ranked top talents. Didn't he already contract three people, how can he still contract? Just as the two were puzzled. On the contract stage, Su Zitong's figure changed abruptly, her human form gradually faded, and a dragon spirit with a body length of more than three meters, purple scales, and a dragon head and tail on the beast's body, appeared in midair. Opposite her was a golden arcane gate, and after she leapt over it, her figure changed abruptly. The original dark scales turned purple gold, her body length grew from over 3 meters to over 8 meters, and a layer of thunderous electricity shrouded her body. A powerful aura was released, and that pressure of a high-level bloodline made the few people around them realize that this was at least the aura of a dragon spirit belonging to a talent of SS grade or above. How is it possible, could it be that Su Zitong has also become an SSS ranked dragon spirit? Lu Hanyan exclaimed out in disbelief. And at this moment, Su Zitong's dragon spirit information also fed back into Lu Jin's mind. Su Zitong, Mocking Wind, SSS Grade. Rank, First Order. Divinity Talent I, Taking Off the Clouds, Can Fly in the Air and Harness Clouds in Mist. Divine Talent 2, Dragon Might, Can Suppress All Creatures and Weaken the Target. Divine Talent 3, Thunder. Thunder Can Destroy All Ominous Things and Purify Evil Spirits. Su Zitong resumed her iceberg female CEO appearance, at this time, her face blossomed into a brilliant smile, as radiant as melting ice and snow, very moving. She couldn't help but excitedly hug Lusion, and with her proud peaks, she squeezed Lusion's body, while her mouth joyfully shouted, I've really awakened into a SSS class dragon spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing his former fiancé hugging another man, and that she had also awakened twice to become a top-tier dragon spirit, Sun Lumao couldn't help but clench his teeth and growl lowly. She was supposed to be mine. On the side, Lu Hanyan's face darkened at the words, although the two of them were playing their own game but to go and say such words in front of her legal wife nowadays made her feel like she was being slapped in the face. Lu Hanyan sneered as she walked up and came to the side of the deed table, mocking. I thought who was in the deed, it turned out to be President Su, how, a good big group president not to, to get people to come as a small. You come a little late, small three small four have not had to do, can only do a small five it. Su Zitong just let go of Lu Jin, and then heard Lu Hanyan's mocking voice. She didn't show an annoyed smile, instead, she intimately wrapped her arms around Lu Jin, making his arms almost fall into her own plumpness, and laughed delicately. For me, an F-ranked talented waste dragon spirit, to give a SSS-ranked dual talent imperial dragon envoy as a junior, my future prospects are better than you, an A-ranked dragon spirit, marrying a B-ranked waste. What's more, he has also allowed my dragon spirit to evolve to SSS rank, our future is destined to be looked up to by you, cherish the opportunity you have now, if you want to see me in the future, it still depends on my mood. Hearing this, Lu Hanyan was so angry that her chest rose and fell, she chose to contract with Sun Lumao, who only had a B-ranked talent, for the sake of the power of the Sun family back then, and even gave up a suitor who had awakened an S-ranked talent. This was where she had already felt lost. At this moment, the B-ranked talent being described as a waste in the other party's mouth made it even harder for her. And Sun Lumao felt even more like he was going to explode with anger when he heard this and said angrily. Suzy Tome, you're nothing but a woman I don't want, and now you're giving a little man a small, you're really guilty of seeing it. Lucian felt Su Zitong's hand grabbing her arm even harder, and even her petite body was trembling slightly. She must be very angry and humiliated, when she was withdrawn from marriage, and today she was subjected to such vicious words, the anger in her heart can be imagined. Lucian patted the back of her hand to make her relax, then grabbed her hand and said to Sun Lumo, Don't quarrel if you can do it, I will join Su Zitong in duel with both you and Lu Hanyan, dare you? Although she had only just awakened, and her spiritual energy level was only at the first stage, Su Zitong felt that the teenager holding her small hand seemed to possess an infinite power that supported her, causing her to also straighten her back and look at the two Lu Hanyan. Sun Lu Mao first froze at his words, and then laughed. Did I hear it right, you and her want to duel with us? She has just awakened and is only a first rank battle power, do you want us to abuse her to death? Good, I'll agree to your request, a duel. Lu Jin dared to say such words as duel, and also brought the newly awakened Su Zitong along, naturally, he had certainty. Sun Lu Mao too and Su Zitong term, just then Lu Jin older than three years. Not everyone was like Lu Jin and the four of them, with SSS grade talent and numerous means of enhancing their strength, they could ascend to the fourth rank in less than two months of awakening. Sun Lu Mao was only a B rank talent, and with normal cultivation, in three years time, he would at most reach the upper third rank, while Lu Hanyan, who was an A rank talent, 
would at most reach the lower fourth rank. However, the Sun family definitely had the resources for the Dragon Awakening potion, so at this moment, both of them displayed an aura that was at the upper fourth rank. Lucian was only at the lower fourth rank, however, he could kill any demonic monster below the seventh rank indiscriminately nowadays, and the A rank talent could at most allow a royal dragon warrior or dragon spirit to cross one rank to fight with demonic monsters, and it was still impossible to defeat them. These two people, even with top-notch equipment, were only comparable to an upper fifth ranked demonic monster. An upper fifth ranked demon monster, he had single-handedly killed one half a month ago. Sun Lumo and the others didn't know about the fact that Lucian's 4 had just hunted and killed an intermediate 6th rank demon monster, but even if they knew, they would most likely think that it was a few dragon spirits that had teamed up to win. Most of the imperial dragon warriors were only assisted by their own contracted dragon spirits, and their battle power output, mainly relied on the dragon spirits. And now, Lucian had given up his 4th order SSS ranked dragon spirit, and was actually going to bring a freshly awakened 1st order dragon spirit to fight them, which, in their opinion, was a brain dead act. Lu Hanyan also laughed. It's really a student who just left school, hot-blooded and prone to impulsiveness. But since you are so strong in your request, then let my sister me educate you. Lucian didn't pay any attention to these two people at all, and said to Su Zitong while walking towards the East Sea Academy dueling arena. I'll beat them down in a while, you're always ready to step in, in the name of assisting, take out your anger however you want. Xia Lingchan, on the other hand, was on Su Zitong's other side holding her arm, whispering. Su Su, don't worry, Lucian's strength, is the strongest amongst the four of us, right now he, single-handedly killing a sixth-ranked demonic monster is not a problem, the two fourth-ranked demon hunting warriors in the district are definitely not opponents. Su Zitong nodded and laughed happily. Thank you guys, no need to thank you. Lucian raised the hands that the two were still holding together and continued. You are my contracted dragon spirit, it's only right that I protect you. Su Zitong didn't break free, instead, she once again sunk Lu Jin's arm into her plumpness, leaning close to him and said, I trust you. Song Xiao, who was walking with Ruan Qinghan in the back, quietly looked at Su Zitong's squeezed and deformed place and compared it with her own, helplessly realizing that she, who originally reigned supreme amongst the three women, had already succumbed to second place. It's over, the attraction to her husband has weakened again A. Eh? She secretly decided to eat more. She secretly decided that she would eat more and strive to grow a little more. The East Ocean Academy Dueling Arena, a place of semi-profit nature built on the back of the East Ocean Academy. Part of it was used for students' daily combat ability training, while the other part was open for use as a dueling ground for social personnel. In a world where personal force was paramount, blood and vigor inevitably led to conflict. The combat of the Dragon Warriors is very destructive, so it severely cracks down on private fights, if you want to fight, you either have to go out of the city or within the dueling arena, elsewhere, if you catch one, deal with one. Supervised by an impartial referee, after completing the security check and signing the duel agreement, the four of them entered the dueling arena. The duel was divided into ordinary duel and life and death duel. Talents above A level were prohibited from participating in life and death duels, which was a protective measure for geniuses. Therefore, Lu Jin and the others only signed an ordinary duel contract. This was a private duel, there were no spectators, and paying a venue fee was enough. However, it still attracted some people. When Su Zitong and the few of them borrowed the East Ocean Academy's contract stage, the East Ocean Academy's president, Ai Ching Yuan, knew the news. And after Su Zitong's contract was completed and the Dragon Spirit evolved to SSS level, the person in charge of the contracting table immediately reported the news to Ai Ching Yuan. When Ai Ching Yuan arrived, he heard that several people had already gone to duel, and when he arrived at the dueling arena in a flurry of wind, he found that the four people had already signed the contract and entered the arena. Oops. This young man. How could he be so reckless, just awaken the dragon spirit, how could he go straight to the duel? He was so furious that he blew his beard and eyes out and was about to go up to stop them, but then he saw Lucian releasing the dragon gate and his footsteps lurched. What a powerful aura, divine and domineering. He didn't continue forward and decided to wait and see. The three of them, Song Xiao, were also looking at the dueling arena rather nervously, although they were confident in Lucian's strength, who knew if anything would go wrong, so they were still a little worried. At this moment, within the arena, Lucian directly summoned the Dragon Gate at the start, and then completed a magnificent transformation. Due to having contracted another Dragon Spirit of Divine Dragon Bloodline, his true Dragon Bloodline became even more intense, and after his semi-dragonization, his figure was also even taller, directly reaching around two and a half meters, and even a layer of purple electric arc surfaced around the golden scales on his body. Su Zitong also turned into a Dragon Spirit form at the first time, and the 8 meter long Divine Beast, Mocking Wind, flew in midair, just like a god that harnessed thunder. Ai Ching Yuan marveled. It's truly magical. 
Little Sue, that F-ranked dragon spirit has undergone such a drastic change, it has really become an SSS-ranked existence, this aura, it's too strong, just after awakening, it has a battle power of at least the upper second rank. Sun Lumo and Lu Hanyan, who stood opposite the two Lusion, also changed their faces when they sensed this powerful aura. They each released their abilities. Lu Hanyan transformed into a 10 meter long fire horn dragon, while Sun Lumo put on a red armor. The red armor was his talent, the B-ranked talent, flame armor, the advantage was almost all-round protection, the disadvantage was that the defense was very average. However, its coordination with the fire horn dragon could give the fire horn dragon increased defense. A red colored lance also appeared in Sun Lumo's hand, which was also the flame lance that came with this talent. Generally speaking, one weapon was enough for a talent, and this guy had armor and a lance, all of them, meaning, all of them were wasted. After all, one spiritual energy was limited, fourth rank upper spiritual energy, how long could it support consumption? Sun Lumao rode on the fire horn dragon, and both of them rushed towards Lu Jin and the others together. In the next moment, Lu Jin transformed into a purple golden lightning bolt and suddenly, after the latter, arrived at the top of Sun Lumao's head and slapped down with a claw. The huge claw with thunder fell, and the terrifying might seem to shatter the void as Sun Lumao met it with his flame lance. The golden dragon claw clashed with the crimson lance. Read. Ka Ching. A sound like glass shattering came from Sun Lumo, who was shocked to find that his flame lance had been shattered in a single blow against Lusion's dragon claw. Moreover, as if Lusion's dragon claw did not receive half a bit of damage, it came with unabated momentum, and in the next moment, it directly struck his own shoulder. In that instant, Sun Lumo felt as if he had been slapped by a huge dragon, the sound of shattering came from his shoulder blade, and the flame armor that he was so proud of was directly shattered by this move. Moreover, the so-called additional flame damage didn't seem to have half an effect on Lusion. The tremendous force directly knocked him off of Lu Hanyan's body, and his body hit the ground hard. Immediately afterward, Lu Xin struck the head of the fire horn dragon that Lu Hanyan had transformed into with another kick. This kick, which carried a golden true dragon aura, also carried a strong thunder power, and a purple gold colored light was loud. Lu Hanyan's head received it squarely, and her unicorn horn, which she used as a weapon, was unexpectedly shattered directly, while her entire body, as if she had been smacked in the mouth, was flung out. The place where she fell happened to be not far in front of Su Zitong. Lu Hanyan was in agony at this moment, as her head was buzzing from being kicked in the head. Before she could return to her senses, Su Zitong had already taken the opportunity to attack. Although she had only just awakened, and only had first order psychic abilities, Su Zitong was a SSS ranked true dragon bloodline, mocking wind, with two major divine talents, dragon might, which could suppress all creatures and weaken the target's strength. After releasing the dragon might, the spirit of Lu Hanyan, whose brain was originally in a state of letting go, was once again subjected to a tremendous oppressive force. This kind of pressure was not at the level of strength, but at the level of bloodline rank. So it could ignore the level, as long as the other party's bloodline level wasn't as high as Su Zetong's, she could directly suppress and cut down the other party's battle power. At this moment, Lu Hanyan, who only had a Mira grade talent, naturally couldn't resist the pressure of the SSS grade true dragon bloodline, and her already injured body shrank to the ground as if she was in extreme shock, like a lizard waiting to be eaten, trembling. Su Zetong's thunderous character certainly wouldn't show any mercy when it came to fighting. After realizing that her, dragon might, talent skill was in effect, she immediately activated her third divinity talent, thunder. In an instant, thunder added to her body, carrying a powerful destructive force that poured into her body, causing the aura on her body to be violently elevated to a level similar to that of a third rank upper level demonic monster. In the next moment, Su Zetong also slapped out a claw and smacked on top of Lu Hanyan's broken horn. Su Zetong understood that she had just awakened, her strength was insufficient, she definitely had to strike towards the other party's wound, otherwise it was still a matter of opinion whether she could break the defense or not. Therefore, a move with the power of thunder attack once again fell on Lu Hanyan's unicorn. The terrifying power of thunder raged and exploded on Lu Hanyan's head. Lu Hanyan screamed miserably as she was once again slapped and sent flying. Her body landed in the middle of the dueling arena and resumed her human form, both sides of her face were swollen high, her head was broken and bloodied, and she had fainted to death. On the other side, Lucian took advantage of the victory and chased after the descending Sun Lumo, came to the ground and once again kicked at his other shoulder. The sound of bones cracking came out, accompanied by Sun Lumo's miserable screams, making Lucian sound very pleasing to the ears. However, Lucian didn't stop yet and kicked Sun Lumo's right leg once again. This time, not only did it shatter his bones, but it also sent him flying directly out, landing in the direction of where Su Zetong was. Su Zetong immediately flew forward, and then between her dragon claws, a lightning thunderball emerged, and she threw it up towards Sun Lumo. The moment the lightning ball touched Sun Lumo's body, it directly exploded, and then a large number of electric white snakes scurried across his body. 
Sun Lumo had lost the defense of his flame armor, which was just a little stronger than an ordinary person, with an extra layer of spiritual energy defense within his flesh, and under this destructive thunder, his entire body trembled a few times with high frequency, before foaming at the mouth and falling to the ground. He also fainted, and just like Lu Hanyan, he lost his fighting ability. The referee in charge of the duel watched with eyes wide open. He had never expected that a 4th order lower ranked imperial dragon envoy and a 1st order dragon spirit would beat a 4th order upper ranked imperial dragon envoy and a 4th order upper ranked dragon spirit to the point of being powerless. After reacting, he hurriedly announced loudly. This duel, Lucian, Su Zitong wins. Lucian was not surprised that he was able to win, he was instead surprised that Sun Lumo and Lu Hanyan were so weak. He remembered that Sun Lumo was a soldier commander of the coastal defense border war zone, and in terms of rank, he was even higher than Meng Tai Meng's battalion commander, but he turned out to be this kind of goods? No need to guess, must have used the relationship of the family, young age has such a high position. This makes Lucian cannot help but worry, if the sea defense border are this kind of goods, how to resist the ocean in the constant influx of magic monster? There was nothing he could do about it for the time being, just a sigh of relief. Lucian walked to the side of Su Zitong who had transformed into a human form and stretched out his hand, Su Zitong naturally placed her jade hand in his, and the two of them walked out of the dueling arena holding hands. While walking, Lu Jin asked. How is it? Was it cool just now? Su Zitong laughed cheerfully. Very cool. Ever since I failed to awaken at the age of 18, until today, in these three years, just now, is the most refreshing moment for me. Thank you. Lu Jin said with a smile. No need to thank you, I'm also very cool. We both had a great time, neither of us owes the other. Hearing that there was something wrong in his words, Su Zitong whitened Lu Jin in a flirtatious manner, and when she saw Xia Lingchan and the others coming, she let go of Lu Jin, then hugged Xia Lingchan. Good Cindy. Thank you for bringing him to me, otherwise, I'm afraid I'll never have a day to raise my eyebrows like this. Xia Lingchan was also very excited and pinched Su Zitong twice with force, lifting her head up from between Su Zitong's pair of big bears, and said angrily, Are you trying to smother me to death and envy me? Su Zitong pulled Xia Lingchan's two arms and giggled. How would I want to smother my Cindy Chan Ifei to death? We are to be together forever. At this time, not far away, Ai Ching Yuan walked over and marveled. Little Su, it's really you, your F grade dragon spirit, metamorphosed into an SSS grade, with the might of a third grade in one rank, it's really unbelievable. Seeing that it was Ai Ching Yuan walking towards her, Su Zitong's movements tightened and became much more dignified as she replied with a smile. Indeed, I have evolved to SSS rank, thanks to my imperial dragon envoy Lusion. He is the one who allowed me to complete my evolution. Ai Ching Yuan looked at Lu Jin with a look of appreciation in his eyes and said, Lu Jin, I know you, your information is confidential, but to us deans, it is transparent, you have already helped three girls complete their metamorphosis, Su Zitong is the fourth, and there may be more in the future. I hope you can treat them well, every SSS ranked dragon spirit is the most valuable treasure of the federation and even the entire human race. The tone of Ai Ching Yuan's words was solemn and it was evident that this old man was also someone who had experienced the weather and had his heart set on the fate of the entire federation. Lu Jin happened to learn one thing. All of the deans of these advanced academies, the holders were almost all once powerful imperial dragon envoys or dragon spirits, and there was only one reason for them to step down from the front lines of battle. They couldn't continue fighting. Most of them had lost their other half in battle, and they themselves had been seriously injured. They could only retire to the second line. Lu Jin naturally respected such people, no matter which world you were in, you could refrain from being that selfless person yourself, but you couldn't help but respect them. Because of them, there is now relative peace and happiness. So Lu Jin solemnly said to Ai Ching Yuan, Don't worry, I said that I would protect them with my own life, every contracted dragon spirit is giving me the highest trust, I won't let this trust down, I won't let them down. Ai Ching Yuan nodded and said, Good, a good boy, with your words, I am relieved. You go, I will make arrangements for these two people. However, the Sun family is powerful in the Eastern War Zone, and although there is the Su family to suppress them, if they want to create some trouble for you, it will be easy. It's better to do more than less, so why don't you all go back to Lingyang City together and stay away from them for a while, so as to save your energy from being divided up to deal with all these miscellaneous matters. For you guys, the time for cultivation is precious now. Su Zitong sniffed and replied. Got it, thank you Grandpa AI, let's go back home first and tell my grandfather the good news, then we'll make plans. Hurry up and go, your grandpa will be very happy when he knows about this, back then he had high expectations of you, and now that the bitterness has finally come to an end, it makes him raise his eyebrows. Ai Ching Yuan laughed. Su Zitong knew the hidden meaning in his words. Back then, her own awakening failed, causing the Sun family to return the marriage at their door. In fact, she herself originally did not want to marry Sun Lumo, but the one who was returned from the marriage was herself, 
and that humiliation, she herself was not the one who felt the most, but her grandfather Su Dingyuan. Su Dingyuan was one of the top powerhouses of the Federation, and could be said to be the most dignified group of people in the Yanxia Federation, as well as the one with the best face. As a result, such a thing had happened, how could this make Su Dingyuan not feel angry and uncomfortable? Afterwards, Su Zitong also knew that she had humiliated her grandfather because of herself, so she took the initiative to propose to work for the group, and then step by step, she sat in the position of the group's president. She proved that she was talented, but could not wash away the shame of that day. But today, she managed to awaken her top talent for the second time, and, just after awakening, she teamed up with her own imperial dragon envoy to defeat the two people who had once given her shame. It was as if the clouds had been lifted, and today they finally saw the sunlight. Five people left the East China Sea Academy, sat on the car, luge in heart but some bottomless. He made someone's granddaughter a little five, but also to go to the door, this will not be beaten, right? That was Su Ding Yuan, one of the ten great guardian gods of the Federation, a strong man of the tenth rank, to be beaten up by him, it was estimated that with one's own true dragon body, one would not be able to carry it off. After all, he is still weak. If he himself was also of the tenth rank, no, the ninth rank, there would be no problem standing there and letting him beat him up. But right now, he was really drumming in his heart. Xia Lingchan on the side saw his uneasiness and laughed. Is it because you abducted someone's granddaughter, so you're afraid of being beaten up? Don't worry, although Grandpa Su is famous and very powerful, he is usually a very amiable person and never loses his temper with the juniors. Lu Jin breathed a sigh of relief and laughed. That's good. Xia Lingchan, however, continued mischievously. However, the old madam is a violent temper, and is also a person who places great importance on love fidelity, you're miserable. Lujin shouted at the sound of her words. That, I'm in a hurry, stop the car, I want to get off. Good guy, the old lady that was also a SSS ranked dragon spirit, a 10th ranked SSS ranked dragon spirit, being beaten up by her, it was probably not as easy as being run over by a big truck to die. But no one pays attention to him, Su Zitong this woman drove, while laughing, while wildly racing, soon came to the Su family compound. The configuration of the four major war zones is one main town guard and two deputy town guards. All of the main town guards, all of them don't care about anything, they are all 10th order powerhouses, their role is to guard one side, and they are known as guardian gods. So Su Ding Yuan was in the Su family compound at this time. The car drove into the compound, a servant came out and opened the car door, and several people walked out of the car together. Despite his inner apprehension, Lu Jin followed Su Zitong out of the car. The five people entered the Su family's courtyard together. At this moment, in the courtyard, Su Ding Yuan was saying something seriously to a youth. And when he saw Su Zitong walk in, he immediately revealed a smile. Zitong, how come you have the time to come see grandpa? He had just asked this, but he suddenly sensed a change in Su Zitong's aura and steeply stood up from the bamboo chair. In the next moment, he instantly came to Su Zitong's side and placed one hand on the latter's shoulder. That's right, it's true, this is the aura of an SSS ranked dragon spirit, a first ranked SSS ranked dragon spirit. Su Ding Yuan's words carried a tremor in them, one could imagine how excited he was at this moment. Yes, Grandpa, I have evolved into a SSS ranked dragon spirit, becoming a first rank upper level dragon spirit. That youth who had just spoken to Su Ding Yuan walked up and said in surprise. That's great, Zitong, I'm only an SS ranked dragon spirit, you're even better than me now. The future of our Su family depends on you. Su Ding Yuan's excitement calmed down upon hearing this, and turned around to give the youth behind him, Su Ming Zhang, a kick and cursed. Asshole kid, as a big brother, even if you don't take the initiative to carry the burden of the family legacy, you still have to rely on your sister, you just owe it to yourself. Su Ming Zhang also did not dare to hide, mainly because he knew that he could not hide, received a kick, said with a bitter face. Isn't it that my sister is more talented? Alas, right, Zitong, how did you become SSS ranked? Also, these few, it seems like they are all SSS rank as well? He was a little unsure about the latter half of the sentence, but as an SS ranked imperial dragon envoy, only imperial dragon envoys and dragon spirits with higher level talents could bring him a noticeable pressure. At this time, Su Ding Yuan also noticed these people following behind Su Zitong, revealing a look of surprise. He also opened his mouth and laughed. Zitong, give an introduction, who are these young talents? Ling Chan I know, the remaining three are? Su Zitong pointed one by one and introduced them, saying, This one is Ruan Qinghan, this one is Song Xiao, the two of them and Spirit Chan, they are all contracted dragon spirits of this Lujin, at the same time, Lujin is also my imperial dragon envoy. Her words were a bit roundabout, and Su Mingzhang reacted with astonishment. Wait. You mean, after this brat contracted with the three women, he came to find you to contract again, and you even agreed? Note, there's only one shift in the early hours of this morning, the next one will be tomorrow morning. Not enough to seek and see my recommended books. 
Recommended Good Book, Avatar Treasure Guide. Recommended Reason, Watch the Rise of the Liu Clan's Immortal Clan from the Perspective of an Artifact Spirit, with the 4th Generation Family Head directly sealed as a god. The 5th Generation Family takes off in place. Su Zitong nodded at her words. Seeing her nod, Su Ming Zhang was about to storm up and punch someone right away, thinking that it must be this kid who had hoodwinked his sister. How could the great lady of the Su family, the female president of the Farhan group, go and be the fourth contracted spirit of a little boy, this wasn't even a third party issue, he had three of them ah. However, Su Dingyuan was the one who raised his hand and held him down first, drinking. You shut up. Then he looked at Lu Jin, smiled and opened his mouth to ask. Are you Lin Yang City, that Lu Jin from Long Xiang Academy? Lu Jin looked at Su Dingyuan holding Su Mingzheng down and breathed a sigh of relief, he was almost about to run straight away. Hearing this, he hurriedly replied respectfully. Yes, I am that Lu Jin. This time, I came over to East Sea City to help sister Su's dragon spirit evolve. Su Mingzheng also froze at this time, then but then said furiously. Is this the condition you used to threaten my sister to be your contracted dragon spirit? Su Zitong blankly glanced at Su Mingzheng without a good mood and said. Older brother, can you use your brain, am I the kind of person your sister is threatened by? It's the fact that only by contracting with him can I obtain the chance to evolve the dragon spirit. This is my own choice, I have no regrets. Su Dingyuan once again gave Su Mingzheng a kick and chided. Either you shut up from now on, or get the hell out of my way. Su Mingzheng was admonished without any temper, and could only shut his mouth, but in his eyes towards Lu Jin, there was obviously still a wave of unkindness in his eyes. His own sister, who he held in his hands, had become a man's contracted dragon spirit, not the first or second, not even the third, but the fourth, which would make any older brother furious. Su Dingyuan beckoned and said, Let's go, let's go to the house and sit down. Several people came to the house, the servants served tea, Su Dingyuan took a sip of tea before speaking. I heard about you some time ago, but I'm worried that Zitong isn't of the so-called divine dragon bloodline, and bringing her directly over to you, in case it doesn't work, will make her even more lost. Moreover, not long ago you were supposed to still be in the demon cave camp for special training, so I thought I'd wait until afterward to find an opportunity for the two of you to meet, which would also be considered giving Zitong a chance. I didn't expect that you guys would come directly to me, I think it was you, Ling Chan, who brought him here, right? Xia Ling Chan sniffed and tapped her chin, smiling. Actually, it was Lu Jin who happened to see Sister Su's information, and felt that if a genius like Sister Su failed to awaken, it's likely that just like the three of us, all of us are of the divine dragon bloodline that didn't get a true awakening. He took the information and showed it to us before I remembered this, but it's me who didn't remember it at the beginning, so I'm a bit sorry. If I had remembered Sister Su from the start, she could have become an SSS ranked dragon spirit earlier as well. Su Zitong grabbed Xia Lingchan's hand and said, I'm already happy that you guys are here, today is my happiest day. Saying that, she looked at Su Dingyuan and continued. Grandpa, I just teamed up with Lu Jin and dueled with the two of them, Sun Lumo and Lu Hanyan, and won completely. Su Dingyuan laughed out loud at his words and said three good words in a row before praising. It seems that this second talent of yours, Lu Jin, is not just. SSS rank is so simple. To be able to have such an ability, with your current strength, you should be able to fight with a seventh ranked Imperial Dragon Envoy and not lose any time soon, right? Su Ming Zhang on the side couldn't help himself again and exclaimed. What? So perverted? It's not even if you've elevated to the 4th rank in 2 months, just the lower 4th rank, and you're able to fight a 7th rank Imperial Dragon Envoy? Lu Jin said modestly. That is to say, I can fight with a 7th order demonic monster for a while. A 7th order Imperial Dragon Envoy with a talent below S rank can pass 2 moves, and a 7th order Imperial Dragon Envoy with a talent above S rank has the ability to fight over the level itself, and I'm no match for them either. That's also a bit outrageous. I can understand challenging the 3rd rank at the 1st rank, but challenging the 7th rank at the 4th rank, that's too big of a gap, isn't it? I was only able to fight a 6th order mid-level demonic monster at the 4th order upper level back then. Just a difference of 1 talent level, is the difference that big? Su Mingzhang still held a skeptical attitude and said. Su Dingyuan did not blame Su Mingzhang for interrupting this time, but said to Lu Jin. Since he doesn't believe it, why don't the two of you fight, even though Mingzhang is an SS grade talent, he is only at the upper 6th rank and hasn't been able to break through to the 7th rank yet, so your strengths should be about the same. Lu Xin knew that if he couldn't show a strong enough talent, then the old man would probably have a hard time passing this hurdle. For the girls who had contracted with him, although he verbally said that he would let them choose to stay or go, in reality, he didn't want to let go of any of them. Children only make choices, adults all want. Su's sister's capital is so strong, he naturally does not want to lose this future close comrade. Therefore, he nodded his head and agreed. Good, then I'll ask for big brother Su's advice. Afterward, the few people arrived in the middle of the martial arts arena behind the Su family compound. 
Su Mingjiang stood in the west, his right hand stretched out, a purple pattern was born in his palm, and then, the purple pattern spread from his palm all the way up to his entire body. Between thunderous flashes of lightning, he spoke. This is my SS grade talent, Thunder Ripple Flare, which allows me to access the power of thunder, my ability is very destructive, you have to be more careful, I might not be able to close my hand. Lujin took a step forward, a golden dragon gate appeared, stepping through it, he directly transformed into the form of a five-clawed golden dragon, a huge dragon that was more than 15 meters long spoke in mid-air. This is my natural dragon gate, and now it is my strongest form, the body of a true dragon. As he spoke, golden light flashed, purple thunder emerged, and the powerful pressure caused Lujin's face to change again and again. Then he couldn't help but burst out. Crap! Who the hell told me that this thing is a fourth order lower level? When Lujin manifested his true dragon form, the talent skill, Dragon Might, was automatically released, and the pressure generated by a super god level bloodline rank was also extremely terrifying for an SS level talent. Therefore, in Su Mingjiang's feelings, Lujin's strength far exceeded his. Moreover, for a royal dragon envoy to change into a dragon spirit was simply unimaginable. In a battle of the same rank, the battle power of a dragon spirit was to crush an imperial dragon envoy because they possessed a more powerful body, more abundant spiritual energy and more easily released natural skills. But as the eldest grandson of the Su family, with his grandfather and sister watching, he couldn't run away from the battlefield, and could only shout with a hardened head, before harnessing the thunder and arriving at Lusion's head in an instant. Worthy of being an SS grade talented 6th rank superior imperial dragon envoy, this speed far exceeded the 6th rank demonic monster red flame flying mastiff that a few people had teamed up to kill that day. However, under Lusion's, true dragon's vision, talent, it was clearly visible. When Su Mingjiang's thunder strewn palm turned into a blade of thunder and fell, Lusion just dodged lightly to avoid the attack, followed by a divine dragon swinging its tail to whip it over. This speed, however, was extremely fast, and with Su Mingjiang's strength at the upper 6th rank, he was not able to dodge it. It was only blocked with the power of thunder, and then it was sent flying out. This power was completely bearable for the 6th order superior Su Mingjiang, so he was only sent flying out without any injuries. And then, having inspired the thunder ripple flare, he charged at Lujin once more. Lujin's true dragon body contained extreme power, but after all, his spiritual energy level at this time was only the lower 4th rank, so his power was limited. The golden light and purple thunder started a fierce struggle in midair. After a quarter of an hour, the aching Su Mingjiang flashed out of the battle and waved his hand. Stop, it's fine, count this round as a draw for us. Your strength, which I have already recognized, is indeed enough to rival an upper 7th rank demon monster, you are strong. Lusian smiled as he resumed his human form. If big brother Su had held on a little longer, I would have lost, my true dragon form, there is a limit to how long I can maintain it. Su Mingjiang looked at Lusian who stood in midair as if he didn't rely on any power, and was surprised. The true dragon you speak of, what kind of dragon species is it, and why have I never seen it before? Lusian replied. True dragons, according to the information that I have awakened, true dragons are the divine dragon bloodline inherited by my Yen Xia nation, and every single person has this bloodline, it's just that most of them have a pitifully thin bloodline. As for me, as well as my dragon spirits, I possess a very strong true dragon bloodline, which is why I was able to awaken the power of the true dragon. As they spoke, the two men dropped down and came in front of Su Ding Yuan. Su Ding Yuan heard the discussion between the two and spoke. Hearing you say that, I remembered that I once saw a record of this true dragon form of yours in a broken ancient book, lion head, deer horns, shrimp legs, crocodile mouth, turtle neck, snake body, fish scales, mirage belly, fish spine, tiger paw, eagle claw, and goldfish tail. That's right, that's what you look like. I originally thought that was just a fantasy account, but it turns out that I, Yen Xia, have always had my own divine dragon bloodline heritage. Su Mingjiang asked in amazement. Could it be that all these dragon spirits and bloodline talents awakening in us now are not Yin Xia's own? Su Ding Yuan shook his head and said. Nowadays, these dragon spirits and bloodline talents are all groped out by people in the early days through researching demonic monsters, and strictly speaking, all of these dragon spirits, in fact, are stripped of demonic monsters. It's not something of the human race itself, much less something of my Yin Xia nation. This divine dragon bloodline, on the other hand, is the inheritance that truly belongs to my Yen Xia nation, but for some reason, there are very few records on this, and I've only seen bits and pieces of it by chance. When you have the chance, you should go and research it yourselves. Lu Jin nodded and said. I definitely will, as a descendant of the dragon, it is incumbent upon me to recast the glory of the divine dragon. Su Ding Yuan smiled broadly in satisfaction. Good, not bad. You're a young man I like very much. Since Zitong chose you, then you are the closest comrades in arms, the future of Yenxia is in your hands, don't fail this expectation. Zitong has just gained a breakthrough, so you guys will stay in the Su family and cultivate for now, 
and I won't care about you after she advances to the fourth rank. Hearing that Su Dingyuan wanted to leave the several people behind, Su Zitong hurriedly said, Grandpa, we have already discussed that we will go over to Lin Yang City to cultivate together. Su Dingyuan, however, said forcefully, No, although Lin Yang City is one of the key cities, the defense is not as strong as the top four cities like East Sea City, you have just awakened, with such a good talent, you will surely be targeted by the Holy Spirit sex gang of sons of bitches, I don't feel comfortable with you leaving. What's more, you've only been back for so long, and you haven't even met your grandmother yet, and you want to leave so badly? With your current talent, stepping into the fourth stage is only about two or three months away, are you so anxious to separate from grandpa? Su Zitong hurriedly smiled and went forward. Pulling Su Ding Yuan's arm, she laughed. Of course not, it's just that Ching Han and Ling Chan's families are all in Lin Yang City, so for them to be away from their families and only focus on myself, wouldn't that be a bit rude? Su Ding Yuan sniffed and looked at Xia Ling Chan and Ruan Ching Han's several people, and asked with a taut face. Do you guys have an opinion? Good lord, you might as well just hold a knife on my neck and ask with a bit more ceremony. Who dares to have an opinion on this? Several people quickly shook their heads, Song Xiao even hugged Lu Xian's arm, fearfully shaking her head like a small wave drum, indicating that she had no opinion. Lu Xian opened his mouth and replied, This is certainly very good, it's our honor to be able to receive guidance from Grandpa Su. The icing on the cake, when necessary, was also able to gain a little favor for himself. Su Dingyuan smilingly took out something, a ring, and handed it to Lu Xian, saying, This is a spatial ring made from the spirit core of the Rift Beast, it probably has a space as big as a basketball court inside, it can be used to store loot and weaponry, it's a sort of meet and greet gift for you. Lu Xian was overjoyed when he heard this, and thought to himself that the old man was really atmospheric, actually giving out such a good thing. He was actually worrying about this, in order to adapt to the battle, the set of profound dragon armor that Xia Qian Jun had given him had been worn all the time, and it would inevitably be inconvenient in normal times. If there was a place to put it and still be able to carry it around, that would naturally be the best. Thank you grandpa. Doing this kind of thing more than once to climb up the pole had become a good habit, and with one grandpa Xia, one grandpa Ruan, and one more grandpa Su, there was no problem. After all, he abducted their granddaughters, calling a grandpa is also deserved, no loss. Su Dingyuan didn't bother with him about this name calling issue, several people then stayed in the Su family compound under the arrangement of the Su family servants. And on the other side, the Sun family residence. Looking at Sun Lumo who was still in a coma after being treated, Sun Lu Guan furiously slapped him awake and drank. What a waste. Being beaten to this state by a fourth order lower level brat and a newly awakened first order dragon spirit, unconscious, and letting people send him back. A disgrace to my Sun family. Sun Lumo was woken up by a slap and subconsciously wanted to curse, but after seeing that it was his elder brother, Sun Lu Guan, he immediately lowered his head, but the color of resentment in his eyes didn't diminish. Lu Hanyan, however, had already woken up two minutes earlier, and hearing Sun Lu Guang's words, she came to Sun Lu Guang's side, hugged his arm, and cried. Big brother, you have to take out this bad anger for us. Those two guys struck very viciously, beating us up like this, where is this slapping our face, this is slapping the Sun family's face. Sun Lu Guang treated Lu Hanyan but not as rudely as he treated Sun Lu Mao, instead, he gently patted Lu Hanyan's back and comforted her. Don't worry, sister-in-law, big brother will definitely take it out on you. Lu Hanyan tightly tucked Sun Lu Guang's arm into her chest and said coquettishly, Thank you big brother, big brother you are the best. Sun Lianqing, who was on the side, spoke up. Lu Mao, recount the details of your battle, as well as the other party's talent and dragon spirit form, with your strength, how could you be defeated so easily and beaten like this? Sun Lu Mao recounted all the details of his battle against the two Lu Jin, including the grudges and entanglements between the several people. After listening, Sun Lianqing glanced at Lu Hanyan and sighed. It's not surprising that a 4th ranked imperial dragon envoy with an SSS ranked talent can reach 6th ranked in terms of battle power, and this Lusion's talent happens to have an extremely strong increase on itself as well. Having mastered the ability of dragonization at the 4th rank, it's only natural that you guys were defeated by him. However, the other party took the initiative to propose a duel, so it's obvious that he's sure of himself, and you guys were so brainless as to directly agree to it. Go back and reflect. Also, your strength is too weak you must break through to the 5th rank this year, now get your asses back to cultivate. Lu Hanyan couldn't swallow this breath, but she also didn't dare to contradict Sun Lianqing, so she can only give Sun Lu Guan the look of help. Sun Lu Guan nodded at her, and only then did Lu Hanyan leave with Sun Lu Mo. After these two left, Sun Lu Guan spoke. Grandpa, even though this time their duel had no spectators and very few people knew about it, it will still be spread out. This has caused my family to lose face, and if we can't get it back, I'm afraid that all those wallflowers in the middle of East Sea City will have much less respect for our Sun family. Some things, giving orders again, will be difficult to do. Idiot. 
Su Zetong was originally that old man's heart treasure, and now that she has been promoted to become an SSS rank talent, she will even be valued by the Su family. If we go directly to deal with them, do you want that old lunatic Su Dingyuan to come and beat on your door? Sun Lianqing angrily rebuked. Sun Lu Guang said in a deep voice, Then we'll just admit defeat this time? Sun Lianqing murmured twice and suddenly asked, Is that young son of the Zhang family awakened this year and didn't find a suitable dragon spirit? Sun Lu Guang nodded and said, That guy Zhang Ji awakened the S-grade Imperial Dragon Messenger talent, but amongst the East Sea Academy, there is only one S-grade Dragon Spirit Guan Wen Yuan this year, which was contracted by the AI family's AIG. The A-grade Dragon Spirit Zhang Ji couldn't look at it, so he decided to pick up the slack elsewhere to see what he could do, and so far he hasn't found it, and may want to wait for the next session. Speaking here, he suddenly understood what Sun Lianqing meant and continued. You mean to say, let Lu Hanyan's sister with S-class talent go in contract with Zhang Ji, then borrow the Zhang family's hand to give Lu Jin and the others some color? Sun Lianqing nodded and said, Right, you still have some brains, go and make the arrangements, this way we can still have one more kinship with the Zhang family, and it will be easy to pull the strings afterward. Having received the instructions, Sun Lu Guan left the Sun family residence, and later went to a hotel and dialed Sun Lu Mao's phone. Grandpa gave instructions for Hanyo's sister to go and contract Zhang Ji of the Zhang family, I'll call Hanyo over later to discuss the arrangements regarding this matter, you tell Hanyo's sister about this. Hearing that he had to give Lu Hanyo away, Sun Lu Mao was a little reluctant, but it was Sun Lianqing's intention, he didn't dare to whine and answered. This side hung up the phone, Lu Hanyan immediately received a message from Sun Lu Guang, and then wearing stockings came to that hotel, three hours later, things to talk about finished Lu Hanyan left the hotel to return to the villa with Sun Lu Mao, the stockings on the leg but, was gone. She had just returned when she heard the voice of Lu Hanyu struggling weakly. Brother-in-law, stop it, let go of me. Lu Hanyan instantly pushed open the door in anger, then kicked Sun Lu Mao, who was undressing Lu Hanyo, and drank. Bastard! What are you doing? Are you crazy? If the Zhang family finds out that Zhao Jiao is not the first time, the Zhang family will definitely be furious. At that time, spoiling the big event of the two families joining forces, the old master will definitely not spare you. Sun Lu Mao sobered up at his words and hurriedly said, Wife, I know I'm wrong. It's not my fault, it's really because Zhao Jiao is too good looking. Lu Hanyan once again shouted angrily, You mean I'm not as good looking as her? Get out of here. You don't want to touch me this month. Sun Lu Mao's face sank, but knowing that he was in the wrong, he didn't say anything more, anyway, he also had many women outside, going out to live was nothing, but this attitude of Lu Hanyan made him very upset, but thinking that it was about the old master's arrangement, he didn't get annoyed and angry, he just left with a cold snort, Zhao Jiao, are you alright? At this time, Lu Hanyan Fan walked up to Lu Hanyo and asked with seeming concern, and through the conversation between her and Sun Lu Mao just now, Lu Hanyo had already recognized that this sister was not really concerned about herself at all. What she cared about was whether or not she could still maximize the value of this bargaining chip, and what she cared about was who was the best looking woman in Sun Lu Mao's eyes. Lu Hanyo's heart suddenly became very calm at this moment, without the helplessness she felt when facing Sun Lu Mao's aggression just now, she just had a firm idea. She wanted to become stronger, become stronger, become the strongest. All of today's disgrace was only caused because she was not strong enough. The Lu family relied on the Sun family, and the Lu family relied on the relationship of Lu Hanyan, so she could only rely on Lu Hanyan now. So she couldn't roll her eyes, instead she squeezed out a smile and said, I'm fine, thank you sister. Lu Hanyan then nodded and said, It's fine. The generality of the matter, Sun Lu Ma should have said it to you just now, tomorrow morning, I will take you to the Eastern Sea University. At that time, Sun Lu Ma's elder brother will bring Zheng Ji over, you guys will meet each other, and then the contract. The Zhang family is one of the top 10 families in the Eastern War Zone, although it's not as powerful as the Sun family, it's still a big power, and with their resources at your back, you can have a better life and a faster growth rate. You have to remember that you can have such a condition, it's all because of me in exchange, when you get something good, remember to share it with me. Lu Hanyan and Lu Hanyo had been separated since they were young, one grew up in the Eastern War Zone, in East Sea City, while the other grew up in their old home in the Central War Zone, in Linyang City. Between the sisters, there wasn't much affection at all. And after these few years of refining in the Sun family, she, who had been possessed by her elder brother on her wedding night, had naturally become an exquisite egoist, viewing everything as a distribution of benefits, as an investment. Including the relationship between herself and her sister was also a form of capital in her hands. Lu Hanyo had already recognized her true nature, her heart was not much touched, instead she nodded her head and said, I know sister, when I become the granddaughter-in-law of the Zheng family, I will definitely repay you. Satisfied with her answer, Lu Hanyan stopped caring about her and turned to leave. Having overworked herself in the hotel just now, her stockings were ripped to shreds, 
she felt very tired and was going to take an early rest. Lu Han Yu lay on the bed, gritting her teeth, the faces of Lu Xin, Song Xiao, Ruan Qinghan and Sun Lumo floated in her mind, secretly swearing that in the future, these people, she must defeat them one by one and trample them under her feet, picking up the dignity she lost. The next day, in the middle of the East Sea Academy, the well-groomed Lu Hanyo directly charmed Zheng Ji, and the two completed the contract. Although Lu Hanyo is already contracted with someone for the second time, in the mouth of Lu Hanyan and the others, Lu Hanyo was made into a victim, claiming that she was deceived by Zhao Zhen, who was found to have colluded with the Holy Spirit sect, and only then did she cancel her contract. As for Lu Hanyo, the poor victim, Zheng Ji naturally loved her even more. The topic was steered by Lu Hanjiao to Lu Xin's several people, allowing Zheng Ji to learn a part of the grudge between the Lu family and Lu Xin, burying a nail first. On the other hand, the Su family compound. The Su family's old madam, Wang Yuqiu, had returned from the East Sea border war zone. As a 10th ranked warrior, Su Dingyuan could preside over the general situation in East Sea City, but old lady Su had been active on the front line of the battle, suppressing those powerful demonic monsters in the sea. This time when she returned, it was also because she heard that Su Zetong had actually evolved into a SSS rank, and she purposely rushed all night to see her great-granddaughter after her metamorphosis. After looking at Su Zetong's dragon spirit form, the old lady smiled happily. However, when she looked at Lu Xin, her smile tightened. Young man, grandma is happy that you can contract with Zetong and help her evolve. But you have the other three dragon spirits, grandma is not very satisfied, I'll give you a choice, either break the contract with Zetong, or break the contract with the three of them, you choose one. As soon as Wang Yuqiu said this, the air around her seemed to go quiet. Su Zetong was about to say something, but she was glared at by Wang Yuqiu and closed her mouth. Lu Xin calmly replied, I promised them that unless they voluntarily break the contract with me, I will definitely protect them forever. Therefore, I will not break the contract with the three of them. Likewise, it's the same for Sister Su. If she wants to break the contract with me, I won't force her to stay. But if she wants to be with me, then no one can force us apart. Wang Yuqiu snorted coldly as she sniffed, suddenly releasing the pressure of a 10th order SSS ranked dragon spirit, of course, it was not fully released, the intensity was roughly equivalent to the level of an 8th order demon monster, presumably because she had already heard that Lu Xin had a strength that could rival that of a 7th order demon monster. Lu Xin, however, did not move, his face did not change. The pressure of a western false dragon was just a mere thing. How could he, the possessor of a true dragon bloodline, the true heir of a dragon, be affected by this low level of pressure? After about three minutes or so, all the pressure dissipated and a smile appeared on the old lady's face. All right, count yourself as having passed this time. I don't care about your matters, old woman, but if I know that you bullied my precious granddaughter, I will kill out to get a statement from you even if I'm besieged by eight tenth rank demonic monsters. Lu Xin also smiled. Don't worry, your old man, this kind of thing, will never happen. I won't do anything to bully Sister Su, and there's no way I'll let you face a siege of 8 10th order demonic monsters. If I really face 8 10th order demonic monsters, I'll definitely fight with you when the time comes. Wang Yuqiu pointed at Lu Xin and said to Su Zetong with a smile. This kid is oily, you can be careful, don't be cheated by him and help him count his money. Su Zetong did not comply and hugged Wang Yuqiu's arm and pouted. Grandma, what are you saying? What are you talking about? How could I be cheated by such a brat, don't forget, your granddaughter, I'm still the president of Farhang Group. Wan Yuqiu waved her hand and said, All right, don't get tired of me, you just awakened, you need to seize the time to cultivate, it just so happens that I just killed a ninth ranked demonic monster a few days ago, and took out a Yuan Dan, you guys can take it and use it. Lucian smiled with joy, it seemed that this test was all about rewards. This family was so generous, the old master gave the spatial ring, and the old lady gave Yuan Dan, it was really generous. Yuan Dan, something that only demonic monsters of the ninth rank as well as those above the ninth rank would condense. In exchange for a true dragon, it would be like a dragon pearl. It contained rich spiritual energy, but it also definitely contained a large amount of demonic energy. However, the thing that was given to the granddaughters was of course something that had already been processed and could be used by them to absorb it directly. With this stuff, it wouldn't take more than a month for Lucian to be certain that Su Zetone would be elevated to the third stage. And the Su family certainly wasn't short of their granddaughter's quota of dragon awakening potion, so as long as she was elevated to the third rank, and then allowed to take the potion, she would be able to step into the same fourth rank level as the four. Of course, during this month's time, Lu Xin and the other's strength would also increase. Su Zitong wouldn't refuse such a good thing, and directly took it in her hand, kissed Wang Yuqiu's cheek and laughed. Grandma is the best. Song Xiao on the side looked at this scene with a somewhat forlorn expression. She was an orphan, without a grandfather or grandmother, naturally no one sent her anything, such a cozy picture, but for her there was no small harm. At this time, she was the one who suddenly felt that both of her hands were grabbed. Her left hand was held in Xiaolingchan's hand, 
and her right hand was held in Lucian's hand. She raised her head and looked dully from side to side at the two of them, and suddenly realized and revealed a bright smile. In the future, she was no longer alone. There was her husband, Sister Sia, Sister Ruan, and now there was another Sister Su, and perhaps, in the future, there would be more people in their big family. With the Yuan Dan in hand, several people couldn't wait to come into the Su family's proprietary practice room for joint cultivation. The dragon spirit itself was unable to directly absorb spiritual energy, and needed the Imperial Dragon Envoy to complete this step. And as it happened, Lujin, the Imperial Dragon Envoy, possessed a super god grade talent that surpassed the SSS grade, and his absorption of spiritual energy was extremely efficient. With one night's cultivation, it was more than enough for him to satisfy Su Zitong and their four women by himself. No, it should be said that it was very rich. They were filled by Lujin, and none of them could eat more. After all, they were only SSS ranked talents only, and hadn't truly evolved into a god ranked bloodline, whereas Lujin was super god ranked, the only true dragon bloodline. Despite the low level of awakening, the absorption efficiency of the spiritual energy was extremely fast. But it didn't matter, after he completed his semi-dragonization, he would be able to refine the spiritual energy on his own. With the help of the Yuan Dan, the harvest of one night's cultivation was just tremendous. The next day, Su Zitong, who found herself promoted to the lower level of the second rank, looked at Lu Jin with a satisfied face and smiled delicately. Brother Lu, you're so great. Sister likes it so much. The rest of the three women also looked satisfied, obviously they all had a great experience last night and were greatly satisfied. This was also where Lujin could contract so many people, he was able to fulfill all of their cultivation needs at the same time, one person was better than five. Therefore, with four dragon spirits, it was obvious that it wasn't enough, Lujin felt that he needed to keep searching, there were definitely more young girls in the midst of confusion waiting for him to save them, he couldn't slack off. He knew that the multiple contracts, saving talented maidens in the midst of decadence, was destined to be a road of no return, but, he had no regrets, in order to recast the glory of the divine dragon, he could dedicate himself. Come on, let the maiden come harder. In the middle of the Su family compound, the five people didn't go out for half a consecutive month. The Su family's services were on point, with enough food and drink, and people to take care of them. All they needed to do was to cultivate, cultivate with all their heart and soul. With the Yuan Dan of the Ninth Order Demon Monster, and Lujin, the highly efficient energy absorber, the spiritual strength of several people rapidly increased. The one with the most obvious improvement was of course Su Zitong. After the first night of cultivation, she stepped into the lower second rank, and after that, her strength increased even more rapidly, after all, after her rank increased, her ability to refine Lujin's spiritual energy followed suit. On the afternoon of the fourth day, stepped into the intermediate level of the second rank, on the evening of the tenth day, reached the upper level of the second rank. In half a month, she successfully stepped into the lower third rank. After spending two days to stabilize her cultivation, the Su family did send the Dragon Awakening Potion. After letting Su Zitong take it, her strength jumped to the 4th order lower level, and at this time, besides Song Xiao who was still at the 4th order lower level, Lu Jin, Wan Qinghan, and Xia Lingchan were all already at the 4th order intermediate level. For Song Xiao, the way to quickly raise her strength was to devour demonic monsters. A more suitable place for her to improve was in the battlefield. She wasn't in a hurry about this, they were already raising their strength very quickly nowadays, after all, it had only been less than 3 months since they were first awakened. For an A-ranked Imperial Dragon Envoy and Dragon Spirit to reach the 4th rank, it would often take more than 2 years as well. They still had a long road ahead of them, and by laying a good foundation now, the road would be smoother in the future. Su Zitong reaching the 4th rank meant that the 5 could leave the Su family compound. However, on this day, Su Mingzhang came looking for them and said, Old Madam has an order, after Zitong steps into the 4th rank, she will bring all of you to the East Sea border, half a year later, only then will you be released to come back, now give a word to the family, the daily necessities are ready, in a moment Lujin you load them up, and we will set off in an hour. Lujin sighed helplessly. He knew that abducting someone's precious granddaughter to leave wasn't easy. But fortunately, going to the East Sea border, with the old madam, a 10th ranked powerhouse, suppressing the situation, and Su Zitong's parents, there were some guarantees in terms of safety. In the middle of the army, there wouldn't be a situation like the assassination squad dispatched by Zhao Jin last time. That said, the day before yesterday, Lu Jin had gotten the news that something had gone wrong during the trial of Zhao Jin's father and son, Zhao Jin's father had died, but Zhao Jin had been rescued by the Holy Spirit sex people, so Xia Qian Jun had purposely reminded Lu Jin of their safety in case of retaliation from the Holy Spirit sect. After all, they had arranged the line of the Zhao family's father and son, and before it could do much good, they were eradicated. This vengeance was definitely on Lu Jin's head. Now that they had gone to fight at the Great Wall of the Sea Defense Border in the Eastern War Zone, they were temporarily free from the dangers in this regard. That said, it was also a good thing. 
Sharpening in the battlefield for half a year should be enough to bring one's strength to a new level. Set a small goal, after half a year, all of them will enter the fifth rank. Taking a special airplane, together with the East Sea Warrior Soldiers, the five of them arrived at the East Sea Border Great Wall. The Border Great Wall, a majestic structure that encompassed the entire four major war zones, took 30 years and consumed a lot of manpower and material resources to build. It took 30 years and a lot of manpower and material resources to build. It was because of this 60,000 mile long masonry dragon guarding the Yenxia Federation that the humans in the inner cities had a more comfortable environment to live in. The number of people needed to guard such a lengthy borderline was also a very large number. According to the level of threat from the monsters, high, medium and low level defense fortresses were established, where high level fortresses meant that they would face the impact of monsters of the 7th order or above, medium level fortresses would face the attack of monsters of the 7th order, 4th order and above, and low level fortresses would deal with monsters of the 4th order or below. Depending on the distribution of the number of demon monsters, the sparseness of the fortresses also varied. The place Luzhin and the few of them came to was the East Hino. 27 Defense Fortress, meaning, the 27th high-level defense fortress in the Eastern War Zone. The old lady wasn't here, but Su Zitong's parents were. Su Zitong's father was Su Xingbang, and her mother, Ai Yajun, both of them were S-class gifted, 9th-ranked powerhouses, suppressing one side. Probably because he had already met the old master and the old lady, Lu Xin didn't show any signs of timidity or uneasiness when facing this couple. All have already had their souls intermingled, counting as half a son-in-law, right? Seeing that Su Zitong had really evolved into a SSS grade dragon spirit, Su Xingbang opened his mouth and laughed. I said, your big brother is SS grade, how come you are F grade, it turns out to be a special bloodline that needs to undergo a second awakening. Very well, half a month to elevate to the fourth rank, your potential is far higher than me and your mother, make sure not to waste it. As a person with a very strict tutelage and excellent family style, Su Xingbang had deep feelings for the Yenxia Federation, he was worried that after he died in battle, no one would be able to guard this land behind him so he had great expectations for his sons and daughters. He just didn't expect that Su Zitong's failure to awaken was only the lowest level of F, meaning that he could only shrink in the city and receive protection for the rest of his life. Even though they had taken care to give as much care as they could to their siblings, Su Mingjiang was right there in the military with them, and naturally appeared to treat his daughter even more coldly. And in fact, the couple loved Su Zitong very much, and just because the previous one couldn't face the dangers outside, that's why they were always guarding the outside and didn't come back to give her the warmth she deserved. Most things in the world were like this, the fish and the bear's paw could not have both. Ai Yajun touched the head of Su Zitong who had regained her human form and laughed. My daughter has really grown up, mom knows that you were able to make the right choice, we are going to rush to another fortress to fight in 5 minutes, your big brother will take you into battle, protect yourself. It was evident that Mother Su was a gentle person. Lu Jin hurriedly stepped forward and stated. Don't worry auntie, I will definitely protect sister Su and won't let her get hurt. Ai Yajun smiled at him and nodded, while Su Xingbang snorted coldly and spoke. Kid, I can promise to let Zitong follow you, I only have one request, in the future, when you step into the Ninth Order, I'll let you station at the border Great Wall for at least 30 years. Lu Jin sniffed with a serious face and replied. Good. In the future, when I enter the Ninth Rank, I will definitely guard the border for 30 years to protect Yen Xiao's peace and quiet. Su Xingbang patted Lu Jin's shoulder, then said to Ai Yajun. Let's go, the child has his own path. Ai Yajun instantly transformed into a two-headed fire dragon with a wingspan of 38 feet, Su Xingbang mounted it, and the two transformed into a fiery red stream of light, quickly disappearing into the distant sky. Su Zitong froze for half a second before coming back to her senses, she had only seen her parents once in a long time, and every time, it was a very short gathering. This time, it was no exception. Su Mingjiang came and laughed. Let's go, let's show you guys what a real border battlefield is. Su Mingjiang brought the five people to the city wall, the city wall was very high, 36 feet, it was said that this was an optimal height obtained through calculations, too high, it would be easy to be collapsed by the impact of the demonic monsters from the center, and too low, the demonic monsters would easily pile up to the top through sheer numbers. When they didn't ascend the wall, Lu Jin heard the sound of explosions and the hissing of all kinds of demons and monsters, and when they got on the wall, they were shocked by the sight in front of them. They had thought that this defensive wall built on land against the ocean demons would not have many demons impacting it, but in fact, it could be densely packed with crabs, lobsters, octopuses, and the like that kept coming. Most of them were black, like a black torrent. Outside the city wall, the imperial dragon warriors formed a new wall, the dragon spirits that couldn't fly fought on the ground together with the imperial dragon envoys, while the dragon spirits and imperial dragon envoys that could fly formed the sky defense. It was just like the demon den camp, fighting to the best of one's ability, holding out for a set amount of time, switching to the top, and grabbing a break for themselves. Su Mingjiang opened his mouth and laughed. 
You guys came at the right time, this point in time is the time period when the magic monsters are at their highest, there's no worry at all about not having any magic monsters to kill. After a pause, he looked towards a sixth ranked dragon spirit in the distant sky and shouted, Fonger, come down. It was a flying dragon covered in purple fire, with a wingspan of about 7 feet, it was considered a behemoth. The purple flame flying dragon fell down and transformed into a tall and tall woman in purple with a pretty and round face. This is my wife, Fire Phoenixer. Su Mingjiang introduced Lu Jin and the others, and then introduced Lu Jin and the others to Fire Phoenixer. Fire Phoenixer looked at Su Zitong and smiled. I heard your brother say that you evolved into a SSS grade dragon spirit and reached the fourth rank in half a month, come, let sister-in-law see how much battle power you have now. It had to be said that this Fire Phoenixer sister-in-law was really pugnacious, just after meeting, she pulled her sister-in-law to rush towards the pile of demonic monsters. Su Mingjiang didn't stop her, with Fire Phoenixer watching over her, there was no worry that Su Zitong would get hurt, he looked at Lu Jin and the others and said, let's go, you guys just follow me and kill down. With that, he raised his right hand, and the thunder ripple flare opened, a layer of thunder attached to his body, and he leapt down from the city wall. Lu Jin looked towards Song Xiao and the girls and smiled. Let's start fighting then. As his words fell, a golden dragon gate emerged, and with a single step, a gigantic dragon man wearing abyssal dragon armor appeared, while behind him, the three women also changed their forms one after another. Dragon head fish body golden scales of chi dragons, bull horns dragon body yellow scales of prisoner cattle and have a dragon head but body like a jackal jarius. They flew up in the air with clouds and together with Lusion, they threw themselves into the battle. The demons outside the city walls were mostly second order demons, with third and fourth order demons being the backbone, and the number of demons above the fourth order was very small. These demonic monsters either carried hard armor or were very soft and tough soft bodied monsters, in short, they were very difficult to break through the defense, one had to use spiritual energy to destroy their defense layer with special attributes, and a pure power attack, on the other hand, had to surpass at least one major rank in order to cut them down. The imperial dragon warriors who participated in the war were all at the third rank. Soldiers who participated in the war, their strengths were all in the third and fourth ranks, so naturally, they could easily deal with second rank demons, but when facing demons of the same rank, they often needed to go through a good deal of wrangling. However, most of the battles were the result of the Imperial Dragon Envoys and their own Dragon Spirits cooperating, locally maintaining the advantage of two against one, as a way to ensure the frequency of decimation. In any battle, winning with less and winning with weakness were all exceptions, often it appeared on the surface that it was winning with weakness, but in reality, its localization, it was with a strong strength that the other party was decimated. This is the summary of human wisdom. After the battle lasted for an hour, Lucian became more and more courageous, on the one hand, he gained energy supplies through his, devour, talent, on the other hand, through his, brave crown, talent, he slowly increased his battle power. For the sake of a long-lasting battle, he didn't use his strongest state, the true dragon form. Although the true dragon form was immensely powerful, the time it could last was very short, and at this time, the demonic monsters he was facing were not of a high rank, and in their semi-dragonized state, they could be killed in a completely chaotic manner. Suddenly, a huge black shadow rushed towards Lucian, he hurriedly dodged over, and then saw clearly the appearance of that thing. It was a crayfish with wings and horns on its head, more than 8 meters long, and its tail could eject a white stream of air, allowing it to jet and accelerate as it flew, shooting itself out like a cannonball. The name of this devil monster Lucian knows, called One-Horned Flying Shrimp, is a common devil monster in the ocean, and this One-Horned Flying Shrimp's horn is silver, representing that it is a lord-level existence, the breath on its body, reached the sixth stage intermediate. Monsters also have qualities, for some common monsters, human-made monsters are divided into four levels, ordinary, elite, lord, and king, and the lord-level quality corresponds to humans' B-level and A-level talent level. Silverhorn's one-horn flying shrimp was at the lord level, and as it continued to devour and grow, it was possible for it to enter the ninth rank. Therefore, this demonic monster was also extremely powerful, and decapitating it was difficult, but necessary. Lucian knew that the true dragon bloodline in his body had a great attraction to demonic monsters and could easily attract powerful demonic monsters to covet it, so seeing this silver horn flying shrimp charging towards him, he wasn't surprised. Concentrating on the opposite side, his body electric light flashes, he steeply met the silver horn flying shrimp rushed up. The silver horn flying shrimp's two large pincers were raised forward, and its tail violently ejected high temperature airflow, guided by its wings, shooting towards Lucian. When the two were about to collide, Lusions, Dragon Might, and Evil Suppressor, Golden Light were released together to curb the Silver Horn Flying Shrimp's momentum, and immediately after, his figure dodged the head-on impact with the Silver Horn Flying Shrimp with the help of the Cloudy Aura, and then struck the dragon's tail, striking the joints of the Silver Horn Flying Shrimp's left wing. This guy immediately shattered his exoskeleton and was sent flying out in a diagonal direction, 
and it wanted to rely on its wings to stabilize its body, but it was unable to do so. Lucian followed and flew, but saw the silver horn flying shrimp violently opened his mouth and sprayed a water arrow, it seems to be just an ordinary water arrow, but it contains extremely violent spiritual energy, once hit, even if it is a fifth-ranked imperial dragon envoy will be seriously injured. However, Lucian did not dodge, but released a sound wave, directly cancelled it out, against the energy aftermath, came to the side of the silver horn flying shrimp that was unsteady and unable to make effective resistance, the dragon claw probed out and grabbed a piece of its exoskeleton and used it to tear it. In the process, with the power of thunder destroying the skin and flesh connection of the silver horn flying shrimp, hardened its exoskeleton from the blood and flesh to tear down a large piece. Lucian bit on it, and large chunks of flesh and blood were torn and devoured by him, while the silver horn flying shrimp struggled painfully, only to find that it was firmly controlled, as well as paralyzed by the thunderbolt, and was unable to break free at all. At this moment, the silver horn flying shrimp felt that this human was even more terrifying than a demonic monster. There were many synonyms for war, madness, killing, bloodshed, berserkness and so on, and at this moment, all of these things, could be seen on Lucian. He was covered in golden dragon scales, and at this time, he was already covered in a large amount of dark red blood. In fact, he could have utilized his, water control, talent to isolate these things, but he didn't. This blood, that fishy smell, could cover up his golden scales. Under the sunlight, his golden scales were too conspicuous, and he was like a living target, constantly being attacked by all sorts of demons and monsters. It's not that he's afraid or can't cope with it, it's just that he's not interested in killing those low-ranked monsters, and he's now specializing in hunting monsters above the fifth-ranked level, so that he can play a certain role in refining the effect. Moreover, it had to be at least a demonic monster of the fifth rank or above that had value for him to devour. The battle began to last for eight hours, and the remaining four hours were used for rest and cultivation, and in the midst of the tight pace of life, Lucian and the four women's cultivation had gained a great deal of progress. After only a month, Lucian and Ruan Qinghan stepped into the upper fourth rank back and forth, and the remaining three women, they were all still in the middle fourth rank. Lucian's cultivation speed was the fastest amongst the few, because not only could he cultivate with Song Xiao's, devouring, talent, he could also use Ruan Qinghan's, brave crown, talent to enhance it, and then he could use Xiaoling Chan's, loud sound invisible, talent to increase it, and he was able to quench his body with Su Zetong's, thunder, power. With such multiple enhancements, he himself could also independently refine spiritual energy and absorb spiritual energy in his semi-dragonized state, instead of only being able to refine spiritual energy and cultivate with the help of the dragon spirits like the other royal dragon ambassadors. He was able to feed his cultivation with the help of four dragon spirits at the same time, so naturally, his cultivation was the fastest to increase. Therefore, despite the fact that Ruan Qinghan had directly reached the intermediate level of the fourth rank after taking the potion in the first place, and Lucian was only at the lower level of the fourth rank, it was Lucian who stepped into the upper level of the fourth rank first. If there were no accidents, among the several people, the first one to break through to the fifth rank would also be him, the Imperial Dragon Envoy. This situation was extremely rare. Because the cultivation of a dragon envoy depended on the transformation of the dragon spirit into spiritual energy, most of the dragon warrior combinations had a strong female and a weak male, and when the dragon spirit had evolved to a high level, it would then feed back to the dragon envoy for a level upgrade. Lucian, however, has turned into a person who can satisfy the four women's cultivation needs to absorb the spiritual energy while he himself improves, while the four women's cultivation speed, far from catching up with him. After learning of this situation, even Su Mingjiang, his great uncle, couldn't help but marvel. No wonder you can contract four people, you are really good. Lucian accepted this compliment as a matter of course, after all, a man can't say he can't. In the blink of an eye, another month had passed, and this was the 67th day that Lucian and the others had come to the Great Wall of the Eastern Sea Border Defense. Lucian's strength had already reached the Fourth Order Upper Level Consummation, but the distance to breakthrough seemed to feel almost something. Suddenly, a roar that seemed to be like a tiger's roar came from Lucian. Lucian turned his head to look and saw Ruan Qinghan not far away being jerked out by a huge tentacle. That sound just now, it was from her, a cry of pain and a warning. Lucian rushed over at the first opportunity. The tentacle. The owner of the tentacle was a huge conch-like thing, which had 17 tentacles growing out of its shell, with eyes growing on one side of the tentacle, and the head of the tentacle was a mouthpiece like a chrysanthemum blade. That shell looks not big, more than two Zhang Long, did not expect to reach out to the tentacles but there are more than 20 Zhang, those tentacles single take out, how to see how the volume is bigger than the whole conch shell, but they are indeed all from the body of this devil monster. This demonic monster's spiritual energy level had clearly reached the upper 7th order, and, judging from its aura, its battle power could reach the 8th order, or else it would not have been possible to hit Ruan Qinghan, who was now at the upper 4th order, with a single blow. After judging the other party's battle power, Lucian knew that in his current state, 
he was not fully certain of charging up to fight. Therefore, he decisively released the dragon gate and took a step in with the golden light. Aang. After a high-pitched roar, a five-clawed golden dragon with a body length of nearly 20 meters manifested, the strong dragon might and evil suppressing golden light forced the surrounding demons and monsters to retreat, and under the sunlight, the golden figure was incomparably dazzling. Lucian twisted his body and did not fly towards the tentacled demonic snail on the ground, but directly rushed into the clouds. In the next moment, dark clouds covered the sky, thunder and lightning flashed, and torrential rain poured down. In the midst of the wind, rain, thunder and lightning, Lucian felt the layer of barrier that bound him disappear, and he stepped into the fifth rank, becoming a fifth rank lower level royal dragon envoy. Absorbing the power of the thunder and rain around him, his figure soared once again, from some 20 meters to more than 8 feet long, and with thunder and lightning shielding his body, he violently rushed out downwards, like thunder transforming into a dragon, and landed on top of that tentacled demon snail. The tentacled devil snail sensed the brilliant heavenly power and shrunk itself into its shell at some point but the incomparably hard shell shattered the moment Lucian fell. The soft body of the tentacles inside the shell suddenly collapsed and flew out, but it was penetrated by the power of the thunder, emitting the sound of nuisance smoke. The thunder dispersed, and the tentacle magic snail in place twitched and jerked, apparently losing its ability to resist, but still having a little muscle memory. While it was still hot, Lucian directly swallowed it into his belly, refining the energy in it with the devour talent of the chi dragon. The maintenance time of the true dragon's body was limited, Lucian once again resumed his human form, and then became a half-dragon human form before he came to Ruan Qinghan's side. How are you doing? Do you need to go back to rest or receive treatment? Several people were strong in combat, but lacked healing abilities, Lucian and Song Xiao could make their injuries recover by devouring blood and flesh, but Ruan Qinghan and the others could not. Ruan Qinghan replied, I'm fine, I can recover by continuing to fight. Her, courageous crown, Talon could increase her full attributes with a certain healing ability attached. Lucian put his heart down, in the next battle, he would intentionally pay attention to a few girls sparring matches, and when they faced attacks from powerful demonic monsters, he would take the initiative to appear to kill them. His current battle power was enough to fight against the lower 8th rank demonic monsters, and as long as he didn't encounter a lord level demonic monster of the 8th rank or above, he could handle it. The time spent fighting passed quickly, and in the blink of an eye, it came to the six-month deadline requested by the old madam. The Su family's old madam, Wang Yuqiu, personally came to this high-level fortress, and after seeing the several people's rankings, she was surprised. Surprisingly, they have improved so quickly. And then she placed her gaze on Lu Jin and continued. Especially you, you, an imperial dragon envoy, are so much higher than the four of them in rank. Could this be the natural effect of the multiple contracts? It can make your cultivation level rise so quickly? Ruan Qinghan's four girls also looked at Lucian with a speechless expression, really, a royal dragon envoy's rank being so much higher than a dragon spirit was indeed a bit too perverse. Especially, it was only just less than nine months from the awakening day. In just half a year's time, Lucian's equivalent rank had heck of a lot higher than the upper fifth rank. In one month, he had risen from the fourth rank intermediate to the fourth rank upper, in one and a half months, he had stepped into the fifth rank lower. In another two months, he had reached the fifth rank intermediate, and in the last two and a half months, he had reached the fifth rank upper. From the time of his awakening until today, a full count of less than nine months, his psychic energy level had soared all the way from first order lower to fifth order upper. Normally speaking, it would take at least three years for an S-ranked gifted or dragon spirit to step into the fifth rank. He reached the upper fifth rank in nine months, and within a year, it was possible for him to enter the sixth rank. With such a cultivation speed, the word pervert was not enough to describe him. Su Ming Zhang on the side was even more complex and rather depressed. When they first met, the two of them could still pass a couple of moves, but now if he were to fight Lu Jin, he would only be abused. The strength of the remaining four girls had also improved greatly. Apart from Su Zitong who had not yet made a breakthrough and was only at the upper level of the fourth rank, the other three girls had all reached the lower level of the fifth rank. Facing the old lady's doubt and surprise, Lu Jin smiled and said, with every additional contracted spirit I have, my own talent will be enhanced by one point, and my bloodline talent, which is now far more than SSS level, it's only right that it improves a little faster. You call this boosting a little faster? Su Ming Zhang opened his mouth and said, I told you, obviously the talent is only one rank higher than me, how could the gap be so big, but your dual talent is also too demonic, as long as you continue the contract, the speed of cultivation will continue to strengthen, is it that you are going to step into the ninth rank next year, and the year after that, you will become the 10th rank? Lu Jin replied bashfully. Maybe, no matter what, I will strive to cultivate on and strive to be able to gain even more strength to protect the people I want to protect. Hearing these words, a smile appeared on the old lady's face and said, Very well, the royal dragon envoy and the dragon spirit are meant to cooperate with each other and accomplish each other. 
you are obligated to protect them since your strength has risen fast and is stronger than them. Saying this, she paused and looked at Su Zitong's several people and said, You should also continue to work hard, with such a powerful imperial dragon envoy as your backing, your growth will be smoother. The several women all nodded their heads in agreement. The old madam continued again. When the half-year period is up, you guys can leave here to meet up with your families. Although you are not soldiers, but with such talent and strength, I hope that you can participate in more battles at the front line in the future. On the one hand, honing your fighting ability, on the other hand, it can also be considered as making some contribution to this federation, this nation. After all, your stable and peaceful life for the first 18 years was exchanged for by countless warriors with their blood and lives. One could only say that the old lady was worthy of being the wife of Su Dingyuan, one of the guardian gods of China, and it should be said that one of the guardian gods here referred to the combination formed by the two of them jointly. That kind of patriotic feeling in her bones was reflected through her words and actions, and infected others around her. Lu Jin said seriously. Grandma, don't worry, we will definitely return to the border to fight. I had promised Uncle Su that after stepping into the ninth rank, I would station at the great border wall for 30 years, I will definitely do what I promised. The old lady sniffed but her face was odd as she smiled and said. Back then, Xing Bong's father-in-law, Ai Ching Yuan, said these words to him, and I didn't expect him to bring them directly to you. Su Zitong directly laughed out at his words, but he didn't give any face to his own father. Lu Jin also felt a bit dumbfounded, but didn't feel bad about it, instead, he was surprised that Su Xingbang's father-in-law was actually the dean of the East Sea Academy, A.I. Ching Yuan. This was also right, it was indeed very difficult for high-quality dragon spirits to appear amongst the commoners, and it was usually these big families who looked for suitable contractual objects amongst each other. To be able to sit in the dean's seat of the East Ocean Academy, one of the four major academies of the Yenxia Federation, the AI family's heritage must not be bad, after all, Longxiang Academy was still a notch below the East Ocean Academy. In a place like Longxiang Academy, only one S-Class Dragon Spirit and S-Class Imperial Dragon Envoy could appear every few years, whereas in the four major academies, there were so many two or three almost every year. There was even no lack of SS rank and SSS rank gifted individuals arising. The Su family's status was self-evident, and it was normal for them to tie the knot with the AI family. The five of them left the Great Wall at the East Sea border and first returned to East Sea City to see Elder Su before following the army to Linyang City. They weren't going to stay in Linyang City for too long, having already stepped into the fifth rank, they needed at least a sixth rank demonic monster in order to gain the refinement of their fighting ability, but this next period of time they were going to focus more on their cultivation, battles were important, but they wouldn't be as frequent as they were in the demon cave camps or the Great Wall of the border. Regarding the plan for the back, it had already been thought of before they came back. Lusion found a demon hunting quest. Hunting Blue Ice River demon monsters. The Blue Ice River waters are infested with 3rd to 7th order demon monsters all year round. Choose a different section of the river to station and hunt, and get rewards based on the range of the station and the amount of time you station there. The Blue Ice River is located in the northern part of the four war zones and is close to the Great Wall in the north. The water is frozen and snowy all year round, but there are often demons in the water that land to destroy and kill planted food and human beings. But its appearance is very irregular and the river network is complicated, so sending troops to guard it is a waste of troops. After all, the Federation still had such a long border defense line to garrison, or else could it spare enough manpower? So there was the emergence of such long-term missions. The Demon Hunting Corps wanted a continuous output of points, and this kind of garrison mission was a good choice. Generally speaking, this kind of mission would find people to cooperate and take turns guarding the town, making it easy to spare time for cultivation. Lusion also had the same intention. He also planned that after cultivating to the seventh rank, he would directly head to the northern Great Wall to fight and grow his strength. At the same time, he had another purpose for going to the northern war zone this time. These days he had continued to look for new girls of the divine dragon bloodline, after all, for women were completely unable to fulfill his needs. There was still a need to continue contracting more girls and rescuing lost young girls, this matter was a bit grueling, and although there were many difficulties, he could persevere. He just wanted to give every young girl in trouble a chance to regain her life. And after searching carefully, he finally searched out a familiar name amongst the list of students from the previous year, and could be certain that the other party was the possessor of the divine dragon bloodline. Therefore, this time, he went over there at the same time to help another girl. While the five were resting in Lin Yang City, many people were already secretly plotting against them. When they had just returned from the East Sea border, the Sun family here had received news. In fact, they had wanted to take action against the few people right at the border but the place where Lu Jin and the others were was the territory of the Su family, so neither the Sun family nor the Zhang family could intervene. When a few people came back, the Sun family wanted to do something, but it was also too late, the five people just stayed in the East China Sea for a few hours, and then directly to the city of Linyang. 
Neither the Sun family nor the Zhang family could intervene, so they could only wait for another opportunity. However, the other group of people intent on targeting Lu Jin was powerful all over the place, and that was the Holy Spirit sect. The Holy Spirit sect was a crazy organization. Their prototype was a doomsaying association before the demon monster invasion, which later developed into the Holy Spirit cult. To this day, the history of the demon monster invasion was the history of the Holy Spirit cult's existence. Regardless of the era, there will always be some people who go to extremes. They may have had an unfortunate childhood, or they may have been disillusioned in adulthood, or they may have pretended to be crazy to escape reality. In any case, they all had problems psychologically. These people, when aggregated, were a very frightening force. What's more, in such a special era where personal force had developed to a peak, the existence of the Holy Spirit cult was even more terrifying. The ultimate goal of their teachings was for the demonic monsters to kill everyone and restart everything. Among them, there were two things that they focused on doing, one was destroying human defense strongholds and triggering the demonic cave to erupt into a demonic tide, creating killings and chaos. The other was to strangle human geniuses or lead them to fall and join the Holy Ghost cult. Zhao Xin was one of their targets, and Lu Hanjia was originally as well, and as long as they became dependent on the demon spirit potion, they would basically end up becoming a part of it. However, an accident happened that exposed Zhao Yongcheng, Lu Hanya was rescued, and in the end, they only got their hands on one Zhao Xin. The Holy Spirit cult is divided into two parts, the White Spirit Hall and the Black Spirit Hall. The Dragon Envoys, or men, are the White Spirits, and the Dragon Spirits, or women, are the Black Spirits. This had to do with their unique way of cultivation. After Zhao Xin was rescued, he hid in the White Spirit Hall's branch rudder in Lin Yang City to cultivate. When he learned that Lu Xin had returned to Lin Yang City, he instantly stood up in a violent rage and wanted to go out to take revenge. In his consciousness, because of Lu Xin, he had let his father die a horrible death, and was considered to have killed his father, and at the same time, because he had been captured, causing Lu Hanjiao to break the contract with himself, he had also put this hatred on Lu Xin's head, which was the hatred of taking away his wife. With both major hatreds on Lu Xin, how could he still be able to settle down when he heard the news about Lu Xin? His actions caused Yu Dong, the helmsman at the side, to chide him. Sit down. You want to take revenge? The news tells us that Lu Xin and the others have risen to the fifth rank, and you're only at the upper third rank now, so what are you going to do to take revenge? Regarding Lu Xin and the few of them, the holy sect has other arrangements, what you need to do now is to continue to raise your strength. Zhao Xin gritted his teeth and gasped for air, the knuckles of his fists were pinched and turned blue, but he did not snap in the end. This was because Yu Dong had enough intimidation over him, it was a very maniacal and powerful existence, not something he could contradict. Seeing that Zhao Xin was tamed, Yu Dong nodded his head in satisfaction before commanding. Keep an eye on them first, now that Ling Yang City has just gone through a sweep, there is a shortage of manpower, pay attention to concealment. Send the news back to the main hall and listen to the hall master's arrangements. Lu Xin was a rare SSS grade talent imperial dragon envoy, a genius of this level, the first thing to do was to try to tempt the fallen and then exterminate them if they failed. Now that Lin Yang City had just gone through turmoil, his men were understaffed and he couldn't act rashly to avoid causing more losses. Two days later, Lu Xin's five men traveled to the northern war zone. Out of their protection, they were still allowed to follow the troops, and arrived at the main city of the northern war zone, Danjiang City before they were allowed to move freely. And not long after their departure, Yu Dong's side received instructions telling them that regarding Lu Xin's matter, for the time being, they didn't need to be involved and it would be handled by the people at the Danjiang City branch rudder. Danjiang City was established relatively close to the northern Great Wall, and at this time of the year, it was the time when it was freezing cold. The five people who got off the airplane were feeling the cold wind that greeted them, but fortunately, they were all warriors of the fourth rank or above, their physical qualities were hard enough, and they also had spiritual energy to protect their bodies, so they could resist it. Their destination was not in Danjiang City, but in Ice City, which was not far away next to the Blue Ice River. Ice City wasn't a key city, there wasn't any academy inside, and there weren't even many ordinary residents. Strictly speaking, it wasn't a real city with no official administrators. The people gathered here were basically members of the Demon Hunting Troop, and many of the Demon Hunting Troop in the Northern Battle Region were based here, relying on the Blue Ice River's missions to continuously gain points. Several powerful demon hunting troop formed the Ice City Demon Hunting Council to manage the people inside. It was just management, and couldn't do things like levying taxes. But all in all, this place was a loose zone with weak controls, and could be called a puddle of law and order. There were a total of three places like this in the Blue Ice River water system range, and Lucian chose this one for the simple reason that, according to the information, the girl with the divine dragon bloodline was here. With a hand ring to locate the place, Lucian and the others didn't need a guide, and they directly set off from Danjiang City and flew to Ice City. There were no accidents on the road, 
and they smoothly arrived at Ice City two hours later. When they arrived here, it was already late in the day, so they casually chose a hotel and dealt with it for one night first, and it was more appropriate to rent a house for a long-term battle. The next morning, Lujin led the four girls to start looking for the girl with the divine dragon bloodline. This girl's name was Chi Ran, a nurse, 20 years old this year, which meant that she had been awakened for more than two years. She had a brother named Chi Yu who was two years older than her and depended on her. Ji Yu was a member of the snow-drinking berserk dragon demon hunting troop, with a strength of fourth order intermediate and a B-rank talent. This talent is considered good, most of them are just below D grade, C grade talent is considered the regular talent of the Royal Dragon Army Warriors and the average talent of many members of the Demon Hunting Troop, B grade talent is considered good. But Ji Ran has no family, just personal growth, in order to give his sister better conditions, he chose to join the family, contracted the deputy leader of the Snow Drinking Berserk Dragon Demon Hunting Regiment, the 7th ranked Golden Demon Hunting Warrior, Mid Flag, who only has C rank talent. But the result is that Chi Ran only awakened the F-class dragon spirit, Pu Zhao, not only did not meet Chi Yu's expectations, but even fell to the bottom. However, Ji Yu was still very caring towards Ji Ran, but Chi Ran herself was too much in her heart, so she worked hard to learn about medicine and nursing, hoping to help Chi Yu a little, usually showing a big grin, but inwardly she was very soft. She tries not to cause trouble for her brother. Yesterday, Ji Yu and people went out to hunt magic monsters, as a result, Ji Yu was seriously injured, unconscious until now has not woken up. This morning, Madoki brought her younger sister, Milingi, to the residence of the two Chi Yu, checked Chi Yu's injuries, and spoke. Your brother is like this, it looks like unless a dragon spirit with healing ability above the 8th rank makes a move, he won't be able to live for long, I won't make things difficult for you, this is 20,000, you guys take the money and leave, spirit wings, you go and break the contract with him. Chi Ran's face changed drastically at the words, stepping forward to block Milingi, pleading. No, the contract cannot be broken. Undoing the contract will cause both of them to suffer a great deal of vitality. My brother can't withstand this kind of damage right now. Milingi coldly laughed as he pushed him away. If he dies and the traces of the contract disappear, it will take at least half a year. Delaying my cultivation time for half a year is not worth taking your life. No, it can't be. Chi Ran's face showed a look of pain, she tried to block it, but she was grabbed by the demon hunters, and could only watch as the contract was forcibly lifted. Right away, the unconscious Ji Yu bled from seven holes and his face became whiter. Madoki assisted Mi Lingyi, who had also become weak, then glanced at Ji Yu and said to the two people next to him, Don't let anyone die here, help her carry his brother out. Saying help carry him out actually meant throwing him out. In this place of Ice City, they are accustomed to lawlessness, dying a few people is nothing at all, and it is not their hands. Even if they did, as long as no one reported it to the police, no one would care. Everything that happens here is not reported by the people and not investigated by the officials. After all, it is a piece of puddle. Ji Ran watched her brother being thrown onto the icy streets, she held the $20,000, at this time she looked very helpless. But she was just an ordinary person, and could only go and accept this unfair fate. Gritting her teeth and putting the money into her bosom, she forcefully carried Ji Yu onto her back. It was imperative to find a warm place first. The environment of 14 degrees below zero, she an ordinary person can't stand it, at this time the dying Ji Yu can't stand it even more. Just walked out 10 meters, but saw a person stopping in front of him. Your Chi Ran, right? Lu Xin looked at this girl who looked round and plump and asked. Chi Ran nodded her head and said quickly. I am, what do you have to say quickly, I need to find a place to get warm as soon as possible. Her footsteps don't stop as she speaks, Lu Xin follows her and sees that the person behind her is already dying, and opens her mouth. Follow me, there is an inn nearby, but he should need treatment now. Ji Ran suddenly blurted out. I know, but he needs an 8th ranked healing dragon spirit for treatment, what can I do? Her emotions were a bit out of control, but there was nothing she could do other than this. It was this feeling of powerlessness that left her breathless. Lu Xin was also silent for a while. 8th order healing dragon spirits were indeed very rare, at least, Lu Xin didn't know of a single one at the moment, he might be able to find one by contacting Xia Qin Jun or Su Ding Yuan but this person obviously wouldn't last that long. He suddenly thought of a method and said to Chi Ran, Come with me, I have an idea that might be able to hang on to his life. Chi Ran froze for a moment at his words, but finally followed Lu Xin to a deserted place outside the city. At this point, she had no choice, even if she brought Chi Yu to a warm inn, it would only allow him to live for a moment longer, and the end result would be that she would watch Chi Yu die with her own eyes. Lu Xin gave her a glimmer of hope, even if it was only a glimmer, she had to hold on to it. When they arrived in no man's land, Lucian first turned into his dragon man form, dug a pit in the ground, and covered it with ice to form an ice pit. Then he said to Chi Ran, take off his jacket and put it into the pit. Since Chi Ran's only hope now rested on Lucian, she complied despite this outrageous request. This person seemed so powerful that there was no way. 
reason to tease her as an ordinary person. Lucian, on the other hand, summoned the Dragon Gate and penetrated it once again, transforming into his true dragon form. He placed one of his arms on the ice pit and made a cut, followed by a stream of reddish golden blood that flowed out, soaking Chi Yu's entire body. After the blood filled the ice pit, Lucian resumed his human form. The Song Xiao several people who were watching this scene from the side were worried as they ran over, realizing that the wound on Lucian's arm after he regained his human form was very small, and after a simple bandage, he would be fine. Chi Ran's attention had been focused on the ice pit, the blood inside the pit was boiling, drying up at an extremely fast speed, and in the end, it unexpectedly all evaporated into thin air. Looking at the Chi Yu inside, his face was flushed and his breath was long, obviously he was out of the state of near death. Seeing this, Lucian let out a sigh of relief. This blood is finally not in vain. Legend had it that dragon blood had the effect of bringing the dead back to life. Although he was not a legendary divine dragon, he still had the body of a true dragon. Even though he was only of the 5th rank, his battle power had already reached the 8th rank, so theoretically inferring that the effect of his own blood should be a great tonic for other people of low bloodline ranks. Now it really seemed to be the case. This person's breath had stabilized, and the broken organs and tissues in his body had recovered, so it shouldn't take long for him to wake up. Ji Ran apparently also realized that her brother had come back to life and instantly cried tears of joy. She puts Ji Yu's jacket on, then turns her head to look at Lu Jin and says seriously, Whatever you want me to do, I can promise you. Ruan Qinghan and the few people who heard this immediately looked at Lu Jin with a bit of a bad look in their eyes, if he said any rude request, he was only afraid that without waiting for Ji Ran to refuse, he would have to be beaten up by the three girls. Well, it is the three, the aggravated little daughter-in-law Song Xiao, will only go to sulk by herself. Lucian hurriedly said with a straight face. I want you to be my contracted dragon spirit. Chi Ran froze for a moment, glanced at the four women behind Lucian, and asked doubtfully. You haven't contracted with anyone yet? I'm only an f rank talent, so if you contract with me, it will drag you down. Lucian laughed. They have all already contracted with me, I can contract many people, I came here specifically to find you, because you are not an ordinary f rank talent but a divine dragon bloodline possessor, it's just that at this time, your bloodline hasn't really awakened yet. If you contract with me, you will be able to awaken your SSS ranked bloodline talent for the second time, just like them. Chi Ran sniffed and confirmed excitedly. I, I can really become an SSS ranked dragon spirit? Yes, as long as you contract with me. However, I already have four contracted dragon spirits, are you willing to become the fifth? Lu Jin asked slightly embarrassed. How did saying this out loud give him a sense of shame and saying, I already have a wife, are you willing to be my wife? I, Lucian, am a dedicated man. It's all about talent needs. Well, in order to recast the glory of the dragon of the east. I'm willing. Chi Ran didn't hesitate and directly agreed. Lucian had appeared when she was at her most desperate. Not only had he saved her brother's life, but now he had also given her the chance to regain her life. She had no reason to refuse. This was the chance to master power. This was the chance to break free from the shackles of fate. How could she give it up? At this time, a voice came, followed by a figure blocking in front of Chi Ran. Who are you and what are you going to do to my sister? Ji Yu had just regained his consciousness, and as a result, he heard Ji Ran say the words I do, and thought that Lu Jin was bullying Ji Ran into doing something, so he instinctively stood in front of Ji Ran, blocking between her and Lu Jin. When Ji Ran heard this, he hurriedly pulled Ji Yu and said, Brother, he saved you just now and now he just wants to contract with me, he didn't do anything to me. Ji Yu froze at his words, only then did he realize that his body, which had obviously been seriously injured, had completely recovered at this time, and moreover, there was a sense of power that he had never felt before. Learning what happened, Ji Yu showed an embarrassed face, then hurriedly said to Lu Jin, I'm sorry, thank you for saving me. Then all the more reason I can't be beneficent, with an ability like yours, you must be at least A ranked or above, my sister only has F rank talent, and by contracting with you, I'm doing you a disservice. His face was sincere, it could be seen that this thick-browed, big-eyed northern man was indeed an honest man. Ji Ran sniffed and wiped Ji Yu, shyly saying, You can really be my own brother. My sister has a better place to go, and you're still stopping it. Lu Jin several people were laughing out loud. Brother Chi, you woke up late and didn't listen to the whole thing, in fact, I specifically flew over here from the central war zone to look for your sister. I learned from analyzing the information that I confirmed that your sister possesses a divine dragon bloodline, and I'm the dragon spirit that can help her awaken and make her an SSS rank talent. I'm an SSS rank dual talent, so the two of us, were a good fit. Hearing Lu Jin say this, Chi Yu suddenly realized, he said how his sister knew such a powerful person, it turned out to be someone who came to her door. This is really great, I knew that my sister's talent wouldn't be bad. Then you guys go ahead and contract it, an SSS class dragon spirit, the future is unlimited. Ji Yu said happily. 
Shi Ran rolled his eyes at his words, just now he had said that he was just a trashy f rank talent, and now he was saying that his talent wouldn't be bad. I didn't realize that this thick-browed, big-eyed brother of his had two more faces. This is sending his sister out the door? Of course, Shi Ran knew that Chi Yu was truly happy for her. They had been orphaned at a young age and depended on each other, and knew very well what it was like to not have a strong strength to rely on. And now, as long as she contracted with Lusion, she could obtain the qualification of having strong strength, and also immediately have a powerful backer. It was a good thing to kill two birds with one stone. Suddenly, Chi Yu's face changed and she said in a deep voice, Did Spirit Wing break the contract with me? The smile on Chi Ran's face tightened at his words, and he replaced it with a look of gritted teeth and said, I've tried my best to stop it, but I couldn't, that woman brought the Midgard banner over with her and forcibly broke the contract with you. They were afraid that you would die in the camp and threw you out on the street. Brother, I'm sorry. You've protected me for so long, and I didn't even manage to protect you once. By the end of her words, she was in tears and her tone was full of self-reproach. Jiyu gasped for air and said in a deep voice. I didn't expect that after fighting together so many times, and this time it was also for her to block an attack before I was seriously injured, that she would be so heartless. It's good to break it off, you have a better home now, and there's no need for brother to be oppressed by the Mi family. He was just honest, not stupid. During this period of time in the snow drinking berserk dragon demon hunting corps, he was a royal dragon envoy, yet he was the first to protect Milingi, who was a dragon spirit, every time, just so that he could exchange it for some good things to use for his sister. But for all his dedication, there was almost no return. The Mi family siblings treated him like livestock. But in order to still be able to rely on the snow drinking berserker dragon hunt, in order to be able to give his sister something to rely on, he continued to endure. He endured until he died. Now, it was good to live again and lift the shackles. Lucian smiled as he sort of understood the general story and laughed. Yes, this is a good thing. A royal dragon envoy who can't get along with the contracted dragon spirit sincerely, then sooner or later, tragedy will occur. At the very least, now that it's broken, you can have a new choice again. As he spoke, Lucian handed up a tissue to Chi Ran, causing Chi Ran's heart to warm. Growing up, there had never been a man who had handed her a tissue once when she was crying, she had cried alone until her tears flowed. Xia Lingchan had already arrived next to Ji Ran, and as a big sister, she gently held Ji Ran in her arms and comforted her. With us together in the future, no one can bully you. Ji Ran broke into a smile, at this moment, she felt very happy. A person who had long lacked love and security, today, both had reached an unprecedented peak. Ji Yu revealed a smile and said, Let's go, let's hurry up and go to the contract. I'm eager to see Ran Rant's awakening to an SSS class dragon spirit. There was no way to complete the contract here in Ice City, so they still had to return to Danjiang City. Since Chi Ran was still an ordinary person at this point, she couldn't withstand the icy cold that came from flying at high altitude, so they could only rent a car and head to Danjiang City. Halfway there, there was an accident. Two cars came after them from the side and back, and then one after the other, Lusion's car was stuck in the middle of the road. Lusion could actually just let Ji Yu drive around them, but it was clear that these people were coming from a bad place, and if they couldn't handle it, they might have to destroy the car next. By then, it would be troublesome. Therefore, Lusion opened his mouth. Stop the car. Xiao, Zitong, you two wait in the car, Shenghan, Lingchan, you two go out with me. Seeing that Ji Yu was also going out, Lusion stopped him and said, You're ready to drive at any time, I don't need you to fight, you're too weak. At this time, it wasn't a time to care about emotions, so Lusion spoke more directly. Ji Yu sniffed and didn't make another move. Seeing their car stopped, the other two cars also followed to stop. Eight people came down from the car, all of them were women. One of the women, wearing a red leather jacket that was the color of blood, her nails and lips were purple, her face carried a sense of delicacy, but between her eyebrows, she looked ruthless. She looked at Lu Jin, licked her lips and laughed. You are Lu Jin? Not bad, inside you, there is a wave of something that makes me crave, that must be delicious. Lu Jin was stunned at his words, only a demonic monster would salivate over his true dragon bloodline which the dragon spirit could not perceive. This woman, however, could sense it. Judging from her scent, she should only be at the 7th or 8th rank, and it was unlikely that she was one of the legendary demonic monsters that could take human form. Then, what were the identities of these people? Suddenly, Lu Jin remembered that in the information given to him by Xia Chen Jun, it was mentioned that amongst the Holy Spirit sect, the Black Spirit Hall, also known as the Dragon Maidens, raised their strength by fusing with demonic monsters, and that they might possess the perception of demonic monsters. You guys are from the Holy Spirit sect? Purposely coming to find me? Chasing me from the central war zone to the northern war zone, it seems that you take me seriously? Lusion said with a smile. Gzui giggled at his words. Of course you're important, how could a brother who is so strong and can make his sister evolve to SSS level not be important? 
Since you know our identity, then go with your sister, these sisters are all good seedlings too, you can take them away together oh. Before Lu Xun could reply, Ruan Qinghan could no longer hold back. She had already been a soldier for three years, and she did not say she hated the Holy Spirit sect to the bone, but she was still trying to get rid of the evil. Drinking directly. Demonus. Suffer death. Before the words fell, she transformed into Jair, who had a dragon's head but had a body like a jackal, and she was already a behemoth with a body length of six zhang at the bottom of the fifth rank, and once the evil suppressing talon was opened, Ji Ziyue and the others didn't change their faces. Ji Ziyue had an understanding of Lusian's people, knowing that they had already stepped into the fifth rank, and could be said to be supreme geniuses, after all, it had only been less than a year since their awakening. However, she did not know much about their true battle power. The Holy Spirit sect had been wanting to make a move on a few people in the past few days, after all, this kind of human genius, whether it was recruiting or eliminating, had to be done as soon as possible. However, they hadn't made a move. The reason was simple, they were observing the experts protecting the few people. To be reasonable, wouldn't such a genius be worthy of sending an 8th ranked expert to protect them? However, after these days of observation, it was found that there did seem to be no one to protect them. Therefore, they still made their move and chose this moment. At this moment, GZUS suddenly understood why the Yenxia Federation did not send an expert to protect these people. The aura released by this Ruan Qinghan was surprisingly comparable to that of an 8th order demonic monster. Based on the known information analyzed, other than the subsequent addition of Su Zitong, the strength of Ruan Qinghan, Song Xiao, and Xia Lingchan should be comparable. Wouldn't it mean that these few people, all had 8th order combat strength? It was no wonder the Federation didn't send anyone to protect them. The experts of the ninth rank and above all had difficult tasks, and there was no way they could personally protect a few geniuses who hadn't grown up yet. And the eighth rank's level of protection clearly belonged to the drawing board. They themselves had the battle power of the eighth rank. Ruan Qinghan incarnated as Jarius, with his evil suppressing golden light protecting his body, and directly flew towards Gzue on a cloud of chi. Gzu could only transform into a dragon spirit to deal with it as well. In a burst of black gas, a hideous and terrifying monster emerged. It had a height of 10 feet, and at first glance, it looked like a dinosaur with three heads, with a pair of wings sprouting out from its back, while the three heads, however, were all like wolf heads. Its body was covered with a layer of purple-black cuticle that looked like rock. The thick hind legs, the relatively short but sharp clawed front legs, all of them showed how powerful it was. What made Lusion care the most was that the other party had fused a large amount of demonic chi in its body, and when it was shown at this time, it was forming a layer of black armor that wrapped around some vital parts such as the head. Was this the dragon spirit that had fused the demonic monsters? GZU's dragon spirit form, dark three-headed dragon wolf, the aura it displayed, had reached the level of an eighth-ranked upper-level demonic monster. However, its spirit energy level should only be at the lower eighth rank. Sensing such a powerful opponent, Ruan Qinghan's charging stance didn't pause, going forward and being courageous, this was her belief. The sharp claws attached with the evil suppressing golden light and the wolf's head shrouded in darkness collided, to be precise, it was Jarius's claws that attacked on the teeth of the dark triple-headed dragon wolf. For an instant, the two figures seemed to pause before they were knocked back together by the force of the recoil, and it could be seen that it was Ji Ziyue, who was of the 8th rank, who retreated first, and not Ruan Qinghan, who was only of the lower 5th rank. Ji Ziyue's desire for Lusion was even stronger in her heart. She was only an A-rank talent, but Ruan Qinghan had an SSS rank talent, and she attributed all the reasons why the other party was so powerful to its powerful talent. And as long as Lusion was captured, then it was possible for herself to evolve into an SSS class dragon spirit. Thinking of this, she couldn't help but become even more frantic as the demonic aura on her body steeply shook and a blood aura rose up. This was the blood burning technique, which drastically increased her battle aura in a short period of time, and in a moment, her battle power soared to the lower ninth rank. While Ji Ziyue and Ruan Qinghan were exchanging blows, several of her henchmen also transformed into their dragon spirit forms and attacked Lusion's men. They weren't very strong, with two of them at the 6th rank and the rest at the 5th rank. Although Lusion and the few of them topped out at the upper 5th rank, but, being of the same 5th rank, their strength was not the same. Xia Lingchan transformed into the prisoner bull form of the bullhorn dragon body, releasing a sound wave attack. Surprisingly, she was able to directly kill two of them, and the remaining few, they were all injured and retreated. She probably didn't expect that the attack she was casually releasing right now would directly kill people. Lucian watched her deal with those few GZUS subordinates, so he didn't pay attention to them. He was most aware of the strength of a few girls, after all, they were pillows. With Xiaolingchan's strength, it was easy to clean up those few small fishes, even if they were all strengthened by demonic chi. The true dragon bloodline was specialized in killing all evil spirits. Lucian's gaze was always on Ruan Qinghan and GZUF who were battling in the sky above. 
After seeing the change in the aura on Ji Ziyue's body, he decisively summoned the Dragon Gate, and then passed through it, abruptly transforming into a five-clawed golden dragon that was thirteen feet long. And at this moment, the aura on his body had clearly reached the level of a ninth rank lower level demonic monster as well. The strong dragon's might in conjunction with the evil suppressing golden light was released from Lu Xun's body, causing Ji Ziyue, who was about to attack Wan Qinghan, to tremble in her heart, a fear that originated from the depths of her bloodline. Lu Xun, on the other hand, rushed up towards her without pause. He couldn't just sit back and watch Wan Qinghan get hurt. With the thunder force, his speed was extremely fast, and with a flash, he reached the dark three-headed dragon wolf, biting down on one of the latter's necks. With the power of thunder and the Jin evil golden light infused, the powerful physical strength of the true dragon exploded, and this time, he actually directly bit off one of Ji Ziyue's necks, and then rigidly withdrew it from her flesh and blood. Ji Ziyue's remaining two heads let out a wail of pain, at this moment, her inner desire for illusion disappeared into thin air, and what filled her mind was only deep fear. Ji Ziyue didn't hesitate, losing one of her heads, she just hurriedly blocked her wounds with her demonic chi, while releasing a large area of demonic chi mist, and then she fled at a rapid speed. Those henchmen, she didn't even glance at them and quickly disappeared into the distant sky. Lucian could ignore the disorienting and obscuring effects of the mists through his, true dragon's vision, talent, but Ji Ziyue's speed that erupted reached the upper ninth rank level for a moment. She must have used some special method again. But the result was that Lucian couldn't catch up with her, after all, today's Lucian was only at the upper fifth rank, and was able to cross the fourth rank and directly explode into the ninth rank of battle power thanks to several bloodline increases. The body of a true dragon was that strong, but he was still too low in rank. Well, that was the need to continue contracting new dragon spirits. He wanted a faster cultivation speed, he wanted more bloodline increases, and he wanted a stronger ability to fight over levels. Lucian transformed into his human form, turned around, and saw several corpses lying on the ground, the henchman of the woman from earlier. At this time, his communication bracelet suddenly vibrated. After tapping it, a face full of anxiety appeared. Xia Qianjun asked urgently. Lucian, how are you guys doing, is Ling Chan still safe? I've already contacted the town guards of Danjiang City for you, and there's about three minutes left for that side to arrive at your place. Just now, when he got off the bus, Lucian took a picture of Ji Ziyue and uploaded it to Xia Qianjun in the first place, just in case something unexpected happened. At this moment, Lucian said with a smile, It's fine, just let her escape. Xia Qianjun over there breathed a sigh of relief and said, You run out on it. Alas? Wait, who did you say ran away? After Lu Xun uploaded the photo, Xia Qianjun searched for information about Ji Ziyue in the first place. This fellow was one of the key wanted fugitives in the Federation, an 8th order lower A grade gifted dragon spirit, whose usual battle power could rival that of an 8th order upper level demonic monster, and whose demonic chi erupted to bring out the battle power of a 9th order lower level. With such a powerful enemy appearing beside his granddaughter and in front of a group of several of the Federation's most talented people, he was of course extremely anxious. So he urgently notified the town guard of Danjiang City. The town guard of Danjiang City, that is, the town guard of the northern war zone, Zhang Jingwa, immediately arranged for his own daughter-in-law, the ninth-ranked dragon spirit Hu Hui, to head here to rescue her. This was the closest person dispatched after synthesizing the distance at the time. Hu Hui was on her way to the northern Great Wall on land at that time, and when she received the notice urgently, she came all the way here in a dusty manner. But at this point, according to the positioning, it would take three minutes at the earliest to arrive. Xia Qianjun was worried about danger, so he called Lu Xun with a communication video, and as a result, what did he hear? That Ji Ziyue, who had a ninth order battle power, had actually escaped? Lu Xun sighed and said. That Ji Ziyue ran away, she suddenly erupted with the speed of an upper ninth rank demonic monster, I couldn't catch up and let her escape. But she bit off one of her three heads for me, so I guess her vitality is greatly injured and she won't be able to do much in a short period of time. Xia Qianjun had a confused look on his face. An 18-year-old student who had just graduated from the advanced academy nine months ago, to say that he had bitten the dragon spirit, who was capable of utilizing the battle power of the lower ninth rank, and severely injured her, forcing the other party to have to burst out with the speed of the upper ninth rank to escape. This was simply heavenly. Xia Qianjun was also an SSS rank talent, and he remembered that he had only reached the fifth rank a year later, and besides, his fifth rank self couldn't fight against a ninth rank demonic monster, right? You've crossed four major ranks here, and you're still able to win in a complete victory? Moreover, you, a royal dragon envoy, even bit a dragon spirit. This matter, at first glance, sounded a bit ridiculous, and the more one thought about it, the more outrageous one felt. Grandpa Xia, all of that woman's men were killed by sister spirit Cindy, there shouldn't be any repercussions for these people to be killed, right? Lu Xun's side continued to ask. 
Hearing that his music-loving, gentle and soft granddaughter had actually killed several people, Xia Chenjun also froze for a moment. Although Xia Lingchan had already been killing for half a year at the East Sea border, there was still a difference between killing demonic monsters and killing people, and he didn't expect that Xia Lingchan would overcome the psychological barrier so easily and even kill several people directly. General Hu Hui will be coming to your place soon, these people are wanted criminals, killing them is just killing them, just let General Hu handle it, Xia Qin Jun said. Immediately afterward, he once again confirmed that several people were safe before hanging up the call. This side had just ended the call when a huge black figure rapidly approached in the distance. It was a dark dragon, a pure dark dragon, an SSS class dragon spirit. It came to a steep stop after arriving in the air above the several people, then transformed into a heroic middle-aged woman wearing black armor. Are you Lu Xin and Xia Lingchan and the others? Hu Hui opened her mouth and asked. After sensing the aura of a few people, she was basically, basically determined the identity of Lu Xin's few people, only that she was a bit puzzled as to where that black spirit whose battle power could reach the ninth rank had gone. That was why she asked the question. She had rushed here in a hurry, not to stop that GZUF from harming Lu Xin and the others, so how come she hadn't seen that woman's figure? Lu Xin nodded his head and replied, I am Lu Xin, and this is Xia Lingchan. You are General Hu, right? That GZUA has already left, I bit off one of her heads and she escaped. What did you say? You, a 5th ranked dragon imperial envoy, bit off the neck of an 8th ranked dragon spirit and then got away by her? Hu Hui was stunned. Lu Xin coyly scratched his head and smiled. It's true that she ran away, I really couldn't catch up with her when she burst out her speed of the upper ninth rank. Well, you really shouldn't be able to catch up, Hu Hui subconsciously replied back, then reacted and continued. No, is that the point? The point is, how did you manage to utilize your transforth order battle power? Lu Xin murmured twice and suddenly turned his head to look at Xia Lingchan and the girls, saying, It's probably because I said I wanted to protect them, so I exploded with a very strong power. Song Xiaozir's reddened at his words, somewhat shy, Xia Lingchan lightly gathered her hair at his words and looked on with a smile, Su Zitong covered her mouth at his words and smiled, charmingly, while Ruan Qinghan rolled her eyes at his words and skimmed her lips. General Hu, this guy's talent is more than SSS grade, in short, it's perverted, right now the upper 5th rank is able to exert the battle power of the lower 9th rank. Lu Xin covered his heart and said, Sister Qing Han, I was standing in front of you without hesitation just now, why aren't you touched at all? Ruan Qing Han said solemnly, Royal dragon envoys and dragon spirits are meant to protect each other, you're stronger than me, it's only right that you protect me, if I were stronger than you, I wouldn't have hesitated to protect you either. Well, with this reason, there were really no words. Lu Xin looked at Hu Hui in a depressed manner and said, General Hu, how do we deal with these corpses for a bit? Hu Hui glanced at them casually and said, I'll notify people to come and deal with them, let's go, I'll send you back to Danjiang City. No one saw that after Wan Qinghan and Lu Xin finished that sentence, she turned around and the corners of her mouth were up, showing that she was very happy, how could she not be touched by a person who protects her without any hesitation? And Chi Ran who was in the car watched the behavior of several people and felt that the collective was very warm. She felt that she must have made the wisest decision of her life. With the escort of the ninth ranked dragon spirit, the group arrived at Danjiang City very quickly this time, and it was directly to Tsanglong Academy, one of the four major academies in the Federation. Tsanglong Academy existed before the invasion of the demonic monsters, but no one could answer the question about the meaning of the name Tsanglong at this time. They only knew about the dark demon dragon, the frost dragon, and didn't know what a Tsang dragon was. It was as if the history of the eastern divine dragons had all been erased. The dean of the Tsong Long Academy was named Li Jojo. He naturally knew Lu Xin's information, so when he learned that he was coming here to contract with a girl, he came over to personally lead the way, saying that he wanted to see what it was like to see the awakening of the SSS rank so-called Divine Dragon bloodline. Lu Xin and Shi Ran walked up to the contract stage, and it was obvious that she was a little nervous. Normally a big talker, at this time she was whispering. I, what if I don't have a Divine Dragon bloodline? Lu Xin looked at her with a smile. Stretching out his hand, he grasped her two fleshy hands in his palms and said, Trust me, there's no such thing as an eventuality, when I say you can, you can. Feeling the strength coming from Lu Xin's hands, Chi Ran gradually settled down, she looked into Lu Xin's eyes, and the two of them calmed down and activated the formation. Golden silk threads wrapped around, and the contract was successfully completed. In the next moment, the golden dragon gate appeared, and Chi Ran transformed into one of the divine dragon bloodlines, the Ji Pu Jiao, a dragon that was almost identical to a true dragon, almost the same as Lu Xin's true dragon's body, except for the scales that were green in color, and the body appeared to be a bit plump. She crossed the dragon gate. Pu Ran, Pu Jiao, SSS grade, rank, first order, divine talent I, taking off clouds, can fly in the air and harness clouds and mist. Divine Talent 2, Woodborne, controls plants, guides vitality, 
allows plants to grow quickly, and has the ability to fight. Divine Talent 3, Spirit Sacrifice, releasing divine energy to suppress evil spirits and heal wounds. Information on the divine talents unique to the divine dragon bloodline surfaced in Lusion's mind, and the dragon spirit that Chi Ran had transformed into had already undergone a huge change. Just now, she was obese in size, coiled together, and was only about 10 feet long, but now she had directly soared to nearly 10 meters long. The bloated body type didn't completely disappear, but it turned into a strong body. Covered by green-colored scales, she looked very domineering. With this appearance, she was transforming into the appearance of a green dragon. However, her bloodline at this time was still only one of the divine dragon bloodlines, Pu Zhao, not a true dragon. She was currently only at the first stage, and after some cultivation, she would definitely be even more domineering. What made Lu Xin feel the most surprised was her talent skills. Both talents could be used as attack abilities and as a means to heal injuries. The ability that the contracted dragon spirit possessed, Lu Xin could also possess the same, which was equivalent to already having two people who could perform healing in their team. Even though he had experimented out that his true dragon's blood almost had the effect of bringing the dead back to life when he had saved Yu earlier, that was for other people who were not of the divine dragon bloodline, and for the few dragon spirit maidens contracted with him, the effect would definitely not be that good, after all, they themselves possessed the true dragon bloodline, and Lucian's blood was not very specific to them. Now that he possessed the means of healing, he didn't worry about the well-being of a few people, and after they were injured, they were promptly treated. With her awakening complete, she ran resumed her human form, then hugged Lucian. She was not of a coy nature, and this hug was purely out of intense gratitude. Thank you, thank you for giving me the greatest sunlight and warmth in my darkest and coldest moments. Lucian also hugged Jiran. Unlike a few other girls, Jiran gave him a fleshy touch. With me, in the future you won't have dark and cold moments, I am your son, always by your side. Lucian patted her back, then took the initiative to push her away before pulling her hand and walking down the compact stage. It wasn't that he didn't like hugging, it was that he always felt that there were four cold gazes staring at him in death, and it was a bit cool. Knight Jojo smiled as he walked up and said, Not bad, really evolved into a SSS class dragon spirit, you have brought five SSS class dragon spirits to the Yinxia Federation, in the past, it would be good if one could appear in a year, and it would even take several years before there would be one. Lucian, you are truly a treasure. Hearing this, Lucian immediately seized the opportunity and shook his head, looking at the few girls and saying, I'm not a treasure, they're the treasure girls, and I'm just a person who unearths the treasure. Song Xiao smiled a silly smile at the words, Su Zitong and Xiao Lingchan were both wearing bright smiles, only Ruan Qinghan still. A look of turning a deaf ear. Xi Ran, on the other hand, said directly. Without you, I should have despaired by now, thank you. This sister was also a truthful person who was always grateful. Li Jiuzhou laughed. Ha ha, alright. But I heard General who say that Lu Xin, you already have the battle power of a ninth order lower level ordinary demon monster? Lu Xin shook his head and said, Not really. Seeing that Li Jojo revealed a puzzled look, he laughed. Right now, it should be at the middle level of the ninth rank. With each divine dragon bloodline dragon spirit I contract, I will become stronger. He had already contracted five of them and fused five divine dragon bloodlines, and the true dragon bloodline in his body had reached a new stage. With the true dragon's body opened, it would not be a problem for him, who was at the upper fifth rank, to take on a ninth rank intermediate demonic monster. Li Jojo marveled. It seems that your second talent is really more than SSS rank, now the Federation can't provide you with better protection, the only help that can be provided to you is information and resources, what do you need, just open your mouth, for talents like you, the Federation will strongly support you. Lucian wasn't a person who was outgoing, so he said directly. I need a copy of the Dragon Awakening Potion, of course, it would be better if there were more. This thing could directly raise the Dragon Spirit from the 3rd to the 4th rank, saving a lot of work and being useful. Lucian couldn't look at ordinary things, only such top-tier resources he could look at. Li Jojo nodded at his words and said, Good, I'll go discuss with the town guards and see if I can spare a few bottles for you. Any other requests? Lucian saw such a generous person for the first time, the first time they met, they had to clunk a gift, it was a bit embarrassing. Well, a little embarrassed to refuse. I'll be polite then. Do you have any 10th order you want Dan, more is better. Hearing Lucian make such a lion's mouthful of offers, the smile on Li Jojo's face froze and he said, You kid really dare to ask for it, but this really should be there, the town guard seems to have just gotten one, I'll go ask for you. Lucian understood, I said this old gentleman how so generous, originally is all to let the town guard to come out, he this hand, six ah. Benefit is their own, no matter what, are subject to each other's favor, Lucian still said. Thank you Grandpa Knight, I will work hard to become stronger, and will not let the resources of the Federation go to waste. In fact, the Ninth Order Yuan Dan given by the Su family's old lady last time hadn't been consumed yet, 
but he wouldn't mind if there was something better. The fact that a few of them were highly talented meant that the energy they needed to consume to grow was even greater. If there was a 10th rank Yuan Dan to aid in cultivation, it would definitely be enough at least until they broke through to the 7th rank. Li Jiuzhou smiled at his words. Good, you guys will stay in Danjiang City today, and then go to Ice City tomorrow to practice. Although you're not weak now, you still have to be careful, those rabble-rousers of the Holy Spirit sect will definitely not rest easy. I'll remember. Thank you, Grandpa Knight. Lucian was not ambiguous at all in this aspect of human affairs, calling a little bit more affectionately in order to make it easier to ask for favors, wasn't it? Several people stayed in the hotel arranged by Li Jojo, in fact, with Su Zitong this rich woman president in, they do not lack of money, but Lucian adhering to the idea of elders give, do not dare to resign, can save a little bit of their own save a little bit. Anyway, people do not lack of money, they save, are their own. That night, Lucian took the newcomer Chi Ran, a man and five women, and engaged in intense cultivation. Chi Ran was, after all, the first time, Lucian would still be a little softer, and wouldn't give her too much spiritual energy at once, otherwise she wouldn't be able to fit it in. Within the waters a city, another extra magical city constructed by the Blue Ice River Water System's demon hunters, within a certain gloomy underground palace, Ji Ziyue, who had circled around for a good while before rushing back here in the evening, weakly recounted her experience to the woman in the black veil dress on the main seat. After she finished speaking, within the large hall where there were only two people, there was silence. Ji Ziyue knelt there, because of her weak body, cold sweat broke out on her forehead, but she didn't dare to wipe it off, and her body didn't dare to move waiting for the black-skirted woman to speak. Finally, there was a sound in the silence of the palace. Are you saying that a fifth-ranked imperial dragon envoy defeated the dragon spirit, that is, you, who had erupted into a ninth-ranked lower-level battle power? Or did you only use one move to snap its neck with a single bite? The black-skirted woman's face had a scar that ran from her right eye to the left side of her face, and when she opened her mouth to speak, the scar twisted like a centipede, making her look extremely gruesome. Gzua replied in a trembling voice. His bloodline talent is very powerful, even though he is only at the upper 5th rank spirit energy level, after turning into that dragon spirit form that looks like a python with fish scales, the aura he displays is at the level of a lower 9th rank demonic monster. Moreover, the skills were very powerful, and the golden light and thunder power released had a strong suppressive effect on me. His power was also very strong, directly biting off my neck, I couldn't resist at all. My lord, my subordinate rushed back desperately, not for fear of death, but to report the true information about this person. My subordinate suspects that his talent is more than just SSS rank. This person cannot be recruited and needs to be killed as soon as possible, otherwise he is bound to become a great danger to the heart of my Holy Spirit sect. Gzua was actually defending herself because she really felt very stifled. She herself was an 8th order dragon spirit, but she was almost bitten to death by a 5th order dragon imperial envoy, where could she justify this? But she decided that she couldn't admit that she was saying this because she was afraid of death or else she really might be killed by this woman in the high position in front of her. The black-skirted woman, also known as Night Underworld Moon, was once again silent for a moment, and then faintly asked a question that almost scared Jizuya to death. Are you teaching me things? Subordinate wouldn't dare. Jizuya hurriedly replied with a cry before her brain knocked on the ground, spilling more blood. Night Underworld Moon slowly spoke. You go down and nurse your wounds, this person, I have my own arrangements. Jizuya immediately answered and left. She was already very weak, after all, breaking a head was almost equal to losing a third of her life, and her spiritual energy had plummeted. After Gzua left, the corners of Night Underworld Moon's mouth revealed a smile as she muttered. Interesting. Looks like it's worth my personal effort. The next day, Lu Jin and a few girls followed the location given by Li Jojo and arrived in a compound. Li Jojo introduced Lu Jin and the others. This is Xinxiao Zhang, specially here to meet you guys. Lu Jin immediately smiled at his words and said. Many thanks to Lord Jingwa for his help yesterday. Zhang Jingwa opened his mouth and laughed. Ha ha, General who told me that by the time she arrived, things had already been resolved. You kid is very good, it's only been less than a year and you can have such battle power, you're bound to be even better in the future. I can give you anything you want, but you must protect yourself, by accepting these things, you have an additional responsibility. Lu Jin replied seriously. I always remember that all the peaceful life I enjoyed before was exchanged with the blood of the Federal Imperial Dragon Army Warriors. As a powerfully gifted Imperial Dragon Envoy, killing more and more powerful demonic monsters and defending the safety of the Yen Xia Federation is my responsibility. This passage was something that junior colleges had to learn when they enrolled, and senior colleges had to learn it again, and the advanced academy would have to learn it again. Although this was a piece of platitude, when it came out of Lu Jin's mouth, it naturally had a natural conviction. It was because his talent was really powerful and strong enough. Good, with your words, I'm relieved. Keep up the good work, 
and if you have any difficulties, come find me. After saying that, Zhang Jingguo hurriedly left again. He had just come to meet a few people and still had a lot of things to take care of, he couldn't stay here all the time. Only when he left did Li Jojo take out two boxes, a square box and a long box. This is what you wanted, make good use of it, Li Jojo said. The square box opened, and inside was a 10th ranked demonic monster Yuan Dan, while the long box contained three dragon awakening potion. Lu Xun put them into his spatial ring and laughed. Many thanks, Grandpa Li. Nodding his head, Li Jiuzhou smiled and asked. What are your plans next? Are you still going to go to Ice City to continue your training there? Yes, currently, our main focus is still on cultivation, but battles can't be less, especially since Qi Ran has just awakened and needs battles to sharpen, we still plan to go back to Ice City there. The mission over at the Demon Hunting Corps will start tomorrow, so we need to go over there today and make arrangements. Lu Xun said. Li Jojo murmured twice and said, With your strength, the Federation can't protect you any better, but you still have to be careful, the helmsmen of the Holy Spirit sect's four major branches are all ninth-ranked powerhouses with SS-ranked talents, and once they break out with their demonic aura, their battle power will be even stronger. When you encounter any uncontrollable danger, call for help at the first opportunity, this is a sign of responsibility to yourself and to your contracted dragon spirit. Ice City wasn't too far away from Danjiang City, and this time, if Lu Xunjin still needed to call for help, it would be when he encountered danger at the level of the four great helmsmen, and at that time, Zhang Jingwo would be the first to step in. Safety was also more guaranteed. If they were a little further away, Li Jiuzhou wouldn't have agreed to them continuing their mission, going to the border, they could also train. However, he knew that it would not be appropriate for these geniuses to grow up in the midst of that kind of high-intensity battle environment at the border, as the battle emotions would be contagious and not conducive to the maintenance of a state of calmness and serenity during cultivation. With the treasures, the eight people returned to the middle of Ice City. This time, there were no accidents on the way. They arrived at Ice City without any problems, then searched for half an hour and identified a compound to rent for the time being. Afterwards, following the prompted information on the quest, they arrived at the Ice City Ice Emperor Demon Hunting Regiment's compound. The name was overbearing, but in reality, this demon hunting troop was just a group with eight members, with a maximum strength of only the seventh rank. A few people had just approached, when an arrogant voice reached the ears of a few people, causing both Qi Yu and Qi Ran to change their faces. Yang Chen, if you break the contract with that woman and then contract with my sister, I can give you a one-time payment of one and a half million dollars, so that you can have the money to rescue your old mom. Moreover, isn't it better to develop in our snow-drinking berserk dragon demon hunting regiment than in this little crappy demon hunting regiment? For the sake of a woman, are you going to give up your own old mom's life and give up your own bright future? Hearing this voice, Ji Ran clenched his fists and gritted his teeth. Madoki, he's the one who made his sister forcibly dissolve the contract with my brother and kicked us out. Lu Xun, however, laughed. This guy seems to have long ago identified an underling for his sister, and your brother is someone he can discard at any time. Chi Yu sulked and didn't say anything, while Chi Ran said angrily. He's just a jerk. Lu Xun laughed. Let's go, let's go, and see what's going on, maybe we can let you get out of your anger. He always remembered what his teacher had once taught him, that a good relationship between the Imperial Dragon Envoy and the Dragon Spirit was important, so he wouldn't miss any opportunity to increase his goodwill with the Dragon Spirit. Thank you all for your support. Subscription. Yang Chen clenched the hand of the woman beside him and said firmly, I won't break the contract with Muan Muan, my mother, I will find a way to raise money for treatment myself, I don't need you to give me charity. As for your sister, it's me who doesn't deserve it, please leave. Otherwise, when our headmaster comes back, it won't be good to have any conflict. Madoki sneered. What can you do if your headmaster comes back? Could it be that he can still fight against our snow-drinking berserk dragon demon hunting regiment? This fellow clearly didn't have the backbone to fight against the head of the Ice Emperor demon hunting regiment, so he unconsciously moved the demon hunting regiment behind him as he spoke. Excuse me, is this the Ice Emperor demon hunting regiment's residence? Lu Xun asked. His voice suddenly appeared and directly drew the attention of both groups. Mito Flag froze for a moment after seeing Ji Yu, then subconsciously said, You're surprisingly still alive? It's really a great life. Still unable to hold back his anger, Ji Yu spoke out. I asked myself that when I was in the snow drinking berserker dragon demon hunting regiment, I was also considered to be the first to fight, charging at the forefront time and time again, why are you treating me like that? Mito Flag said in a cold voice, You are nothing but a dog that I raised, I also raised your sister by the way, you couldn't continue to watch over the family, so of course I had to get rid of you. Now it looks like you have recovered, now kneel before me and apologize, I can consider taking you in again. Otherwise, even if you recover, I can still make it impossible for you and your sister to mix in this blue ice river area. Ji Yu sniffed and was so angry that his body trembled, once again he couldn't say anything, what a bully to the honest people. 
you son of a bitch. She ran then cursed furiously. Madoki's eyes narrowed, then steeply rushed over. Stinking woman, dare to scold me, seek death. An icy blue spear appeared in his hand, this was his royal dragon envoy talent, weapon type talent, icy cold spear. Mitoflag had the strength of a 7th ranked intermediate, and his talent level was only B ranked, so at full strength, he only had the same combat power as a 7th ranked demonic monster. But even so, it wasn't something that she ran, who had just awakened the dragon spirit talent, could contend with. A huge pressure came over him, causing a trace of panic to arise in Jiran's eyes. At this time, it was a sudden realization that he was blocked by a tall figure in front of him. Dare to touch my woman, it's you who deserve to die. Lusion said indifferently. His voice was not loud, but it was as clear as if it was hitting everyone's heart. At this moment, Lucian didn't turn into a half-dragon human or a true dragon state, he just let the profound dragon armor attach to his palm, and then held the ice blue spear with one hand. After five bloodline evolutions, at this point in time, under the state of his true dragon body, he could fight against intermediate level demons of the ninth order, under the state of a dragon man, he could win completely under the ninth order and without dragonization and only using his own body to fight, demons below the 8th order, he could also directly take them down. What's more, at this time, he was also wearing the abyssal dragon armor, which not only increased his defense, but also increased his spiritual energy, allowing him to once again increase his battle power. After holding the ice-cold spear with one hand, the power of thunder erupted and he pinched it with force. The spear was like ice, shattered inch by inch. This was equivalent to directly destroying Mitoflag's natural skill, causing him to suffer a great backlash and directly spit out a mouthful of blood. And Lucian didn't let it pass. With a flash, he came to Mito Flag's side, pressed his right hand on his head, and then slammed it hard into the ground. The huge inertia caused Madoki's body to make a 180 degree turn, his feet facing upwards and his head facing downwards, hitting the ground hard, his head smashing a crater in the frozen solid ground, and a large amount of blood flowing out of his seven orifices. This had left his internal organs severely injured, and maybe even his brain was already delirious. Madoki's entire body shrank on the ground, twitching. But Lucian didn't let go yet, and directly went up and stepped on his neck. The sound of bones breaking was clearly visible, and there were even bones coming out of it. The person was dead, not cold for a while. This was the first time Lucian had killed someone when he came to this world, and of course, it was the first time he had killed someone in both of his lifetimes combined. But he didn't hesitate. The supremacy of personal force in this world meant that one faced killing at any time and he had suffered assassinations and sneak attacks, so for any threat, wiping it out in advance was the wisest choice. Since Mito Flag chose to do it, it meant that he was ready to be killed. If he didn't do it well, he had already been killed. And the crowd who saw the scene did not change their faces, especially the crowd of the snow-drinking berserk dragon demon hunting regiment, one of the mid-dock flag's lapdogs trembled and said, You, you even killed our vice leader, you will suffer the pursuit of our entire demon hunting regiment? Lucian raised an eyebrow at his words, so this means that I should kill your entire demon hunting regiment to prevent future troubles? There's no need to chase and kill, I've been living here lately, go back and call the people, it's best to call them all, a family needs to be neat and tidy. Lucian said with a cold smile, that looked like an arrogant villain. Behind him is the northern warzone guard, who else has his background hard, out to mix, to have strength, to have background, he has all, cannot be arrogant? Chi Ran looked at this picture, felt surrounded by a great sense of security. In addition to her brother, Lucian is the only boy in her memory to protect her, and also, under that kind of attack that brought her deep fear, blocked in front of her. She was even more determined at this moment to follow Lucian all the way. Moreover, she had to become strong quickly. Because she didn't want to be protected by Lucian forever, she wanted to be able to fight side by side with Lucian. Hearing Lucian's words, those people fled in a panic, and there wasn't even anyone to collect Madoki's body, which showed that this guy wasn't usually well liked among the demon hunters, and they didn't treat him well. Mito Flag's sister did not follow, otherwise it can be solved together. Killed Mito Flag, his family, is the enemy, chopping grass is to get rid of the root, anyway, there is background bottom, he is not afraid to cause any bad influence. What happened? A cool middle-aged woman's voice came out, followed by a blue-haired woman wearing silver armor with a lingering charm appearing in front of several people. She was accompanied by a man, who should be her imperial dragon envoy. Seeing this woman, Yang Chen reacted and stepped forward. Headmaster. It's like this, this Midgard flag came to the door to provoke, and then later took a shot at these few people before they were killed. Although it was said very simply, that was probably how things went through. Mu Bing frowned at his words and spoke. Sir, no matter why you killed him, the snow-drinking berserker dragon demon hunters will not let you off easily, you'd better leave as soon as possible. Lucian smiled disbelievingly at his words and said. I'll just wait here for them to come over, better yet, all of them. Hearing Lucian say this, Mu Bing once again sensed his strength, but was surprised. You're only at the upper fifth rank, 
but you actually killed the mid-seventh rank mitochondrial flag. Could it be that Mr. is the son of some great family? Lucian said with both hands. I am an orphan. But then he took two steps back and wrapped his arms around Xia Lingchan and Su Zetong's shoulders on the left and right and laughed. But my two good sisters are from big families, I'm the equivalent of a flunky. This time, Xia Lingchan as well as Su Zetong both rolled their eyes along with Ruan Qinghan, quite speechless at his quirky behavior. Whose family's superfluous son-in-law could still be two families together. Moreover, you brought along three other women. Only Song Xiao, this naive batch girl, was still smilingly watching this scene. Mu Bing and the others were also silent for a while when they heard this, this amount of information was a bit too much and also a bit shocking to their three views. Lu Jin then continued. Head Mu Bing, formal introduction, I am Lu Jin, the head of the Divine Dragon Pavilion's Demon Hunting Regiment, come to work with you to complete the stationing mission, the mission requirements will start tomorrow, if it is convenient, let's discuss the arrangement of the stationing rotation afterward, how about it? Mu Bing suddenly realized, she had wondered how these few people would appear here, it turned out that they had come to do the mission together with herself. Let's put the matter of the mission aside for now, if this matter is not handled well, there is no way for you to carry out your stationing tomorrow. After learning the purpose of Lu Jin's few people coming here, Mu Bing added this. Lu Jin also understood that the other party wouldn't really feel at ease until the matter was resolved clearly. He whirled around and remembered something, looking at Yang Chen and asking, Do you need a large sum of money to save your mother? Yang Chen froze for a moment at his words, then nodded with a bitter face and said, My mother was injured by a plant-based demonic monster when she fought early on, and it turned out that it left a seed in my mother's body, and now that demonic seed has grown up in my mother's body, causing her a lot of pain. I found a doctor who has a sixth-ranked healing dragon spirit, and the price there is two million federal dollars. I can only come up with half a million right now. Mu Bing opened his mouth. When we hunt and kill some demonic creatures to sell, we'll probably be able to scrape it together in another month. It seemed that there was a good relationship with each other in this demon hunting group, and everyone was helping Yang Chen to gather money together. Hearing Yang Chen talk about plant-based demonic monsters, Lu Jin's mind moved, but he had just obtained the, woodborn talent skill from Qi Ran, if a sixth-ranked dragon spirit could take care of things, there was no reason why he couldn't. Although he was only an upper fifth rank, he was a true dragon bloodline, and if an ordinary dragon spirit of the sixth rank in the district could do it, he believed that he could do it as well. So he opened his mouth and said, I might have a way to help you, is your mother over here? Yang Chen's body shook at the words and said in surprise, In, right inside the compound, Lu Jin then let him lead to the house and met his mother. He only saw a middle-aged woman who looked to be in her forties lying on the bed, her eyes were tightly closed, her expression was very painful, and a kind of black branch had sprouted out of her nose and among her ears, and the top of this tiny branch, blossomed with small purple flowers. This thing looked very ordinary, as if an ordinary person could pluck it off. In reality, it was so tough that it would require at least a fourth-ranked dragon spirit to make a move in order to pull and break it. And even if a part of it was pulled and broken, it would not be able to solve the symptoms within its body. The root system could not be resolved, and she would only suffer more. Lucian raised his hand on the woman's wrist after asking for Yang Chen's permission, and began to activate his spiritual energy to unleash his natural skill. In an instant, a strong force directly replaced the consciousness of this newborn plant demon monster and grasped the plant demon monster's body. Under Lucian's control, it quickly contracted its root system, before crawling out of the woman's throat bit by bit. With a violent dry heaving from the woman, the thing was spewed out. A fist-sized black thread-like plant demon monster was very special and rare. Creatures like demons, generally the rarer it was, the more special it was in its abilities, its own energy level was not high, but it possessed destructive power beyond its own level. Lucian had no intention of keeping this thing, it was very dangerous. After taking it out, he directly used the power of thunder to turn it into black ash. Seeing his mother spit the thing out, Yang Chen hurriedly came forward to check it out, only to see that his mother had actually woken up directly. Mom, how are you? Can you still feel that thing exist? The woman shook her head and said in surprise. No feeling at all, it seems to have completely ceased to exist. Yang Chen sniffed and cried with joy. Great. He turned to look at Lu Jin, and actually knelt down directly and said. Thank you for saving my mother. I will definitely use all means to repay your favor. Lu Jin waved his hand and said. No need, for me, it's just a matter of lifting my hand, and I'm happy to be able to help you. After all, I am a person who is kind to others and loves peace. Mu Bing and the others on the side heard this and didn't comment, the corpse outside spoke volumes. People are dead, and you call this being good with people? Well, there was no problem if he was not treated as a human being. After this side of the conversation, a person from the Ice Emperor Demon Hunting Troop ran in and said, Leader, the snow-drinking berserk dragon demon hunters are here. Aside from Lu Jin and a few others, the rest of the people all had a slight change in color, 
obviously having some fear of this demon hunting regiment. The snow drinking berserk dragon demon hunting troop, one of the members of the Ice City Demon Hunting Troop Council, had more than 200 official members, of which the head of the troop, Snow Berserk Dragon, was an intermediate 8th order starlight grade demon hunting warrior. The level of demon hunter warrior is recognized as gold level in the 7th order, starlight level in the 8th order, moonlight level in the 9th order, and sunlight level in the 10th order. The snow drinking berserk dragon demon hunting group was not the most powerful in Ice City, but it wasn't something to be messed with either, at least in this part of the world, no one would not give them face. Except for the Lusian few who had just arrived here. Learning that the deputy leader had been killed, snow berserkers couldn't just sit back and do nothing, or else the reputation of the snow drinking berserkers demon hunting troop would fall to pieces, and the deterrence that had been so hard to build up would be gone. Therefore, he directly brought dozens of people and rushed over. He also thought on the way, this person was able to kill that waste of a Middlesex flag so easily, his strength must not be weak, at least he was also of the 8th rank, so he needed to be treated with caution. Therefore, he didn't directly rush up at the first opportunity, but waited for the person inside to come out. As soon as Lujin showed himself, a junior immediately pointed at him and said, Boss, he's the one who killed the vice leader. Snow Frenzy Dragon looked at Lujin, not realizing that the person who had killed the Mito flag was so young, and looked as if he had just graduated from the middle of an advanced academy. The younger he was, the better his talent was, and he probably had some powerful family behind him. My humble self, Snow Crazy Dragon, how do you call your little brother? Lusion smiled. You don't need to know my name, either fight or get lost. Snow Crazy Dragon's face sank at his words and said, Kid, when you came out, didn't your family tell you not to be too wild? Lusion sneered. I'm an orphan, I've always been so wild, if you don't like me, do it. The more he said this, the more Snow Crazy Dragon felt that this person had some kind of dependence, especially after seeing the other party appear behind him with five beautiful maidens with their own distinctive features, it was even more of a feeling of not being able to figure it out. Therefore, he was still a bit hesitant. Lucian, however, said impatiently. Alright, you have come over with such fanfare, if it was just to get to know me, then you have already gotten to know me now, hurry up and go, don't block the street. Only garbage blocks the street. Martyr. Lao Zi couldn't stand it anymore, this guy was really too rampant. In this part of Ice City, who dared to be so wild with him? No matter what, he, Snow Frenzy Dragon, was also an 8th Order Imperial Dragon Envoy, how could he keep suffering from the provocations of a 5th Order Imperial Dragon Envoy and not do anything about it? Then how could he still mix in the future? No matter what kind of person you have behind you, let me teach your family's lord a lesson, so that you know what it means to crikey. Before Snow Mad Dragon could finish his words, he saw Lucian over there already charging towards him. And between the two, a golden dragon gate appeared, and Lucian completed his transformation into a dragon personification as he rushed towards him, transforming in the blink of an eye from a handsome teenage boy into a dragon person who was nearly three meters tall, with golden dragon scales and surrounded by thunder. Seeing this scene and sensing that terrifying aura, the snow frenzy dragon subconsciously let out an exclamation, not even finishing his words, and was forced to accept the fight. Lucian's current half-dragonized state was something that demonic monsters below the ninth rank simply couldn't resist. As for Snow Berserk Dragon, a royal dragon envoy, without the cooperation of a dragon spirit, he couldn't even exert his battle power at the middle of the 8th rank in a stable manner. It was even more impossible to block it. With just a single strike, Lucian's true dragon's claw slapped on Snow Berserk Dragon's chest. He subconsciously used his arms to resist, resulting in the bones of his arms shattering, and then the force was transferred to his chest, causing his chest ribs to follow and break, and his entire person was sent flying out. Behind him several members of the demon hunting corps were hit by his flying body, all of them were hit to the point where their internal organs were shattered and they spat out large mouthfuls of blood. After sending the snow berserker dragon flying, Lucian's eyes looked towards the surroundings and didn't find his dragon spirit, which was more troublesome, the imperial dragon envoys were usually married to their dragon spirit, so to solve it, it was best for the two of them to be together. Nothing else, just afraid that they would be lonely on the way to the yellow springs. If there is a family member, together to send to the road, so that the family whole is happiness. The other members of the snow drinking berserk dragon demon hunting troop were all scared by Lucian's strike and retreated, after all, even if they were caught in the wave, there were a few who could no longer stand up. It was too powerful, far more powerful than their 8th rank leader. And at that moment, there was a scream from the distance. Brother! You, what happened to you? Since Madoki had taken all the people away, Mielingi knew about his accident a little late, and at this time, she was still very weak, and the road was even slower. Lucian looked at her in this sad state and kindly reminded her. Don't shake, he's already dead, I. Killed. Mielingi's body instantly stiffened at those words, and then she turned her head to look at Lucian and said angrily. I'll kill you. As she spoke, she was about to transform into her dragon spirit form, but Lucian didn't give her that chance. 
A thunderbolt fell, directly splitting her head into charcoal, and her entire body collapsed to the ground, making nuisance noises and smoke with the snow. Lucian was waiting for her words, decapitating the root and branch, but also have to be skillfully named. He himself was a representative of justice. Lucian walked up to the snow berserker dragon, and his minions stepped aside. Come, let me see how you're going to teach me a lesson. Snowmad Dragon's face suddenly changed at his words, at this time, he certainly understood that the other party had come to deliberately provoke him, and it was clear that he wanted to cut off his roots and eliminate the rhythm of future troubles. He endured the pain and spoke. Brothers, this time, we'll admit it. I promise that the snow-drinking berserk dragon demon hunting group will leave Ice City from now on, and will take a detour when they see you. I won't continue to offend you for the sake of that guy, Madoki. Madoki also has a wife, his dragon spirit, who is now fighting the demonic monsters alongside my wife, so I guess they will come over soon, and I will kill her to show my sincerity. Please spare my life. If you don't say that this person could be the head of the group, this thinking turn is fast. Lucian thought about it, he really didn't need to actually kill all the people from the snow drinking berserk dragon demon hunting regiment. If the other party could bring this karma to an end, then it would be better to do more than less. In this way, it would also save him a trip to the snow-drinking berserk dragon demon hunter's residence. However, he didn't feel that he had made a mistake by provoking a move earlier, if there wasn't enough deterrence, then peace talks were humiliating. Just like the current snow-drinking berserk dragon, Lucian could have spared him, and there was more than a 90% probability that he wouldn't come back to trouble Lucian again. This was because the current Lucian was already very powerful, and such a young and powerful person, even if there was no big family behind him, he still had the background of the Federation, and it was not something that a loose cannon like him could mess with. With a thinking ability like Snow Mad Dragon, he should be able to think of this. Just in time, several figures quickly flew in from midair. They had transformed into women and landed beside Schweber Zerk Dragon. One of them, a middle-aged woman of the 8th rank, hurried over to inquire when she saw how wretched Snow Berserk Dragon looked. Ah maniac, how are you? Hua, what kind of age is this, and you're still calling it so intimately? Lucian couldn't help but feel a little chilled. Today he had to make Song Xiao call her husband a hundred times to wash her ears. On the other side, a woman of the seventh rank was standing on the side with a somewhat pale face, her eyes staring at Lucian. This person should be Madoki's wife, as well as his contracted dragon spirit, who had suffered a backlash because of the death of Madoki, the imperial dragon envoy. The snowmad dragon said to the middle-aged woman, I'm fine. A Mei, kill Mito flags dragon spirit. The eighth-ranked dragon spirit called Mei froze for about half a second at his words, then he turned around and made his move on the pale seventh-ranked woman. The woman was also decisive, turning around and running away without bothering to plead for anything. Lucian, on the other hand, had already prepared for this, and just as she turned around, a thunderbolt landed on her body. The destructive power of the eighth rank caused her to immediately lose her ability to move before she was decapitated by Mei, who had caught up with her. At this time, Snow Frenzy Dragon looked at Lucian and said, Brother, we will leave now, with your permission. With such a low stance, Lucian couldn't afford to continue pursuing anything, waving his hand and saying, I will be moving around the Blue Ice River in the near future, don't let me see you again. Snow Crazy Dragon at this time has been in the Demon Hunter group of Healing Dragon Spirit cured most of the injuries, although it is broken bones, injured internal organs, but this kind of injuries instead of good treatment, poisoning ulcers and other injuries is difficult to heal. Upon hearing this, he immediately stood up and respectfully said, we're going to the northeast, and we won't come near Danjian City for three years. As the people from the snow-drinking berserk dragon demon hunting troop left in droves, Lucian turned his head, looked at Mu Bing, and laughed. Now, can we talk about tomorrow's arrangements? With the deaths of both the Madoki couple and Milingi, this matter was considered to be basically over. Mu Bing looked dumbfounded. She had never seen that a royal dragon envoy had actually used a dragon human form without combining it with a dragon spirit, and moreover, this ability that should have been mastered only at the 7th rank was being used by a 5th rank royal dragon. What was even more shocking was that a 5th rank imperial dragon envoy, with a single strike, had knocked down an 8th rank imperial dragon envoy. Such battle power had almost rivaled the 9th rank. Such a natural ability, it was a bit too terrifying. Could this be the legendary SSS grade talent? Problems are solved, moving this time very quickly in Lusion a few people to complete the demon hunting core station mission handover. The next day, officially began to rotate station in alternating cultivation days. Sometimes, a man in five different characteristics of the beauty of the maiden in the same room, also will be a little boring. After all, every day is just a bit of work. Cultivating, fighting, and intense exercise. After one day, Ji Ran advanced to the lower second rank, and the rank continued to rise rapidly after that. Lucian, on the other hand, felt that his cultivation had reached a new bottleneck, and he needed a way that would allow him to break through, preferably the kind that provided a large amount of energy at once. 
After thinking about it, he decided to directly utilize his, devour, talent to absorb that ninth order Yuan Dan. Before, he didn't dare to directly absorb it because his body wasn't strong enough yet. But now, the strength of his body was already comparable to that of an 8th rank dragon spirit, and with this 9th rank Yuan Dan, most of the energy in it had been consumed by a few people, so there was no problem at all in giving it to him to devour on his own now. After Lusion took it, he only felt his body's breath surging, and a large amount of spiritual energy exploded out in one fell swoop, giving him a feeling of extreme expansion. He hurriedly called Xia Lingchan and the others all to the house. Quickly! Pose, I'm about to be unable to hold back. After the skin of his palms fit together, Lusion transmitted the surging spiritual energy in his body to Xia Lingchan, and as a result, within a few minutes, she couldn't do it anymore, and he hurriedly switched to Wan Qinghan, then Su Zitong, Song Xiao, and finally Qi Ran, who had just joined not too long ago, could only stare with a heart on as well. After one night, several people are all sound. Qi Ran had only just broken through to the second rank lower level yesterday, and today he reached the second rank intermediate level. Su Zitong successfully stepped into the fifth rank, and the rest of the people also had their own improvements. The one who gained the most, of course, was Lusion, who had stepped into the 6th order lower level and felt that he wasn't far from breaking through to the 6th order intermediate level. The promotion of the basic strength represented that the strength after the dragonization would be even stronger. Looking at Lusion, who had become even more powerful, Wan Qinghan said with a rather sour tone, You've promoted so fast, we can't catch up, when the time comes, we can only let you protect us, we can't afford to protect you. Lusion Color said, of course, it is my responsibility to protect you. I said that I will protect you all. Song Xiao nodded her head seriously as she sniffed and said, Yes, you said that many times. The rest of the few women were smiling and didn't say anything, but the streams of light in their eyes also showed that there were fluctuations within their hearts as well. Seven days passed in a flash, and on this day, Lu Zhen and a few women went to the Blue Ice River together to carry out a garrison mission. This piece of range wasn't small, so they were split into two parts, Lu Zhen brought Qi Ran, who was still far from being able to do so, along with the rest of the several women. She rants, Woodborne, talent was difficult to utilize her attacking power in this icy cold environment where not an inch of grass could be found, and the spirit sacrifice, talent was even a purely auxiliary talent skill, so her battle power was very low. Moreover, right now, she had only just reached the upper second rank and needed protection. The battle power of the demons here was not high, Lucian was mainly accompanying Ji Ran to exercise her combat ability, if he were to get real, he could clean up the demons here within 5 minutes. After fighting for a while, Lucian told her to take a rest, and the two were just about to sit down against a big bear tree when they saw Xia Lingchan walking alone from a distance. Xia Lingchan was the oldest, well, the oldest amongst the several women, so she was the eldest sister amongst the five. Sister Xia! She ran saw her coming and took the initiative to walk forward to greet her, but she was pulled back by Lucian. Without warning, Lucian summoned the dragon gate and passed through it, directly transforming into a true dragon. No matter who you are, coming so deceitfully covered up is an enemy. Lucian said, charging directly towards the Xia Lingchan below. The Xia Lingchan below saw this and revealed a look of surprise, before coldly saying, I didn't expect that you would be able to see through my disguise so easily, you really are extraordinary. Also, your strength, surprisingly, has broken through again. As he spoke, the appearance of the Xia Lingchan faded away abruptly, revealing the appearance of a woman in a black dress. It was none other than that holy spirit sex one of the four major rudiments, the northern battle zone ruler, knight underworld moon, a ninth ranked powerhouse with SS rank talent. She was very surprised when Lu Jin recognized her disguise with a single glance. This was because what she had performed was her own SS rank dragon spirit, nightmare demon dragon, S natural skill illusion, and, these days, she had also made a point of observing Xia Lingchan and learning all the details of her movements. She had prepared for so long, and before she could even open her mouth, without even saying a single word, she was recognized. It was as if she had been preparing for a performance for over a week with all her heart and soul, and before she had even started, she was being pointed at and scolded. She was both surprised and annoyed in her heart. According to the information she had gotten earlier, Lucian's strength was probably the lower ninth rank after he changed into his true dragon state, but now, this powerful aura had already reached the middle ninth rank. Moreover, it wasn't an ordinary demonic monster's intermediate ninth rank, it was the ninth rank at the low level king level, which was the level of a demonic monster on the same level as a human's S-class talent. With such an aura, it was only a small level weaker than Knight Stygian Moon who was a ninth rank intermediate dragon spirit with SS rank talent. Surprisingly, he had grown so fast and was able to see through his disguise with a single glance, this fellow, was definitely a great danger to the Holy Spirit sex heart. Originally, she was still thinking of approaching Lucian, looking for an opportunity to make Lucian open the dragon gate, thus helping her to complete an evolution as well. 
An S rank or above talent meant that it was possible to impact a level above the ninth rank, and having an SSS rank talent meant that it was inevitable that one could reach the 10th rank. Her idea was to have Lu Jin help her raise her talent to SSS rank, but now, with the disguise recognized, she could only kill him. This was because he was no longer within the realm of control. Lu Jin had already sent a message to Zhang Jingwu for help, but he didn't pretend that he hadn't recognized the night Stygian moon to stall for time, because letting the other party get close would be a foolish thing to do. Moreover, he needed time to summon the Dragon Gate as well as complete the action of leaping the Dragon Gate for his transformation, and once he got close, he might be controlled by the other party. Not being able to figure out what cards the other party had, directly displaying his full strength and fighting for a ray of hope was the most correct choice, rather than dragging it out to face sudden dangers at any time. Therefore, at the very first moment, Lucian unleashed his true dragon body and entered the strongest combat state. Night Underworld Moon also transformed into the dragon spirit form in the next moment. It was a bipedal flying dragon with purplish red scales, nearly 50 meters in length, with a horned head, a fierce face, and a scar on its face, which seemed to carry a divine aura on it. Obviously, this woman had once been seriously injured by someone with a divine aura, and it was a direct injury to her face. An attack of this attribute had hurt her greatly, and the scar could not even heal until the power of the attribute was removed, becoming a mark on her face. A permanent scar was a very scary thing for a woman, especially, when that scar was still on her face. One part of the reason she had come to Lusion this time in search of evolution was to gain the possibility of healing this scar by way of evolution. But now, Lusion was no longer controllable, and the only way was to strike down. The fact that she was able to become one of the four helmsmen, aside from her strength, her grasp of the big picture was also an aspect of the reason. Between eliminating this heartache and recovering the injuries on her face, she had already made her choice. An eastern five-clawed golden dragon and a western bipedal flying dragon battled together. Although Lucian was a notch below Night Stygian Moon in terms of aura, his natural skills were all at the super god level, and when they fought, they even vaguely suppressed the latter. After Night Stygian Moon fought Lucian for a few minutes, he also realized this phenomenon, and he was actually at a disadvantage. This kid was really bizarre. Not only could he release a terrifying aura to suppress himself, he could also unleash water arrows, thunder, sound wave attacks, all sorts of ways, giving her a feeling of exhaustion. I really didn't expect that you would have so many abilities, it seems that you must be demonized in order to deal with you. Night Underworld Moon hadn't even planned to use her dragon spirit form when she arrived, she was still very confident in her SS rank talent. As a result, Lucian could tell at a glance that she wasn't human. Now, after directly exchanging blows, she was even suppressed by Lucian, which gave her a humiliating feeling of successive setbacks. She was one of the four helmsmen of the Holy Spirit sect, a ninth ranked dragon spirit with SS rank talent and she had been suppressed by a 6th ranked imperial dragon envoy. She, who already had murderous intent towards Lucian, was bursting with murderous aura at this moment. Direct Demonization Demonization referred to stimulating the demon monster bloodline that they had obtained after fusing the demon monsters, while releasing the demon chi in their bodies. In an instant, Night Underworld Moon's size swelled to nearly 80 meters, a row of white bone spurs sprouted from her back, and her head, which looked like a large lizard, became even more horrifying. With a roar, her breath soared to the 10th rank. As expected, this surge in strength after demonization was so extraordinary that it was able to directly allow a 9th order dragon spirit to break through the barrier of the 10th order and step into such a large level. However, Lucian did not have the slightest fear, a mere evil demon, I am a Chinese divine dragon, how can I be afraid? Launching the talent, spirit sacrifice. This belongs to Chi Rant's natural skill, as long as it is released, it can always exist, although it will continuously consume spiritual energy, the effect is also extremely reliable. For one, it could continuously heal injuries, and secondly, it was that divine attribute boost. Sacred attribute, to put it bluntly. It was the expression of a high level of extreme attribute energy. Demonic Chi was also an extreme attribute, an extreme chaos. The sacred attribute, on the other hand, was the ultimate purity, specifically used to restrain the latter. If the demonic chi was strong enough, it could also restrain the sacred attribute. However, at this moment, Lucian fused the sacred attribute with the help of dragon might and sound waves, among other things, making his killing power against demonic chi directly double. Night Underworld Moon was injured by Lucian's claw on her wing, the power of thunder destroying her flesh and skin, while the sacred attribute was like boiling her bones into soup, along with her nerves. It left her in excruciating pain. You even have the divine attribute. You're going to die, you must die here today. For people with sacred attributes, Night Maiden Moon had a feeling of extreme hatred, and at this moment, when she realized that Lucian's attack even came with sacred attribute damage as well, the scars on her face seemed to faintly ache. That bad memory surfaced, and she became even more maniacal. Directly releasing her strongest attack skill, 
Phantom Dream Demon Spirit, a black dragon-shaped demonic aura rushed towards Lucian. Facing the pressure of the 10th rank's aura, Lucian didn't panic in the slightest. He was a true dragon. Whether it was strength, defense or vitality, it was all top tier. Even in the face of such a powerful force and such a terrifying attack falling, he still maintained his composure. After contracting five dragon spirits, the true dragon state was enough to last for more than an hour. He felt that he would have absolutely no problem holding out until support arrived. Seeing that the phantom dream demon spirit had arrived in front of him almost in the blink of an eye, Lucian immediately made a dodge and counterattack. But that attack was too fast and too strong, and the thunder dragon claw that contained the divine aura that fell couldn't even destroy it completely, only cancelling out a portion of the energy. And the remaining portion rushed into his body. To be precise, it attacked his soul. As a nightmare demon dragon, its most powerful method of attack was to impact the opponent's soul in its demonic spirit form. The vast majority of dragon spirits were weak in terms of soul defense, so she was almost invincible when she performed this attack, and the only time she failed was the battle that produced the scar on her face. She thought that although Lucian possessed so many means, soul-wise in the end, he was only a sixth-ranked imperial dragon envoy, so for this attack of her own, she almost had the confidence of certain death. However, the result was that she was seriously injured. After that demonic spirit penetrated deep into the sea of Lucian's soul, it found that there was a golden light here, and there was no humanoid Lucian present, instead, there was an incomparably powerful golden dragon. Aang. A dragon's roar erupted as the golden dragon came towards the dragon spirit to kill, with the power of thunder, the evil quelling golden light, the divine breath, and all sorts of energies layered on top of each other, attacking with pure soul spirit. With just one bite, this demonic spirit was purified of one-eighth of its parts. Immediately after that, in three clicks, this demonic spirit created by Night Underworld Moon by consuming a large amount of her own spiritual energy was annihilated by Lucian's true dragon soul. As a descendant of a dragon, everyone is like a dragon, I am the true dragon, and my soul can also transform into a dragon. It makes sense, doesn't it? The demonic spirit contained the main consciousness of the Night Underworld Moon, and being annihilated at this time caused her to suffer a backlash as well. In her heart, Lucian's killing intent was even more prevalent. At that moment, she suddenly stopped, because she sensed an extremely powerful aura approaching rapidly. Night Underworld Moon's complexion changed, and she gave Lucian a resentful glance, with a bit of unwillingness. However, she didn't hesitate any longer, and without caring about anything else, she immediately flew in one direction, trying to escape. You won't be able to run away this time. A majestic voice came out, and it was clearly a true 10th rank powerhouse descending. Unsurprisingly, it should be that Northern Warzone Jingwa Zhang. The proper town guards of the four major war zones were all at the 10th rank demon level. Their dragon spirits were all guarding the Great Wall at the borders, while the relatively weaker imperial dragon envoys were guarding the various main cities in case any powerful demonic monsters were born from the demon den camps, as well as suppressing human traitors like the Holy Spirit cult. Zhang Jingwo wore a set of silver white armor with reddish golden lines, which was the same as the profound dragon armor that Lucian had obtained, and was also a top tier memory metal armor. He also had a large sword in his hand, this was his talent, Sword of the Sacred Contract. After sensing this powerful aura, Night Under Moon developed an incomparable resentment and fear. In the beginning, it was this person who had left such a wound on her face. That was why she had come here, creating trouble for him in an attempt to get back at him in this way. After all, in a frontal confrontation, there was no way she could be a match for a true 10th rank powerhouse, even if the other party was only an imperial dragon envoy whose strength was weak compared to a dragon spirit. It was the same even if she was in the midst of a demonic chi outburst. Zhang Jinwo possessed a top SSS grade talent, possessed a 10th rank spirit energy level, and represented the strongest battle power in this realm, he was almost invincible, the. The moment she sensed this aura, Night Underworld Moon made the decision to escape. However, she was forgetting. The last time she was able to escape from Zhang Jinwo's hands was because at that time, she was at the 8th rank while Zhang Jinwo was at the 9th rank. Although there was a difference between the 8th and 9th ranks, it was far from the level of the gap between the 9th and 10th ranks. Before the 9th rank, it could be called the mortal level, and above the ninth rank, it could be called a god. Although Night Munua briefly possessed a portion of god power with her demonic chi, she was not a god after all. Divine Verdict Lucian vaguely heard a voice coming from the distance, which seemed to be an incomparably majestic sound that came from the soul level royal dragon envoy talent, rather than coming from someone's mouth. Immediately afterward, a huge lightsaber appeared in the distance. The lightsaber fell, and a mournful cry came out. It seemed that there was also a woman screaming unwillingly. In the distance, the huge flying dragon figure incarnated by Night Underworld Moon was chopped into two pieces by a sword. Watching such a magnificent scene caused Lu Zhen to not be able to help but create some surprise in his heart as well. So this was the true power of a 10th rank powerhouse? 
Just a 10th ranked Imperial Dragon Envoy could unleash such a powerful skill, if a 10th ranked Dragon Spirit was here, how powerful would it be? Night Underworld Moon's corpse seemed to have been put away by Zhang Zhenghua, who came to Lu Xun's side. Good boy, getting stronger again. It seems that the resources given to you weren't wasted, to think that you could tangle with Night Underworld Moon, one of the Holy Spirit's sex four helmsmen, for so long. In her state of demonic qi eruption, her strength is on the verge of the 10th rank. Zhang Jingwa's eyes were filled with appreciation as he looked at Lu Xun, not mincing his words of praise. Lu Xun had already regained her human form and laughed. Thank you for your compliments Jingwa. I will still become stronger and look forward to reaching your level. Zhang Jingwa smiled and said. In less than a year, no, in less than 10 months, you have already reached the 6th rank, possessing unrivaled battle power below the 10th rank. This talent, it's truly terrifying. Your bloodline power is definitely not just a simple SSS rank. That divine dragon bloodline, it's surprisingly so powerful. Regarding the characteristics of people who contain the divine dragon bloodline, you organize a piece of information for me, and I'll have someone help you check. With one more SSS ranked dragon spirit, you'll grow a little faster, and if they can grow as well, in the future, you'll be the biggest dependency of the Yenxia Federation. Lusion said with surprise at his words. That's really great. I've always wanted to discover more divine dragon bloodline possessors, so that they can get rid of their tragic and unjust fate. This is the dragon that belongs to our Yenxia people themselves, doesn't Lord Jingwa feel a surge of affection? Zhang Jingwa froze for a moment at his words, seeming to be caught up in some sort of reminiscence, nodding his head and saying, Indeed, after seeing your true dragon form, I did feel a sense of affinity from the depths of my bloodline, but it was as if it was suppressed by something, preventing me from truly perceiving what was within that bloodline. It seems that your divine dragon bloodline may be hiding some secret. I'll go back and have someone look for information, so I might be able to find out a little something. It should be possible to find out something, and if there's anything I need to help, I'll definitely do my best to help. Lu Xin made a statement. Zhang Jinhua patted his shoulder and said, A good Yan Xia man. Alright, with Night Underworld Moon being killed by me, the Holy Spirit sect shouldn't send out any more powerful people to deal with you in a short period of time, but you shouldn't take it lightly either. Keep working hard, only when you have a strong strength yourself can you truly protect those you love and those who love you. After saying that, he turned around and turned into a white light and flew away. Talented enough to treat people politely. Lusion was very popular in the eyes of these executives, and it was only right for him to receive the most help when he showed his extremely high talent. While Zhang Jingwa left, Xia Lingchan and the girls ran over. Just now, they had sensed a powerful aura and worried that Lu Xin would be in trouble, so they immediately came over here to check the situation. What happened just now? Xia Lingchan asked. Qi Ran took the initiative to pick up the conversation and said. Just now, there was a person who impersonated you to approach us, but was seen through by Lu Xin with a single glance. Lu Xin really knows Sister Xia very well. Xia Lingchan was surprised. Impersonating me? There is still such an ability? Lu Xin nodded and said. Yes, it's a ninth ranked dragon spirit, it should still be an SS ranked talent, using an illusionary ability. However, I know each and every one of you, from top to bottom, very well, and I can tell the slightest difference. That's why at the first glance I confirmed that she wasn't you, and then made a direct move. She was very strong, being one of the Holy Spirit sex four helmsmen, the Night Underworld Moon, and in the end, it was Zhang Jinshou who arrived and killed her. Hearing Lu Xin's first two sentences, Xia Lingchan couldn't help but blush, but when she heard the latter, she exclaimed. The four helmsmen actually took action against us personally. Su Zitong picked up the conversation. It seems that your talent is so powerful that it has made the people of the Holy Spirit sect very jealous and want to get rid of you as soon as possible. The four helmsmen are considered to be the strongest under the Holy Spirit Church's lord, and since you can fight with Night Stygian Moon for so long, there is no one who can do anything to you for now here in the Northern War Zone. It's considered safe, but it's unknown if they'll send another person behind them, and if they strike next time, it'll be that Hall Master level character, definitely not something you can deal with right now. Ruan Qinghan frowned and said. Song Xiao sniffed and hugged Lu Xin's arm, saying firmly, I will fight with you. Lu Xin stroked her head and laughed. I said I would protect you guys, you won't be killed so easily. Next, we'll continue training here for a month, and when Qi Ran's level rises, we'll go to the Great Wall in the north, the Holy Spirit sect won't go there. In the blink of an eye, four days later, Lu Xin was invited by Zhang Jinguo to come to Danjiang City. Zhang Jinguo was very efficient, he took the initiative to help Lu Xin look for information about divine dragon bloodline possessors, of course he didn't look for it himself, but mobilized his secretarial team to sift through it. Starting from Lu Xin's term, the screening continued upwards. Generally speaking, amongst the national batch of awakened people, C-rank, D-rank, and E-rank awakened people accounted for 95% of the total, with the rest of the talent being at the lowest level of F-rank or B-rank or above. So the total number of people in this batch wasn't too many. 
For Lu Xun to find them by himself, it was certainly slow. But if a whole group of secretaries were to sift through the whole day, they could quickly come up with a batch of suspicious candidates. A total of 100 profiles were sifted out, allowing Lu Xun to come over for identification to see if any of them met the criteria. Lu Xun looked at the interface, and the information of the 100 female guests surfaced on the screen. Zhang Jingwu said, You recognize them first, these 100, if you choose one, I'll immediately send someone to pick her up and see if she really possesses the divine dragon bloodline. If it's true, let her contract with you, if not, I'll make proper arrangements. What else did Lu Xun have to say, of course, he hurriedly checked the information of the hundred girls. In fact, from the dragon spirit's name, he could tell if it was or not. On the one hand, the possessor of a true dragon bloodline had a name that was specific. On the other hand, the so-called dragon spirits in this world were all named with attributes plus characteristics, and the only thing that was in line with Yenxia civilization's own naming characteristics was the eastern true dragon bloodline. These 100 people were everyone from Lusian's term to the last 9 terms. The oldest, 9 years older than Lusian, was 27 years old. The information of the 100 people was quickly read through, and to Lusian's surprise there were actually 2 people. Fu Huasheng, 24 years old, senior judge of the 9th court of the southern war zone, and his dragon spirit was a class F, negiverse. Morong Hanying, 25 years old, deputy city lord of Wangjiang city in the southern war zone, and his dragon spirit was class F, quoted. Among all the cities, there was only one city lord, who himself was a powerful dragon envoy or dragon spirit, while the deputy city lords had no requirement for strength, because the deputy city lords were only responsible for the daily management, and it was the city lord's responsibility to protect the city. That's why there are a lot of ordinary people with low-level talent who don't cultivate who hold this position. Similarly, the position of judge was the same. She only needed to execute the power brought to her by the federation and the law, and did not need personal force to uphold her majesty. Seeing the information about these two, Lusian was hesitant. Both of them have their own jobs and important positions, is it appropriate to bring them here? Zhang Jing was said in a resolute tone. There is nothing inappropriate. Your safety is a big deal to the entire federation, the two of them can be replaced by someone in their jobs, while your ability is unrivaled. However, the people are in the southern war zone, in order to prevent the Holy Spirit cults people from messing up, the earliest we need to wait for three days before we can bring the people here, you stay here, wait for the people to come, after the appraisal, then you can go and continue to hunt the demonic monsters. The elders gave, and did not dare to resign. Not to mention that it was two big beauties, of course he wouldn't refuse. So the few people stayed in the middle of Danjiang city, still, maintaining their efficient cultivation. The one who practiced the most diligently now was Ji Ran. She had previously tasted the pain and powerlessness of having no strength, and at the same time, she knew that nowadays, everyone's strength was very strong, and only she was the weakest, dragging everyone down. Therefore, she worked very hard. Lucian fully supplied her with what she needed, no matter how many times or how much she wanted, Lucian could satisfy her. Let her live each day to the fullest. Estimating that in about a week to ten days, she would be able to step into the third rank, and by then, after absorbing the awakening dragon potion, she would have the strength of the fourth rank. Stepping into the fourth rank was the time to really start catching up with the footsteps of a few people. Time came three days later. That morning, the first woman was sent to Luzhen. Fu Huasheng was wearing the uniform of a judge in this world, black pants and a white shirt, and since she was just an ordinary person, she was given an extremely warm green coat to drape over her body, and her eyes underneath a pair of gold-rimmed spectacles were full of puzzlement and doubt. The day before yesterday afternoon, there were suddenly a few people who visited, and after presenting their documents, they brought her into a military airplane, escorted her with a high-level dragon spirit, and came all the way to Danjiang City in the northern war zone before releasing her. On the way, she inquired many times, but these people only said that there was one thing she needed to cooperate with, what it was was not mentioned at all. Finally, she was sent into this room, and in this room, there was another man. Who are you and what are you doing to me? Although she was confident in her looks, she wasn't stupid enough to think that the other party was trying to possess her to take so much trouble, even using the highest level of official power to capture her. The so-called red face was a blessing, but a blessing to the nation and the people was indeed nothing more than an exaggerated adjective. A person, even how beautiful they were, would not sway the destiny of a country, nor would they use such a powerful force. Luzhin laughed. My name is Luzhin, a simple 18-year-old big boy. The one who insisted on bringing you here is the town guardian lord, so I can't be blamed. To put it simply, out of a hundred female guests, I chose you. I need you to make a contract with me, you contain a divine dragon bloodline in your body, by contracting with me, this bloodline can be awakened, and in turn, you will evolve into a SSS class dragon spirit. Is this reason acceptable to you? Fu Huasheng was incomparably shocked by what she heard, her glasses were about to fall off, she held them up and said, How did you determine that? 
Lu Xun replied, The power in the bloodline guides. Put your hand on my palm and you will sense it. Fu Huasheng hesitated for a moment, but still put her hand over. When she touched Lu Xun's palm, she suddenly felt that her dragon spirit form seemed to become very active, and her spiritual energy was surging, almost as if it was going to spurt out. She hurriedly separated from Lu Xun, and that feeling disappeared. Really? I'm actually really a divine dragon bloodline, I can become a SSS class dragon spirit? Fu Huasheng was now filled with anticipation. At the age of 24, she had already been an ordinary person for more than six years, busying herself with legal work every day just to find her own value, to prove that she had always been an excellent person. But in the midst of such a society with a clear class division, the waste dragon spirit was the bottom of the heap, even if she was in a high position, sitting in the judge's seat, the breath released by a criminal on trial could leave her breathless. She was very eager to become strong, but the lowest rank allowed her to only fantasize. And now, suddenly, she was brought from the south to the north, to a strange boy who told her that he could help her change her fate. Such a big surprise made her a bit disorganized, losing the composure that she used to have in the face of death and the law. Lucian once again extended his hand to her. Come with me, after the contract, you will know. Fu Huaxing put her hand on Lucian's hand, and this time, instead of letting go after a light touch, she clasped her ten fingers together and firmly grasped Lucian's hand. It was as if she was afraid that everything was not real, afraid that Lucian would walk away. At this time, Lucian but suddenly remembered something like, By the way, there's more than one girl in your situation, I've already completed the contract with five people, so you don't have to worry about failing, I didn't miss my choice. Fu Huaxing's smile and excitement stopped violently. Did they all break the contract with you? She asked. Lu Xun shook her head and said. Of course not. They all maintain a contractual relationship with me, and as long as they are dragon spirits that contain divine dragon bloodlines, I can contract them without limitations. After contracting with me, every time you level up you can allow me to help your bloodline get enhanced again. The SSS rank is not the strongest talent rank. There are even more powerful talents above it. With my help, they reach the fifth rank in less than a year. This kind of cultivation speed can't be achieved even by an SSS rank talent. If it were you, would you want to break the contract with me? Fu Huasheng sniffed in shock. You can actually contract with so many people. Could it be that your talent is a multi-person contract? Lucian smiled and said. I'm a dual talent, the first talent divine contract, which means that I can make unlimited contracts with dragon spirits that have a divine dragon bloodline. The second talent is Dragon Gate, which is the natural ability to help you evolve. So are you willing to join our collective? Are you willing to become a SSS ranked dragon spirit, or even touch a higher level of talent? Are you willing to be my sixth contractual object? The last few chained questions, Lu Xun really looked Fu Huaxing in the eyes and said them seriously. The latter was obviously a bit disorganized in her mind. The idea of an imperial dragon envoy contractually bonding with a dragon spirit was still maintained in her thinking. Once one chose to contract with a person, then it almost meant that one was going to be married to that person. But, this current situation was obviously somewhat of an exception. Lucian's talent was her only chance to escape this current fate, and her heart yearned for a higher level of talent. It would have been fine if she didn't know about it, but now that she knew about it, who wouldn't want better? Especially with the knowledge that she had the same opportunity. That's when a kind of self-doubt of everyone else can, why can't I arises? And then there is a rush to affirm yourself, and thus convince yourself. I do. Fu Huasheng once again clenched her hand tightly, she actually had no choice. Because after knowing about this opportunity, it was impossible for her to give up. In the past few years, she had been thinking about getting rid of her fate all the time. Now that the opportunity was right in front of her, how could she miss it? What was the use if there was no chance after this miss, or if a new chance would only come again when she was 70 years old? A contract doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be a husband and wife, you can also be close comrades in arms. She thought like this, suppressing her inner feelings of being with other girls who were. The discomfort of sharing a boy. Only the adjective intimate that she subconsciously added also meant that deep down she didn't think so. Everything was now behind her, she only wanted to complete the contract, she only wanted to evolve. The two of them arrived at that Sanglong Academy's contract platform, and there were only the two of them and the dean, Li Jiuzhou. Xia Lingchan and the few of them didn't follow, they were enjoying a rare break. Usually, they were either fighting or engaged in intense cultivation with Lu Xun, and rarely did they have this kind of leisure time to really take a break. Of course, there was also the meaning of not wanting to see any more images of him contracting with other women. It was said that they didn't care, but there were always some ripples. Right now they were still just closer comrades in arms, that was the position for now, and that was all one could do to convince oneself. Not everyone could be as easily satisfied as Song Xiao, Sun Long Academy, on the packed stage. Fu Huaxing stood here, before the age of 18, she had fantasized countless times about the sight of herself standing here, 
fantasizing that a teenager with an extremely high talent would contract with her, and then the two of them would fight side by side together, and walk into the hall of marriage together. But when the talent awakened, all the beautiful dreams were shattered, and even her once best friend, turned away from her. She did not blame anyone, imperial dragon warriors and ordinary people, is two different classes, away from the best choice. It was just that she had always had a strong sense of unwillingness. After all, she was once a genius with top test scores, but she was once reduced to a disliked object, and was even devalued as worthless. In order to prove her worth, she took the judge exam, and in just a few years became a senior judge with the power to make a decision, but that didn't allow her to erase that scar. For the first time after many years, she stood on the pack stage, and there in front of her was a boy she had fantasized about, handsome, extremely gifted, and even the age she had been when she fantasized about him. By contracting with him now, she could awaken a powerful dragon spirit, and could fight alongside him. The only thing that can't be fulfilled, it seems, is that she can't walk into marriage. It didn't matter anymore. Fu Huasheng placed her hands on Lu Xun's palms, tranquilized her heart, the contract spell formation opened, golden threads appeared, and the contract was completed. Immediately afterward, Lu Xun summoned the dragon gate, Fu Huasheng's body gradually faded, and a clawless white dragon with white scales and red eyes appeared. She flew into the dragon gate and golden light wrapped it, a powerful roar came out and the golden light dispersed, transforming into a four-clawed white dragon that reached a length of more than seven meters, the aura that belonged to an SSS-class dragon spirit was released. At the same time, information about Fu Huasheng surfaced in Lu Xun's mind. Fu Huasheng, Negasonic, SSS Grade, Rank, First Order, Divine Talent 1, Taking Off Clouds and Driving Mist, Can Fly in the Air and Harness Clouds and Mist, Divine Gift 2, Literary Literacy, can recognize all words and learn their meanings. Divine Talent 3, Literary Qi, can use words to unleash attacks, words follow the law. Fu Huasheng roamed the air for a while before coming down. Before she became an SSS rank talent, she was unable to fly and had no claws, so she could only crawl on the ground when she changed into a dragon spirit. The attack power was almost equal to nothing. At this moment, not only did she have limbs, but she could also directly control the clouds to make herself fly up in the air. It was as if once she was only worthy of crawling on the ground in the gloom, but now she was able to freely roam the nine heavens, that kind of smooth feeling of releasing the boredom in her heart once and for all, made her very mesmerized. Falling back to the ground, at this time she was no longer shaken by her choice. Then, always calm and introverted, known for her rigor, even a moment of hot-headedness, embraced Lu Xun, directly kissed up. Lu Xun had always been incapable of rejecting beautiful women, so he could only obey her and stuck out his tongue. Night Jojo on the side coughed lightly reminding these two that there was another old man on the scene. This young man doesn't know how to give the old man some face, openly kissing and hugging in the academy. Although not from the academy, you show this to the old man? Fu Huashing's own face burned red after she let go of Lu Xun. She didn't know why, but just now she suddenly had a strong urge to hug this little boy in front of her. Could it be that she had been single for a long time, so she couldn't hold herself for a while? In reality, this was a bloodline attraction. After completing the contract with Fu Huasheng, Lu Xun had obtained six true dragon bloodlines, and after fusing these six true dragon bloodlines, the true dragon power he possessed had reached an extremely strong level. It could be said that in the eyes of the dragon spirit of the divine dragon bloodline, he was the most affectionate person. This level of cordiality even surpassed the parents who had given birth to them now. Therefore, at that moment, Fu Huasheng had unloaded all of her defenses against him, and thus, just in accordance with the throbbing of her heart, she initiated an act of possession against him, but then she restrained herself. The two of them walked down the deed platform. Li Jojo laughed. Good good good. I, the Yenxia Federation, have another SSS class dragon spirit, and another guardian god in the future. Fu Huasheng, she is the daughter of the South Sifu family, right? A scholarly family, this temperament is the look of a great lady. Lu Xun, you can't bully people. Hearing this, Lu Xun, however, revealed an aggrieved look and said, Grandpa Li, don't talk nonsense, just now it was clearly her bullying me. Fu Huashing's face turned even redder when he heard this, and instead of ignoring Lu Xun, he saluted Li Jojo and said, Greetings, Grandpa Li. My father is none other than the current head of the South Sifu family, Fu Tienda, greetings to you. Li Jojo said smilingly to Lu Xun, You see this knowledgeable look, how could people bully you? Lu Xun sniffed speechless, this old man is not reasonable ah, just now clearly see clearly, now even open eyes say blind. In the end is the old man has become bad, or the bad man has become old? This is the moral degeneration or the distortion of human nature? Okay. What you say is what you say. Lu Xun could only say helplessly. At this time, a group of people suddenly came this way, and one of them was clearly Zhang Jingwa. He was accompanied by a short-haired woman with a serious face. Finished the contract? What level is it? Zhang Jingwa asked impatiently as soon as he came over. Li Jiuzhou smiled and said. 
No surprises, still SSS grade. He didn't hide it because Zhang Jingguo was the one who only brought that woman over. The rest of the people were guarding the outside. And this woman was Morong Hanying, the second object Lu Jin would complete the contract with today. Zhang Jinghua laughed. Ha ha, very good. Lu Jin, this is Morong Haning. I've probably spoken to her about the matter, so the two of you can just go directly to the contract. Lu Jin looked at Morong Haining who walked up to him and smiled. Although perhaps the town guard has already spoken to you, I still have to ask one more time, Morong City Lord, are you willing to contract with me? He was a rather conservative person and didn't like to force women, and if the other party wasn't willing, he wasn't going to force himself. Coming to this world, he didn't come to lose himself, but to enjoy life as much as possible while maintaining his true colors. Morong Haining sniffed and looked at the boy, her complexion a bit. Like Fu Huasheng, she was a strong woman. Her father was Morong Sun, the city lord of East Sea City, the main city of the Eastern War Zone. Almost all of the Morong family held positions such as city lord in various places, they were a family that was active in management. Back then, Morong Haining was hailed as the leader of the younger generation of the Morong family, and would inevitably lead the Morong family to a new level in the future. But she failed in her awakening. Without a strong strength, even with the help of her family and excellent management skills, she could never become a proper city lord. She was 25 years old this year and had struggled for 7 years before becoming the deputy city lord of a small city in the southern war zone. It wasn't until she was brought to Danjiang City this morning that the town guard of the northern war zone personally told her that there was such an opportunity and hoped that she could seize it. Zhang Jingwu indeed did not ask her about her wishes, but instead directly told her to complete her contract with Lu Jin and evolve into a powerful dragon spirit, and as long as she grew above the seventh rank, she would immediately become the city lord of a large city. It had always been her obsession to become a proper city lord, or rather, to become a city lord of a major city on a level like her father Morong Sun. So she had come with trepidation. But it was true that she had yet to make a decision on her own. And at this moment, this boy was asking himself the same thing she was asking herself. Has the choice really been made? Is it really willing? I'm willing. She looked at Lu Jin seriously and said. The position of city lord, the ambition to win, to become a strong man, is also the desire of the heart. The only opportunity is in front of the eyes, not to hesitate any longer. Lu Jin smiled and stretched out his hand, and Morong Haining placed her hand in his palm. The two of them walked onto the awakening stage and completed the contract, the dragon gate came out and the dragon spirit manifested. Morong Haining's dragon spirit was, quoted, a dragon blood divine beast with a dragon head and tiger body, but suppressed by the inexplicable rules of this world, it looked like a sick cat. At this moment, when she crossed the dragon gate, then her breath changed greatly. It was more than three Zhang Long, a dragon fin was born on its back, its fur was a black and white pattern, its dragon head was majestic and overbearing, its four legs stepped on the cloud chi, and it let out a kind of roar combining the roar of a tiger and a dragon. Morong Haining landed back on the ground, and Lu Jin saw her information in his mind. Morong Haning, quoted, SSS grade. Rank, first order. Divine talent I, taking the clouds and harnessing the mist, can fly in the air and harness clouds and mist. Divine talent too, pupil of truth, can see through illusions, distinguish right from wrong, and see the essence of things, divine talent 3, control of gold, rank, SSS. Divine talent 3, control gold, can control gold objects, immune to gold spells. As Lu Jin looked at Morong Haining, Morong Haining also looked at Lu Jin. Since Lu Jin had already made a contract with her, the status was undefended against her, and using the passive talent of true pupil, Lu Jin's information also appeared in her mind. Lu Jin, 6th order. Talent I, Divine Contract, Super God Level. Talent 2, Dragon Gate, Super God Grade. After seeing this information, Morong Haining was completely shocked and froze. Regarding Lu Jin's information, even Zhang Jingguo and the other higher-ups weren't clear about it, they were only certain that he wasn't an unusual SSS rank, but they didn't know how high his true rank was. Therefore, amongst the information that Zhang Jingguo had given Morong Haning, there was only a very vague mention of being a dual talent SSS rank. Such a talent was already very impressive. But after seeing Lu Jin's true talent level, it was only then that he realized that the original federal hierarchy had still underestimated him. The man that I, Morong Haining, contracted with is actually a super god level. Lu Jin possessed Morong Haining's talent skill, so he naturally knew that she was able to see through his own talent, and knew what her look of surprise was due to. He once again extended his hand and smiled. Lord City Lord, it is a great honor to fight alongside you. The fact that a possessor of a super god grade talent was treating himself so solemnly made that small vanity of Morong Haining's greatly satisfied. She placed her hand in Lu Jin's palm, and the two of them shook together. Your honorable imperial dragon envoy, I am also very honored to be able to contract with you. The two of them smiled at each other before walking off the contract stage. Seeing the two walking, Zhang Jinghua laughed openly. 
Lusion, you are a great contributor to the Federation, together with Morong City Lord and Judge Fu, you have already acquired 7 SSS class Dragon Spirits for the Federation, which is very good, and I hope that you will keep up the good work. I will have people sift through the information again and go up one term to see if I can find any more possible personnel. At that time, I'll have someone transfer the information to your bracelet, so you can check it at any time. Lu Jin nodded at his words and said, Good, then I will trouble Lord Jinghua. Zhang Jinghua said seriously, This is no longer a personal matter for you, it's a big matter that concerns the entire federation, so don't say trouble. Saying this, he paused and looked at Morong Haining as well as Fu Huasheng both and said, at your family's place, I've already sent someone to explain the situation, find some time and talk to your family yourself. Lusion's matter is the highest level of confidentiality, there are some words that should or should not be said, you two high-ranking people who are engaged in political affairs should be clear. Morong Haining and Fu Huasheng nodded together and said, Understood. Zhang Jingwa spoke again. Lusion, your strength should have increased once again, right? It would be a waste for you to remain in the Blue Ice River water system now. A new demon den has appeared on the northeast plains, and this demon den can't be kept, it has to be destroyed. Both you and your contracted dragon spirits go there to fight, help the soldiers there to complete the suppression of the demonic monsters, and finally destroy the demonic den. Lu Xin knew that when he accepted Zhang Jingwa's help, he also needed to take on the corresponding responsibility, so he didn't push back and opened his mouth. Good, we'll set off immediately. Song Jiang 117 Devil's Den. This was their destination. The two men and seven women who had arrived here were Lu Jin and her seven contracted dragon spirits, as well as her great uncle Chiyu. The task on Blue Ice River's side was arranged and handled by the officials, so Lu Jin didn't need to worry about it, so he came to this side of the Devil's Den on the same day. Since the camp hadn't really been set up yet, everyone would have to sleep in tents. Lu Jin was going to cultivate with the seven women, so naturally the eight of them were in one tent, and Chiyu went to live with the other single soldiers. Morong Haining and Fu Huasheng were only at the first rank right now and needed to focus on cultivation. However, it was also because of the low rank that they were good to satisfy, Lu Jin dealt with these two and then went to satisfy the needs of the remaining few girls. Even though he had to fulfill the cultivation needs of seven people on his own, he was still able to do so with ease. The addition of the seven divine dragon bloodlines allowed his true dragon bloodline to reach a new level, whether it was the efficiency of absorbing spiritual energy or other. Other aspects, all reached a new height. The person in charge of the Songjiang 107 Devil's Den was the 7th ranked Imperial Dragon Envoy, Zhang Benchu. He was Zhang Jingwa's grandson, and requested assistance from Zhang Jingwa, only to see that the visitors were actually a group of little dolls, the youngest looking like they had just graduated definitely no more than 3 years ago, and among them, there were even 2 first order and 1 second order dragon spirits. This made him feel very upset, but he didn't dare to get angry with the old man, so he can only come to seek trouble from Lu Jin and the others. Since you guys came here, you have to listen to my arrangements. Now come with me to a stronghold, I hope you can hold out, if you can't, go back immediately and replace them with a few capable people. What Zhang Benchu wanted was an expert with a 7th rank or above combat power, because this demonic cave detected a not so low energy fluctuation, and there was bound to be a strong individual presence within its interior, which could result in a huge sacrifice if there were no strong reinforcements. Whether it will work or not, we'll know once we try it. Lu Jin said with a smile. Zhang Benshu snorted coldly at his words, then led several people to a stronghold. He was just about to arrange something, but he suddenly felt the ground vibrate and a surge of demonic chi gushed out from the entrance of the demonic cavern. Immediately afterward, a powerful aura appeared. Instantly, Zhang Benshu's face changed greatly and he was shocked. Ninth Rank Demonic Monster He was just about to call out to his dragon spirit, but he saw that Lu Jin had already rushed over towards that side. In midair, the dragon gate emerged, and after traversing it, a 20-foot-long five-clawed golden dragon appeared in the crowd's view. Aang! The sound of a dragon's roar appeared, accompanied by a powerful aura that swept across the entire field. Zhang Benchou's mouth opened wide in shock, filled with disbelief. This is an aura that can only be achieved by a 10th-rank imperial dragon envoy. How could a 6th-order royal dragon envoy possess the battle power of the 10th order? This was too unbelievable. Furthermore, how could a royal dragon envoy turn into a dragon spirit? Under the stunned gaze of the crowd, Lu Jin had already killed towards the ninth rank demonic monster that had the physique of a large goose, but its head was like an earthworm presenting a chrysanthemum mouthpiece. Thunder and golden light surfaced on his claws, which were not just evil quelling golden light, but also the killing power derived from the power of gold control brought about by the, quoted, talent. Divine Dragon's Claw Lu Jin attacked with a claw, thunder stirred throughout the entire space, and the golden light cut through the layers of black mist and landed on the demonic monster's neck. In an instant, the demonic monster screamed miserably and its head drooped, obviously severely injured. It panicked and was about to return to the demonic cave, 
but it was violently shocked into midair by a stream of water that suddenly appeared. This was an attack that Lu Xin had directly created a huge fountain with the Wen Qi talent of Qi Tua and then steeply unleashed it in conjunction with the water control ability of the Qi dragon. As the demonic monster was being rushed up into the sky, he struck again and completely severed its neck with his sharp claws. The devil monster's huge corpse fell to the ground, causing the ground to shake. Lu Xin didn't stop, but continued to slay in his true dragon form, killing all those high-ranked demonic monsters that had appeared along with this ninth-ranked demonic monster. His attacks were simple and brutal, with a combination of various abilities such as the power of thunder, the golden light of evil suppression, and the power of killing, a single strike was the death of dozens of demonic monsters. The powerful pressure made those demonic monsters fearful, but the true dragon bloodline in his body had a great attraction to the demonic monsters. The two sensations pulled, causing them to hesitate, and during this time of hesitation, Lucian killed them. Half a second later, Lucian returned to the side of the several women with the Ninth Order Yuan Dan that he had taken out from the body of that Ninth Order demon monster. Su Zitong marveled. Brother you've gotten stronger again. It's too outrageous for you to improve at such a rate. Everyone is an SSS ranked talent, is the difference so great? Zhang Benchu on the side was confused and subconsciously asked. You guys, are all SSS ranked talents? Ji Yu sniffed and grabbed the opportunity to speak. I may be great talent, they, all of them, are SSS grade. Morong Hanying, however, looked towards Lu Xin and smiled without saying anything, but in his heart, he secretly said, Lu Xin is an SSS rank, he's super god rank ah, we're not even god level, so who are we to compare with him? In her heart, she did not point it out. For one thing, she respected Lu Xin's choice, and for another, this kind of one secret that only she knew gave her a small sense of superiority. All SSS rank talents? Is the world changing so fast now that SSS rank talents have turned into cabbages that can be found everywhere? Ugh, no, you guys look obviously different in age, what's going on? Zhang Benchu desperately wanted to solve his doubts. Lu Xin briefly told him about his situation, and Zhang Benchu sighed. I told you that the old man wouldn't be confused about such things, so that's how it is, it seems that the destruction of this one demonic cave is also all thanks to your help. That's not what your brat said just now. Lu Xin nodded and laughed. We came here to help you accomplish this, what do you need us to do, just say it. After displaying his strength, Zhang Benchu's attitude towards Lu Xin's few people greatly changed, and then the few people entered into a busy battle and cultivation. In order to destroy a demon den, the first thing you had to do was to clear out the first wave of demonic monsters, and it usually took about 22 to 35 days of continuous clearing, during which time there could be multiple demonic tides and the emergence of powerful demonic monsters. Lu Xin concentrated on cultivating a few girls, Morong Hanying and Fu Huasheng both used a day and a night to advance to the lower second rank. Time passed day by day. Fallen Zone, In Devil Valley. The sect master of the Holy Spirit sect and the two hall masters were sitting in the middle of the palace, listening to the report of a black cloaked man standing with his head down in the middle of the hall. When he finished, In Yu Yao, the hall master of the Black Spirit Hall, spoke. Night Undermoon can burst out with 10th order battle power, even if it's just the lowest level, yet it's still touching the level of a demigod, that Lucian can't kill it. Since we sense the outbreak of the 10th rank aura, and there is also a strong divine aura remaining, it means that it was Zhang Jingwa who made a move. To be able to make Zhang Jingwa personally step in to protect him, there must be some secret hidden in this brat. Hua Hao, the hall master of the White Spirit Hall, spoke. What other secrets could there be, isn't it the so-called Divine Dragon Bloodline? He is a dual talent, both reaching the SSS rank, not to mention anything else, just the fact that he made those five women all turn into SSS ranks, that's our must-kill target. But if we want to kill him, it's almost impossible, after all, the old guys are protecting him so tightly, and he himself isn't a savior. This person, cannot be killed yet. The sect master in the main position suddenly said. His true dragon bloodline interests me. There is a 10th ranked imperial dragon envoy, Long Zeno, and a 10th ranked dragon spirit, In Dongxi, in the northeast plains. I want the two of you to work together, make sure you capture him for me, I want to bleed him. The black spirit hall and the white spirit hall had always been at odds and rarely worked together, but at this moment, the sect master had given the word and they had to listen. After some deliberation between the two, they decided that Hua Hao would go and hold back Long Zhe and Yin, don't she, and then let Yin Yuyo deal with Lu Xin. Yin Yuyo said this. He even injured my man and caused me to lose one of my great generals, I'm not only going here to capture him, but also to kill all of his several dragon spirits. Time came to the 20th day of Lu Xin's battle at the San Zhang 107 Devil's Den. On this day, a large-scale demonic plague erupted in the northeast plains San Zhang No. 12 Demon Cave, with people from the Holy Spirit sect rebelling, and the two northeast border guardians, Long Zhe and Yin Dongxi, went out to suppress it. At the same time, at the Song Zhang No. 
107 Devil's Den, Lu Xian steeply sensed a powerful aura appearing, and he immediately protected Fu Huasheng, Ji Ran, and Morong Hanying, the three women beside him, behind him. On the opposite side, a woman with red hair and blue eyes wearing a dark green leather jacket appeared on high heels. She was walking down from midair, which represented the aerial ability that only a demigod-level powerhouse of the 10th rank could possess. To put it bluntly, it was a way of utilizing spiritual energy, which basically could only be mastered proficiently at the 10th rank. Lucian's eyes stared at this dull-faced woman, a face that, the more he looked at it, the more he felt a little weird and uncomfortable. The visitor was not good, Lucian summoned the dragon gate and took a step out, transforming into a true dragon. After Yin Yuyao sensed the aura released by Lucian, she was surprised. A month ago, you were only at the 9th rank battle level, but now you are truly stepping into the 10th rank, why is your growth speed so fast? Suddenly, her gaze landed on Morong Hanying and Fu Huashing next to Qi Ran. I see, so it turns out that contracting with these women of the so-called divine dragon bloodline will allow you to gain strength as well, right? Lu Xin didn't answer her and just looked warily, which made Yin Yu Yao very annoyed. She sneered. You don't need to stall, Long Zhe and the others have no way to come and save you, today, they will die, and you, you will be captured back by me as my male pet. Lu Xin did want to stall, this place was far away from Dan Zhang city, so the ones who were responsible for supporting him and giving him help were indeed Long Zeno's father and two men. But since the other party had said so, it seemed that he could only put up a fight. Lu Xin still didn't pay attention to Yin Yu Yao, he was deliberately making the other party angry, no matter when, anger would affect judgment, which might allow him to seek an opportunity to strike. After Yin Yu Yao finished speaking, she took on the form of a dragon spirit, a flying dragon with large wings, a wingspan of 50 feet, and covered in dark green scales. SSS Grade Dragon Spirit, Green Demon Poison Dragon. As soon as she completed her transformation, a green corrosive gas filled the ground around her, and even the land was corroded by the poisonous gas, not to mention the life forms. Lu Xin immediately drew a circle beyond the three Morong Haning when he saw the situation, then utilized the negative tail, S talent when she and drank. Forbidden. As the words fell, a curtain of light rose from the circle and closed into a hemispherical cover, protecting the three women within it. Those dark green auras were blocked when they reached outside the light curtain. You guys stay right here, don't move, everything is with me. Morong Hanying and Fu Huasheng both looked somewhat moved, as strong women, they themselves resisted being protected by men, but at this moment, it was a moving emotion that arose. As for Chi Ran, she had long looked at Lu Xin with a worried face. She had already been protected by Lu Xin many times, and wasn't used to being protected, she just knew that she couldn't do anything about it. The only thing she could do was to pray for him in her heart. There you are. With you to protect them? I'll kill them one by one in front of you. Ying Yuya roared, and above the large poisonous dragon head, two eyes that looked like blue fluorite shone down like searchlights as she opened her mouth to spew out a large amount of poisonous mist. In a flash, a gust of wind surged up, and the poisonous mist transformed into a rigid drill, while Ying Yuya flew behind it, falling towards Lusion in an onslaught. It was precisely her natural skill, the Yin Wind Poison Dragon Drill. The green whirlwind carried a strong corrosive nature, and its own high-speed rotating wind blade also had a strong tearing and cutting power. With this move, Yin Yu Yao had already killed two 10th rank demonic monsters with strong defenses. Those defenses that could not be broken with the sharp blades in great strength, Yin Yu Yao could drill an opening. As long as the defense was broken, the poisonous gas could cause serious damage to its internal body tissues. A body like a human's would turn into a puddle of pus in a short period of time once it was contaminated. Thunder surrounded Lusion's body, the evil suppressing golden light released its radiance, and the sacred aura and killing power coalesced on top of his claws as he suddenly rushed towards the side of that poison dragon drill. He wasn't a fool, he wouldn't be foolish enough to confront the drill head-on, the significance of taking the initiative was that he could choose the location of the attack. This attack, as long as it destroyed its structure, would be automatically disarmed. Purple thunder and golden killing golden aura broke through an opening in the side of the poison dragon drill, and sure enough, this attack stopped immediately after the loophole appeared. Lucian directly entangled himself up and grabbed onto the back and wings of the green demon poison dragon, biting up against a large tendon at a joint location. But Yin Yuya wasn't the GZUF from back then, and although Lucian had also become stronger, it wasn't enough to suppress the SSS ranked talent of a true 10th ranked demigod ranked Yin Yuya. She slammed into the ground with a violent fall, then turned around and bit into Lusian's body. When Lusian tore off a piece of flesh from her body with all his might, Yin Yu Yao also bit off a large piece of bloody flesh from his body. Then, Yin Yu Yao suddenly hissed in excitement. Yummy! It's so delicious! I've eaten so many demonic monsters, even the 10th ranked demonic monsters aren't as tasty as your flesh and blood, not even 1% of yours. I feel as if something is reviving in my body after eating your flesh and blood. Stronger power, higher talent, as long as I eat you, I will be able to evolve again, evolve into a stronger existence. Yin Yu Yao was completely frantic at this moment. 
Originally, she had felt that there seemed to be something in Lucian's body that she desperately craved for, and at first, she had thought that it was an illusion, and that it might be because she wanted the handsome man too much. But just now, after eating a piece of Lucian's meat and drinking a mouthful of his blood, she knew that that feeling wasn't an illusion, but rather a desire for Lucian's flesh and blood. That was a strong stimulus given by the demonic monster bloodline belonging to her fusion. As long as she ate him, she could become stronger. Therefore, she had already thrown the Holy Spirit sect master's order behind her, he wanted to eat Lucian all by himself, and she wanted to eat Lucian bite by bite. Seeing that Lucian was injured, she ran, who was protected in the confinement, was excitedly about to rush out, but was stopped by Morong Haining and Fu Huashing together. Fu Huashing said, If you go out now, the greatest likelihood is that you will die first, the two of us will die along with you, and Lucian will be killed because of the distraction. Morong Haining also said in a deep voice, All we can do is wait and trust him. The distress message, which has already been sent out, depends on his own performance. She ran calmed down and stopped rushing outwards. She knew that Fu Huashing and Morong Haining were also worried, after all, not to mention the fact that we had all gotten along for so long and had become friends. Just looking at the current situation, if Lucian died, none of them would survive. However, the two of them were calm enough to not show any uneasiness, and just watched quietly. Perhaps, they really believe that Lucian can win, I should say, they can only believe that Lucian can win. The three women held hands and together they nervously looked at the few people fighting over there. Lucian was also in immense pain as he was bitten off a mouthful of flesh and blood by Yin Yuyao, but he had indeed exerted his full power, with all sorts of abilities, unleashed together. But it was also a fact that Yin Yuyao was powerful. Most of the attacks such as the sound wave attack, unleashed at Lucian's current level, could not cause substantial damage to Yin Yuyao at all, instead, it was the most instinctive and direct bite that could cause injury. But after Yin Yuyao, this woman bit him, it was as if she had contracted some kind of addiction and had a seizure, tearing at him madly. At this rate, he would definitely be swallowed whole by this woman. Lucian clenched his teeth and decided to fight as well. He took out the 10th rank Yuan Dan that he used for cultivation and directly swallowed it into his stomach, using Chico's devouring talent to fully activate it and absorb the energy inside. The 10th order belongs to the demigod level, this is the real 10th order energy, usually when cultivating, are held in the hand, a little guide absorption, at this time is directly a hole swallowed into the stomach. Such a crazy move, but also just have no choice but to the next best thing. Berserk energy began to wreak havoc in his body, and the energy that surged out in an instant made him almost burst. His body size suddenly grew, skyrocketing to nearly 49 feet, looking about the same size as Yin Yuyao's, while in reality, it was even more majestic. The divine dragon's claws landed on Yin Yuyao's back, forcefully tearing apart the dark green scales on her body, and the dragon's body tightly wrapped around Yin Yuyao's body, crazily tearing and devouring towards her internal organs and flesh and blood. For a while, the dragon spirits incarnated by the two of them twisted and fought in the sky, you biting me and I biting you. Yin Yuyao had fallen into a state of madness, not caring about her injuries at all, as long as she ate a bite of Lucian's flesh and blood, she could become one point stronger. However, she didn't have the same, devouring, talent as Lucian, so she couldn't actually digest the blood and flesh of Lucian that she had eaten. Lucian, on the other hand, used his, devouring, talent to stimulate the energy within the 10th rank Yuan Dan, and was still constantly devouring Yin Yuyao's blood and flesh, so his energy itself had been maintained at a level. At the same time, he was also using Shishi's, spirit sacrifice, talent ability to suppress and weaken the demonic energy with his divine attributes on one hand, and on the other hand, he was constantly healing his injuries and recovering his strength. It was a process of this and that. Yin Yuyao, who had fallen into a state of madness, didn't even notice this phenomenon, and it wasn't until she was suddenly knocked to the ground by Lucian's blow that she realized that she had suffered serious injuries, and that she had actually lost to Lucian in terms of strength. Yin Yuyao's inner longing drove her to continue rushing towards Lucian, while her reason was telling her to see it through. In the few moments she was torn between them, Lucian had already flown high into the sky. Black dark clouds gathered, calling out the wind and summoning thunder, and with the body of a divine dragon, he descended supreme divine thunder. Aang. The flying dragon was in the sky, the divine dragon descended. Thunder accompanied the true dragon's body as it fell, rushing towards Yin Yu Yao on the ground. At this moment, Yin Yu Yao also knew that she couldn't dodge, surprisingly, she was directly flying up, spewing out a large amount of poisonous mist, once again using the Yin Wind Poison Dragon Drill to charge towards Lucian. Powerful energy shockwaves were released, what with the thunder, poisonous gas, and dust, all of them were gone. The boundary protecting Qi Ran and the others was also rushed away, and the three of them were knocked out by the aftermath. Lu Jin. The three women who climbed up from the ground ran together towards the place where Lu Jin had crashed. At this time, there was no movement over there, and the boundary was broken, so if there was any danger, it would be the same whether they went over there or not. That was why they rushed straight over. Both Yin Yuyao and Lu Jin had regained their human form, 
and the former's entire head was gone. It was certain that it was already dead. The latter. Shi Ren held Lu Jin in her arms and probed his nostrils, realizing that he was still breathing weakly. At that moment, she hurriedly released her ability and activated her talent skill, Spirit Sacrifice, to give Lu Jin a treatment. Her first talent, Woodborne, could also heal, but with no plants around, this ability of hers was equivalent to nothing. Therefore, she could only pin her hopes on this second talent skill. However, no matter how much spiritual energy she used, she was unable to wake Lu Jin up. Fu Huaxing didn't know how to heal, but after carefully checking Lu Jin's state, she spoke. Don't treat him, his condition hasn't changed at all, treatment is useless. There's nothing any of us can do about his current condition. Just now, I received a message from Zhang Jingwa of the northern battle area, he's rapidly arriving, and it'll probably take him another 10 minutes or so. Wait. Chi Ran hugged Lu Jin and suddenly cried out loudly. It's me who's too useless, if I didn't need to protect me, with his strength, even if he can't defeat, he can still escape. Fu Huasheng and Morong Hanying were also silent when they heard this, looking at Lu Jin with somewhat complicated eyes. It was thought that the words uttered by this big boy in the beginning were just a casual scene, but he was really using his actions to prove that as long as he was there, he would definitely not let them get hurt and would definitely protect them. An imperial dragon envoy who should have stood at the back to assist the dragon spirit in battle, but rushed to the front. They had only completed the contract and hadn't built up any deep feelings, much less agreed to enter the hall of marriage, but he was sincerely protecting each of them as his closest ones. How could this not move people? Lu Jin. Husband. Several calls appeared one after another, but it was Xia Lingchan and the girls who had also arrived. Lu Jin brought the three girls to the side of the demonic monsters of a weaker level, so Xia Lingchan's girls fought in other positions, while Qi Yu fought directly with the regiment. In the beginning, when Lu Jin and Yin Yu Yao fought, they actually saw it. With such a large size, in such an open place, they could certainly see it. Similarly, the few people who wanted to rush over to help were stopped by Zhang Benchu. A terrifying battle of this level was definitely not something they could get involved in, getting close would be the same as actively sending a handle into the hands of the enemy. So they were strictly controlled and not allowed to get close. It was only until the dust settled that they were let over. Song Xiao pounced to Lu Jin's side and directly knelt on the ground, grabbing Lu Jin's arm and anxiously calling out. Hubby. Hubby you wake up. Wu Yu said you would support me for the rest of my life. Her tears didn't have the slightest bit of fakery in them and sprung. Out. Xia Lingchan, Wan Xinghan, and Su Zitong all three of them also gathered around and surrounded Lu Jin in the center. Morong Hanying hurriedly said. You guys don't move him. He's not dead yet, but his injuries are so severe that he can't be treated, and we need to wait for a more powerful person to look at him before we can determine his state. As a former city lord lord, her language carried a sense of majesty within it, so it directly subdued the panicked hearts of several women, and everyone let go of Lu Jin, only to have him lean against Qi Rant's arms. Song Xiao was still crying, Su Zitong took her into her arms and comforted her. Don't worry, Lu Jin is a man who keeps his promises, he said he would support you for the rest of your life, he will definitely be able to survive. Song Xiao just continued to sob when she heard this. Zhang Benshu, who had rushed over, was a little flustered when he saw the crowd either silent or crying. An SSS-ranked dual talent genius, or a combat wizard with 10th rank combat power at the 6th rank, and even a national treasure who was able to evolve 7 F-ranked dragon spirits into SSS rank through a contract. To die just like that within his jurisdiction. Not to mention the Federal Inquisition, even his grandfather alone would not forgive him. This culpability was great, even greater than the loss of the demon cave. Morong Hanying saw his panic and said in advance without waiting for him to ask a question. Lusion isn't dead yet, he's just entering an unknown state of weakness and needs to wait for someone to recognize it. In fact, she could tell something by virtue of her natural skill, pupil of truth. For example, at this moment, Lusion's body surprisingly did not have a trace of spiritual energy in it, as if he had completely turned into an ordinary person. However, there was a space within his body that was harboring a huge amount of energy. She was able to see that although Lusion's breath was weak, his vitality was extremely strong, so he shouldn't be able to die, but whether he could wake up or not was not something she could tell. Knowing that Lusion did not die, Zheng Benshu was relieved, but seeing him still in such a state, he also generated a strong concern. Finally, waited for Zhang Jinhua. He had already received the message sent by Morong Hanying on the way, knowing what kind of situation it was now and after seeing Zhang Benshu, he first gave him a kick, sending him flying out more than 20 meters. If Lu Jin doesn't wake up, you'll be the sinner of the Federation. He cursed furiously, then without looking at Zhang Benshu, he directly came to Lu Jin's side. Zhang Benshu endured the pain and climbed up from the ground, even though this belonged to his passive backstabbing, but for Lu Jin to be injured like this in front of him while he was unable to do anything about it, he himself was also a bit ashamed. Therefore, he did not say anything and ran over again to listen to Zhang Jinghua explain the situation. However, after Zhang Jinghua probed once more, 
he saw a grave expression on his face and spoke. Spiritual energy is lost, spiritual energy is weak, and the energy in the body is being collected together. Treating him hastily may cause that ball of energy to explode, and by then, it will be impossible for him to withstand it. Let's take him back to the main city first, I'll look for other 10th ranked imperial dragon envoys and dragon spirits that specialize in healing to diagnose him. Zhang Jingwu clapped his hands, and the matter was settled. Bringing Lu Xin back to Danjian City, after half a day, the first ones that should come came. Not to mention that it was so important to have Lu Xin's own talent be so powerful, it was to say that he had taken out the Holy Spirit Sex Black Spirit Hall's 10th order demigod level Hall Master with his own strength, this merit was enough for them to make such a big deal out of it. Even the Su family's old madam personally came over to conduct a consultation. The final result was that everyone was at their wit's end. At this time, the calm Moron Hanying was the one who came up with an idea. Lucian's vitality mainly comes from his divine dragon bloodline, perhaps, it is possible to awaken him by way of contracting a new divine dragon bloodline dragon spirit again. The next shift will have to be tomorrow morning, I'll try to write early, sorry about that. Five shifts is really a bit of a strain. Zhang Jingwu's eyes lit up at his words and said, Right. The most mysterious and powerful part of this kid lies in the divine dragon bloodline. As long as this bloodline power can be enhanced, he can definitely wake up again. When he said this, it was actually sort of to comfort himself, he really couldn't accept that a genius with high hopes, a person who could possibly lead the Yenxia Federation, or even lead the entire human race to a new level, would fall just like this. Now that there was a glimmer of hope, he was going to go all out to seize it. Old Lady Sue sniffed and said, The contracting process can be completed with one party taking the lead, but the possessor of this divine dragon bloodline, how should it be determined? Morong Hanying took the initiative to step forward and said, I can determine it. One of my natural abilities is the pupil of truth, which is able to see through the essence of everything. All divine dragon bloodline possessors possess the divine dragon bloodline themselves, only that they haven't awakened it. As long as she awakens the dragon spirit I can see if she has this bloodline in her body. Old Lady Sue continued, Even if you can tell, with so many people, where are you going to find them? Morong Han's English was stuffed, but Song Xiao suddenly spoke. I once heard Lu Xin say something about the divine dragon bloodline. He said that dragons give birth to nine sons, but it doesn't mean that true dragons only have nine bloodlines, nine is the extreme of the number, that's why it's said that way. He also said a few names, other than the dragon spirits of us few, there is one called Basha and one called Pepper, the others were not said. Good. Very good. Without delay, I will immediately send someone to sift through the list and search for information on these two dragon spirits. In addition, there is still a need for further determination, so I'll leave this matter to you. Zhang Jingwu said this last sentence, naturally to Morong Hanying. The latter immediately agreed. Immediately afterward, the entire federal secretarial corps began to get busy. However, until they had gone through the information of the past 20 sessions, they had not been able to find anyone's dragon spirit called by these two names. This gave them a sense of frustration. After trying so hard for so long, nothing was found. Lucian was still in a coma, his bodily functions maintained at a more stable state, like a vegetable. The only difference between him and a vegetable was that he didn't need to rely on food to sustain his life, and had enough energy in his body to maintain this low consumption state. The verification work is still continuing, if we can't find it in the 20th session, then we'll find it in the 30th and 50th sessions. It was always a hope. However, until a month later, they still found nothing. They couldn't find anything at all. Zhang Jingwu remained resolute and said, Keep looking. Among the previous sessions, there is none, then wait for the next session, or the next. We can't give up any hope, Lucian will be the key to opening a new situation for us, it's worth doing so. Time rushed by, and two months passed in the blink of an eye. At this point, a whole year had passed from the moment Lucian awakened them. Lucian had fallen into a coma for three months. On the day of the awakening, in the middle of the East Sea Academy, Ai Ching Yuan patted his young granddaughter Ai Seng's shoulder and said, Go on, today is the moment to decide your fate, grandpa believes that you will be able to do it. He he. Of course I can. Isen said arrogantly, then with a flip of her two ponytails, she bounced towards the awakening stage. As the granddaughter of the dean and the genius girl of the East Sea Academy, she immediately drew all the attention as soon as she stepped onto the stage. Zhang Bo, the youngest son of the Zhang family, who had already awakened his SS grade talent, even came under the awakening stage and said fondly, Sang Sang, when your awakening is complete, we'll go to the contract and I'll take care of you for the rest of your life. Ai Sang didn't pay any attention to him at all. Her little chin lifted up and she played an arrogant mane. She put her hand on the crystal ball, the spell activated, and a white light flashed. Isen's figure disappeared, and a creature that was over a meter in length and resembled a turtle appeared in its place. Name, Isen, Dragon Spirit Form, Basho, Bloodline Talent Level, F Class. 
After a moment of silence, no one in the field knew who laughed out first, followed by jeers that came like a tidal wave. Ha ha, laughing me to death, the granddaughter of the Dean of the Eastern Sea Academy has awakened an F-ranked turtle. I was expecting to see a powerful dragon, and this is what you show me? Isn't she usually quite proud, a stinky turtle, what's there to be proud of? Funny. Young Zhang, are you going to contract with an F-ranked loser? Someone asked such words and many people gathered their gazes on Zhang Bo's body. The latter had also just regained his senses from the image of Ison's failed awakening, and immediately and subconsciously waved his hand and said, Are you kidding, I'm not going to contract with a loser. Just now he said he would take care of people for the rest of his life, and now he's calling them a waste. Bah, down head south. Many people cursed unanimously in their hearts. But then a large group of girls came over and wanted to contract with him. These women with no more than A-rank talent at the highest, Jung Bo naturally couldn't look at them, he looked at Ison on the awakening stage and said, It seems to be that we are not destined to be together after all, farewell. After saying that, the person left at a rapid pace, he had to go and see other academies, whether there were any real talented girls appearing. A.I. Sang who came back to his senses directly cried out, then ran down the awakening stage. A.I. Ching Yuan, however, grabbed him and then brought him to the middle of the office and opened his mouth. Sang Sang, don't cry, you are not a failure of awakening, you are not a waste. A.I. Sang looked up at A.I. Ching Yuan with teardrops in her eyes and sobbed. Is an F-ranked dragon spirit still not a waste? A.I. Ching Yuan shook his head and said, Do you still remember your sister Su Zitong Su? She was awakened with an F-ranked talent just like you in the beginning, but last year, she was promoted to SSS rank. A.I. San sniffed in shock. Sister Su actually became an SSS rank? I haven't seen her for a long time, she's no longer the president? In your case, it should be the same as hers, a kind of dragon spirit with a divine dragon bloodline. Last year, she contracted with a person, which allowed her bloodline to awaken for the second time, and she jumped to become a SSS class dragon spirit, and has now grown to a fifth ranked imperial dragon envoy. Nowadays, she is not in the eastern battle zone, but in the northern battle zone. AI Ching Yuan said. But that person has already contracted with Sister Su, where would I find another person who can make me awaken twice? AI San said with a deflated mouth, still with a crying voice. That's the point I was going to make. AI Ching Yuan paused before continuing. The person who contracted with Su Zitong is called Lu Zhen, and Su Zitong is not his first contract object, but the fourth. He can contract an unlimited number of dragon spirits of the divine dragon bloodline to help them complete their awakening and evolution. So far, he had seven contracted dragon spirits. Three months ago, in order to protect his three dragon spirits, he fought against Yin Yu Yao, the head of the Holy Spirit Cult's Black Spirit Hall, a 10th order SSS ranked gifted person, and the final result was that Yin Yu Yao died while he became a vegetable. Some time ago, I went to the Northern War Zone just to discuss with the experts about his treatment. AI Ching Yuan stopped once again when he said this, but AI San suddenly understood and said, The method you guys finally came up with is to make him contract with another person? AI Ching Yuan nodded and said, There is a powerful energy within his body, any other form of treatment, or any stimulation for that matter, could cause his body to explode and die. The only feasible way at the moment is to find another dragon spirit of the divine dragon bloodline. Regarding the dragon spirit of the divine dragon bloodline, the object of his contract, Son Xiao, gave two names, one was Pepper, and the other, Basha. What do you think about this matter? Isen hesitated for two seconds before speaking. I am willing. I am willing to contract with him and save him. Ai Ching Yuan was both relieved and heartbroken as he sighed and said. You have to think about it, he already has seven contracted dragon spirits, are you really willing to share a man with seven other girls? Isen was calm at this time, and opened her mouth to say. But I don't have any other choice, if I don't contract with him, I will only be an f rank waste, which is something I can't accept. What's more, the fact that he's worth all the trouble you've taken to save him means that he's important to the Federation, and I should go save him. Moreover, didn't you say, Grandpa, that he was beaten into a vegetable in order to protect his dragon spirit? In order to protect the object of his contract, he dared to fight to the death with a 10th order SSS rank gifted dragon spirit, such a man is also exactly what I want. If Sister Su can, why can't I? A.I. Ching Yuan nodded. I reckon that old man Zhang Jingguo will call over soon, if you don't want to, Grandpa will definitely firmly support you, since you've agreed, then let them come over. As soon as his words fell, Zhang Jingguo's communication request came. Dean A.I. A.I. Sang's dragon spirit is under the hegemony, now, bring the person over immediately, this is a federal directive. The two of them were considered old friends, but at this moment, Zhang Jingguo was using the official tone of voice, forcing the order to be given which was for fear that A.I. Ching Yuan would not agree. A.I. Ching Yuan snorted coldly, obviously a little dissatisfied with this old friend's attitude, he said. My granddaughter has agreed to contract with Lu Jin, but I have one request. You bring the person to my East Sea Academy to contract, 
or else you are exempt from negotiation, hang up. After saying that, without waiting for Zhang Jingwu to react, he simply ended the communication. Seeing his grandfather's unhappiness, Aisen hugged his arm and said, Grandpa, I can become an SSS class dragon spirit, you should be happy for me. Ai Ching Yuan stroked Ai San's hair and said kindly, but grandpa prefers that you can be happy and not have to commit yourself for anyone. Ai Sang didn't say anything, but only thought of those people's mocking gazes and words towards her just now, making her gaze gradually firm. That afternoon, the awakening ceremony was nearing its end, and Zhang Jingwa and the others finally brought Lu Xin to the East Sea Academy. Zhang Jingwa personally escorted the person here. Lu Xin was lying on a stretcher, carried by people, and arrived at the deed platform, where Ai Sang and Ai Ching Yuan, who had received the news, were already waiting. Su Zitong walked to Ai Sang's side, hugged her and said, Sang Sang, thank you. Hearing this, Ai Sang laughed. I believe that Sister Su's vision won't be bad. Quite a few people gathered around to watch, and Ai Ching Yuan deliberately did not disperse these people because he just wanted them to see Ai Sang's second awakening to become a SSS dragon spirit, thus letting his granddaughter take a breath. On the contract stage, Ai Sang looked at the handsome young man in front of her, took a deep breath, and surprisingly, she followed suit and laid down next to him. She turned Luzhin sideways, the two of them lying on their opposite sides, their hands clasped together, and the contract formation was activated. Golden silk threads twined, stringing together the spiritual seas of the two, and the contract was completed. In the next moment, the dragon gate automatically flew out, and Isen's body faded, a creature with a dragon's head and turtle's body appearing in place as she flew into the dragon gate and leapt through. Immediately afterward, a powerful aura unfolded. The golden light dispersed, and a giant turtle with a body length of 10 meters appeared in midair, it had a hideous dragon head, sharp claws, and stood there as solid as a mountain. Many people marveled, this was actually the aura of an SSS class dragon spirit. And the moment she crossed the dragon gate, a powerful bloodline power surged out of Lusion's body, and in an instant, he opened his eyes. At this moment, he was on his back, and in the air, a lowly girl with a double ponytail fell down, came to his side, and extended her hand. Hello, I'm Ison, your eighth contracted dragon spirit. Lucian froze for a moment as he looked at this girl, who looked like a child who hadn't grown up, and casually extended his hand, standing up under her pole. Hello, I'm Lucian. Just as he finished speaking, Song Xiao over there had already rushed over and hugged him. Hubby, you're awake, great. The rest of the girls, including Xia Lingchan, also rushed over and surrounded Lucian. The people watching around them were dumbfounded. This was all happening too dramatically. The fallen genius girl contracted with a plant person, who then evolved into a powerful SSS class existence. The vegetable man awoke, but it was another girl who rushed up shouting husband. That's not all, in the blink of an eye, he was actually surrounded by all sorts of beautiful women. Such a magical plot, could it be that it wasn't him who woke up, it was me who hadn't woken up yet. Quite a few people began to wonder if they were dreaming, it was really because this all seemed too bizarre, making it a bit unacceptable to them. The girls couldn't accept that a fallen genius girl had now become a true genius, once again comparing them to them. The boys, on the other hand, couldn't accept that a vegetable had so many girls hanging onto him and loving him. Where am I worse than him? Lu Xin was flanked by the crowd and came into an empty room, Zhang Jingwu saw a few of the girls letting go of Lu Xin before he came over and laughed. Ha ha, good, you kid can finally wake up. You don't know, you've been in a coma for three months, and these female dolls have been surrounding you almost every inch of the way, teared up. Lucian sniffed and was moved to say, Lucian has been guilty of being a beauty, I'm sorry. Chi Ran replied, No, it's us who should say sorry, we said we would fight side by side, but we could only hide behind you, if it wasn't for protecting us, you wouldn't have suffered such injuries. Now that you've woken up, it's really good. Song Xiao, who had never let go of Lucian's arm, followed. Right right, you said you would support me for the rest of my life, you're not allowed to have any more accidents. Su Zitong teased on the side. Yeah. Without you feeding me, little Xiao's stomach is so hungry every day that it's like a hen wanting to lay an egg. Song Xiao's face blushed as she sniffed and beamed. Humph. I don't know who is looking at my husband and gawking every day. The moment these words came out, the rest of the few girls all looked shy, as they had basically done the same. And seeing this happy scene, Aisen, who hadn't really joined the group yet, was filled with curiosity. Alright, you guys want a frolic until the evening. Lu Xin, how is your situation now? Zhang Jinghua asked urgently. Several people put away their smiles and looked at Luzhin. Luzhin said in a deep voice, My spiritual energy is gone, and my rank has fallen to the lower first rank, so I can only recultivate. I can't use my devouring talent, and the current raging energy in my body is suppressed within. According to my perception, within a year, I have to raise to at least the 8th rank, otherwise, the energy inside will not be able to be suppressed, and when it explodes out, my entire being will blow up. 
Hearing him say that, Song Xia nervously tightened her arms around him, her face filled with worry. Raising to the eighth rank in a year? That's outrageous, isn't it? How can it be done? Next to him, Ai Ching Yuan said with a frown. The rest of the people also revealed worried looks as Zhang Jing was said. Although it only took you nine months to reach the sixth rank, but that was with you using your devouring talent, or on the premise of taking the awakening dragon potion. The waking dragon potion can only be used once by a person, and there is a huge gap between the sixth and seventh rank, and the seventh and eighth rank, even for SSS ranked gifted people, it takes three years for the sixth rank to enter the seventh rank, and four years for the seventh rank to enter the eighth rank. You want to raise from the first order to the eighth order in one year, that's a bit too difficult, isn't it? Lu Xin, however, said confidently. I believe I can, because I have their help. I already have eight dragon spirits, which is eight times the speed of cultivation, not to mention, my true dragon bloodline has evolved eight times. Within a year, stepping into the eighth rank, as long as they don't leave me, I'll have that backbone. Song Xiao hugged Lu Xin tightly and spoke. I will never leave you. Zhang Jingwu nodded his head and said. It's good that you have your own ideas, if you need any help, feel free to ask. Lu Xin said gratefully. I'll let you old man take the trouble. At this time, a I Ching Yuan spoke. He's not the only one who has taken the trouble, many people have contributed in order to find a cure for you. Kid, my Sang Sang is practicing with you, you better not bully her, or else you'll suffer the consequences. Lu Xin sniffed and glanced at the somewhat shy Aisen and said fondly. I won't let down everyone who treats me well. Zhang Jinguo left. Now that Lu Xin had woken up and could continue to cultivate, it was enough, he still had a lot of things to deal with. Lu Xin was an adult and had his own grasp on his life, it wasn't like he could help much. For the time being, Lu Xin lived in the middle of East Ocean City, and since he had too many people with him, he could only let President Su step in and get a villa with more than 20 rooms on 4 floors as well as a super large living room. East Ocean tied no. 9 Villa. After moving in here, Lu Xin immediately threw himself into cultivation. In the living room, eight girls surrounded him in the center, and through the link of the spiritual sea, Lu Xin began to absorb the surrounding spiritual energy. Having evolved the divine dragon bloodline eight times, even though it was only a first order lower level spiritual energy level, his aura was comparable to that of a fifth order intermediate level demonic monster, which meant that his base battle power had reached the fifth order. At the lower level of the first rank, he was able to fight the fifth rank. Battle against the fifth rank, and an SSS rank talent could at most fight against the third rank and it was his cultivation speed that was the most terrifying. Due to the fall in rank, eight women together, Lu Xin can't really satisfy right now. So at first, he first just cultivated with Ruan Qinghan, Song Xiao, and after an hour, reaching the intermediate first rank, Xia Lingchan joined. Another hour later, stepped into the first stage of the upper level, Su Zitong joined, becoming five people together to cultivate. After the fourth hour of starting to cultivate, Lu Xin stepped into the second rank lower level, Ji Ran and Isen joined. The two of them were the lowest in strength and joining together did not place any burden on Lu Xin. After another four hours, Lu Xin reached the second rank intermediate level, while at the same time, Aisen had just reached the first rank intermediate level. Her bloodline had just been awakened, and she had only performed a dragon gate leap, so her cultivation speed was far less than that of the other girls, and even less than Lu Xin. This made her quite devastated, after all, as the granddaughter of the dean, since childhood that was very proud of her, she didn't expect that after awakening her heartfelt top level talent, she would still be compared to someone. However, when she thought that this person was her own imperial dragon envoy, she revealed a smug smile again. Only such an outstanding man is worthy of this genius girl. In the blink of an eye, the whole day passed. They really didn't do anything, they just seriously cultivated for 24 hours. In the latter 12 hours, Lujan's one man's strength was to satisfy the eight girls. If they wanted it, Lujan gave it. Under this kind of intense and intense cultivation, the newly awakened Ison stepped into the lower level of the second rank while Lu Xin reached the upper level of the third rank. In one day, in just one day, he had achieved the cultivation effect that an S-ranked Imperial Dragon Envoy and Dragon Spirit could only achieve in a year. While he was at the upper third rank, the strength of his true dragon breath was at the seventh rank. Since Lu Xin had been in a coma for three months, these girls had wasted three months of cultivation, but at this moment, they felt that those three months were nothing. Other than Lu Xin, no one could give them such a great sense of fulfillment, no one could give them such a fulfilling cultivation process. Lu Xin stopped his cultivation, not because he was hungry or tired. He still maintained a high level of passion. It was simply because someone had arrived, a great uncle, Su Zitong's brother, Su Mingzhang. Also, her daughter-in-law, Fire Phoenix, and a little girl. Big brother, sister-in-law, sister Inger, why are you all here? Su Zitong asked in confusion. Hearing this question, Su Mingzhang was a little embarrassed and even had trouble speaking. Seeing this, Fire Phoenix Air glared fiercely at him, then walked over to Su Zitong's side, took her arm and sat down, laughing. 
Inger is 18 years old this year and has just awakened. Saying this, she paused, because she knew that with Su Zetong's intelligence, she could definitely think of something. Sure enough, the next moment, Su Zetong immediately said, Could it be that Inger's sister has awakened an F-rank talent? Over there, Fire Inger, who had a head of fiery red hair and looked like a little sister, cried out with a wow sound at the words. Then she directly jumped into Su Zetong's arms, wrapped her arms around Su Zetong's neck and cried. Sister Su, I failed to awaken. Woo. Su Zetong stroked Fire Inger's hair and comforted. Aya. How can the little pepper of the fire family cry out? Aren't you afraid of losing face in the eyes of your little sisters? As soon as she said this, Fire Inger cried even more, while Fire Phoenix her on the side rolled her eyes and said. As soon as her gang of little sisters saw that she had only awakened an F-rank talent, they immediately said that as their big sister they couldn't be a loser, so they switched over and recognized the Qin family's Qin Cici, who had awakened an SS-rank talent, as their new big sister. If it wasn't for this, she wouldn't have been sad. This lack of heart is fooling around all day long. I really can't do anything about her. Fire Inger then turned her head and said fiercely. Don't talk about me. I learned it from you, you were the big sister of Nanchan Academy back then, okay? Hearing her sister explode her own embarrassing story, Fire Phoenixer immediately went to pinch her mouth, but was still stopped by Su Mingjiang. Daughter-in-law, business is important. He whispered a reminder. Fiery Foamer gave a cold snort to Fiery Inger, then looked at Su Zitong and said with a smile. Fire Inger's dragon spirit is a mythical beast, and looking at the looks, it has a few similarities with Lucian's true dragon form, so I think she is also of divine dragon bloodline, so I came over to ask you guys if it's possible for her to join? Su Zetong looked at Lucian and said, I have no opinion, let's see what Lucian says. Lucian smiled at his words. With one more divine dragon bloodline contracted to me, my cultivation speed will be a little faster, and I'm happy with that. But what does Sister Inger think, is she willing? What wouldn't she be willing to do, if the divine dragon bloodline can't be awakened, it'll just be F rank and she'll be an ordinary person forever, she won't be willing to do that. Fire Phoenix said as she hugged her chest, clearly knowing this sister well. You can really let me evolve to SSS rank? Fire Inger asked as she looked at Lucian. Lucian nodded and said. Indeed you can, but you need to contract with me, and, together with them, be my contracted dragon spirit. You need to integrate into a large collective, and you can no longer do things by your own nature, are you willing to do that? Fiery Inger frowned and thought for a moment, then said with a clench of her teeth. I can't let Chin Cici step on my head. I want a contract with you. Alright then, let's go to the contract. Lucian said with a smile. No matter what, with one more divine dragon bloodline possessor, he could make his own true dragon bloodline one point stronger. The speed of cultivation was faster, the ability to fight over levels was strengthened and either one of them would be a great thing for him. This kind of thing, he was happy to do. A few girls didn't follow, except for Song Xiao and Su Zitong. After experiencing the last coma, Song Xiao would almost never leave Lu Jin at a distance of more than 10 meters. In her words, she had to keep an eye on her meal ticket and could not afford to lose it. The concern for her, Lu Jin could feel the sincerity of it, and of course, he carried her with him. Su Mingjiang and Fire Phoenixer were Su Zitong's family members, so she naturally accompanied them as well. Several people arrived at the East Sea Academy. Today was the time when the contracting table was used most frequently, yesterday was the day of awakening, and today, many of those who had determined the object of their contract would come to contract. Some people recognized Lucian, after all, yesterday's contracting process was really a little too magical. When they saw him once again bring a girl onto the contracting platform, the following directly exploded. What's the situation? This old brother just contracted with the dean's granddaughter yesterday, and he's bringing another one over today? Could it be that the two broke up yesterday? After all, he was surrounded by so many girls at that moment, and there were people calling out for his husband, he's a playboy. Look, this girl's dragon spirit is actually F-ranked as well, could it be that contracting with this boy will allow the F-ranked dragon spirit to evolve to SSS ranked? No, what gives her the right? I'm still at least E rank, why can't this evolved person be me? Let me go, I'll do it in any position. Amidst the crowd's murmurings. In the midst of it, Lucian, who was standing on the contract stage, stretched out his hands and smiled. You still have one last chance to make a choice, regret it, go down now and I won't feel embarrassed. Originally, Fire Inger was a little nervous, after all, the last time she was so much in the limelight was yesterday when she was awakened, at that time, she failed, like a peacock that had lost its glorious feathers, lowering her high and proud head, and she even hated to bury herself in the sand like an ostrich. Today she once again stood high, where so many people, gave her all kinds of gazes. Hearing Lucian's words, she suddenly relaxed a bit, this person she met for the first time was quite interesting. I never regret it, Fire Inger said, placing her hands in Lucian's palms. The two of them looked at each other, and then the contract began. The formation was activated, and golden threads were strung across the spiritual sea. 
Lusion's spiritual sea, at this moment, was like an ocean, while Fire Inger's spiritual sea was a small stream in general, and she felt the powerful force from within Lusion's spiritual sea, the kind of throbbing that came from her bloodline. The contract was completed, and Fire Inger's body began to fade, and in the next moment, what looked like a two-meter-long walking beast with a lion's body and a dragon's head appeared in mid-air. The vast majority of people in this world didn't recognize the Eastern Divine Dragon, so they weren't able to identify the dragon's head. At this moment, Fire Inger's dragon spirit form, Mythical Gaby, looked like an ordinary lion, so it naturally appeared to them as a waste dragon spirit. However, after Fire Inger flew over the dragon gate summoned by Lusion, a huge ball of flame wrapped around her, forming an oversized fireball. Accompanied by a wild roar, the flames disappeared and were replaced by a flame god beast that was more than 8 meters long, with crimson scales, a lion body and dragon head, and feet that stepped on streams of fire. It stood in midair like a flame monarch, the hair on its head fluttering like flames, incomparably domineering. Fire Inger breathed out a mouthful of flame, she loved fire, and this power over flames made her feel incomparably unrestrained. Lucian looked at her, and information about her dragon spirit appeared in his mind. Fire Inger, Mythical Beast, SSS Grade, Rank, First Order, Divinity Talent I, Taking Off the Clouds, Can Fly in the Air and Harness Clouds and Mist, Divine Talent 2, Hegemony, In This State, the body's defense is doubled, recovery ability is doubled, strength and speed are doubled. Divine Talent 3, Fire Control, can control fire in the sky and underground, immune to fire spells. Fire Inger regained her human form in midair, then stepped on the flames and landed in front of Lusion like a fairy descending from the sky. You didn't lie to me, you really made me evolve to SSS rank. Thank you. Fire Inger rarely uttered the words thank you, and this was the first time she had ever uttered these two words to a man, even to her family. Lusion had changed her fate pulling her from the bottom of the valley into the clouds. And today was just their first meeting. A stranger, but changed her fate, this thank you, should be, but also from the heart. Lusion held her hand. This action, he was already incomparably skilled, after all, he had held several girls. From today onwards, you are my contracted dragon spirit, I will protect you, and I only hope that we can walk side by side. Fire Inger was the big sister of Nanshan Academy, one of the four great academies, and since her childhood, she was surrounded by a group of little fangirls, and had never really interacted with boys at all. At this moment, being teased by Lusion like this, she immediately felt her heart thumping. The face that was already a little red because of the rich fire element it contained was even redder. After she reacted, she, who was only 1 meter 5 a tall, put her hand laboriously on Lusion's shoulder and said, I'm a dragon spirit, it's only right that I protect you in the future. In the future, I, firing air, will cover you. There's only one shift tonight. The data isn't very good. The state isn't working. Tomorrow, I'll adjust my state and write properly. Lucian and Fireinger walked down the deed platform, just about to leave, but saw Fireinger's footsteps lurch. It turned out to be the opposite side of the walk came two people. A man and a woman. The woman had purple lips and pink hair, with a brashness in her eyebrows. After seeing firing air, she was surprised. Why are you here? Could it be that you're an F-ranked waste and there's still someone to contract with you? Fire Inger sniffed like a cat that had been robbed of its cat food and directly exploded, saying angrily, Sheen Cece, you are the waste. This young lady is an SSS class dragon spirit. Hearing this, Sheen Cece was unimpressed and said in a conspiratorial manner, Ah yes yes yes, I, the SS ranked golden flying dragon, am the waste, so do you dare to fight me, a waste? Saying this, she paused, glanced at Lucian and said, Bring your imperial dragon envoy along. Lucian smiled without saying anything. If he fought, he was a bit weirdly embarrassed to bully these newly awakened children. Fire Inger, on the other hand, immediately disliked back. Just fight, as if I'm afraid of you, whoever loses, call the other party big sister and go around when you see them. Sheen Cece laughed at her words. Yo, so confident, it seems to be that this contractual object of yours has a certain strength ah. Did you let your family bring you to find a person who has graduated from cultivation for a few years to contract? But looking at him, he's not too old, and at most, he's only at the second or third rank of strength, is this your reliance? She didn't hastily agree, she wasn't a fool, the fact that this woman, Fire Inger, dared to make such an offer showed that she really did have some backbone. The biggest possibility was that this man beside her brought it to her. Instead, Jung Bo beside Jean Cece opened his mouth. CC, don't worry, everything is with me, I'm a SS rank talent, as long as I awaken successfully, a lower first rank, I also have the battle power of an upper second rank demonic monster, if the two of us join hands, are we still afraid of a mere second or third rank imperial dragon envoy? Once he opened his mouth, Chin CC would be admitting defeat if she didn't agree. So Chin CC could only say, alright, when we finish the contract, I'll duel with you, don't you dare run away. Fire Inger said angrily, whoever runs is a puppy. Let's go, we'll watch you guys contract. After saying that, 
She turned her head to look at Lucian with a touch of supplication in her eyes. Lucian nodded at her, and she instantly became even more combative. Both of them were SSS ranked talents, and Lucian had even been practicing for a long time, and although she had heard that he had just woken up from his vegetative state, it was definitely enough to hold two SS ranked initial awakenings. Fire Inger was confident, this time, she would definitely make Chin Cece personally call herself Big Sister. Su Zitong and Fire Phoenixer purposely didn't follow them over, waiting until Chin Cece and the others went to awaken, before they came over and asked about the situation. Fire Phoenix Air spoke. Your brother-in-law and I will go back first, you cultivate well here by yourself, with your sister Sue, I am also relieved, you don't cause trouble for others. Got it. Hurry up and go, you are a busy man. Fire Inger said impatiently, she was now so focused on fighting Chin Cece, where would she care about anything else? Seeing this attitude of hers, Fire Phoenixers. Violent temper was about to go up and whip her right away, only to be hugged by Su Mingjiang before pulling her away quickly. Su Zitong smiled and reminded. Inger, you can be gentle with your hands, the Qin family is at least one of the four major families in the southern war zone, the relationship between the two families is not to the point of antagonism, don't make it too stiff. Lucian then picked up the conversation. Don't worry, I'll control the scene, she can just vent. Hearing this, firing air punched Lucian's chest and laughed. That's what you said. Lucian laughed. Right, I said it. Su Zitong, on the other hand, shook her head and said. Inger, this girl has been a lawless character since she was young, and you are still spoiling her so much, after that, I'm afraid that Sister Xiao won't be able to manage her well. Fiery Inger reluctantly grabbed Su Zitong's arm and shook it vigorously and said. I uh, Sister Su, why are you saying this, you were the one who favored me the most before. Is it possible that Lu Jin favored me and made you jealous? Su Zitong pinched Fire Inger's nose in a bad mood, pointed not far away and said. They're here, go fight. Don't get beaten up and cry. Lucian was the one who interjected at the right time. With me here, I won't let her cry. Fire Inger nodded in satisfaction, turned to Lucian and hugged his arm, saying to Su Zitong, It's still Lucian who is good. Su Zitong turned her head, no longer watching these two playfully. Chin Cece and the two of them walked up. Chin Cece hugged her chest and looked at Fire Inger and laughed. Isn't this Miss Fire Inger who said that a woman must rely on herself, and that a person can become very strong? How come she's hanging on to a man now? Fire Inger snorted coldly then her eyes rolled back. Because he is strong enough to conquer me, but you really should rely on yourself, after all, your man is not good either. Jung Bo sniffed furiously and drank. Sharp tongued. Let's see how you'll still be rampant when we get to the dueling arena in a while. Chin Cece also said in a cold voice. Let's go, duel. The screen turned and the four of them arrived in the middle of the East Sea dueling arena. It was a public arena with many spectators. Dueling was a high-intensity and exciting sport, and many ordinary people with insufficient talent would come to watch duels in search of excitement. Seeing that it was two groups of young men, everyone thought that there wasn't much to see, but someone soon recognized that one of them was Zhang Bo, the youngest son of the Zhang family. The battle between the sons of the big families still aroused the interest of many people. After the referee announced the start of the duel, both sides immediately changed their forms. Chin Cece transformed into a golden flying dragon of about 10 meters, her body was the color of gold with a metallic luster, even her pair of large wings were the same, and from the cold light flashing from her claws and teeth, it's bound to be incomparably sharp. After the aura of the SS grade dragon spirit was released, those spectators present were excited. Surprisingly, it's an SS ranked dragon spirit fighting, this is something to see. Is the opposite side also SS ranked, it looks like they both just awakened. Holy shit. This is, an SSS ranked dragon spirit. In the midst of the crowd's discussion, Fire Inger transformed into a mythical beast like a flame monarch, her domineering image and powerful pressure caused Chin Cece on the opposite side of the room to change her face and say in shock, No, how is this possible, you weren't originally an F rank, but you've actually turned into an SSS rank, what's going on? Fire Inger spewed out a mouthful of flames and taunted, What, are you scared? If you admit defeat now and call me big sister, I'll take you as my follower. You should be grateful to be the follower of this young lady, an SSS class dragon spirit. Just as Chin Cece's mind was in turmoil, Zheng Bo from below was saying, Cece, there's still me, don't worry, I'll let you win. With that, a black medallion appeared in front of him, and in the blink of an eye, a black energy surrounded the golden flying dragon, causing her overall attributes to be greatly enhanced. Feeling the increase in power, Chin Cece no longer hesitated for anything and directly charged towards firing air. Whoever loses, will kneel down and call out to their sister. Even after being empowered by the dark energy, the golden flying dragon incarnated by Chin Cece was still unable to defeat the mythical guy beast incarnated by Fireinger, whether it was in terms of strength or attribute ability, it was still a little bit worse. It was almost as if she was being suppressed by Fireinger, which made Chin Cece extremely irritated. 
In the middle of the South Mountain Academy, this was how she was suppressed by Fireringer, and she had thought that after Fireringer had only awakened her F-rank talent, she herself could become an existence that she looked up to. Unexpectedly, when they met again, she had directly turned into an SSS rank talent, one rank higher than her own. Still being suppressed by her. Damn it. Qin Cici could only pin her hopes on her partner, while Zhang Bo also saw Qin Cici's disadvantage and bellowed. Cici, when I defeat this imperial dragon envoy, I will go and help you. Before the words fell, a black cyclone emerged from his body and wrapped around him as he quickly moved towards Luzhen. Zhang Bo was an SS ranked talent, Dark Medallion, the speed that erupted from the lower first rank was comparable to the upper second rank, but Luzhen had already stepped into the upper third rank, and his battle power was even at the seventh rank. Therefore, this speed was no different from a snail's crawl in his eyes. He didn't even summon the Dragon Gate to transform, standing still as if he hadn't reacted at all. By the time Zhang Bo leapt up from midair with black air currents to launch an attack on him, Luzhen's left hand gently nudged the opponent's wrist that was holding the dagger, and the tremendous force directly caused the dagger to detach and fly out. Immediately after that, Luzhen's right hand transformed into a palm, and a purple thunder emerged, a terrifying power of thunder, reflecting Zhang Bo's face in the midst of the black aura, and he emerged with an expression of 10,000% panic, because this aura was too powerful. He knew that he absolutely could not resist it. But if he wanted to dodge, he couldn't do so, so he could only prepare himself to be attacked. At the same time he had this thought, Luzhen gently landed a palm on Zhang Bo's chest, and Zhang Bo's entire body fell back as if he had been blown away, hitting the ground unconscious. The speed of this going back was much faster than the speed he showed when he rushed over. Luzhen had already tried to use as little force as possible, but it couldn't be helped when this young man fell back. Qin Cici, who was fighting with Fireringer above, saw that her royal dragon envoy had been knocked out directly by Luzhen's casual slap, and her mind completely collapsed. Especially after the Imperial Dragon Envoy lost her ability to resist, the darkness enhancement on her body also disappeared, and her battle power followed suit, obviously inferior to Firing Air who was getting more and more courageous at this time. Without paying attention, she was knocked to the ground by Firing Air's blow. Seeing Lucian being so powerful, Firing Air was also very energized, with flames coming out of her body, she looked down at the golden flying dragon on the ground and drank. Sheen Cece, you admit defeat. Your Imperial Dragon Envoy is already unconscious, the teacher said that in such a situation, on top of the battlefield in a different situation, if he dies, you will also die. Hearing this, Sheen Cece but once again lifted her wings and flew up, roaring. Then you should have forgotten, teacher also said, Imperial Dragon Warrior, to fight until the last moment. Golden energy converged, and she violently rushed towards Fireringer and up. Fireringer also rushed towards Chin Cece without showing any weakness, however, this time Chin Cece was bluffing, and didn't really fight directly with Fireringer, instead, she dodged with a sidestep, and turned towards Luzhen who was on the ground. When I defeat your Imperial Dragon Envoy, we'll fight one on one again. However, by the time she had rushed over Luzhen's head, Luzhen's figure was nowhere to be seen, and immediately afterward, a huge force came from her back. Boom! Her body fell violently and smashed onto the ground, her chest hurting straight away. It turned out that Luzhen had arrived above her at an unknown time, and then stomped her to the ground. It's better for you two to fight, you're not my opponent. Luzhen said indifferently, and in the next moment, a halo of light struck out from his hand and landed on Qin Cici's body. Qin Cici was shocked to find that her injuries appeared to have been healed. Shame. This was definitely true humiliation. A single strike had knocked himself down, and he was even treating his injuries. His tone was as if he was watching two small children fight, giving her a sense of anger at being underestimated. When she came back to her senses, she saw Luzhen standing in midair in the distance, not by virtue of his wings, but just by virtue of the wind, standing there as if he was an outsider high above. Firing air gained momentum and directly pounced towards Qin Cici. The mythical beast's claws of flame fell, directly tearing Qin Cici's golden flying dragon skin, causing her to feel no small amount of pain. The two fought quickly, golden light and flames intertwining, and after being treated by Luzhen for the third time, Qin Cici gritted her teeth and said, I admit defeat. But I'm not losing to you, Fireringer, you're just relying on having a powerful Imperial Dragon Envoy. As Fireringer watched Chin Cici return to her human form, she also transformed into a double ponytailed little potato and landed beside Luzhen, hugging his arm and saying triumphantly, That's also because I have a good eye, unlike you, who found a loser to be his Royal Dragon Envoy. A SS class Royal Dragon Envoy was said to be a waste, if Zhang Bo woke up at this moment, he would probably still be furious and pass out. Chin Cici huffed. We are both SS rank. When we grow for a while, we can definitely defeat you guys. At this moment, Luzhen said indifferently. I'm an SSS rank with dual talents. Qin Cici's breath steeped at his words, while Fire Inger raised her chin and said proudly. The enemy who loses at my hands, I will give you time to catch up, and you will realize that no matter how hard you try, in the end, 
you will only be able to see my back. With a twist of words, she looked at Qin Cici again and said, Little girl, what should I be called, don't you have any points in your heart? Qin Cici boasted that she was also a child of the Jianghu, and of course she had to recognize the words she uttered. She only hated that she didn't think clearly at that time, and was directly promised a duel by this guy Zhang Bo, and she, the imperial dragon envoy, was also very ineffective. Big sister, she helplessly addressed. Fire Inger instantly shouted in joy at his words. Wow, that's really cool, hey, little Cece, in the future, follow your ring sister me and I'll make sure that you're well fed and well drinking. Lucian couldn't even look at it anymore and patted Fire Inger's shoulder and said. Alright, play and fool around, it's time to go cultivate. Lucian's performance just now not only gave Qin Cece and Zhang Bo a big impact, it also had a big impact on Fire Inger. As a child of the Jianghu, she was already yearning for and admiring the existence of powerful strength. Lucian's performance made her very satisfied, and she instantly nodded her head obediently and said, Good. Whatever you say, I'll listen to you. With that, she hugged Lucian's arm, seemingly showing off, and glanced at Qin Cici before she followed Lucian out of the dueling arena. After the two left, they returned to the Zhang family in ashes, and since Qin Cici and Zhang Bo contracted at this time, Qin Hongwu, the eldest sister of the Qin family, was a guest in the Zhang family. Learning that the two were defeated, Qin Hongmong was very surprised. Didn't Fire Inger fail to awaken and only have an f rank talent? The two of you with ss rank talents would be defeated as well? Qin Hongmong asked in disbelief. She was aware of her own little sister's entanglement with Firing Air, so it wasn't uncommon for them to fight first after awakening, she was just wondering why her sister still failed this time. Fire Inger has already become a SSS grade dragon spirit, and her imperial dragon envoy is still a dual talent SSS grade. Qin Hongmu said in shock, what? She went straight from F rank to SSS rank? Even the legendary demonic spirit secret method can only raise one talent level, how could it directly raise it so much? Also, in this term, is there still a dual talent SSS rank genius royal dragon envoy? At this time, Zheng Ji, who was on the side, was the one who spoke. If I'm not mistaken, that person who contracted with firing air should be called Lusion. He was in the previous class, and his second talent is that he can make the dragon spirit he contracted with evolve to SSS level, and as far as I know, he has already contracted with at least 5 women. So it's not surprising that my brother in CC lost to him. He already reached the 5th rank 3 months ago, only that he was injured some time ago and was in a coma for 3 months, and just woke up in the past 2 days. I've heard that his strength has been greatly reduced, and now it's estimated that it won't be too high, but after all, he has cultivation in place, and is so highly gifted that it's not a shame to lose to them. Zhang Bo, what do you perceive as his spiritual energy level? Zhang Bo thought back for a moment and then replied. Third rank intermediate or third rank upper, didn't reach the fourth rank. Zheng Ji nodded his head as he sniffed. It seems that the intelligence is correct, he did suffer a very serious injury, causing his cultivation to plummet. But Zheng Bo and the others have just awakened, so it's still hard to defeat him. However, if CC is being bullied, our Zheng family can't just sit back and do nothing, in this case, I'll come and fight him in a duel to help CC teach him a lesson. Although I contracted a little bit later, and now I only have the strength of the upper second rank, but my girlfriend, Lu Hanio, has the strength of the lower fourth rank, and we're both S-rank dragon spirits, so against them, we'll still have a good chance of winning. To Lu Jin, the guy who had once bullied Zhao Zhao, he had long wanted to take revenge. But there had been no opportunity and no strength. Now that he was sure that the other party's strength was damaged, it was the right time to take revenge, otherwise when he recovered his cultivation, with the difference in strength between the two, it would be even more impossible for Zhao Zhao to get out of this bad temper. Hearing this, Qin Hongmu nodded and said, it would be best if the Zhang family could step in, after all, this is the eastern war zone, my Qin family can't be too rude. Zheng Ji sniffed and patted his chest in assurance. Good, I'll make the arrangements, I'll duel with Lu Jin in the afternoon. Saying that, he directly tapped on his bracelet and dialed the video request with Lu Hanyo, but it was switched to voice over there. Zheng Ji didn't care and asked in a soft voice. Zhao Zhao, how's the negotiation between you and big brother son, that Ming Yuan Dan, can you sell it to us? Lu Hanjiao sniffed and glanced at Sun Luguang who was lying on the side with his upper body bared, saw him nod and replied. Just finished talking, he promised to sell us three of them. Zheng Ji was overjoyed at his words and laughed. Great, you thank brother son properly for me, I'll come to the door to say thank you some other day. There is one more thing, about that Lu Jin, got the exact news, he is only at the upper third rank now, and he has just contracted with a girl from the fire family. I decided to go and find them for a duel in the afternoon, if you take back the elixir, we will have a little bit higher chance of winning in the afternoon as well. Lusion SSS rank dual talent, Zheng Ji understood what that meant, third rank upper, maybe even stronger than S rank fourth rank lower would be. Therefore, the chances of winning would only be higher if they could once again raise their strength a bit. 
The Mingyuan Dan was the latest research result of the Sun family, it could allow the royal dragon envoys as well as the dragon spirits below the fifth rank to raise their strength by a certain amount, the lower the rank, the more pronounced the boosting effect was, it was not as good as the wake-up dragon potion, but it was still very hard to come by. Lu Hanyo overheard Lu Jin's name, the color of resentment flashed in her eyes, she thought that all the bad things she did today were thanks to Lu Jin, there was such a good opportunity to take revenge, of course she had to grasp it. So immediately said, good, I'll go back immediately with the elixir, this afternoon, duel. This side hung up the communication, but she saw Sun Lu Guang holding a jade bottle and tucked it between her peaks, seemingly thoughtfully saying, you have something to do today, go back and prepare first, some other day, we'll have fun again. Lu Hanyu revealed a winking smile, then said while dressing. Some other day, I will definitely let you gallop to your heart's content. Watching Lu Hanyu leave, Sun Lu Guang fell into thought. Now that the Zheng family is considered to be officially facing off with that Lu Jin, I just don't know what will be made of it, it would be even better if we can use this to strike the Su family. After Lu Hanjiao returned to the Zheng family, she took out the Ming Yuan Dan and gave it to herself, Zhang Ji, and Zhang Bo respectively. There was no Qin CCs. After consuming the elixir, Lu Hanyo elevated to the 4th rank intermediate level, while Zhang Ji stepped into the 3rd rank intermediate level, and immediately after that, Zhang Ji took the dragon awakening potion and became a 4th rank lower level imperial dragon envoy. Stepping into the 4th rank, he was very happy and said, Zhao Yao, I've also advanced to the 4th rank, I'm on the same level as you, so I can fulfill your needs now. Lu Hanyo was already at the upper 2nd rank when she contracted with him, and then with the potion she was promoted to the 4th rank, her needs were so strong every day that Zheng Ji couldn't satisfy her at all. Not being able to provide enough spiritual energy for one's dragon spirit to cultivate was a point of conflict between many imperial dragon warriors couples. Not everyone could be like Lu Jin, who could handle eight women on his own and still make each of them immensely satisfied. Well, it's nine now. Lu Han Yu pretended to be good and nodded her head, saying, Great, we can improve and progress together. They were all very happy. That afternoon, Fire Inger cultivated for the first time, and together with the other eight girls, they surrounded Lu Jin in the center. After the fusion of the nine divine dragons' bloodlines, the true dragon aura on Lu Jin's body had become even more intense, which made them all very enamored. During the cultivation process, time passed quickly, and Lu Jin was able to bring them the pleasure of fulfillment, so they were comfortable and addicted to cultivating, this feeling of their strength being raised over and over again was fantastic. Still for the first time, Fire Inger was the most fascinated, but it turned out to be interrupted. The visitor reported and said. At the entrance Zhang family's Zhang Ji Zheng De Xiao came to challenge with his own contracted dragon spirit, as well as Zhang family's second youngest and some other people. Says he wants to seek justice for Zhang Bo, here's the challenge. This was a servant of the Su family, so the challenge letter was given to Su Zitong's hands and she read it out. The general meaning was that Lu Jin was the previous year's heavenly pride, but was bullying this year's schoolmates and was really not a good person, Zheng family's great young man, Zheng Ji, and his girlfriend, Lu Hanyo, had come to challenge and issue a duel to Lu Jin in firing her, after hearing this, she ran spoke, this Zheng Ji is really shameless, claiming that Lu Jin bullied his schoolmate, yet he wants to challenge Inger's sister, Fire Inger then stood up and said angrily, just fight, I, Fire Inger, have never been afraid of fighting, Lu Jin didn't feel surprised when he heard Lu Hanyo's name, it made sense for her to hitch a ride with the Zheng family as she followed Lu Hanyan to East Sea City, However, with this challenge, Lu Jin guessed that there must be this woman's influence in it as well. Challenges, Lu Jin was naturally not afraid of, but he hated being disturbed. Let's go, let's beat them up once and for all then, so that we don't have to get into trouble again. Fire Inger sniffed happily and hugged Lu Jin's arm, directly kissing him on the cheek as she laughed. Bully, I like you too much, my sister finally did a good thing for me this time, letting me find you as a royal dragon envoy. Let's go, let's go duel. Seeing that Fiery Ying Air had actually kissed, Song Xiao was like a little cat suddenly being surprised, and quickly jumped to Lu Jin's side, hugging his other arm and holding on tightly without letting go. She whispered, I'll go with you. Fire Inger was surprised at her words. Sister Yao Yao, they're going to duel with the two of us, what are you going to do? Song Xiao sniffed but did not answer, puffing out her cheeks and pouting her little mouth. Lu Jin turned his head and kissed Song Xiao's forehead, soothingly saying, It's fine to follow along. You guys aren't very efficient at cultivating by yourselves anyway, so just think of it as relaxing and watching a show. Everyone together. Morong Hanying, the big sister, stepped forward at this time and said, Let's go, let's all go together, I'd like to see what else this young family can do. Although she had previously served as a deputy city lord in the middle of the southern war zone, her father was the city lord of this eastern sea city, and in terms of family power, her family was not weak in eastern sea city. It was only second to top tier forces like the Su family and the Sun family. When the ladies heard this, they all followed behind together. 
Su Zitong went to one side and took firing air's other arm, laughing. Well, have you been touched by the fact that your sisters went together to cheer you on? Fire Anger said happily. Great. Thank you sisters. She was indeed very excited, and had the illusion of being back in the middle of Nanshan Academy with a bunch of little sisters calling the shots, the difference being that this time, she was with a group of sisters. After the several people walked out of the villa, they saw several people sitting in the courtyard. All of them were sons of big families, so naturally, they would not let anyone wait outside, but they did not let them enter the house either. When they saw Lujin holding one on his left and one on his right, and still followed by seven girls behind him, everyone who came over, including Lu Hanyo, were confused. What situation is this? A man and nine girls. Lu Hanyo's inner anger surged once again. Nine, nine women, if there was no accident, they were all F-ranked trash, and as a result, each and every one of them now had an SSS-ranked dragon spirit aura. Originally, such an opportunity should have been hers, if she could have become a SSS-ranked dragon spirit, she could now also become a 5th-ranked dragon spirit like this Song Shio in front of her. But she didn't, she was rejected, rejected by Lu Jin. He would rather go and contract 9 F-ranked trash than contract himself, an S-ranked dragon spirit. Could it be because she had dumped him first at that time? But facts aside, wasn't he at fault? If he had admitted his fault to himself first, then everything, everything would have been so beautiful. Lucian didn't even look squarely at her, but instead looked at Zheng Ji next to Zhang Bo and spoke. I heard that you're going to challenge me, I'll give you a chance, these, are all my dragon spirits, a royal dragon envoy fighting with his own contracted dragon spirits, nothing wrong with that, right? Zheng Ji's face blanched as he sensed the aura of 5th rank SSS class dragon spirits coming from Song Xiao's several women. This guy, there were so many SSS ranked dragon spirits that they hadn't even left. A 5th rank SSS ranked dragon spirit, he didn't have the slightest bit of courage to fight against it. After all, compared to them, he was just a 4th rank S rank loser. I want to avenge my brother's death, and the ones I'm challenging are you and firing air, not them. He could only say this with a stern face. Lucian smiled at his words and said, Alright, then let the two of us fight you, let's go, to the dueling arena. Private fights were not allowed, Lucian was a good law-abiding citizen, unless he was in a lawless zone, he would only act in accordance with the rules. Hearing Lucian speak so nicely, Zheng Ji hurriedly seized the opportunity to make sure, fearing that he would back out. Alright, we'll be waiting for you at the East Sea Dueling Arena. After saying that, he pulled Lu Hanyo, who was still staring at Lu Jin dead in the face, to leave, comforting him as he walked away. Don't worry Zhao Zhao, this time our opponents are only a third rank upper Lu Jin and a first rank lower firing air, we can definitely show our anger for you. Lu Hanyo calmed down and squeezed out a smile as she said. Thank you, dear. Zheng Bo followed Zheng Ji and the girls to leave, but Qin Cici and Qin Hongwu stayed behind, that Qin Cici came next to firing air and said in surprise. He already has so many contracted dragon spirits, and you're still with him? Fire Inger didn't avoid the question and replied. Only he can allow me to surpass you, he allowed me to evolve from F rank to SSS rank, he can also allow me to ascend to the 5th rank within a year, giving me great strength, if I don't follow him, do I want to follow a loser like your imperial dragon envoy? Qin CC exasperatedly slapped Fire Inger's shoulder and said. Don't play dumb with me, you know what I mean. Do you know what it means to be together for the rest of your life? Lucian listened to the conversation between these two and found it quite interesting, these two seemed to be on pins and needles, but this Qin Cici still seemed to be genuinely coming to persuade Firing Air out of concern. For her part, Firing Air took a deep breath and grabbed Qin Cici's shoulder with both hands, asking seriously, Then tell me, is becoming Zhang Bo's contracted dragon spirit a good choice? Is this your own favorite man, or is it that after picking and choosing, it's just him that's suitable? No need to answer, I know that it's just suitable. In the beginning, I chose Lujin, also because it was suitable, because my sister brought me here and asked me to make a choice, whether or not to change my fate. I have already made a choice. However, at least now, after just half a day together, I think he's quite good, I like it all. It had to be said, now this little girl was just raw, saying such things without avoiding people, everyone in the courtyard could hear clearly. Especially Song Xiao beside Lujin, her ears almost perked up, the more she listened, the harder she hugged Lujin's arm, afraid that someone would compete with her. Qin Cici was also silenced by this question. Yes, she is also just choosing a suitable one, or even say, most of the male and female students after awakening, is to choose a suitable person contract and come together. This is even more cruel and realistic than a blind date, because there are only so many people in the same year with high talent, and if you miss it, you either have to settle for down the line or wait for the next session, and the next and the next. But how could there be so much time, there would always be someone vying for it. Her choice was nothing more than a compromise. Just like what Firing Air said, at least for now, Firing Air was happy, which, was a bit better than her. At this time, Xin Hongmu suddenly spoke. Judge Fu, hello again. Thank you all for your support. Fu Huasheng came from the Fu family, 
one of the four major families in the southern war zone, while Qin Hongmong came from the Qin family, the two of them were of the same age and equal status, so naturally they had been bosom friends since childhood. In fact, they were in the same class, and at that time were known as the southern mountain juxtaposition lotus, and could be said to be equal geniuses. But on the awakening day, Qin Hongmong awakened to become a SS grade dragon spirit, while Fu Huaxing was only F grade, a heaven and a earth. This time, is directly opened the gap. Don't say what bosom friend love, in different development trajectory, two people gradually become strange. This is the same as a long distance relationship, after there is no intersection, the relationship will quickly become dull and tasteless, even disgusting. Of course, the relationship between the two didn't reach that level, but one became a genius that the family focused on cultivating, while the other was reduced to a wastrel who could only be an ordinary person. The end result was to not bother each other. Unexpectedly, after many years, the two had met here. Fu Huasheng also felt a lot of emotions when she looked at Qin Hongmu. She had been thinking all these years that one day she would be able to change her fate of her f rank talent, fantasizing about what would happen if she awakened her ss rank talent that day as well. Perhaps it would be the same as Qin Hongmong, becoming one of the hot characters of the emerging forces in the southern war zone, instead of being obliterated. But that was ultimately a fantasy. But she never expected that one day, such a person would appear and redeem her from the sinking abyss. Today, although her own strength was not as strong as her former best friend, her talent was already above her, and her own future would be even brighter and more far-reaching than hers. Red Cotton Tree, I'm looking forward to it, fighting you. For a dragon spirit, the way to prove oneself was to fight, she wanted to show this BFF that she had a day to surpass her. Xin Hongmon laughed. Then you have to work hard, I'm already at the 6th rank, and in 2 more years, I'll be stepping into the 7th rank, can you catch up with me? Fu Huasheng pushed his golden glasses and said indifferently. Within two years, I will look for you. Ah, uh, well, we'll see. Let's go, the Zheng family should be waiting anxiously in a while. Qin Hongwu said, and was pulling Qin Sisi along with her as she turned to leave. Lu Jin's several people also followed to the dueling arena. Looking at Lu Jin and Fire Inger who walked into the arena, Zheng Ji lowered his heart. As long as there was no 5th ranked SSS ranked dragon spirit coming down to fight, he had a certain degree of certainty that he would be able to quickly take down Lu Jin, and take the heat off of his Jiao Jiao and his younger brother. Jiao Jiao, you go deal with that firing air in a moment, and leave Lu Jin to me. Lu Wan Jiao agreed, but she was thinking of resolving firing her first before going to make a move against Lu Jin. She had gone against Lu Jin several times, and all of them were failures. Wanting to get rid of Lu Jin was obviously not something she could do right now, even if she asked her good big brother son Lu Guang to make a move, she couldn't do it. The only thing to do was to wait for a suitable opportunity to fall into the well and take advantage of the situation. She believed that there was always a time when a person was low and slacking off, waiting on and letting herself quickly become strong as well, one day, she would kill Lu Jin and her contracted dragon spirits all together to wash away the humiliation they had brought upon themselves. Today, first collect day. A little bit of interest. Before entering the arena, Lu Jin said to Fire Inger, both of them have 4th rank spirit energy, and they themselves are S rank talents, which means that they can exert the battle power of a 5th rank demonic monster. You've just been awakened, and you're not strong enough to fight against them. So, in a moment, after you transform, you can just fly in the air, and wait until you've knocked them down. Although Fire Inger liked to get her hands dirty, she also knew the importance of lightness, she was very clear about her own weight, she wouldn't do anything that would send her to the door to be beaten. So she immediately nodded her head and said, Good, I'll watch you beat them up. Hit them twice for me as well, seeing as they're so upset. When the referee announced the start of the duel, Lu Hanjiao couldn't wait to transform into a 20-odd meter long fiery flying dragon and pounce towards Lu Jin's side. Behind her, a layer of dark black armor emerged on Zhang Ji's body, and at the same time, Lu Hanjiao's flying dragon also had more black armor guarding its abdomen, head, and other key parts. This is Zhang Ji's s rank talent, black pattern armor, the same dark attribute talent, the form of armor, can increase both the defensive strength, but also can increase the strength, speed, and other attributes. The aura of Zheng Ji, who was wearing a black patterned armor, had also become extremely powerful and bizarre, and he was also quickly rushing towards the two Luzhen. Fire Inger transformed into her mythical animal form, but she flew in midair right behind Luzhen, not charging forward. Luzhen took a step forward and crossed the dragon gate, releasing his dragon man form. This was the first time he had opened the dragon man form with the nine divine dragons bloodlines converging, surging true dragon power raging within his body, the dragon might unconsciously unleashed, it had become a passive natural skill. With his spiritual energy level reaching the upper third order, his true dragon form battle power could reach the upper seventh order, and in his dragon man form, he also had the pressure of the upper sixth order. 
Especially this is still a powerful true dragon breath, facing such a noble, powerful, and holy existence, let rushed illusion in front of the fiery flying dragon Lu Wanjiao produced a huge fear, the body as if by the Tarzan pressure general, simply cannot act freely. In the same way, came delusion in front of the black pattern armor Zhang Ji, is even more by this strong pressure directly compressed head first to fall to the ground. In fact, by this point, the victory and defeat had already been decided. The two of them, they couldn't even carry Lusion's dragon might, so how could they even talk about sparring? But Lusion didn't intend to let them off just like that. The instant the dragon might was unleashed, his figure transformed into a golden bolt of lightning, steeply appearing in front of Zheng Ji and kicking him away. With just a single blow, the black patterned armor shattered, Zheng Ji's chest sunk in, his internal organs broke, and the man fainted. If this was an ordinary person with such an injury, within half a minute, the person would definitely be gone. However, Zheng Ji was a fourth-ranked imperial dragon envoy, his body's recovery ability was strong, and he definitely couldn't die, so Lu Xun didn't care about him. Instead, he immediately turned back with a divine dragon's claw and pressed on the neck of the fiery flying dragon incarnated by Lu Hanyo, steeply slamming it into the ground. Lu Xun was a compassionate person, but that was only for his own woman, while Lu Hanyo was just an enemy in his eyes. When dealing with an enemy, it was natural to be as merciless as a gale in the middle of winter. A huge force erupted, the terrifying power of thunder and the power of killing raged, directly breaking down the defense of the black patterned armor on Lu Hanyo's body, rushing away the scales on her body, the bones in her neck shattered, her spiritual energy was disorganized, surprisingly, she was not even able to maintain her dragon spirit form, and she transformed into her human form. Lu Xun also turned into human form with it, pinching her neck. You'd better not mess with me again, or else, next time, it will be your death. Coldly speaking, Lusion threw her out as if she were a piece of trash, and her exposed white skin violently rubbed against the ground for a dozen meters, becoming a bloody mess, and Lu Hanyo was in incomparable pain all over her body, it was even difficult to breathe, but compared to the physical pain, that mental humiliation was even more devastating to her. At this moment, her hatred reached its peak. Want him to die. I must make him die. Happy New Year's Day and a prosperous year of the dragon. Thanks to the bosses for their support. A word about updates. Thank you again for your support, I hope you can protect your health, peacefully, and everything goes smoothly and peacefully. Happy, second shift, too handsome. The way you defeated the enemy with that move just now, I like you even more. Fire Inger said as she bounced around Lusion's arm. To her, it was this kind of power over people tactic that she liked, to crush the person who provoked her with an absolutely powerful strength, domineering. As for what to say about doing it to a woman, jokingly, this world, strictly speaking, the woman is the absolute main combatant, the man who is a royal dragon envoy is more of a supporting role. Unless one reaches the ninth rank or above, the gap between the two will not be so obvious. Generally speaking, in a duel under the ninth rank, a woman would want the man beside her to be able to help her fight the woman on the opposite side of the room, but where was Lusion like this who was able to fight one on two and still beat the other side without any resistance? Therefore, firing air's excitement was actually very reasonable. However, this intimate behavior undoubtedly caused Song Xiao to become nervous as she rushed over once again and hugged Lu Xun's other arm. This was caused by her own experiences and personality, and would cherish what she had now, fearing loss. It was hard to change, and there was no need to change, otherwise she wouldn't be her. Lu Xun turned his head and kissed Song Xiao's forehead, and as if he had cast some kind of magic, the kitten instantly relaxed. Ruan Qinghan looked at Lu Xun and sighed. It seems that after contracting Sang Sang and Inger the increase in your true dragon bloodline is not small, you have just reached the upper third rank and you have this kind of power, if you were to change into your true dragon form, even the mid fifth rank me wouldn't be able to defeat you. Your talent has already broken the limitations of the SSS rank, and it is estimated that, it is the legendary god rank that is no more than that. Hearing this, Fire Inger became even more excited and said happily, worthy of being my Fire Inger's man, just awesome. Song Xiao couldn't hold her tongue and blurted out. He, he's not your man. Fire Inger, however, looked at her with a crooked head and asked with a smile. Not my person, could it be yours? Song Xiao uttered words, this girl had a thin skin and didn't know how to argue, just puffing her cheeks in anger. At this time, Isen walked next to Song Xiao, took her arm and said with a smile. Lusion is hers, it's also yours, and it's even more for all of us. We're a family, good sisters who have to fight and cultivate together. Her nature was still relatively calm, compared to Morong Haining and Fu Huashing's old-fashioned and dignified, she was attentive with a little girl's vivacity, and it was most appropriate to come out and ease the relationship at this time. Hearing her say this, Lu Xun also said, Yes, I am the common imperial dragon envoy of the nine of you, your common guardian, I belong to all of you. He was such a fraternal and selfless giver. While this side was happy and joyful, on the other side, on the Zhang family's side, it was the faces of each and every one of them that turned bad. 
Zheng Bo hurriedly went down to check his elder brother's injuries, while Qin Hongmu frowned and said to Qin Sisi, It seems that Lu Xun still stayed his hand in the morning, if he used one-tenth of his battle power, you are estimated to lie down for at least three months. Moreover, I just asked grandpa about the news I got, the reason why he became a vegetable in the first place was because of his relationship with the Holy Spirit. A vegetable was caused by a battle with a 10th order SS ranked hall master of the Holy Spirit sect. In the end, he became a vegetable, while the 10th ranked hall master died. In other words, Lucian's battle power had reached the 10th rank 3 months ago, less than 9 months after his awakening. Half dragonization wasn't his strongest form, the strongest state, was to transform into a true dragon just like the dragon spirit, and his battle power would soar once again. Compared to him, even an SSS ranked gifted person is not worth mentioning. Hearing this, Jean Cece gritted her teeth and said, This fireanger is really lucky to have found such a good imperial dragon envoy. This young family, both brothers, none of them could last a single move under Lusion, they really are both as good as trash. Sister, I want to break the contract with Zhang Bo, wait for the next term, and obtain an SSS ranked imperial dragon envoy, otherwise, I'm not willing. Jean Hongwu shook her head and said, You'll be wasting a year like this, even if you manage to contract an SSS ranked imperial dragon envoy by then, what can you do? Lucian's talent has already surpassed the SSS rank level, and you still won't be able to surpass Fireinger in terms of Imperial Dragon Envoys. That Lucian is now at the upper third rank, helping Fireinger, who is only at the first rank, tremendously in her cultivation, in that case, a year from now, the gap between you will be at least five ranks, and it will be impossible for you to surpass her. This analysis calmed Qin Cici down, but after seeing Zhang Bo, she said, Anyway, I don't want a contract with this Zhang Bo, he's blindly confident and makes decisions for me pretending to care about me, but in reality, he still follows his personal will. The two of us don't fit together, I'm afraid that in case we encounter a life and death danger one day, he'll just push me out. There's another way to quickly increase my strength, as long as I find someone of a higher rank to contract with me, it will provide me with more spiritual energy to cultivate. Many of the little girls in this world didn't look for a boy in the same class to contract with, they would choose someone a little older. For one thing, among the same class, there were very few boys with outstanding talent and there were already too many boys and girls, so naturally, they couldn't fulfill the demand. And if the boys they choose are less talented, in the same session, they can't fulfill their needs. The older, already indentured cultivated men, it was different. They already had a certain amount of capital, even if their talent was lower, there was no harm, they could fulfill the needs of the little girls and allow them to grow in a short period of time. By the time both sides were of the same level, such little girls would dislike these useless old men, break the contract, and then go to choose a little boy with better talent, first assisting each other to grow up, and when that little boy grew up, they could continue to help the former to improve. Of course, breaking the contract has a certain backlash effect, usually weakening for a period of time, so every choice needs to be treated carefully. Middle-aged widowed uncles were the most popular group of people. Qin Sisi's thoughts were obviously just that. Qin Hongmu, on the other hand, said seriously once more. Between the Imperial Dragon Envoy and the Dragon Spirit, the most important thing is tacit understanding and trust, so in the end, both the Imperial Dragon Envoy and the Dragon Spirit will become husband and wife. Changing the contractual object frequently will not only affect cultivation and combat, but it will also have a huge impact on your life events and happiness. CC, our family, will not allow you to do this. Qin CC gritted her teeth and said, Regardless of all this, I'll first break the contract with Zhang Bo, I just don't believe that Lu Xin is the only man under the sky who possesses the Divine Dragon bloodline. I must find someone suitable and satisfactory, or else I won't contract. Seeing her say so, so resolute, Qin Hongmu sighed and said, All right then, I'll go and negotiate with the Zheng family. One thing, Qin Sisi was really right, under the heavens, there was not just Lu Xin, a man with a divine dragon bloodline. Because, there was also a man-made true dragon bloodline possessor. Lu Xin and a few women returned to the villa where they lived, and then they realized that there was something wrong with Ji Yu's face in the yard. On his skin, veins were rippling, and even stranger, a layer of scales had grown on his back. Brother! Shi Ran rushed up and was about to cast a healing spell on Chi Yu, but was stopped by Lu Xin. He seems to be dragonized, not injured, the more you heal, instead, it might lead to more uncontrollable. Lu Xin said as he placed his hand on Ji Yu's forehead and began to mobilize the power of the true dragon to suppress it. Morong Hanying was surprised. Isn't dragonization an ability that can only be mastered at the seventh rank? I haven't seen a second person other than you who can perform dragon transformation below the seventh rank. Could it be that he is also an imperial dragon envoy of the divine dragon bloodline? Lu Xin chuckled. Strictly speaking, it's still true. When we first met, Ji Yu was severely injured and was already dying. I transformed into a true dragon while soaking him with my own blood, and he gained a new life after being soaked in dragon blood, and his injuries completely disappeared. 
Therefore, within his body, he had my true dragon bloodline. This power was activated with his cultivation, and he couldn't truly control it, and is now showing signs of losing control. What then? Hubby, help my brother. Shi Ran was in such a hurry that she directly changed her address, and among the previous few girls, only Song Xiao had a husband in one mouthful. Although Chi Ran identified Lu Xin, but did not take the initiative to be more intimate, this time is considered an opportunity to make her more dependent on Lu Xin, or rather, take Lu Xin as her own reliance, rather than a mere object of gratitude. Lu Xin smiled. Don't worry, I've already helped him suppress it, however, this is a cure for the symptoms, he needs to let himself truly control this power before he can do so. Chi Ran watched as Chi Yu gradually woke up and was relieved, but when she heard the second half of Lu Xin's sentence, she once again asked nervously, What's the way to do that? Lu Xin murmured twice and said, Let him leap the dragon gate. But there is also a possibility that it will make this power even more violent, there is really no way, the next best thing, is for me to remove this power directly from his body. This is the power I gave him, I can also take back. How to choose, you make the decision. After completing the contract with Firing Air, Lu Xin realized that his dragon gate talent had changed. Nine was the extreme of the number, and the influx of the nine divine dragon bloodlines caused his talent bloodline to undergo an essential change. Leaping Dragon Gate, the contracted target leaps the Dragon Gate, awakening the Divine Dragon Bloodline, thereafter, every time the Dragon Gate is leaped, the Bloodline is enhanced once, and the number of times a single target leaps the Dragon Gate is less than or equal to the current Imperial Dragon Envoy rank. This was the description of this talent at the beginning. After evolution, it became this. Leaping Dragon Gate, Divine Dragon Bloodline owner leaps the Dragon Gate, Bloodline power is enhanced, Contracted object leaps the dragon gate, awakening the divine dragon bloodline, number of times a single target leaps the dragon gate is less than or equal to the current royal dragon envoy's rank. The addition of an article meant that any divine dragon bloodline possessor could enhance their bloodline power by leaping the dragon gate. And under Lusion's innate skill, true dragon's vision. Observation, everyone, every Yen Xia person, almost all possessed the divine dragon bloodline, it was just that most of them, with thin bloodlines, had no power to speak of. Shi Yu's true dragon bloodline was active and powerful due to the fact that he had obtained Lu Xin's blood and strengthened himself. With a high foundation, the increase gained from leaping the dragon gate would be greater. Lu Xin guessed that the dragon gate could help Chi Yu stabilize or even completely fuse this bloodline power that flowed on the surface, allowing him to become the second man to possess the power of the true dragon after himself. Of course, there was no way Chi Yu could compare to him. The blood given to Ji Yu was the true dragon bloodline after Lu Xin had completed four enhancements, and there was absolutely no way to compare it to Lu Xin, a bloodline that had already evolved nine times. However, it was definitely much more powerful than a normal bloodline. I want to leap the dragon gate, please help me. Ji Yu didn't hesitate for long, he only thought about it slightly and knew what he should choose. Although he saw that his sister was now well protected by Lu Xin, as an older brother, he still wished that he had the power to protect his sister, and he couldn't put all his trust in others. What's more, the role he played by hanging out with Lu Xin now was really limited. A fourth-ranked Imperial Dragon Envoy with a mere B-rank talent was nothing in front of this group of perverts with a minimum of SSS rank talent. Without being able to play a role, there was no sense of security, and this sense of security was the self-worth that everyone needed. Shi Ran didn't dissuade him, even though she was worried that her brother would be in danger during the Leaping Dragon Gate, she also understood that this was an opportunity. Moreover, she believed in Lu Xin and believed that he could perform miracles. Lu Xin nodded and said. Okay, then make preparations, I'll summon the dragon gate here. Well, go change into a more elastic dress, after awakening there is a possibility that the dragonization will be more pronounced and the dress won't hold up. Five minutes later, in the middle of the villa's backyard, Lu Xin summoned the dragon gate. At this time, the dragon gate became even more eye-catching, dazzling and bright, exuding a purple noble aura, with a kind of majesty that could not be offended by looking directly at it. Ji Yu calmed down, letting his spiritual energy stabilize, then jumped up violently, crossing that golden giant door in mid-air. In an instant, golden light enveloped it, and Ji Yu let out a roar that didn't sound like a human voice. The golden light exploded like fireworks, and a man who was about 2 meters and 3 meters tall, with dragon horns sprouting from the top of his head and his hands turning into dragon claws appeared in mid-air. The aura on his body was clearly the aura of a true dragon bloodline. And at the same time, a stream of information surged into Chi Yu's mind, information about the true dragon, the eastern divine dragon, mysterious and powerful. Success. Great. Thank you, husband. Chi Ran excitedly hugged Lu Xin and gave him a kiss on the cheek, cheering like a cheerful rabbit. The rest of the girls were also looking at this scene with curiosity, and there was quite an atmosphere of joy. 
The moment Ji Yu rushed out of the golden light, in the middle of the fallen area of the western plateau of the Yenxia Federation, underneath a large snowy mountain, in the middle of a pitch black cave, a three headed, eight armed, serpentine bodied, 100 foot statue suddenly released a black aura in its eyes. Immediately afterward, several figures quickly appeared in the cave. Among them, there were humans as well as devil monsters, and together, they knelt down towards the statue and said, Welcome the return of the demon father. The statue let out a dry and hoarse voice. I have not been able to recover enough to return. This awakening is because I sense that someone has broken through the oblivion curse, the eastern divine dragon, has reappeared. As he spoke these words, demon lord Gaia couldn't help but recall a past event from over a hundred years ago. At that time, the demonic monsters had just invaded this realm not long ago, while humans began to awaken the dragon spirit and imperial dragon envoy talents after the dragon gods will descended, among them, everyone in the Yenxia Federation was like a dragon, and they awakened all kinds of powerful divine dragon bloodlines. Thank you all for your support. There was a pair of supreme powerhouses in Yenxia, the man awakened a super god level talent named Dragon King and the woman awakened a super god level talent named Ing Dragon, stepping into the 13th rank, battling the 5 major demon zones, and finally killing two 13th rank demon zones. The remaining three major demon sovereigns used the method of sacrifice before they were exterminated, one of which was the Gaia Demon Sovereign. After killing Ying Long and the Dragon King, the only remaining Gaia Demon Exalt was also nearly out of gas. He was unable to destroy everyone, but in the end, he released an Oblivion Curse. Through the Oblivion spell, it erased all traces of the Eastern Divine Dragon from the memories of all the people in the world, and at the same time, it allowed the people of the Holy Spirit sect to destroy all relevant information. More than a hundred years passed, and no one recognized the Eastern Divine Dragon anymore. For his part, the Gaia Demon Lord was recuperating and recovering, while linking to the Demon Realm and summoning more and more powerful demons to descend into this realm. Lucian was a reborn person, so when he awakened his true dragon bloodline, he was not detected by the Demon Exalt. Moreover, his strength was still too weak, and his true dragon aura exploded without being able to draw attention to it. Song Shio and the others' awakening of their divine dragon bloodline was also a display within the rules, and they had not truly awakened a divine level bloodline, and were still only SSS level, so they had not attracted the attention of the demon exalted either. However, Ji Yu was an indigenous person with the oblivion mantra imprint on his soul regarding the eastern divine dragon. The awakening of his true dragon bloodline directly destroyed the oblivion curse, causing the last demon exalt to awaken. This is the appearance of the Eastern Divine Dragon, any dragon spirit with similar characteristics to it could be of the Eastern Divine Dragon bloodline, killed him. I want you to stifle the Eastern Divine Dragon's revival at all costs. Before the words fell, a huge stone monument rose up from the ground, and on it, the likeness of an oriental five-clawed golden dragon was clearly carved. At this moment, the Holy Spirit sect sect master Lu Chong suddenly said, Reporting to the Devil Sovereign, there is one thing that my subordinate believes needs to be reported to you, and it may be related to the Eastern Divine Dragon. Speak. Demon Lord Gaia obviously cared about the Eastern Divine Dragon bloodline possessor, so he didn't blame Lu Chong for his offense. Lu Chong spoke. This image of the Eastern Divine Dragon is one that my subordinate has seen. To be precise, it was my subordinates who had seen it, they had fought against a royal dragon envoy, and that person, could change into this form. Moreover, those dragon spirits of his, all possessed a portion of this eastern divine dragon's characteristics. According to the information that the subordinates had investigated, they had learned that this person had been searching for young girls with divine dragon bloodlines to contract, and had become stronger and stronger. Some time ago, he, who was only of the fifth rank, fought against Ian Yuyao, the tenth ranked hall master of my holy spirit sex black spirit hall, and Ian Yuyao died, while he was turned into a vegetable. But in the last two days, I received news that he has woken up. Gaia Demon Zun was shocked and furious at his words. This kind of human genius, why wasn't he killed as early as possible? Lu Chong replied. Reporting back to the Demon Venerable, we have already sent out multiple attacks and even sacrificed a 10th rank Hall Master. Another Hall Master was also seriously injured, if not for this time when His Holiness woke up, my subordinates would have gone to exterminate this person personally. My Holy Spirit sect has been hit hard by the human demons in recent years, it no longer has much manpower, and even fewer experts. I still ask for your holiness help. The Gaia Demon Exalt fell silent for a moment, and then, his voice came out once again. You bring a group of people here, I can help you improve your strength and talent, and this person, within a year, must be killed. Also, continue scouting for other divine dragon bloodline possessors, all possible suspects, leave no one behind. Red Ghost, Thunder Snake, you cooperate with Luchong with all your might, if necessary, you can launch a large-scale demonic tide. Letting the two demon kings, Red Ghost Demon King and Thunder Snake Demon King, help Lu Chong with all their might, it was evident that Gaia Demon Lord was very scornful of the rise of the Eastern Divine Dragon Bloodline Possessors. 
As for Lu Chong, when he heard that he could get help, he immediately revealed a joyful expression, the Holy Spirit sect could finally grow. Yes, my subordinate will definitely complete the task. Soon, he found a group of people, the highly talented ones such as Ji Ziyue, Zhao Zhen, and other S-ranked gifted people were naturally the most concerned. East Ocean City, the backyard of the villa. Ji Yu, who had landed back on the ground, was filled with excitement and said, My talent has unexpectedly reached the SS rank. Moreover, I feel that my talent has also become growable. Lusions, True Dragon's vision, could see through everything, and Ji Yu's talent information appeared before his eyes. AQ, Fourth Order. Talent 1, Green Dragon Power, SS Grade. Abilities, Taking Off the Clouds, Green Dragon Guardian, Dragonization. Taking off the clouds and riding the mist, with the power of the Green Dragon, you can gain a certain amount of ability to fly in the air. Green Dragon Guardian, you can add the power of Green Dragon Guardian to yourself or other targets. During the Guardianship, all attributes will be increased and the recovery ability will be greatly improved. Dragonization, the power of the Green Dragon infuses your body and can inspire your body to change into the form of a dragon man. Three skills, all very powerful. Originally, GU's talent was just a B-grade talent called, Guardian Aura, but now it had the basic flight ability of a true dragon and the ability to dragonize, and the original talent had also evolved, becoming Green Dragon Guardian. Chirant's natural dragon spirit was, Pu Zhao, and if it ever morphed into a true dragon form, it would be the Green Dragon. Therefore, Lu Xun's true dragon power was not dominating Qi Yu's talent, but rather, it was stimulating the divine dragon bloodline that was originally present in his body. Lu Xun had long ago realized that everyone around him actually had a divine dragon bloodline in their bodies, only that they contained different levels. It was as if this power had been suppressed, and Song Xiao's few people, who had mutated due to the accumulation of several generations and ended up becoming true divine dragon bloodlines, ended up being completely suppressed. They were reduced to f rank talents with no skills whatsoever. In reality, they should have been divine grade talents, and right now, Lusion had merely helped them open a layer of seals, and if all of them were unsealed, they would be able to transform into true dragons, and perhaps their current form would disappear, or they could have two forms. Seeing Ji Yu's successful metamorphosis, Morong Haining said in surprise. In that case, as long as they pass through your dragon blood immersion before leaping over the dragon gate, all of them can make their bloodline evolve? Lusion nodded and said. Theoretically that's true. It's not just me, your bloodline should also be able to do so, after all, you have also completed your awakening and possess the power of a true dragon, but in the end, you must leap over the dragon gate before you can truly obtain this power. Su Zitong said in shock. Doesn't it mean that you only need to pay some blood, and you can just help a person's talent level to increase drastically? Those big families, such as my family's elders would definitely look for you if they knew about it. As soon as Song Xia heard this, she nervously hugged Lu Xin and said. No, no bloodshed. Su Zitong rolled her eyes and said in a good-natured manner. It's not like I'm trying to hurt Lu Xin, what's with this protective look, he's my man too. Song Xiao smiled embarrassedly at his words, but still grabbed Lu Xin and didn't let go. Morong Hanying and Fu Huasheng, they were also caught up and fought, this matter, it had a great impact, probably the entire federation, the entire human race would be affected. Lu Xin opened his mouth. I will consider this matter, the matter is important, I think I am not some great selfless person, but I also have some patriotic feelings, in the case of what I can do, without infringing on my personal interests, I can provide some help for the development of the federation. There was one thing that Lu Xin understood very well. With his own talent and growth rate, the highest level of power in the federation, he would soon be able to obtain it. Therefore, when he became a higher power, there were more things to consider. Cultivating one's own men, connections and power, this was necessary. If you fall behind, you will be beaten, if you don't take the initiative to be powerful yourself, others will come and bully you. One could shed some blood to increase the power of the human race, but this power must be in one's own hands. One must not let it become a weapon for others to check and balance themselves. In fact, he already had a not-so-weak force. Xia Lingchan and Wan Qinghan represented the Xia family and Wan family in the Central War Zone, Su Zitong, Morong Haining, and Ai Sang, represented the Su family, Morong family and Ai family in the Eastern War Zone, Fu Huasheng as well as Firinger, represented the Fu family and Fire family in the Southern War Zone. Of the four major war zones of the Yin Xia Federation, he only had the Northern War Zone without the blessing of a major family, but his relationship with the Zhang family was still considered good. He alone had coalesced almost all of the major powers of the entire Federation, and if he possessed absolute strength again, then the power would reach a height that no one could currently reach. It was impossible for those administrators of the Yin Xia Federation not to have realized this. However, they didn't take any stance and let him develop. In fact, even if someone opposed it, it would be useless because as long as one family supported Luzhin, Luzhin would be able to grow without any hindrance, and at that time, those who opposed it would, in turn, passively leave the center of power. 
Therefore, the wisest choice for them was to maintain this good relationship and even take the initiative to get close. Lu Xun still needed to cultivate his own direct subordinates, and his great uncle Qi Yu was considered a good manpower, and he naturally couldn't do it alone. Dragon's blood could cultivate strong men, so it was important to choose well. Originally, people who were only B or a grade talent didn't need to be deliberately drawn in for the big families, so this part of the manpower illusion would be able to find out some innocent people to be his men. The sons and daughters of the big families also needed to be taken in, and as long as they were taken in, it meant that they had joined the hidden organization that was the Divine Dragon Bloodline Alliance. Morong Haining spoke up. We won't take the initiative to talk about this matter, but we certainly can't cover it up. You seize the moment yourself. As a former manager, a city lord, she knew more about management matters and saw things from a different perspective. Lusion laughed. All right, there's no need to think about this for now, it's fundamental that our own strength becomes strong, seize the time to cultivate. The next afternoon, in the middle of the Zhang family manor, Zhang Bo, who had just lifted his contract, said weakly, Father, the Qin family has humiliated our Zhang family so much, we must make them pay. If big sister was still around, that woman Qin Hongwu would never dare to be so arrogant. Zhen Songming's brows were also filled with anger. Just now, he had already lowered his stance enough, but that Qin Cici was pointing at Zhang Bo and Zheng Ji and drinking. The two brothers, all by illusion in accordance with the beatdown, only empty promises, their own no strength, cannot recognize their own, I do not want to one day, by his drag, let me die in the mouth of the devil. Today, if you cannot peacefully dissolve the contract, I will unilaterally force to dissolve, by then, we both have to suffer serious repercussions, even if he wants to contract another person. I'm afraid it will wait a long time. Can Uncle Zhang afford such a price? After calculating the gains and losses, Zheng Songming's choice was to let Zhang Bo peacefully dissolve the contract, so that both parties only needed to recuperate for half a month before they could contract again, with a relatively short period of weakness. Humph. On the Qin family's side, they definitely want to get their face back. But the two of you, to be humiliated by the same person, this is what disgraces the Zhang family the most. Zheng Songming angrily rebuked. Zheng Ji scowled and replied. This person, Lu Xun, is too strong, his natural ability, is definitely not just SSS level, it might be the legendary god level. Father, we have already formed a feud with him, if this person is not removed, he will definitely stand on a high position in the future, and the development of our Zhang family will definitely be affected. You don't need to remind old son of this. You guys settle down next and don't cause any more trouble. Zheng Ji, keep an eye on your daughter-in-law. I'll make arrangements for the latter, so you guys don't act rashly. Zheng Songming once again reprimanded. Hearing Zheng Songming say Lu Hanyo, Zheng Ji subconsciously replied back. Jia Jiao is very good. She went to the Sun family to beg for the Ming Yuan Dan for me, she's just a victim. Zheng Songming didn't have the heart to pay attention to him and directly told the two brothers to get lost, then came to a basement, walked through a long corridor and entered within an open underground space. This space was huge, with huge torches lit all around, 33 in number. Father, you're here. A woman's voice came out, and immediately after, a scorpion-like creature with a pitch-black body, wings, and a body length of 24 feet appeared in front of Zheng Songming, and transformed into a woman wearing a black veil and black armor in the twinkling of an eye. If Zheng Bo was here he would definitely be able to recognize that this was the Zheng Evening Autumn that he and Zheng Ji thought was dead. Zheng Evening Chou, 25 years old, originally gifted with the SS Grade Dragon Spirit Emperor Dragon Scorpion, in the Federal Records, was killed in battle on the East Sea Battlefield but actually joined the Holy Spirit sect and turned to secretly practicing the secret method. However, at this moment, Zheng Songming felt that the aura on Zheng Evening Autumn had become stronger. Evening Autumn, the Holy Spirit sect helped you improve your strength yesterday? Zheng Songming asked in surprise. Zheng Evening Chio nodded and said, Yes, my talent has evolved into a SSS rank, Purgatory Emperor Dragon Scorpion, and the rank has stepped into the lower 8th rank. Zheng Songming said happily. Good. Excellent. The glory of the holy sect will surely shine throughout the world. Speaking here, he paused, the smile on his face tightened, and told Zheng Evening Cho about Zhang Bo and Zheng Ji. Finally, he added, those two sisters of the Qin family, they're all going to die. Lu Xun is also going to die, but his dragon spirit qualifications are all good, so if he can be absorbed into the sacred sect, he can definitely give the sacred sect a boost. No, they are also going to die. This time, it wasn't the sect master who summoned us, but Lord Supreme Demon, who woke up and gave instructions for us to destroy Lu Xin and those with the so-called Divine Dragon bloodline at all costs. Zheng Yibming Chiu sniffed so. Zheng Songming was surprised for a moment, but still nodded and said, The Demonic Father has unexpectedly awakened. Since that's the case, let's follow the Holy Sect's arrangement and kill all of them without leaving a single one behind. I'll help you look for opportunities. 
If Lu Jin and the others didn't leave the city, there was no way for the Holy Spirit sex people to make a move, so this opportunity, it wasn't easy to find. In a flash, it was two weeks later. Sorry ah. Today went to the hospital to see the teeth, check what, good guy, this mouth to clean up, want me 12,000. Two weeks is not a short time, for Lu Jin this kind of talent to reach the top of the sky, enough for him to reach the limit of the upper third order, and then break through the limit, stepping into the lower fourth order, and then break through again, reach the middle fourth order. With a fourth order intermediate level of spiritual energy, the true dragon aura was nevertheless enough to rival an eighth order upper level demonic monster. Among the nine girls, Fireinger, who had joined the group the latest and had the lowest cultivation level, also had an upper second rank cultivation level, and was only waiting to step into the third rank, and then take the dragon awakening potion to jump directly into the fourth rank. The ones with the highest cultivation were Wan Qinghan and Xia Lingchan, both of which had reached the upper fifth rank. They had wasted three months of cultivation and had just cultivated for half a month, and were able to break through to the fifth order upper, which showed how much of an increase Lu Jin had given them. With this rate of cultivation, they could definitely reach the upper seventh rank within a year, and as for whether they could step into the eighth rank, it would depend on their personal level of effort. After all, Lu Jin's standard of giving to them was the same. That is, give as much as you want. But how much they could personally accept and how long they could withstand the intense cultivation was up to them. If one wanted to achieve above the others, apart from their own talent being high enough, hard work was also indispensable. Today was not a special day, it was just that Qin Sisi and Qin Hongmu had both come. After two weeks of recuperation, Qin Sisi had regained her state, but she was not willing to leave so gray, so before she left, she purposely came over to take a look at Fireinger. Upon seeing that Fireinger had been raised to the upper second rank, she gritted her teeth and said, Just wait, I'll catch up to you soon, and when the time comes, I'll be looking for you to fight. Fireinger, on the other hand, clutched her chest and tilted her face 45 degrees to look at the sky as she said, I'll give you time to catch up, but, the result will be the same, you, will always be my underdog. Qin Sisi clenched her fists at the words and gritted her teeth, but did not snap. And Qin Hongmong also looked at Fu Huasheng, surprised. I didn't expect you to step into the upper fourth rank so quickly, it seems that within a year, you'll be able to reach the sixth rank, I'm looking forward to fighting you. Fu Huasheng laughed, then we made a promise, don't break it. A promise is a promise. Qin Hongmu also laughed out. The previous estrangement between the girlfriends was because they indeed didn't live at the same level anymore, one was busy with legal affairs, the other was busy with fighting, naturally, there was no contact, and their feelings faded. Now that they were once again in the same circle, the old girlfriend's love was reappearing. Qin Hongwu and Qin Sisi left in the morning, and in the afternoon, came a bad news. Two people in the return to the southern war zone on the way encountered the Holy Spirit religion thieves attack, Qin Hongmu battle death, thanks to just passing by Su Zitong's mother Aiya Jun shot, only to save Qin Sisi, only when she was saved, people have been dying. The darkness had eroded Qin Sisi's body, and now the Holy Sea City was trying to find a way to save her. In the end, Elder Su thought of Lu Jin, he knew that the Qi Yu at the time was also in a near-death state and was saved by Lu Jin, so he sent someone to find him. Only then did the crowd learn of the news. After hearing this news, several people were all astonished, especially Fire Inger and Fu Huasheng. The latter was struck by lightning and muttered, You promised me that you would fight against me, how could you break your promise? The former, on the other hand, had a panicked and anxious expression, stating that she had to go over as soon as possible to check Qin Sisi's status. Lujin brought the few of them together to the East Sea Medical Center. Seeing Lujin appear, Su Dingyuan spoke. I had the Zhang clan, who specializes in darkness breath, look at it, they only absorbed a portion of the darkness breath and took it away, they can't save Qin Sisi, Lujin, I'm relying on you. Fu Huasheng, on the other hand, walked towards Ai Yajun and asked in a trembling voice. Anti Ai, where is Cotton Tree? Ai Yajun sighed, hugged Fu Huasheng and said softly. When I arrived, it was already too late, the red cotton had endured the most evil berserk power in order to protect CC, her body was shattered, and she was finally burned to ashes by the dark flames. If it wasn't for her protecting CC like this, CC wouldn't have survived. These holy spirit cult guys, they are very ruthless, they just want to leave their corpses intact. Fu Huashing sniffed and sobbed in Ai Yajun's arms, his mind constantly conjuring up images of the two playing around with Qin Hongmu in the past, his body trembling with fear. On the other hand, Fire Inger was eager to see Qin Sisi, but was stopped. She is now relying on the equipment to hang on to her last breath, the slightest mistake and she will die, apart from Lu Jin, no one is allowed to approach. Su Dingyuan drank her down. Lu Jin came to Qin Sisi's side, checking her out, he found that her meridians were broken all over her body, her bones were shattered, and her heart was beating in a very small amount, if it wasn't for the golden flying dragon's gifted bloodline in her body still resisting the darkness aura, she would have already been dead through and through. There was no way to heal her with ordinary healing skills, 
and the only way to do so was to use the blood of a true dragon. More accurately, it was to use the power of the true dragon to awaken the divine dragon bloodline in her body, allowing her bloodline to evolve, and in turn, generate a strong self-drive and vitality to pass through herself and live on. For this level of injury, external treatment was useless, the only way was through this. Lu Jin immediately made a request to Su Ding Yuan. Move her to an open and hidden place, I need a quiet and large enough environment. Su Ding Yuan's side immediately made arrangements, and ten minutes later, a certain arena in the East Sea dueling arena was closed off without any dead ends, and Lu Jin called Fire Inger in to give himself a hand. Having Fire Inger remove Qin Cici's jacket and place it into a wooden barrel, Lu Jin changed into a true dragon, dripping blood and soaking Qin Cici in it. Although there was the successful case of Chiyu, Chiyu was a royal dragon envoy, while Qin Cici was a dragon spirit, which was fundamentally different, so Lu Jin was still a little uncertain about whether it would be successful. Waiting for the blood to fill the barrel, Lu Jin resumed his human form and observed the situation inside Qin Cici's body from the side. The true dragon's blood penetrated into Qin Cici's body, and her aura immediately changed. Bones were repaired, tendons and veins were remodeled, her heartbeat became powerful, and there was a faint sound of a dragon's roar. Lu Jin's current blood was even more advanced than the blood used for Chiyu at that time, after all, the latter had only fused four divine dragon bloodlines while the former had fused nine. The true dragon power within Qin Cici's body was awakened. In the next moment, it only took her a single breath to absorb all the blood Lu Jin had put into the barrel into her body. Then, her body faded and a golden light appeared, so blinding that firing air couldn't help but close her eyes. Qin Cici transformed into the form of a golden flying dragon, while Lu Jin summoned the dragon gate, which it leapt through in one smooth motion. Aang. A golden dragon with a body length of over 13 meters appeared in midair, it had no wings, it was in the form of an oriental divine dragon with antlers and a serpent's body, and it displayed a golden radiance that did not only have the sharpness of metal, but also carried a holy radiance. Qin Cici, Golden Holy Dragon, SSS Grade. Rank, First Order. Talent 1, Flying in the Clouds, can fly in the air and harness clouds and mist. Talent 2, Golden Sacred Body, doubles all attributes, comes with a holy glow, defense, recovery, and divine obliteration effects are greatly increased. The divine dragon bloodline in Qin Cici's body awakened, displaying a very powerful might. The original dragon spirit form was replaced, and the regenerated dragon spirit's quality directly reached SSS grade. But even though it was the same SSS grade, there was still a huge gap between this so-called golden holy dragon and this bloodline of the chiseled dragon. This could be seen from the description of the talent. The latter's talent was the divinity talent, which represented that it was itself a god level, only that it had not fully awakened. After Qin Cici regained her human form, she did not rejoice because of her strength, instead, she turned into her human form and asked with an anxious face, Where is my sister? Fire Inger had a happy face when she saw Qin Cici awakening, but the smile on her face disappeared when she heard this question. Qin Cici grabbed her shoulders and asked after her with force, Fire Inger, tell me, where is Qin Hongmu? Lu Jin walked over at this time and spoke. Your sister's corpse was lost in order to protect you. Qin Cici's grip on Fire Inger's hand violently loosened, her eyes staring dully at the unknown direction, staggering and pacing backward twice, she was almost about to fall down when she was pulled back by Fire Inger. Fire Inger exhorted. Sister Cotton Tree used all her strength to leave you with a breath, and was saved by Anti-AI who was passing by and saw you. You were also on the verge of death when you were brought back, and Lu Jin used true dragon's blood to bring you back to life. You can't be disheveled or broken because you're not living for yourself. It was impossible for any soft words to come out of firing air's mouth. So her so-called comforting was to use these things and wake her up. Sheen Cece was the one who ate this. After being spoken to by firing air, her eyes gradually regained their clarity, took a deep breath, and looked at firing air as she asked, Is there really nothing left? As firing air was silent, Lucian spoke out. You were shielded inside, and the exterior of your body is scorched black. Sheen Cece gritted her teeth and said, Holy Spirit Cult. I must destroy it. Fire Inger hugged her and whispered. We're together. Qin Cici, however, looked at Lu Jin and asked. Can I contract with you? I also want to quickly increase my strength. Lu Jin shook his head and said. I can only contract dragon spirits with divine bloodlines, and although you have had your divine dragon bloodline activated by me, you haven't evolved into a true divine dragon, so you can't contract with me. There is someone that should be quite suitable with you. Who? As long as I can help me rapidly increase my strength, I can contract with him. Qin Cici pursued. Lu Jin replied. One of my contracted dragon spirits brother, Qi Yu, who was the first person to have his divine dragon bloodline inspired by me, is now an SS grade talent, and his strength is at the upper fourth rank. Okay, please help me. Qin Cici said firmly. Lu Jin led the two out of the dueling arena, and seeing Qin Cici, who had recovered and even experienced a huge increase in her aura, Ai Jun was surprised. 
This true dragon's blood, it actually has such an effect of bringing the dead back to life. Ai Yajun took a step forward and gathered Qin Sisi in her arms, saying with an apology. I'm sorry, child, when I arrived, it was already too late. Only you still have a breath left under the protection of the cotton tree. Qin Sisi suddenly cried out. She was more of an angry and helpless person just now, and at this moment, being held in Ai Yajun's arms and suddenly having something to rely on, she was a direct emotional outburst. Although other people were also saddened by Qin Hongwu's death, Su Dingyuan and the others were more concerned about the effects of Lu Jun's true dragon's blood. Su Dingyuan called Lu Jun to the side and asked, Qin Sisi's dragon spirit has evolved, is this the effect of your true dragon's blood? Does it have such an effect on everyone? Lu Jun opened his mouth and replied, I discovered earlier that every Yin Xia person actually has a divine dragon bloodline in their body, only that the power of this bloodline is very thin and suppressed by the power of the other dragon spirits. My true dragon's blood can enhance this bloodline power, and in the end, I need to utilize the help of my second talent, Dragon Gate, before I can make a talent enhancement. Su Ding Yuan said in surprise, it's really possible for everyone to gain evolution? Theoretically it is possible, but my true dragon's blood is also limited, and it's impossible to send it to everyone. Lu Jin also made his attitude clear. Elder Su wasn't an outsider, and even though he was at the top of the Federation's power hierarchy, he wouldn't secretly harm Lu Jin. Hearing this, Su Ding Yuan laughed. Good. There's no need for you to give it to many people, and I won't let you bleed for nothing. I'll make it up to you, at least one ninth order Yuan Dan in exchange for a copy of the true dragon's blood and the opportunity to leap the dragon gate, how about it? Ninth rank Yuan Dan, this condition directly jammed out more than 99% of people, and only a top great family like the Su family could take it out. It directly blocked the idea of a large number of people wanting to obtain the opportunity to cross the class through Lusion here, and at the same time, it also reduced Lusion's troubles. Lusion nodded and said, It's possible. But at the same time, I will only give three copies of True Dragon's Blood every month to help three people complete their metamorphosis. Grandpa Su, I haven't performed a metamorphosis on a strong person yet, so why don't I let Ai Yajun be the first ninth ranked strong person to try it? Ai Yajun was Su Zitong's mother, sort of Lusion's mother-in-law, fat water does not flow into outsiders' fields, this kind of good thing, of course, one must tighten their own people first. Su Ding Yuan thought it was okay, and directly called Ai Yajun over and said this matter. Ai Yajun is an S-class dragon spirit two-headed fire dragon. Although it was said that an S-rank talent already possessed the qualifications to step into the 10th rank and become a demigod level existence, relatively speaking, it only possessed a slight chance. Only an SS rank talent could ensure that as long as one grew up, one would inevitably be able to step into the 10th rank. Therefore, after learning that her talent could be promoted, Aya Jun was also quite happy. Little Lu, Auntie hasn't misjudged you, placing Zitong in your hands, Auntie is still very relieved. Aya Jun said with a kind smile. She was a typical lady of the house, gentle and virtuous, definitely a good wife, a good mother, and a good mother-in-law. Auntie, don't worry, I will protect Zitong, I won't let her get hurt or sad. We, then, will go and call Zitong here, so that she can help you complete your metamorphosis. Subsequently, the three of them entered within the dueling arena that had been closed just now, and Lusion once again transformed into a true dragon and put in a bucket of true dragon's blood. A bucket of blood sounded like a lot, but in reality, for Lusion, who was now 15 feet long, it was equivalent to a broken finger that didn't stop bleeding for a while. Sucking in two mouthfuls of Yuan Dan's power, he also recovered. Ai Yajun entered the barrel, revealing only a head, and began to actively guide the absorption of the true dragon's blood. It was slow at first, but after the first strand of true dragon's power was stimulated, her body began to crazily absorb this blood, and after a few breaths, the absorption was complete. The characteristics of dragonization appeared on her body surface. Lujin hurriedly summoned the dragon gate, while Aya Jun transformed into the form of a two-headed fire dragon at the same time and flew into the dragon gate, leaping through it. A ball of flame wrapped around it, and the flames exploded as a powerful and berserk figure emerged into the air. After Aya Jun crossed the dragon gate, Lujin felt a surge of pure energy emerge from his body. Every dragon spirit that crossed through the dragon gate would give back a portion of its energy to Lujin. However, only true god-level bloodline possessors, such as Su Zitong and the others, could allow Lujin to harvest a tenth of their full attributes. While the rest of them passed through, what Lujin harvested was that one divine dragon bloodline that was hidden within their bodies. Although their own bloodline power was shallow, but even if they only gained a trace of it, it would allow Lujin's bloodline to strengthen a little bit again. Nine divine level true dragon bloodlines had allowed Lujin's true dragon talent to have evolved to a new level, but this was not the pinnacle. There was still a lot of room for improvement. His talent could still continue to enhance, and his bloodline could still evolve. Looking towards Ayakuan, her information surfaced. Ayakuan, dual-headed fire god dragon, SSS class. Rank, 9th order. 
Talent 1, taking off the clouds, can fly in the air and harness clouds and mist. Talent 2, divine fire, releases divine flames with divine attributes, evolving various attacks. Talent 3, dual life, can be split into two individuals of the same level, a single individual dies, but still survives. Seeing the last talent, Lucian's heart straightly exclaimed that his mother-in-law was bullish. Although he hadn't become a true divine dragon bloodline, he had three talents. Especially this dual life talent, not only was it equivalent to having an extra bilocation, a two-for-one attack mode, but it also meant an extra life. When necessary, leaving one doppelganger to fend off while the other doppelganger escaped, greatly reducing the risk of death. Lucian discovered a problem. Iajun was originally only S-ranked talent, but she had directly evolved to SSS rank. Chin Cici had also evolved to SSS rank, but Chi Yu had only reached SS rank. He guessed that it might have something to do with their basic talent level. Those who were originally below S rank had their talent limit raised to SS rank, and those who were above S rank had their talent limit raised to SSS rank. There could also be another factor, the quality of the true dragon's blood used twice was different, and the true dragon's blood after 9 increases had a stronger effect on an individual's talent increase. This, was yet to be verified. As Ai Yajun landed back on the ground, Su Zitong hurriedly came forward to inquire about the situation. Mom, how are you feeling? Lu Jin also came over and said with a smile. Mom, your ability is too strong. Hearing Lu Jin's address, Su Zitong steeply looked at him and blanked him. Lu Jin pretended to be embarrassed and scratched his head, while Ai Yajun was being happy and readily accepted Lu Jin's address, laughing. I feel great, I actually evolved directly to the SSS rank, and now I already have a battle power that surpasses that of a normal 10th rank demon monster. In a few years, I'll be able to step into the 10th rank level. Great. This will make you and dad even safer. Su Zitong said as she joyfully hugged Ai Yajun. Her parents were always fighting with vicious demonic monsters at the border. As a child, she was definitely worried, but no matter how worried she was, she couldn't reduce the danger, and enhancing their strength was undoubtedly the best kind of protection. Therefore, therefore, Su Zitong also felt more gratitude towards Lu Jin. The bond between Lu Jin and the several girls was increasing little by little. In the beginning, they had only come together with Lu Jin in order to awaken their SSS grade talent. Later, as they fought side by side and practiced together, the bond gradually grew. However, on a personal level, Lu Jin's unique bond to a certain person was too little. Pure bonds of interest were already there. As long as they followed Lu Jin, they could enhance their bloodline talent time and time again, eventually completing their evolution and reaching the god level. And in terms of emotional ties, Lu Jin wouldn't let go of any opportunity. After all, he wasn't the type of person who liked to force others, so what he hoped was that each of them would sincerely be willing to follow him. Calling them by the wrong name just now was, of course, also intentional. After the several people walked out of the dueling arena, Su Dingyuan sensed the change in Ai Yajun's aura and revealed a satisfied expression. Other than that, this increase in strength was worth far more than a ninth rank Yuan Dan. Take this ninth order Yuan Dan, this is your payment. Lu Jin sniffed and pushed back. Strengthening anti, this is what I should do. How can I receive payment? Su Zitong, however, directly snatched that Yuan Dan into her hands and said with a smile. You don't want it, our several sisters still want it. Su Ding Yuan laughed, then collected his smile again and said. I made you bleed twice today, it's been hard on you, hurry back and recuperate. The Qin family site is estimated to arrive early tomorrow morning with a few people that may go looking for you. That girl from the Qin family, stay at your place, Zitong, you guys comfort and console her. Anyone's death is a pity, but we absolutely cannot be defeated, otherwise the Holy Spirit sect will become even more rampant. The two of them, Lu Jin and Su Zitong, agreed, then went out and led the crowd back into the villa. When they reached the courtyard, Lu Jin pointed to Chi Yu who walked out and said to Qin Cici, That's him, you two talk, if you choose, make your own decision. Ji Yu was two years older than Ji Ran, which meant that he was five years older than Qin Cici, five years, which was not a big gap. Half an hour later, the two went to complete the contract. I don't know how they chatted, but since they had decided, then they had to concentrate on their cultivation. The Holy Spirit cult's actions, each and every one of them were furious, but they were still weak, and going out to seek revenge would be sending them to their deaths. Therefore, cultivating at ease and strengthening themselves was the priority. At four in the morning the next day, Qin Mu, the oldest member of the Qin family, as well as Qin Suanlong, Qin Cici's father, arrived at East Sea City. First, they arrived at the City Lord's Mansion, and then at the East Ocean Taidno. Nine Villa. Seeing Qin Cici still alive, the three generations hugged and cried together, on one hand, they were glad to still be alive one, on the other hand, they also felt great sorrow for the dead Qin Hongmu. After collecting his tears, Qin Suanlong said to Lu Jin, Lu Jin, thank you for saving my family Cici. Elder Su has spoken to me, and according to the regulations, this ninth order Yuan Dan is considered your payment for helping Cici evolve. 
Your saving of her life will be remembered by my Qin family as well. Lu Jin took the Yuan Dan and said solemnly, Saving CC was out of human morality, and helping her evolve was also done in passing. So there is no need for any reward. With this Yuan Dan, I can help one person from the Qin family complete an evolution. Qin Mu and Qin Suanlong both looked at each other, and Qin Suanlong asked, Lu Jin, I've heard that after a royal dragon envoy undergoes the awakening of the divine dragon bloodline, he or she will be able to obtain the ability of dragonization, and be able to cultivate on his or her own without the aid of a dragon spirit, is that correct? Lu Jin nodded and said, Right, and, according to my speculation, the efficiency of autonomous cultivation will increase drastically as the level of strength rises, and if it reaches the level of the ninth rank, Autonomous cultivation won't be any slower than the speed of a normal S-ranked Imperial Dragon Envoy and Dragon Spirit cultivating together. Then, please help me evolve. Before Cotton Tree and Cece's mother died in battle, I promised her that I would protect my two daughters, and now that Cotton Tree is dead, I, as a father, must avenge her with my own hands. Speaking later, his body's aura belonging to a Ninth Order Superior Imperial Dragon Envoy was released, full of anger and killing intent. Helping Qin Suanlong evolve was already three days later. Although releasing a bit of blood in itself was nothing to Lu Jin, and could even be said to have no effect at all. But he didn't want to give the impression that his true dragon's blood was cheap. So he waited for three days before helping Qin Suanlong complete his evolution. He was originally an SS grade, four-winged flying dragon, talent, and after stimulating the divine dragon bloodline, he became an SSS grade, goldening long. True dragons didn't have wings, but there was a type of dragon that possessed wings, the Ying Long. Ying Long was also a powerful true dragon bloodline and Qin Suanlong's bloodline level at this point was already very close to the divine level, so as long as he leapt the dragon gate a few more times, he would definitely be able to step into a new level. Even more marvelous was that with this bloodline evolution, Qin Suanlong had actually crossed the shackles of the ninth rank, becoming a 10th rank demigod level powerhouse. Originally, the Qin family only had elder Qin Mu who was at the 10th rank, and Qin Cici's grandmother had also died long ago. Now that there were finally two 10th rankers, it was considered to be able to be among the topmost great families. They didn't take Qin Cici away, but let her continue to stay here and cultivate together. After learning of Qin Cici's contract with Jiyu, they did not show any opposition either. Although the children of the great clans were concerned about family matches, in today's age, it was more about how well the talents matched. Jiyu had also inspired the divine dragon bloodline and reached the SS level, and was himself also Lu Jin's great uncle, an identity that was considered a good layer of relationship here. So Qin Cici choosing him wasn't considered to be marrying down. Young people motivated each other together, so that they could have a faster growth rate. They entered a state of closed-door cultivation. Zhang family, underground cave. That Qin Cici of the Qin clan was saved by Lu Jin with the true dragon's blood, and with his true dragon's bloodline, he is indeed a great danger to our sect. Within a short period of time, it's impossible for us to make a move against them, I suspect that Su Dingyuan has already sensed something, and if we move too much at this time, we'll be exposed. Zheng Songming said. Hearing this, Zheng Yibning Chiu nodded and said but Lu Xin must be eradicated as soon as possible, the sacred sect side will find a way. There's one more thing, the sacred sect needs to conduct research on the divine dragon bloodline, we need to capture someone with the divine dragon bloodline to do that. Those people from Lu Xin have been living together, and the others that have been inspired with the divine dragon bloodline, such as Iajun stream, are too strong, so I guess it's impossible to capture them. After a pause, Jing Songming said with a flash of light in his eyes, I have a way to clear the suspicion that my Zhang family is associated with the holy sect, and I can also obtain a divine dragon bloodline possessor. Twenty days passed in the blink of an eye. On this day, a piece of news reached Lu Jin. The 34th demon cave in the East Sea was triggered by the Holy Spirit sex thieves and erupted into a demonic tide, the soldiers guarding the town were killed and injured, among them, Zheng Bo, the youngest son of the Zhang family, went to visit Zheng Ji and Lu Hanjiao, who were involved in the guarding mission, and was beaten to the point that their bodies were broken, and Zhang Ji and Lu Hanjiao were rescued. The former could still be treated and the latter was dying. Zheng Songming took out a Ninth Order Yuan Dan as payment, hoping that Lu Jin could save Lu Hanyo. When Lu Jin came into the dueling arena, Zheng Songming the old leader cried out, This damned Holy Spirit sect, killing my youngest son, injuring my eldest son, and pitying my daughter-in-law, who hasn't really gotten married yet, for suffering such a serious injury. Lu Jin, I know, Jiao Jiao once had some problems with you, but for the sake of being of the same human race, and for the sake of her being seriously injured in order to resist the Holy Spirit sect, you save her. Su Ding Yuan looked at Lu Jin and said, According to the conditions I announced at the beginning, a ninth order Yuan Dan is enough as payment. You can take it. Lu Jin didn't mean that he didn't want to treat Lu Hanyo, although Lu Hanyo had provoked him many times, but every time he was abused and didn't get any benefits, so Lu Jin didn't have any hatred towards her. 
The only hatred he had was probably the fact that he had hired someone to deal with him outside of Lin Yang City. The truth of this matter hadn't been clarified yet, so let's leave it aside for now. People paid, so it was just a matter of treating yourself. Anyway, for himself, a bit of blood can be exchanged for a ninth order Yuan Dan, that is, blood earns no loss. It's just that he felt a little strange, these two people's strength wasn't great, so how did they run into the middle of the devil's den camp to fight, and then also happen to be attacked by the Holy Spirit's ex-people? That Zheng family's youngest son, Zheng Bo, even lost his contracted dragon spirit, and still dared to go to such a dangerous place, as if he was deliberately looking for death. But this was something that couldn't be said directly, although Zheng Songming didn't have a dragon spirit, he himself was a 10th ranked powerhouse, and it was obviously unwise to provoke him. Lu Xin called on Song Xiao to help him, and the two of them entered the dueling arena, where Lu Hanjiu had already been placed into the barrel. Taking the form of a true dragon, a bit of blood was produced and placed into it, and Lu Hanyo began to absorb the blood of the true dragon to awaken. In the next moment, her figure faded and changed into the appearance of a fiery flying dragon before leaping through the dragon gate summoned by Lu Xin, transforming into a hornless reddish red dragon burning with flames. Lu Hanyo, Flame Augur Dragon, SSS Grade. Rank, 4th Order. Talent 1, Taking Off Clouds, Can Fly in the Air and Harness Clouds in Mist. Talent 2, Raging Inferno, Angry Flames that Evolve into Various Attacks, The Higher the Anger, The More Powerful the Flames. The Flame Jiao Dragon landed back on the ground and transformed into the appearance of Lu Hanyo. She looked at Lu Xin, revealing a joyful expression and said, Lu Xin, it was you who saved me? I knew that you have always had me in your heart, and the reason why you looked for those women was to do it to me, wanting me to redeem you, right? I promise you, I can go with you, I'm also SSS rank now, together, we can definitely become the most powerful royal dragon warrior combination. With that, she walked towards Lu Xin. A figure however stopped in front of her. Only Song Xiao opened her arms and blocked in front of Lu Xin, looking at Lu Hanya with her teeth and claws open, not realizing that the fierce look she made with all her might was not half as intimidating, but instead looked a bit cute. She was like a cat protecting its food, viciously looking at Lu Hanjiao and said, Lu Xin, is my husband. You are not allowed to take it away. Lu Hanyo's face revealed anger at her words, her hatred towards Song Xiao was not small, after all, she was the one who thought that this woman had taken away everything that originally belonged to her in the first place. As she watched, she extended her hand towards Song Xiao, but she suddenly felt a sharp pain in her face. Splat! Lu Xin slapped Lu Hanyo and sent her flying as he said in a cold voice. My woman, how dare you touch? Treating you as out of humanitarianism, just on the basis of the ninth order Yuan Dan as payment. Don't flatter yourself and get an inch, even if I helped you evolve to SSS rank, you are less than a hair on Xiao's head in my eyes. I can save you, and I can also kill you. After saying that, he changed his fierce look from just now to a gentle tone, picked Song Xiao up by the waist and laughed. Don't worry, I'll always be your husband, no one can take it away. Song Xiao nodded with a red face, wrapped her arms around Lu Xin's neck and stuffed her head into Lu Xin's bosom. Aya, ah, there are so many people outside, going out like this, it's so humiliating. Lu Hanyu climbed up from the ground, the fiery pain on her cheeks knocking her from that cloud of hope to the bottom once again. She recognized where she was now. Nothing more than an object to be toyed with by many. Such a self was, indeed, nothing. She gritted her teeth and trembled, the flames of her anger plucking her aura to a new level. I'm going to get stronger, get stronger. Lu Xin, can't have you, I must destroy you. Those confidants of yours, one by one, I will let them die in front of you. Lu Xin came out and spoke to Su Ding Yuan then went back to continue his cultivation. With an extra ninth order Yuan Dan for the crowd to absorb and cultivate, the speed would be a bit faster. Lu Hanyo was taken back. Four days later, Lu Hanyo left the city to do a mission and her whereabouts were unknown. The news given by the Zhang family was that he was dead, and the contract between Zhang Ji and Lu Hanyo was also dissolved at the same time. At first, Zhang Ji was not willing to break the contract with Lu Hanyo. However, after Zhang Songming took out the photos of Lu Hanyo and Sun Lu Guang exercising vigorously in the hotel, he finally made a choice. Both Lu Hanyo and Zhang Bo were in Holy Spirit cult at the moment. Zhang Bo did not have a suitable contractual partner, Zhang Songming decided to send him to the Holy Spirit Church for rehabilitation. And Lu Hanyo was the divine dragon bloodline possessor that the Holy Spirit sect needed. Lu Hanyo was brought by Zhang Evening Cho to the middle of the Holy Spirit sex compound. Regarding the entire design process, it was also Zhang Evening Chiu who explained it to her. Hearing that her injuries were all caused by Zhang Songming's hand, and that this Holy Spirit sect had once again involved her, she was extremely angry. Yet, she was extraordinarily calm. Instead of seething, she waited for Zhang Evening Chiu to continue speaking. The sect master is very interested in your divine dragon bloodline and has already drawn your blood to study it. Originally, the holy sect had to kill all those who possessed the divine dragon bloodline 
but I think that you can be used for our sect, your talent, if you go through demonization, will definitely make you stronger. You want to take revenge very much, don't you? Lucian or my father, they are all your enemies. If you want to take revenge, you need to have power, and the holy sect can grant it to you. Have you, made a decision? Lu Hanjiao raised her head violently and said, Please ask the holy sect to grant me power. Zheng Evningqiu nodded and laughed. Let's go, let Lord Demon, complete your baptism, and you will become the sharpest sword in my sacred sect. After Lu Hanyo disappeared, Lu Hanyan went up to the Zhang family to make trouble, and even the Sun family stepped in, but in the end, I don't know what kind of agreement they reached, and this matter was just uncovered. Even Lu Hanyo's father came back after doing business outside, did not make any noise. It was as if, this person was just ignored. Lu Xin was naturally even less likely to care about her death, and even if she died, Lu Xin would probably be a little happier. This woman gave him a feeling of a shadowy soul. Out of sight, out of mind. Concentrating on improving his strength was more important than anything else. More than three months quickly passed. The ten girls were not slow in their rate of improvement, the lowest was naturally Qin Sisi, but she had also taken the Dragon Awakening Potion and had reached the lower fourth rank. While, among Lucian's nine dragon spirits, the lowest cultivation level was Fireinger and Isen, both of them had only reached the upper fourth rank, but comparing Qin Sisi who was in the same batch of Awakened, it could be seen that their speed had already surpassed the SSS's geniuses by a large margin. Shi Yu's strength had now reached the mid-fifth order, and he had been able to satisfy Qin Sisi's cultivation needs, which meant that Qin Sisi was already in a state of full-force cultivation, and that she represented the highest cultivation speed of the descendants of a large family with top-tier talent. Undoubtedly, this reinforced the fact that Lu Xin's cultivation aid to the dragon spirit was more effective. Other than that, the bloodline potential that was raised through each and every dragon gate leap was an advantage that no other dragon spirit could match. Among the nine women, the two with the highest cultivation levels were still Wan Qinghan and Xia Lingchan. Their cultivation had reached the middle level of the sixth rank. Lu Xin himself, who had started cultivating four months ago, had just reached the fourth order intermediate three months ago, and now, he was at the same sixth order intermediate as Ruan Qinghan and the others. He needed to step into the eighth rank within a year, so that he could absorb the raging tenth rank Yuan Dan energy in his body. Now that it had taken four months to reach the sixth rank intermediate level, within half a year, stepping into the seventh rank wasn't a problem, and accomplishing the eighth rank within a year was just a very reasonable thing to do. Back then, in the northern war zone, Lu Xin, who had contracted seven dragon spirits, under the true dragon form, the 6th order lower level was enough to rival the 9th order intermediate level of low level king level demonic monsters. Now, with the convergence of the 9 true dragon bloodlines, and the addition of the bloodline power of Qin Sisi, Aya Jun and the others, the level has even surpassed the previous level, reaching the middle level of the 6th order, and the level of battle power has naturally soared, reaching the lower level of the 10th order. This was a true demigod level of battle power, and if he were to face that Yin Yuyao again, Lu Xin had the certainty of killing her. Just when everything was moving in a better direction, that morning, a piece of news came that made Ruan Qinghan panic. My sister has been captured by the Holy Spirit sex people. After she ended her communication, she quickly spoke to the crowd. Lu Xin immediately grabbed her hand to stabilize her and said, Let's go, let's go find Grandpa Su, he definitely has more detailed information. Afterwards, several people came together to the Su family compound. Ruan Qinghan's younger sister's name was Ruan Danning, 16 years old, as Ruan Siming's granddaughter, her protection was naturally not small, but the Holy Spirit sect even went so far as to spare the deaths of an 8th order dragon spirit and a dozen or so high-ranking congregation members to kidnap Ruan Danning, who was now unawakened. Su Ding Yuan opened his mouth. This group of people disappeared from the demonic cave, there is no way to scout and track them. But there is one thing, capturing Ruan Danning is definitely not their ultimate goal, after all, a single Ruan Danning is of little use to them. So, wait for their next move, it should come today. Even though Ruan Qinghan and the girls were still worried, it was indeed impossible to truly beat down the door in the face of a group of villains hiding amongst the demonic monsters. Turning to the afternoon, Lu Xin suddenly received a letter, a challenge to be exact. Ruan Danning is in my hands, before nightfall, bring those few dragon spirits of yours and come to Black Mist Mountain, I want to have a duel with you. Otherwise, at night, you will receive Ruan Danning's corpse. The inscription was Zhao Zhen. Back then, after this fellow was rescued by the Holy Spirit sect, he had never shown his face, and to his surprise, he was now looking for the door. In the face of this kind of provocation, Lu Xin did not choose to be some lone hero, but immediately reported it to Su Ding Yuan. Seeing this challenge, Su Ding Yuan was relieved and said, It seems that their target is you and your dragon spirit. Your talent and power has caught the attention of the Holy Spirit sect, and this time, they are trying to take the opportunity to get rid of you. Presumably, the Holy Spirit sect has already set up a big battle. Now that it's less than two hours before nightfall, they are certain that they will eat it up, 
even if we gather all the experts in East Sea City, there are still a few of them. However, then let them know the power of a 10th rank divine dragon bloodline. As he spoke, a powerful divine dragon aura surged from Su Ding Yuan's body. He, who had already leaped over the dragon gate, engaging teeth to go and come, delayed, spent more than 10,000 of my heartache, teeth still hurt. Su Ding Yuan, 10th order. Talent, Thunder Prison Dragon King, SSS Grade. Ability, Taking Off the Clouds, Thunder Purgatory, Dragonization. Taking off the clouds and riding the mists, with the power of thunder, you can gain the ability to fly in the air. Thunder Purgatory, in this space, you are the Supreme Thunder Dragon King, and when others enter, it's a purgatory. Dragonization, by infusing your flesh with the power of thunder, you can inspire your flesh to change into the form of a dragon man. During these few months, Lusion sold many more copies of Evolution Opportunities. Basically, they were all aimed at characters at the level of the Ten Great Guardians. These people's strength had already reached a high level, and then after such a sublimation evolution, their battle power soared, and according to suiting Yuan's words, the current self, could completely knock down the five selves that hadn't evolved before. That's how tough it is. Therefore, anticipating that there might be an ambush, the Holy Spirit sect scheming this time was not small, yet he did not look worried at all. The Holy Spirit sect was not a weak organization, able to hide for so long and fight with the Federation for many years without perishing, its own also has not small strategic ability. A national treasure like Lusion couldn't really go to the appointment alone, and this, they knew better. Therefore, this time, the Bureau was not only targeting Lusion, but the entire East Sea City's high-level battle force, and not surprisingly, the Holy Spirit sect must have sent quite a few experts. This battle would be fierce. Su Ding Yuan immediately summoned the senior demon hunting warriors of East Sea City for a pre-war meeting, and even though there was no definite news yet, the matter was about Lusion, and it was worth them getting so worked up. Among them, there was also the Zhang family. After Zhang Songming learned about the deployment of personnel on this side, he immediately sent a message to the Holy Spirit sect, and Hua Hao, the Hall Master of the White Spirit Hall who was in charge of this matter, immediately made arrangements. Zhao Zhen, I will give you a chance to duel with Lu Zhen, this is your chance to prove yourself, if you fail, it means that you don't have the value to continue being cultivated. Upon hearing this, Zhao Zhen immediately erupted with a strong killing aura and said in a deep voice, If I don't kill Lu Zhen, only I will die. Time quickly came to a moment near dusk, and Lu Xin brought Wan Qinghan and the other seven girls to the Black Mist Mountain. Xin Cici, Isen, and Fireanger, and even Chi Yu didn't follow. Their ranks were too low, and their burst of battle power was at most the level of a seventh rank demon monster, and the energy level of this battle was too high, according to estimates, it was at least eighth ranked, so they couldn't join in. Halfway up the mountainside, Zhao Xin walked out from within a cave, and behind him, two people were escorting a girl. Dan Ning. Ruan Qinghan instantly recognized that person as her younger sister, Ruan Danning, at this moment, she had obviously cried and had tearful eyes, after seeing Ruan Qinghan, she immediately shouted, Sister, help me. Ruan Qinghan immediately wanted to rush up when she heard this, but was stopped by Lu Xin. Narrowing his eyes, Lu Xin spoke, Zhao Xin, according to your request, I've already come, and you should release the people too, right? Don't let me look down on you. Although Lu Xin had never looked down on Zhao Xin since the beginning, it didn't stop him from saying so. It was just to provoke Zhao Zhen's little bit of pathetic pride. Only. However, this Zhao Zhen fellow didn't eat this and said angrily. Want someone? Then come and duel with me and beat me. The person is yours. As he said that, a powerful aura erupted from his body, and his body began to change drastically, becoming taller, his head horned, and a pair of black wings sprouted from his back. Zhao Zhen, 8th order. Talent, Demonic Dragon Gemstone, SSS Grade. Ability, Wings of the Demonic Dragon. Blessing of the Demonic God, Raging Flame of the Demonic Dragon. Wings of Magic Dragon, possessing a pair of wings of a magic dragon, can increase speed for dragon spirits. Blessed by the God of Magic, the magic energy infuses the body, doubling all attributes, obtaining the God of Magic's dominant body, greatly increasing defense, and quickly recovering from injuries before the magic energy runs out. Dragon's Raging Flame, master the flames of the dragon, burning the demonic energy, incinerating everything and making it difficult to extinguish the flesh and blood of the body. Lusion's, true dragon's vision, was a passive natural skill that was always on, so at first glance, he saw that Zhao Zhen's strength had indeed risen greatly at this time, and even though he was only at the 8th rank, his breath had stepped into the 10th rank tier. Obviously, he must have experienced some sort of special strengthening in the Holy Spirit sect, giving him the abilities he had today. At the same time seen, there was also the so-called Wan Danning that was being controlled at this time, which was just a fake. GZO, 9th Order. Talent, Two-Headed Nightmare Demon Dragon, SSS Grade. Abilities, Illusion, Twin Dragon Soul Devouring, Nightmare Demon Domain. Illusion, you can transform yourself into a certain form and gain a portion of that form's abilities. 
Twin Dragon Soul Eater, releases two demonic dragon spirits that bite and devour the target's spiritual consciousness. Nightmare Domain, within this domain, all beings other than you will be affected by nightmares, attacked or manipulated. This is a familiar face. At that time, in the middle of the Northern War Zone, she was the first person from the Holy Spirit sect to make a move against Lusion. At that time, GZUS Dragon Spirit form was only a grade A, dark three-headed dragon wolf, and then she was bitten off by Lusion, ripping off her neck and a head. Unexpectedly, after going through the Holy Spirit sex cultivation, she had gained such an increase, and her battle power had just as well soared to the 10th rank level, and was even a little stronger than Zhaozhen. Lucian informed the several women of this information through the great sound invisible, talent skill with a special sound wave, telling them not to show any differences for now. He was going to fight with Zhaozhen to give Su Ding Yuan and the others time to delay their search for the real Ruan Danning. In the end, it would definitely be a big melee, and at this moment, the fight between Lujin and Zhaozhen might be an appetizer. Alright, come on. Lujin took a step, his body flew up out of the air, and in midair, the dragon gate emerged, and he leapt through it, steeply, transforming into the form of a true dragon. At this time, retaining strength was a foolish act, as the other party would take your life at any time. Even if you wanted to stall for time, then you still had to bring out your full strength against the battle. Lujin, who had transformed into a five-clawed golden dragon, reached a body length of 28 feet, and his terrifying aura was released, vaguely suppressing Zhaozhen, who had erupted at this time with a 10th order aura. Didn't you recultivate? How come you still have such high strength? Zhaozhen said in surprise. The five-clawed golden dragon spat out human words and mocked. What, are you afraid? If you admit defeat, you can be spared a severe beating, but, today, you will die. Before the words fell, Lucian flew directly into the clouds, and all of a sudden, the clouds were dense, thunder and lightning flashed, and the true dragon that absorbed the power of thunder, called out the winds and rain, and pranced around the clouds poked its head out of the black clouds, carrying the might of heaven and earth, and drone towards Zhaozhen. I'll give you a chance to commit suicide. Zhaozhen exploded with rage at the words, and his demonic aura erupted out of his body, vaguely forming the silhouette of an eight-armed demonic head behind him. He tilted his head and roared loudly. I'm going to eat you bite by bite. Abruptly, the devil chi exploded and he shot towards Lucian like a cannonball. The demonic chi impacted the thunder and shook the heavenly might, which was destined to be a kind of egg against stone. Lucian's body was flooded with golden light, which was the effect of the power of killing, and then attached the divine breath, added the power of thunder, and harnessed the thunder, killing towards Zhaozhen. With one strike, Zhaozhen's demonic aura was purified so much, and he himself was sent flying out, unable to defend himself against this attack from Lucian. However, he didn't suffer much serious damage now. This attack also made him recognize that the gap between his own strength and Lucian's was not small, and that he was afraid that this duel was going to be a bad one. But not only did he not retreat, instead, he directly stimulated his demon god blessing state, and then launched an attack towards Lucian at a faster speed. In the one encounter just now, Lucian had a certain grasp of this Zhaozhen strength and determined that coming out to take him down shouldn't be a problem, but he didn't directly end the battle with a thunderous momentum, instead, he erupted into a golden light and entangled himself with Zhaozhen. In the beginning, he was unsure and couldn't reserve his strength, but now that he had a bottom in his heart, he could naturally reserve a bit of time for rescuing Ruan Dan Ning. Demonic Chi raged, thunder flashed, and the golden dragon's figure constantly surfaced beneath the black background as Zhaozhen was sent flying out time and time again before tenaciously continuing to join the fight. There was no way back for him, if he couldn't kill Lu Zhen, the one who would die would be himself. After roughly 10 minutes of fighting, Zhaozhen took out a 9th order Yuan Dan and took it, and after that, his breath soared once again, his figure became even taller, and surprisingly, features similar to those of dragonization appeared on his body as well. Other than the ability of dragon transformation that came with itself, a royal dragon envoy could only display the ability of dragon transformation by combining it with a dragon spirit. At this moment, Zhaozhen's state was clearly abnormal, just like when Luzhen was facing the 10th rank Holy Spirit Church Master in Yu Yao who had gained a short period of strength with the power of the Yuan Dan, the end result of which would most likely be an explosion of his body. But he didn't care much anymore. As long as he could kill Lu Zhen, Zhao Zhen could die together. The demonic aura once again exploded to a level, and the angry Zhao Zhen released an even more vigorous demonic dragon rage flame, completely wrapping him up in it, just like a demon that had walked out of hell. Lu Zhen was still calmly watching this scene, without worry or fear. It was the end of the line, Zhao Zhen was at the end of the line, so the delay would be up to here at most. It was time to end him. In a flash, the thunder gathered once again, the power of the five elements coalesced, infused with the divine attributes, transforming into the five elements divine thunder, and underneath the golden light, Lucian lunged towards Zhaozhen. Divine Dragon's Claw. The attack that contained the energy of the five elements divine thunder directly tore apart Zhaozhen's demonic flame before grabbing onto his wings and violently cutting a huge gash. 
Immediately after, one of Zhao Zhen's wings was ripped off by Lu Zhen. Zhao Zhen made a counterattack, and his claws on Lu Zhen's true dragon body only left a shallow mark on the golden dragon scales, and the arm he used to attack was instead blasted by the terrifying thunder that enveloped Lu Zhen's entire body. A few breaths later, the dust settled and Zhao Zhen had been reduced to a mass of broken bodies. Since Lu Zhen's devouring space was still closed, these blood and flesh that contained energy could not be used to increase his strength. Song Xiao, the eater, saw the right time to take the form of a qi dragon, inhaling its storm and sending it within his devouring space, using it to provide the energy consumption needed for the next battle. After Lu Zhen killed Zhao Zhen, he immediately rushed towards Ruan Dan Ning over there, those two people who had grabbed Ruan Dan Ning, at this moment, as if they were afraid, they threw down their hostages and ran away. Ruan Qinghan also rushed over. Gzu's disguised Ruan Danning made a panicked appearance and ran towards Ruan Qinghan while shouting under her breath. Sister. Even though their target should be Lu Zhen, it was obvious that it wasn't appropriate for her to run towards Lu Zhen, so at this moment, she ran towards Ruan Qinghan. As a result, just as she ran in front of Ruan Qinghan, she realized that she had violently changed into the giant beast Jarius with a height of 5 feet, and a slap attached to the evil suppressing golden light slapped her over, directly sending Gzu flying. After all, she was unprepared for this matter and it made sense for her to be directly sent flying by Ruan Qinghan. However, she didn't suffer much of a serious injury, only that she was a bit dazed by the beating, and then when she saw Lu Zhen take advantage of the situation and spit a thunderbolt at her, she hurriedly transformed into her two-headed nightmare demon dragon form and used her demonic energy to block the blow. Damn it! You guys found out a long time ago, and you're even teasing me! Where could she not understand at this point that she must have been seen through long ago, which was why they had such a subtle coordination? If it wasn't for the fact that she was still strong enough, this set of attacks from the two just now might have directly killed her. Lu Zhen said in a cold voice. The people of the Holy Spirit sect are really all a bunch of trash, scum. I've come to meet the battle, but you guys are still engaging in this kind of petty maneuvering, truly worthy of being rats in the darkness and reptiles in the corners of the walls. You should all rot in the gutter. Bastard. Last time you severed one of my heads, today I will kill all of your dragon spirits and let them die one by one in front of you. Gzu's mind exploded a little at Lu Zhen's insults. After all, she had just been teased, and had her neck bitten off by Lu Zhen before, and now she was being scolded again, new grudges and old grudges piled on top of each other, causing her to fall into a huge rage. The nightmare domain opened, and she once again rushed towards Ruan Qinghan. Lu Zhen was powerful, she had seen it all just now, so naturally she wouldn't head iron and rush straight to fight. She wanted to kill Ruan Qinghan and the others first, so that not only could she make Lu Zhen feel the pain of her lover being killed, but she could also weaken Lu Zhen's fighting strength in this way. The death of a dragon spirit would have a backlash effect on the Imperial Dragon Envoy, and if she killed all seven of these dragon spirits, Gzuf felt that it might just be the backlash effect that might make Lu Zhen lose the ability to fight back directly. Ruan Qinghan was also at the middle sixth rank, and after her bloodline had been strengthened by Lu Zhen many times, although she had not yet metamorphosed into a true god rank, she was only a step weaker than Lu Zhen, with her battle power reaching the upper ninth rank. Facing Gzuf's attack, she was not the least bit afraid, and directly used Geneva Golden Light to attach to her sharp claws to meet the attack. But at this time, Gzui had already reached the level of 10th order battle power, although this 10th order battle power was far from reaching the true demigod level, it could still crush the 9th order battle power level, so Ruan Qinghan was still knocked out by Gzui. Hurting my woman, looking for death. Lu Xin's voice followed closely, thunderous golden light, endless dragon might press down, causing Gzui's figure to steeply stagnate. In terms of battle strength, the two were actually about the same, but Lu Zhen's bloodline pressure was too strong, and after releasing the pressure, it caused Gzui to be directly weakened by a few points, and in the next moment, she was jerked out by Lu Zhen's divine dragon swing. While Ruan Qinghan stopped her form in the air, Gzui crashed hard into the ground. Once again, she was once again brutally beaten by this man. The anger in Gzui's heart reached a peak. The emotion of humiliation completely overshadowed the pain that arose when she was attacked. Lu Zhen. Old me must capture you and squeeze you alive. In an instant, the demonic aura in her body erupted, her entire body falling into an incomparably berserk state, her two heads spewing out large swaths of purplish-red smoke. The nightmare domain was once again strengthened. Close in on me. Lu Xin shouted furiously to a few people, then rushed up towards Gzue. The seven girls had all changed into their dragon spirit forms at this moment, Shi Chi, Prisoner Bull, Jarius, Mocking Wind, Pu Jiao, Quoted, and Shi Shi. Each of them manifested their natural abilities and displayed a powerful aura, gathering the power of the divine dragons and dispersing the demonic aura. When those of the divine dragon bloodline gathered together, their true dragon power would resonate and thus create a combined power. This kind of power far exceeded the battle power that could be exerted by a single person alone. Lu Xin had asked the seven girls to lean towards him, and apart from protecting them, 
The other purpose was to converge the true dragon's power in them. Although he felt that he should be able to defeat Gzue, the Holy Spirit sex tactics could not be defended against, and at the present time, it was still important to settle the battle as soon as possible so that he could go and search for Ruan Danning's whereabouts. Therefore, he no longer tangled with Gzue, but instead borrowed the true dragon power of the seven girls to raise his strength once again. In an instant, the true dragon's power infused him, and Lusion's size once again expanded by a circle. Aang. He let out a dragon's roar freely, but it was the SSS rank Gzue that caused a great fear to arise within her. Even though her talent was already very high, the true dragon she was facing was at the super god level, which caused him to be completely unable to put up any resistance, and was as flustered as he could be. In the sky, dark clouds covered the sky, lightning flashed and thunder roared, and torrential rain fell. The wind howled, and in the midst of the storm, the five-clawed golden dragon incarnated by Lusion descended carrying the might of heaven and earth with a sharp aura as if it was going to tear everything apart. Jizue no longer had any hatred in her heart at this moment, only full of fear, being scared to the point that her liver and gall bled, wanting to escape. But at this moment, her aura was locked by Lusion, and it was impossible to escape. Just as Lusion's divine dragon's claw was about to land on top of Jizue's head, a black lance appeared steeply, shaking Lusion's claw away. Immediately afterward, a figure quickly approached, it was a man wearing a burgundy cloak, and the aura on his body had just reached the 10th rank. This was a true 10th rank powerhouse, a demigod level existence. Back then, when Lucian fought against the 10th ranking Yu Yao, he had to utilize the 10th rank Yuan Dan to force himself to explode with enough battle power. The consequence was that he almost died there. If it wasn't for Lucian's true dragon bloodline being strong enough, and in the end, with the devouring space temporarily sealing all the energy, he would have definitely died through and through. So that was why, before, at the 6th order lower level, the one who had fused the 7 true dragon bloodlines did not yet have the ability to fight a true demigod level powerhouse. But now, having reached the intermediate level of the 6th rank and fused the 9 true dragon bloodlines, as well as some other divine dragon bloodlines, he was facing this 10th ranked powerhouse head on without showing any trepidation. You've grown so fast, it's unthinkable to Discussion, thinking that Ian Yuya was actually killed by you is still a bit hard for me to accept. Your talent makes everyone jealous, you shouldn't exist in this world. Hua Hao, the hall master of the White Spirit Hall, opened his mouth. At this moment, the aura that erupted from him was even more powerful than the 10th rank dragon spirit Ying Yuyao that Lu Jin had faced earlier. Hua Hao, 10th order. Talent, Dark Demon Shadow, SSS Grade. Abilities, Dark Shadow, Shadow Slave, Demon Shadow Gun. Dark Shadow, turn into a shadow and sneak around in the darkness, ignore physical attacks, immune to energy attacks to a certain extent. Shadow Slave, any creature you kill can be turned into a shadow servant. The servant retains some of its former abilities and masters the power of shadow, same rank. Magic Shadow Lance, a spear formed by magic energy and shadow power, invisible attack and full attribute enhancement to the user. All three abilities were strong, especially the first shadow ability, which was almost equal to the uninjured overlord state. Now that the sky was darkening and darkness was descending, it was Hua Hao's home turf. Although Lu Jin was more alert in his heart, he did not fear or panic, instead, he calmly replied. The ones who shouldn't exist in this world are you reptiles of the Holy Spirit sect. Before the words fell, he once again condensed the power of the true dragon and flew the dragon in the sky, and then the dragon rode the nine heavens, covering his entire body with the five elements divine lightning and falling steeply. So what if the darkness descends, so what if the true dragon descends, nothing in the world will be a hindrance to me, shattering the darkness with thunder. Feeling the powerful pressure emanating from the swooping five-clawed golden dragon, Hua Hao directly summoned four ninth-ranked shadow slaves, then let them surge into his body, and for a moment, his ability level soared once again, as he rushed towards Lu Jin, holding his magic shadow gun. The defense was broken. Lu Jin knocked Hua Hao back, while a bloody hole appeared on his true dragon's body, which was clearly caused by that demonic shadow gun. After all, he was still only at the sixth rank, and it was good for him to be able to exert normal demigod-level combat power and he could fight a 50 to 50 battle with a 10th rank demigod with SS rank talent, but he was indeed still unable to face a demonized demigod with SSS rank talent. Even worse, Ji Ziyue turned back to her senses and killed towards Xiao Lingchan and the others. Among the seven girls, the most powerful one, Wan Qinghan, was only able to utilize her 9th rank combat power, and against Ji Ziyue, who was able to utilize her demigod level combat power, none of them would be a match in a solo fight. Now that the seven of them were facing each other together, they were only able to cope. At the critical moment, an even more terrifying thunder power appeared, followed by a huge purple golden thunder dragon claw striking towards Gzue. Dare to hurt my granddaughter. A violent shot was like thunder, and Su Ding Yuan's figure emerged in a flash of lightning. 
Su Dingyuan was a solid 10th ranked powerhouse, one of the top 10 guardian deities of the Yanxia Federation, and after being strengthened by the awakening of the divine dragon bloodline, a strike containing anger was conceivably powerful. The power of thunder is the nemesis of demonic chi, Ji Ziyua was hit by this attack, one of her heads was directly blown off, and she was seriously injured and flew out backwards. Su Zitong called out in surprise. Grandpa, you quickly go help Lu Zhen. Su Dingyuan did not hesitate, and after making sure that Ji Ziyue had been beaten by himself to the point that her battle power was no longer there, he immediately rushed towards Hua Hao. At the same time, he shouted to Lu Zhen, Dan Ning has been rescued, let me deal with him. Hearing this, Lu Zhen didn't try to be brave and immediately dodged away, while Hua Hao directly transformed into a dark shadow while releasing three ninth-ranked dark shadow servants to block Su Dingyuan. He arrived at Ji Ziyue's side, grabbed her, and dived into the darkness to escape. Su Dingyuan unleashed his Thunder Purgatory ability, but was still led away by Hua Hao. In the darkness of the night, unless one had a means to truly restrain the shadow ability, it would be very difficult for the same rank to keep Hua Hao, who was trying to escape. Ruan Qinghan ran over and asked after him. Grandpa Su, where is my sister? Don't worry, she has been escorted back to the city. We didn't fight deeply this time, we just killed a few of their ninth order demonic spirits and two tenth order demonic spirits. Su Dingyuan said blandly but it could be heard that he was somewhat happy. The Holy Spirit sect had misestimated the battle power of East Sea City this time, so much so that the original plan to bait Luzhin had failed, not to mention that they had lost so many top-level battle power, so it could be said that they had lost both their wife and their soldiers, and had suffered a great deal of damage to their vitality. At the very least, it was considered to have alleviated a little pressure on the Yanxia Federation. Hearing that his sister was already safe, Wan Qinghan then let go of his heart. Luzhin, on the other hand, felt a bit of a pity, if Hua Hao's ability wasn't too strong, he would have been able to get rid of Ji Ziyue, that crazy woman, as well. However, this time he didn't gain nothing, at least he killed Zhao Zhen, the guy who had been secretly plotting against him. Back then, when he was taken away by the Holy Spirit sect, Luzhin had felt that sooner or later, he would come looking for trouble from himself. Being able to settle him today was a way of settling a matter of the heart. Alright, let's go back. Su Dingyuan said, then escorted a few people back inside East Sea City. Holy Spirit sect residence. After Lu Chong finished listening to Hua Hao's report, his face was grim as he steeply looked at Jing Evningqiu who was on the side and drank. Su Dingyuan and the others have all obtained the Divine Dragon bloodline, their strength has increased substantially, how come I didn't hear you report on this matter? Such important news, did Zheng Songming not pass it on? Zheng Evningqiu, who was also severely injured, endured the pain and replied. Su Dingyuan has long suspected my father, and although he had previously utilized the bitter flesh trick to confuse him, he had not gained enough trust, and this matter, he should not have known. My father's loyalty to the holy sect has never changed in the slightest, or else he wouldn't have sent both my brother and siblings into the holy sect. There was no doubt about the loyalty of the Zheng family, Lu Chong, after all, it was impossible for this family to be cleansed, as long as they were exposed, they would definitely be cleansed by the whole family. Su Dingyuan was not someone with a soft heart. He was just too angry and needed an excuse to vent. This time, not only did he not kill that Lu Jin, but instead, he damaged a demon den garrison near East Sea City, and Ruan Dan Ning was rescued not to mention that several people died. The loss of two 10th ranked combatants and the death of that Zhao Jin who had been strengthened by the demon demon, were all things that made him feel very defeated. Go down, recover as soon as possible, the next great battle won't wait too long. A few people retreated, and Lu Chong came to a deeper level of the crypt, where he met a few demon kings. Among the demonic monsters, above the ninth rank, one could be called a demon king. The tenth rank was the lower demon king, the eleventh rank was the middle demon king, the twelfth rank was the upper demon king, and the thirteenth rank was the demon Zun. The great battle back then, led to the shattering of the passageway of the devil world, the middle and upper devil kings who came to this world all died in battle, only one of the five devil reverends was left to linger on, and there were only a few tenth order devil kings, who were still able to hold up a scene. Although the human race's high-ranking combatants had also all fought their way out of the battle, if a divine dragon bloodline awakened person existed, within a decade or two, there would be absolutely no problem in giving birth to an 11th ranked median king level combatant. That's why Gaia Demon Venerable Party would not. Spared the expense of his origin, unleashed a wide range of oblivion curses, and also had some organizations such as the Holy Spirit sect destroy the relevant information together. Otherwise, when he regained 1% of his strength, I'm afraid that the human race would have had an upper king level powerhouse born, and by then it would be his time to die. Now that he had lived for over a hundred more years and his strength was gradually recovering, it was considered the best outcome for him. But now that the divine dragon bloodline had reappeared, he absolutely would not allow it. The holy spirit sect and the various demon kings had been given dead orders to get rid of these people. However, the first time they launched a battle, 
they were unexpectedly beaten so badly, with heavy losses, and not a single awakened person of the divine dragon bloodline was killed. Lu Chong explained the situation, and a humanoid demonic monster with a torch head, the Inferno Fear Demon King, spoke up. No wonder the demon lord wants us to get rid of this so-called divine dragon bloodline awakened as soon as possible, according to your description, amongst the same rank, they are almost invincible. Especially Lu Jin and his several dragon spirits can fight across so many ranks. If we let them grow to the tenth rank, it would be doomed for us. Another fellow with the body of a cockroach and the head of an elephant, the Dread Eater Demon King, proposed. Let's start a demonic tide. Pick a few big cities and launch a devil tide through the devil caves, those human powerhouses will definitely split up, we can definitely kill a few of them by swarming them at that time. The low-level demonic monsters, we can rely on the creatures in the seawater to reproduce in large numbers, it's fine even if we lose more. Lu Chong nodded at his words and said. It can only be so, these people are too powerful, breaking them down one by one is the wisest. Especially that Su Dingyuan, an imperial dragon envoy, he even forcefully killed two tenth order demon spirits, there are only a few tenth order demon spirits in total in my sacred sect, this is too much of a loss. At this time, a demon king with a mosquito body and nine snake heads said. On the Yingnu island side, I am about to take full control, when I take control of the people over there, I will immediately let them launch a battle against the Yenxia Federation, at that time, there will be one more battle force. This was considered good news, Lu Chong revealed a smile and said. Although Yingnu island is not a big place, it has a lot of population, after taking control, we should be able to identify a group of strong people with good talent, so that they can receive the blessing of the demon lord and become our own people to deal with the Yenxia Federation, which is also a good thing. By the way, the Wookiee Demon King did give me a heads up. The Yenxia Federation has a divine dragon bloodline awakened, a genius demon that far exceeds the SSS level, the other several human federations will definitely not sit back and watch it grow, human infighting never stops, spread the news, the Meiyao Federation and the Woolly Bear Federation will definitely send people to assassinate them. Perhaps without us having to make a move, that Lucian will be killed. His smile became even more pronounced as he thought of this. Nothing made him happier than not having to do anything himself and sitting back and watching his enemies kill each other. He, himself, had long since ceased to be human. The Dread Eater Demon King's favorite thing was to unleash a demonic tide so that he could let go of his stomach and feast on the humans, dragon spirits were the most delicious food, not just him, but all demonic monsters love to eat them. I'll go prepare immediately, within a month, we can start the demon tide. The Dread Eater Demon King said excitedly. The Wookiee Demon King also nodded and said. One month is enough, on the Yingnu Island side, I will mobilize 100,000 people to come over and kill some first, to attract the attention of the Yenxia Federation's strongest people. Lu Chong laughed. Good, after a month, let them see the real demonic tribulation. I will definitely kill that old bastard Su Dingyuan. While the devil monsters were meeting, Lu Jin was also discussing with Su Dingyuan and the others about the battle. Ai Ching Yuan raised his doubts. These people from the Holy Spirit sect are obviously more powerful as well. That guy Chumi, it's been less than a year since we last fought him, how could he have enhanced so much, his abilities have changed, could it be that they also have a demonic dragon bloodline or something like that? Su Ding Yuan sniffed and spoke. I also perceived it, these people obviously had a greater increase in strength, their demonic aura was more dense, and their skills had also changed. This reminds me of a piece of information about the demon monster war. Ai Ching Yuan urged. Just don't sell yourself short, hurry up and say what it is. Su Ding Yuan sniffed and replied. It is recorded in the literature that more than a hundred years ago, there was a great war that broke out, in that war, the strongest people of the human race and demonic monsters of the tenth rank and above all died in battle, although the humans closed the passageway from the demonic realm to the human realm, there was still a demon elder who had not been completely annihilated, and he had only fallen into a deep slumber. It was recorded in the literature that the demon sovereign was in existence of the thirteenth rank, if it awakened, it could easily strengthen these people. Now, it seems that this is very likely, after all. For so many years, we haven't found an individual of more than the 10th rank amongst the demon monsters or the holy spirit sect, and the one who can possess such means should be at least an 11th ranked existence. Lucian is truly unique, the eastern divine dragon bloodline must be hiding some secret, otherwise it wouldn't have made the holy spirit sect so scornful that they wouldn't even bother to expend so much energy to deal with him alone. After this failure, they will definitely not give up and it shouldn't take long for them to make a comeback, we have to prepare ourselves as soon as possible to deal with any situation that may arise. Lu Jin also spoke. Ji Ziyue was originally nothing more than an A-rank talent, having been bitten off a head by me, with her strength and heritage greatly damaged, but this time, she has directly become an SSS rank talent, and has even reached the upper level of the ninth order, such a huge change, even a divine dragon bloodline as I am cannot do it. It must be hiding some even more powerful and mysterious power. 
The Divine Dragon Bloodline, in my memory, should be something that every person in the Yenxia Federation knows, but in fact no one knows. The fact that no one knows about it can be explained by the lack of information, but the fact that elders of your age know nothing about it makes me very confused. I feel that the Divine Dragon Bloodline must be the key to defeating the demonic monsters. Hearing you say that, I suddenly remembered that after you evolved me that day, it seemed like I felt a something on my soul being washed away and erased, and then those information I learned about the Divine Dragon Bloodline became clear. Previously, the memories about the Divine Dragon Bloodline I always seemed to forget very quickly, originally I thought that I was getting older so I couldn't remember it clearly, but now it seems to be as if there is something on my soul that is pushing me to forget. Ai Ching Yuan said seriously. These words made Su Ding Yuan also become more serious, he frowned and said. I also have such a feeling, if this is a situation that is shared by all Yenxia Federation, or even all humans, then it is most likely a curse, a curse that is directed towards humans, towards those who have awakened the Eastern Divine Dragon Bloodline. Regarding the existence and strength of the Dragon Spirit, it was something that had a greater correlation with one's own sense of conviction. If back then, the Demon Sovereign had performed some sort of skill that made everyone forget or even be unable to remember anything related to the Eastern Divine Dragon Bloodline, something, then future generations would not be able to awaken the Eastern Divine Dragon Bloodline talent. The fact that Zitong, Sang Sang and the others obtained such a weak Divine Dragon Bloodline can be explained. Ai Ching Yuan said with a slap on the table. Reviving the Divine Dragon Divine Dragon Bloodline is the key for our human race to gain a chance to counterattack. Lucian, there must be no mistakes in your safety, moreover, next, I'm afraid that we need you to continue bleeding, we need more people to awaken the Eastern Divine Dragon Bloodline, so that our own true dragons can take flight. The matter is important, the enemy has become more dangerous, Lucian also knows that at this time if only rely on themselves, I am afraid that even the current this pass cannot be passed, the only way to unite the power of the top of the Yenxia Federation, so that can pass this pass. Therefore, after pondering for two seconds, he opened his mouth and said, the payment for the Yuan Dan can be delayed, I only need a few to make up for my depleted Yuan Chi first, and every day I can provide two copies of the true dragon's blood, which means giving two people the chance to have their bloodline awakened. I will do my best to help everyone improve their strength. Su Ding Yuan nodded and said, Good, I will notify the town guards of each section and have them come over in secret, this operation should still be kept as secret as possible, so as not to let the enemy have a clear grasp of our strength. With that, the matter was settled, and Lu Jin felt a sense of urgency. He needed to be even more powerful, and within a month, he had to step into the upper 6th rank, or even, try to impact the 7th rank. This was not impossible, although there were no new Divine Dragon Bloodline girls for him to contract thus increasing his cultivation speed, but by giving many strong people a Divine Dragon Bloodline awakening, he was just as likely to receive an increase. Even though this increase was small, the number of them coming up would not be a small boost for him. If one was more diligent, obtaining such an advancement was not impossible. With Su Ding Yuan operating in the middle of it, all Lu Jin had to do was wait for the people to come, give them a portion of the true dragon's blood, and then let them leap over the dragon gate. The rest of the time, compressing the time for eating and sleeping and resting to a minimum, keeping the rhythm every day, and cultivating with the nine girls, the cultivation process was extremely hot. The last battle of the Black Mist Mountain, several girls realized that their strength could not help Lu Jin at all, and even dragged him down a bit, they did not say anything on the surface, but inside they were all fully dedicated to cultivating hard, they went all out to ask Lucian for more, and when they couldn't eat anymore, they had to keep on stuffing themselves. It was to push themselves to their limits and thus gain even greater improvement. When Lucian saw this kind of struggle and effort from the girls, he naturally gave them his full support and used all his strength to satisfy them. Together, they enjoyed the thrill of high-speed ascension. After only half a month, Lucian stepped into the upper sixth rank, while Wan Qinghan and Xia Lingchan also stepped into the upper sixth rank together at 20 days. However, their overlevel combat abilities were not as good as Lusion's, so they could just pass a couple of moves with an ordinary S rank 10th rank demonic monster. Winning was impossible, and if the demonic monster was even more powerful, the likelihood of losing the battle would be much higher. In fact, having a 9th ranked battle power was already considered to be standing at the top of this world. It's just that you haven't reached the highest level yet, and there are still a lot of people who can defeat you. Therefore, they didn't slacken off and still kept up their efforts. As their ranks rose, their needs became more vigorous, but Lucian's ability rose even more, and there was no pressure at all. Even, half of his energy was cultivating on his own, because his efficiency in absorbing spiritual energy was so high that if others were a straw, he was a water tank, and even if several girls were water cups, he could still be satisfied. But Lucian wasn't proud, he was also working harder to improve, after all, his goal was to step into the seventh stage within a month. Soon, time came to the 28th day after the Battle of Black Mist Mountain. On this day, a message reached the top levels of the Federation, and Lucian was also called to a meeting in the conference room. 
Su Dingyuan said solemnly, At five o'clock in the morning today, 100,000 people from Ming New Island landed on the border defense strongholds in the eastern war zone, which is also the war zone we are in, and brazenly launched an attack on our borders under the banner of eliminating the Fei evil dragons. Among them, the first and foremost person to be eliminated was Lu Xun. Secondly, Lu Xun's dragon spirit, me, and all of you here, the higher-ups who have been given the opportunity to awaken the divine dragon bloodline, are all on their must-kill list. On top of that, in fact, over the past half a month, we've already captured three batches of assassins from different federations one after another, all with the purpose of assassinating Lu Xun. Now that the various federations basically know about Lu Xun's talent being more than just SSS rank, they presumably have scruples, and that's why they're going after Lu Xun, in order to prevent one of us from becoming bigger. A.I. Ching Yuan said angrily, there must be someone from the Holy Spirit cult pushing behind this, otherwise it couldn't have developed so quickly. By the way, has there been any movement from the demonic monsters? There is. According to the test results, the demonic monsters have already appeared to gather in high density, and it's possible that within these three or four days, a territory-wide large-scale demonic tide will break out. Obviously, this is all being pushed by someone behind the scenes, with everything erupting at the same time, just to make us have to disperse our forces and create opportunities for them. Su Dingyuan said. Wang Shang, the other deputy town guard who hadn't said anything, suddenly asked. Do you mean that this time, their goal is most likely still to kill Lu Xun? Lu Xun, on the other hand, picked up the conversation and said. It shouldn't just be targeting me, all the divine dragon bloodline awakened, they won't let go. Last time, the Holy Spirit sect suffered such a big loss in East Ocean City, this time, it is estimated that they will also target East Ocean City for an onslaught, Elder Su, Elder AI, it is likely that you guys will also be the object of focus, so be sure to pay attention to your safety. Su Dingyuan returned. We old men have long been prepared for sacrifice, but you guys, you must not be in danger. You are the key to ultimately winning, this one, let us old men play a little, let those people see that we are just old, not unable to fight. AI Ching Yuan also said. You guys stay within the city, don't go anywhere. You don't need to worry about the borders, you have the wives and girls to guard them, and kill as many Terra Nova slaves as come. A few of us will guard the city walls, we won't let any of the Holy Spirit sex dogs cross the walls. Lucian did not reject their good intentions, his own identity was different now, it was not the time to be a hero, if he was really in danger, these old men would surely lay down their lives to save them, but instead, it would be a disservice to them, they were the group of people who had the most faith in this nation. Respect them, just give the greatest affirmation and trust. Good. I will guard the city and won't let the Holy Spirit sex insurgents take advantage of the opportunity to attack the people. Wang Shang nodded his head and smiled at his words. You're really good, it's not in vain for us old guys to protect you so much. There is no need to be afraid, we, however, are known as guardian gods. Just after he said this, Su Ding Yuan immediately received a message and spoke. They're here, old fellows, get on the city walls. Outside of the walls of East Sea City, a blackened mass of demonic monsters surged in. These were the newly appeared demonic monsters that had sprung up from the newly appeared demonic caves, with so many popping up at once, it was clearly a long premeditated invasion. The old demon den camps had always had quantity monitoring, and if so many demon monsters had gathered, there would have been an early warning for an early centralized elimination. And it wouldn't have formed this kind of demon tide. Now that this kind of devil tide had formed, there was only one possibility, and that was that the devil monsters had opened up many new devil caves at once. And then a brain surge came out. There were all kinds of demonic monsters, the more characteristic ones, such as the torch-headed demonic monster, which was a demonic monster that specialized in soul impacts and flame attacks, and then there was a kind of xenomorphic insect demonic monster that looked like a combination of a mosquito and a cockroach, which was a kind of demonic monster that had an extremely large number of people and was good at biting and reproducing. The types of demonic monsters that appeared in a demonic cave usually did not exceed five, because demonic monsters also had territorial boundaries. And inside this demonic tide, a rough estimate was that there were no less than a hundred types of demonic monsters. The fact that there were all kinds of demon monsters meant that this was a full-scale demon tide initiated by the highest level of demon monsters, and the battle power was extremely powerful. Most likely, a tenth order demon king would appear. Sharp alarms had long sounded within East Sea City and all the imperial dragon warriors were obligated to take to the streets or mount the city walls at this time to defend against the demonic tide. The city defense forces were already guarding the city walls, and more demon hunter warriors joined in. There was no egg when the nest was overturned. Once the defense failed, something like the demon tide would devour all living beings. In the sky above the devil tide, Lu Chong rode on Jizuyu's body and said to the dread eater demon king and red ghost demon king at the side. In the middle of East Sea City, there are now two tenth order, one Su Dingyuan and one is Wang Shang, both of them have awakened the divine dragon bloodline, they are not easy to deal with, 
I will let Hua Hao lead the two Tenth Order Demonic Spirits to deal with Wang Shang, and the two of you will help me to deal with Su Dingyuan together. This time, our primary goal is to kill Lu Jin, and our secondary goal is to kill Su Dingyuan. At Lu Jin's place, I have arrangements, all we have to do is to kill Su Dingyuan with all our might. The Red Ghost Demon King spoke. After Lord Demon Lord gave the order, we haven't killed a single Divine Dragon Bloodline Awakened yet, instead, we've watched the human race produce several more Divine Dragon Bloodline Awakened. Lord Demon is furious, we have to make a gain this time or we won't be able to account for it. Don't worry. With me stepping in this time, we can definitely take down Su Ding Yuan. As long as we kill Su Ding Yuan, killing a 6th ranked Imperial Dragon Envoy isn't a piece of cake. The Dread Eater Demon King shook its tentacles and said, clearly, this large scale attack made it very excited. Meanwhile, in the middle of the Zhang clan's underground cave, Zheng Evening Chiu looked at Zheng Songming and said, Last time, the sect master was furious when the information was not delivered in time, this time, I'll let you personally take action and kill Lu Jin at all costs, otherwise there will be no more place for you in the world. Although her words carried a salutation, her tone was as cold as if she was conveying a message to a colleague. And this was originally created by Zhang Songming. Zheng Songming had single-handedly contributed to Zhang Evening Chiu's fake death, and from then on, she was put on this path of no return, and Zhang Evening Chiu had no resentment in her heart, only numbness. Her hands had been stained with a lot of blood, and she became what Zheng Songming wanted. Listening to her words, Zheng Songming didn't react in any other way, as if he was treating a co-worker, nodding his head and saying, Since the holy sect needs me to do this, I won't let the sect master down. When the battle heats up, I will immediately step in, not only Luzhen, but those dragon spirits of his, I will also kill them all. As he spoke, he displayed his tenth order spirit energy aura. All along, he had never revealed his strength, and Su Dingyuan and the others were still only treating him as a ninth order demon hunter warrior. This time, he was going to show his true strength and make a mark for the holy sect. The city walls were unable to defend against all the demons, because many demons had the ability to fly, and there were even some special demons that could penetrate through matter and directly enter the city. Therefore, when such a large-scale demonic tide broke out, it was the time for all the people to fight. Guardians and warriors could block 99% of the demonic monsters, but even if it was only 1% of the number, it would still be a great crisis for ordinary people of the first or second rank with low strength. Therefore, there were protective resettlement points all over the city. Everyone was concentrated into one place for placement, so that high-ranked combatants could converge and form an effective defense. The moment the East Sea City issued an alarm everyone, regardless of what they were doing, immediately made an emergency response, making sure that stopping what was in their hands wouldn't cause any great harm before immediately running to the nearest resettlement point. By the time the demonic monsters entered the city, basically everyone had arrived in the settlement. Lu Jin and Xia Lingchan and the others also arrived at the settlement, as high-ranking demon hunting warriors, they had the obligation to protect the crowd. However, he also knew that he might invite trouble, so he had been extremely vigilant, checking for any dangers that might appear at any time. The demonic monster descended. The demonic monsters that were intercepted once by the warriors were not overwhelming, but there were quite a few of those figures flying in the city, and many of the people in the city didn't have the experience of fighting with demonic monsters, and were very worried and scared, and quite a few of them shivered at the sight of that menacing appearance. Lucian nodded to a few women, and then transformed together. The dragon head and fish body of chi dragons, the bull horns and dragon body of imprisoned bulls, the body like a jackal with a dragon head of Jarius, the beast body with a dragon head and dragon tail of mocking wind, the green scaled and fat body of Pujing, the lion body and dragon head of mythical guy beasts, the dragon head and turtle body of Basha, the dragon head and tiger body of Jael, and the white scaled and red pupil of Necrosite. The nine divine dragon bloodlines appeared in the world, releasing a powerful aura that made everyone in the settlement behind them settle down without any fear. Xia Lingchan released beautiful music to completely calm the crowd, and then transformed the sound waves into swords, tearing apart a large number of demons and monsters between the light of the swords and the shadows of the swords. Ruan Qinghan released the evil suppressing golden light, Su Zitong harnessed the thunder, and Morong Haining added the sharp gold killing power, they directly pounced on the demonic monsters and carried out the most direct melee attack. Song Shio and Fireringer, one water and one fire, teamed up to create water and fire explosions, causing the greatest destructive power with the smallest amount of spiritual energy consumption. Ai Sang's incarnation of Ba Xia used his earth-controlling talent to create walls while adding defense for the crowd, Shi Ran used trees as her arms, constantly whipping the incoming demonic monsters away, ready to treat everyone's injuries, Fu Huashin guarded the middle of the crowd, using his ability to use his words as a final safeguard to kill those who had escaped the net. Lucian didn't go on a killing spree, although his killing speed wasn't slow, he knew that these were just appetizers, the real feast was still to come. While fighting, he cultivated and continued to increase his strength. He had already reached the edge of the upper 6th rank,
but he was still a little bit short of a breakthrough in the sense that there was a sense of blockage. This was normal to exist, after all, his rate of enhancement was too fast to be watertight all the time, this time he had indeed encountered a bottleneck and needed an, an opportunity to make himself break through the shackles. The battle started two hours ago, and entered a scorching stage. At this time, the number of demonic monsters reached a peak, which was the highest intensity. Lucian's true dragon bloodline had a great attraction to the monsters, so after entering the city, more than 70% of the monsters were pouncing towards him. Lucian naturally didn't care about these monsters whose highest level was only the seventh level, and killed as many as he could. Just by virtue of the sound wave attack, accompanied by the power of killing and the divine attribute, he could directly kill a large number of them. Unfortunately, he was unable to use it now that the devouring space was sealed, but Song Xiao's Choroptera in the form of a dragon head and fish body was eating high. A large number of demonic monsters were swallowed into her belly, quickly turning into energy to replenish her own consumption and at the same time increase her strength. Suddenly, Lucian sensed a powerful aura approaching, and immediately quickly dodged, and then directly summoned the dragon gate to pass through, transforming into a five-clawed golden dragon more than 50 feet long, and looked towards the figure that had just attacked him. That person did not hide his face, and Lucian recognized him at a glance. Zheng family master, you are indeed a lackey of the holy spirit sect. Seeing Zheng Songming strike at him, Lucian wasn't much surprised, this person he and Su Dingyuan and the others had their suspicions, what surprised him a little was that this fellow had a tenth rank. To know, his passive talent of true dragon's vision was extremely powerful, so far, there was no information that he couldn't see through or misread. Unexpectedly, he was fooled by this fellow. At this moment, he was no longer in disguise before the information was exposed to Lucian. Zheng Songming, 10th Order. Talent, Dark Mask, SSS Grade. Abilities, Darkness Concealment, Wings of Darkness, Darkness Demon Dragon Transformation. Darkness Concealment, Hide Your Breath, Conceal Your Form, In the Darkness, You Are Unknowable. Wings of Darkness. Dark Energy is transformed into wings, increasing the speed of the Dragon Spirit. Dark Dragon Transformation, Transforms into a Dark Dragon, Mastering the Power of the Dragon and the Power of Darkness. Zheng Songming's talent was very powerful and very different from the information Lu Xin had seen about him before, especially the last Dark Demonic Dragon Transformation, which had never been seen before. Seeing Lu Xin transform into the form of a true dragon, displaying the aura of a tenth rank, Zheng Songming also transformed at the first opportunity. He transformed into the dark demon dragon form, and his body length was also more than 50 feet, a bit larger than Lucian, but still on a volume, judging from the aura, the two were considered equal. Lucian's true dragon form reached the 10th rank when he was in the middle of the 6th rank, and now that he has reached the upper 6th rank, his bloodline has also been strengthened many times, and his battle power has been raised once again, so that even if he faces Hua Hao, who was the 10th rank imperial dragon envoy on the day of the battle of the Black Misty Mountain, he will have the power to fight. Therefore, at this time, when he faced the 10th rank Zheng Songming, his aura was not at a disadvantage. Lu Xin, you've humiliated my Zhang family three times, let's make an end of it today. The dark demon dragon spat out human words, and before the words fell, a black light bloomed, enveloping almost the entire sky and covering everyone, including Lu Xin. When an imperial dragon envoy stepped into the 7th rank, he could master a general skill dragonization, and when an imperial dragon envoy or dragon spirit stepped into the 10th rank, he would obtain another general skill domain, this skill, although there was no way it could be compared to the one directly mastered by Su Dingyuan Thunder Purgatory, but it could also create a combat environment that was very suitable for itself. The time when the Holy Spirit sect launched their attack was still chosen in the afternoon, after more than two hours of fighting, the sky became dark, which was already a favorable environment for Zhang Songming, and he unleashed the power of his domain, which directly caused Lu Xin and the others to be greatly suppressed. But would the true dragon be swallowed by the darkness? Aang. Lucian let out a dragon's roar, releasing a golden aura all over his body, followed by thunder and lightning as he soared into the nine heavens, tearing open a crack and allowing the sunlight to cast down. The dark demon dragon incarnated by Zhang Songming at this time was suddenly pouncing towards Ruan Qinghan and the girls. Lu Xin. See, your dragon spirit will die in front of you. This guy was indeed a shameless old thing, he deliberately said this to distract Lu Xin, on the other hand, he still wanted to enrage Lu Xin. Lu Xin was indeed enraged by him but he didn't lose his mind because of it. Zheng Songming's domain needed to be broken open with a single blow, otherwise it would suppress everyone, and at that time, it would be much easier for Zheng Songming to try to kill Ruan Qinghan and the others. At this moment, as long as the suppression of the domain was broken, Lu Xin also had confidence in Ruan Qinghan and the others, believing that they could withstand Zheng Songming's attack. After all, Ruan Qinghan and Xia Lingchan had also reached the upper 6th rank, their battle power stepping into the 10th rank. Open for me. Lucian bellowed, and as the words reached his lips, they came out through his true dragon body as a dragon roar that resounded through the clouds. 
Accompanied by a powerful sense of conviction, it was as if something had been opened within Lu Xun's body, and for a moment, the souls of him and Wan Qinghan's several people resonated, the power of the true dragon tandeming the several of them and Lu Xun into one whole. In the next moment, the figures of the nine dragon spirits abruptly disappeared in place, and the Lu Xun in the air underwent a huge change. The original 50-foot 5-clawed golden dragon changed into a metaphysical divine dragon of about 60 feet in length, a color that at first glance appeared to be blacky, but in the sunlight, when viewed from different angles, there was a reddish color in the black, a greenish color with a greenish light, and a purplish golden color in the greenish light. It took on a chaotic form. And at this moment, Lu Xun's first talent changed. Talent I, Divine Pact, Super Divine Level. 